I repeat, we interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large unidentified object has crash landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumicho, destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. Please defer to the police for further instructions. Be advised that the express lanes are currently out of service. Roads are expected to face heavy congestion. Proceed with caution.
evacuate. A massive kaiju is approaching from behind. What? Where? Fuyusaka kun. Number 15's taken damage to the rear exhaust system. This again? What is going on? Come on, Juro. Let's go home. Shiba-kun. What's up with you? I just get this weird feeling sometimes. Like something's off. What the? Going to school, living my life. It's like I'm not supposed to be here. You've seen too many movies, man. Shiba-kun's a bit of a class clown. But he's a good friend. I always talk to him about action flicks. Speaking of movies, I brought your video back. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Already? I just lent it to you yesterday. You wasted no time. Can you blame me? Giant robots, fights in the city? I was on the edge of my seat. <laughs> you sure love Mecha, don't you, Jiro? Here you go. Let me know if you have any others to recommend. Sure, yeah. You've really turned into a movie buff, huh? Do you think it's too much? Well, now that you mention it, I've been seeing the stuff in my dreams, too. Yep, definite movie addiction. You're showing all the signs. Soon enough, you won't know the difference between fiction and reality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I've seen a movie about that. Shall we go home with Sammy chan Ah, uh, sorry. I've got plans with someone. Let me guess. It's... Nenji-kun, right? Ew, no. I mean, it is a guy, but... Yuri-chan met someone special, too. I'm the only one left. You're all so lucky with boys. It's not fair. Deep breaths, Miwako. Hold on a sec, Miwako. Did you need something? Uh, not really. So as I was saying... Fuyusaka-san's asleep again. School's out for the day. Should I wake her up? 
come to think of it, in that movie yesterday, the girl piloting the robot looked awfully familiar. She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> it's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. Hey, by the way, I saw that one video up for rent. Oh, the one you told me about the other day? Really? Yep, gonna rent it. I've got to. Oh, crap. Give me a minute, I'll be right back. It's always something, isn't it? Guess I'll wait here. Wonder what he's up to. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. Hey, Fuyusaka-san. Rise and shine. Uh. Huh? Class is already over. Kurabe-kun? Um, thanks. You were out cold, huh? Just now, I... I had another weird dream. And you were there. Huh? Me? What kind of dream was it? Well, um... Dude! Huh? This sucks, man. Can't find Amiguchi anywhere. Wait a minute, what's going on here? You two are looking awfully cozy. It's not like that. Hmm? Oh yeah? Then what's the problem? <laughs> Don't mind me, carry on. <sighs> Sorry, Fuyusaka-san. Let's talk about this some other time. <sighs> yeah. I shouldn't tease you like that. But it's your fault for keeping secrets from me. I should get going too. Uh, fine. But seriously, Amiguchi, we gotta catch that guy and quit. Hey, I'm sorry. I'll buy you. You wanna hang thing. out again that badly? He's got all the good video games. They're just waiting for me to play him. But the sucky thing is, I love the view he's never the around unless you make plans. But the new one's not bad either. You know, Amiguchi-kun usually grabs a snack on his way out. Maybe he's still around. Everyone's training hard oh, in the teams. cafeteria? That's right. They're really supporting He was there another. during break, too. Maybe I should join a club, too. Oh. Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, um. and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. Kurabe-kun? What is it, Sawatari-san? Those papers on the podium. Could you take them to Miss Morimura in the nurse's office? Me? Well, it's your turn this week. Oh, is it? Is this it? Please take care of it. Sorry. I can't. These papers. I need to take them to Miss Morimura. Seriously? Well, do what you gotta do. But we're not giving up on Amiguchi, alright? I'm gonna head over to the cafeteria. Grab your bag and meet me there when you can. Excuse me. Hmm. She's not here. What should I do with these papers? Can I just leave them here? Hmm? 
There's a document with my picture on it. What is this? I'll just take a peek. Juro... Izumi? It's my photo, but... The last name is wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. <sighs> Symptoms. Psyche stabilized via drug administration. Patient is obedient. General good health. Drugs, huh? <laughs> oh, Karabekun. I think you forgot these. Oh my. You brought them back for me? I was told it was my turn this week. I see. You're a good kid, Karabekun. Thank you. I appreciate the help. Shibakun's waiting for me. I should go to the cafeteria. Oh, one more thing. Karabekun, how is your current condition? My condition? You know. Any heart palpitations? Dizziness? Headaches? Are you getting enough sleep at night? Why do you ask? There's a nasty cold going around. At this time of year? That's a bit odd, isn't it? I'll give you some medicine, just in case. No, thank you. I'm fine. Really. I see. If you'll excuse me. Was there something else you needed? Miss Morimura? Have you seen Amiguchi-kun anywhere? Amiguchi-kun... the first year? I just made my rounds, but... I don't believe I ran into him. That's okay. You seem to get along well with Amiguchi-kun. Yeah. I was just thinking of hanging out with him again. It's a bit surprising, honestly. Do you two have something in common? Oh, uh... That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of... We just hang out around the TV. Movies, video games, that kind of stuff. Hmm. Now that you mention it, your eyes are a little red. Um... I guess I stared at the screen for too long. <sighs> You need to lead a healthier life. Shall I make a house call this weekend? Huh? I'm fine, really. I'll get my life in order. Well, all right then. Would you like some medicine after all? Uh, no, sorry. Well, you're still here? Shibakun. What's up? Amiguchi wasn't in the cafeteria. Figured I'd try here. Well, guess that's all we can do. Let's drop by the video store on the way home. Come on! <sighs> Something wrong? Uh, you couldn't catch Amiguchi. The video store was a waste of time. This sucks, man. It's true that one video was already rented out. But we didn't come back empty-handed. What, that old-ass kaiju flick? Daimos versus Mecha Daimos. It's a real masterpiece from 74. You and your giant robots. Hey, I got a flyer from the theater the other day. It showed what movies they're playing this month. Guess what was on there? The original Daimos. Do you want to go? Jeez, a hundred times wasn't enough for you? A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. 
The first in what will become a long-running series. <sighs> I'll pass on the arcade. It's too shady these days. Why not get a game console? Then you can stay safe at home. My little brother totally tried that argument on our dad. He was like, if you don't buy me one, I'll fall in with the wrong crowd. Miyuki and Naba sure is popular these days. Right? I even see her in TV commercials. Everyone at school seems to love her. Think she'll be in this year's award show? Eh, aren't we going home? Wrong way, man. Uh. The Sentinel isn't responding. The Oracoon? The activation. You know this guy? I know I did it right. Why won't it start? Miura-kun. Uh, Shuro-kun. What's wrong? Is everything all right? You look awful. Do you feel sick? I'm fine. Your forehead... Did it just... light up? Sorry, but... you shouldn't touch it. What the... My hand's lighting up, too! No... What's going on? This is bad. Sentinel number 13. Transmitting. Don't tell me. Are you? <laughs> what was that? Over there. Summoned a sentinel. Wait. It looks different. That's a robot from that movie. You idiot, what are you doing? Send that thing back. I did that? Okino's damn code. He added a forced activation protocol. Well, this'll be interesting. Are you. You leave me no choice. I'm gonna need you to forget about this for now. Shibakun? <laughs> All right. So yes. Watch where you're going, okay? You could get hurt. Um, sorry. <sighs> Wait, are you? Oh no! The morning assembly! An uncanny resemblance. She dropped this? A student ID. First year, Niori Fuyusaka. <sighs> Might be worth looking into. class. I'm Kisaragi. Tell me, Kisaragi. Ah, uh, I'm Sawatari. And I'm Fuyusaka-san, right? I heard the teacher trying to call on you. 
Really? Oh, I didn't notice. <sighs> I've barely even started my high school life. And this is how I make a first impression? Miwa Chan's my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Nice to meet ya. You too, Kisaragi-san. Call me Usami. Weird nickname, but I'm used to it. In that case, you can call me Iori. It's nice to be on a first name basis. I'm Miwako. Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. Where'd you go to middle school, Usami-chan? Oh, uh... You know, nowhere special. Kinda far away, though. Huh. Sorry, I have to ask. Usami-chan... Yeah? You and Goto-senpai... Are you close? Goto? Nah, not really. Why? Well... He's awfully popular here at school. Seriously? That guy? Jeez. So that's how it is. I saw you two talking in the hall earlier. Yeah, uh... Don't worry. He's not my type. Just an acquaintance. I see. Huh? Your forehead is red. Well, she was sleeping on the desk. Oh, um... I kind of bumped into someone. Now the rest of your face is red. Huh? I wonder why. Well, uh... The guy I ran into is kind of cute, so... Jeez, I feel awkward just thinking about it. Sounds like love at first sight. Really? Definitely. It was a destined encounter. You two are meant to be. Um, you think so? Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> what is this? My heart is racing. I wish I could have talked to him more. He wasn't wearing our uniform, was he? Maybe he's from a different school. Shall we walk home together? I'd love to hear more about this boy you met. Um... You're welcome to join us, Usami-chan. There's a new crepe shop we could stop by. Crepes? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. <sighs> you sure yawn a lot. Are you a night owl? Not really, it's just... I keep having strange dreams. They keep me up at night. What kind of dreams? It's hard to remember the details, but... Last night... I was surrounded by flames, like... a burning city. This huge shadow started coming for me. And then I woke up. Uh... Jeez, that door was impossible to open. How old is this place? Gosh, Natsuno-chan. Don't break the door. I didn't! This school is so old, it still uses hanging lamps. You don't see that every day. Isn't your class next door, Nat-chan? Don't worry about it. I had to see your smiling faces. You know this girl? Yes, she's a good friend. The three of us have known each other since grade school. Natsuna-chan, this is Usami-chan. Last name, Kisaragi. And I'm Natsuno Minami. Nice to meet you. Our school's pretty old. They were working on a new building for this year. But I heard construction was delayed. I think we'll be moving to the new one next month. 
Sure hope so. This place is a dump. I heard it was built during the war. Whoa. That means it's over 40 years old. Minami-san, there you are. Busted. What are you doing in someone else's classroom? The teacher told you to prepare for the next class. Yeah, I know. Oh, right. You know that cat we were talking about? I saw it. Really? Where? Outside the science room. Minami-san. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I think I know that kitty. It has black fur with a white belly, right? You've seen it too, Miwa-chan? All the time. Dang. No fair, I haven't seen it yet. So it's behind the science room, huh? That's it. I'm gonna go looking. Hmm. Guess that nap did her some good. <sighs> I don't see it anywhere. Where could it be? Whenever I think about him, my heart starts racing. It's like love at first sight. If I said that, would he laugh at me? Oh! I found you! Hi, kitty! What are you doing hiding back here? Huh? Where'd it go? But why? Don't act like you don't know. It's Kurabe-kun with Amiguchi-kun. We have something here. Amiguchi-kun, this isn't like you. Just listen, okay? This is a first for me, too. You feel it, right? <sighs> I want to pursue this with you. Please. I don't know. It's just... Huh? Fuyusaka-san? <laughs> what is she doing here? I... Uh, mm -hmm. I think as long as you love each other, it's okay. What? Don't mind me! Bye! Wait! There seems to have been a misunderstanding. <laughs> Me and this guy? Dating? <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. We were just talking about something. Yeah, the strange dreams we've been having. Dreams? So, you guys know each other? She sits in front of me in class. Yeah. Every day, I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. So, what are these dreams? Well, lately, it's been a lot of crazy stuff. Different every time. I don't even think they're in chronological order. But they do seem related. Hmm. Weird thing is, same goes for this guy. It's like we're seeing the same stuff. The more he tells me, the more I think it all lines up. Makes you think our dreams are connected. Maybe we've just seen too many movies. I guess we do have that in common. We first met at that video rental joint, after all. Still, I can't help but think it's something else. Like, I don't know, telepathy? If not that, maybe it's a vision of the future. The future? Anyway, I'm just saying. Whenever we dream this stuff, we should compare notes. Hmm. I know it sounds crazy. Do you believe us? Well, actually... 
I'm more surprised to hear that's all it was. Cause I thought... <laughs> Class is starting. We can talk more later. Let's go, Fuyusaka-san.
All right. Looks like they're starting to panic down there. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. That's weird. Someone changed the shifter's access key, huh? Not that it matters. Kiriko-san! Huh? So, you came after me, Hijiyama-kun. This has to be some misunderstanding. You can't be a spy, can you? Hmm. Sounds like the professor, all right. Why did you run off? The military's looking for you. They think you stole some kind of intel. But you're the professor's daughter. You can't be a spy. It doesn't make sense. Sorry to break it to you. I'm not his daughter. The real Kiriko Doji is still over in Tokyo. What? But the whole spy thing's kind of a stretch. I don't need to steal any secrets on the Sentinels. I'm the one who built them, after all. Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... Professor Doji led the Sentinel project for her efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? What are you talking about? What happened to you? That's about what I figured you'd say. If you're not the real Kiriko, then... Then who are you? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Or maybe... This really isn't about who I am. Maybe it's just about what you feel towards me. I... Uh, <sighs> I'm not sure I believe this. You built them? Yeah, that was me. I drew up the designs in an editor. Then I just had to send the order into an automated factory. But that's... No, you're probably just confused, that's all. I even implanted the linking component into your head. Though you wouldn't remember, of course. Anesthesia and all. When you came to the factory, you said you were there on behalf of the professor. It was as good a cover story as any. You're kind of a simple guy. There's something about you, though. What are you even saying? I'm saying... I'm gonna miss you. But my key just finished decrypting. <gasps> so, that's it. This is goodbye. <clears throat> Kiriko-san? She vanished? That's impossible. It was barely a moment. She can't have had time to run into the mountains. Where did Kiriko-san go? Oh, someone's coming. Oh, he's the one who snuck into the factory. There's something fishy about him. But... If he's working with her, then he might know where she's gone. I'll hide behind a tree and see what he's up to. Tokisaka Shrine, huh? If this log is right, Okino just crossed over. Might still catch up if I'm fast. Coordinates read Sector 4 in the year 1984. Give it up. There's nowhere to run. Hijiyama. 
So you're the spy. But there's no escaping me now. <sighs> what are you doing here? If I told you, you'd laugh in my face. Answer me, or I'll do more than laugh at you. I'm going to time travel to another era. Is that a joke? Or are you just insane? <sighs> He's just playing games with me. Time travel? Really? This is reality, not some petty dreadful. You're going to time travel, huh? Try a better story next time. This Kiriko Doji of yours? He did it himself, just moments ago. Escaped from here, into the future. Kiriko Doji. You know Kiriko Doji? Yeah. I knew it. Though that wasn't actually her, of course. Is that really true? She said something along those lines, too. She, huh? Must have been pretty convincing, then. His real name is Tsukasa Okino. He wears that stuff for his own reasons. What? Don't joke about that! You're just trying to confuse me! This can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This Tsukasa Okino? I'm not falling for your lies. I don't have time for this. Step back. I'm going after him. Well... So you do know where she went. Where? Show me. You don't want to get caught in this shift. Keep your distance. Right. Your time travel. I'd like to see you try it. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Starting to think he ain't gonna show. He knows you'd beat his ass, watching my son. Probably shit in his pants right now. Turned tail and ran, huh? Guess he didn't have the balls after all. Whoa, hold it. What? I said hold it! Noodles stir-fried in sauce, and folded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post-war world. But if there's one exception, it's my yakisoba pan. Don't give me that shit. Nearly knocked my friggin' arm out of its socket. You wanna apologize? Oh, did I hit you? Sorry about that. You're sorry? Sorry don't pay my goddamn hospital bills. So? I don't have money, if that's what you're after. Wait, Wajima-san, I heard about him. People been talking about this guy. He's the one who's been snatching all the jackets. The hell? Wait, yeah. This guy's wearing one of our uniforms. Oh, so you know the guy who owned this. I don't have any relatives around. I'm basically homeless at the moment. So the clothes and the cash were a really big help. He was a generous guy. Tell him I said thanks. Take care. Hey! Don't you walk away! Come on! <sighs> My yakisoba pun! I didn't even get a single bite! You just made a big mistake, punk. You got a problem with me, buddy? You're the one who's about to have a problem. You heard him, boys. Sick him. Uh, 
Stop! We're sorry! Look, we'll get you another snack, man. I've got no mercy for people who waste food. Especially Yaki Soba Pond. What the hell happened? I thought you called me up for a fight, Wajima. Someone want to tell me what I missed here? And who are you? A friend of theirs? I'm Nenji Ogata from Sakura High. I didn't ask you to fight my battles, pal. Wait, it's you. You're that jacket snatcher. Uh, Hijiyama or something. Takatoshi Hijiyama. At your service. I told them I didn't need the help. But they wouldn't take no for an answer. Yeah, I'll bet. Drop the tough guy act already. I could say the same thing. Don't go picking fights you can't win. I've heard enough, douchebag. And you owe me a fight. Come at me. Well, you're gonna regret it. <gasps> Come at me. Bring it! What the... Well, look at this. I guess you fit right in here in the 80s. Here I figured I'd have to check up on you. What? I know that voice. And that face. Wait! Oh no. I came for a fight, and I'm getting one. Out of my way, damn it! Looks like it's almost dawn. This is about where I last saw him. He has to be close by. That bastard kicked like a horse. Pretty tough for a thug. He almost had me for a moment there. Looks like it's locked. Guess you found me. Kiriko-san. Were you looking for me all night? Still as reckless as ever, huh? <clears throat> Don't try to talk around it. I... I know who you are under those clothes. I figured you'd be here soon, so... Got some breakfast for you, too. Half a year I've been searching for you. Half a year, thinking of what I'd say to your face. I got you some yakisoba pon. You didn't get any yesterday, right? You got yakisoba pon for me? Hey, look, that, that's not the point! Take me back to my own time. We're going, whether you like it or not. And if I say no? What'll you do? Push me over? Pin me down? I would never! Besides, you're a man, aren't you? Why don't you find out? Uh... This can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This Tsukasa Okino? So you're actually Tsukasa Okino. Why do you wear women's clothes? Doesn't feel great to hear you say it like that. You weren't complaining when you confessed to me. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not exactly the picture of masculinity anyway. Better than trying to pass as some militant with a buzz cut. So why are you dressed like that now? Because I know you like it. Uh, oh. You're a funny guy, Hijiyama-kun. <clears throat> let's say some binaries work for me and others don't. This lets me hide the fact that I'm even alive. 
go ahead. I'll hear you out. Well? Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? Why disguise yourself as Kiriko-san? Even convincing everyone you were a girl? Professor Doji thought it'd be a good idea. See, he's... Well, all Shikishima's tech really began with him. Shikishima made incredible strides after the war. And a lot of that was thanks to his work. Though it didn't hurt that I taught him about his future's technology. But why? Why would you make that deal with him? For the Sentinel. Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... So what did you plan to do with the Sentinel? It was an accident that it showed up at all. It was never meant to be there. I mean, come on. You've seen it. You think they could make that back in the 1940s? Even here in the 80s, it's out of our league. That's not human craftsmanship. It was made in the future, in an automated factory. Let me put it in layman's terms. There was an incident, and it got broken. Our goal was to fix it there so it could fight again. But wasn't it meant to be used against the USA? Uh... Then who or what was it made to fight? Never mind. I have to get back, no matter what. If we can finish the Sentinel Project, we can win the war. You're a good guy, but kind of an open book, you know that? Say whatever you want. I don't care who you really are anymore. Just get me home. I know about the air raids, and Okinawa, Hiroshima, Nagasaki. I can't just let those attacks happen. I can't let those people die. So you did some reading in the history section. Between all the manual labor you've been doing, and your living conditions, or, well, lack thereof. You're a lot more determined than I expected. You've been keeping tabs on me. I do have one suggestion. There's something I still need to do. And that something is here in 1985. I just need you to wait until that's finished. Actually, I'd really appreciate your help with it. It does involve you, after all. When it's finally all over, then you can ask me to do whatever you want. How's that sound? Anything I want? No, I... What I want is to go back to my own time. If you're sure. Still, think it over. My base is over there on the second floor. Where are you going? I'm wearing the uniform. Where do you think? Oh, right. Your yakisoba pawns on the desk inside. <sighs> wow, was that your stomach? You haven't eaten anything since yesterday, huh? Go ahead. The door's unlocked. You can't trick me with food. I'm not an animal. Stop being stubborn and go get some breakfast. Where'd he go now? Maybe he really was just manipulating me. Well, it is Yakisoba Pan. Not much I could do. Well, as long as I've got it. <clears throat> so good. The sauce is so sweet, yet so spicy. 
in that uniform he's probably going to school but what's he trying to accomplish there for now i should find okino again it won't do me any good if he slips away i might as well check my old school
This is Renya Gotau. You were one of the compatible pilots from Sector 5. Who are you communicating with? I'd really rather not deal with this. Don't tell him, Hijiyama-kun. No one. I'm fighting solo. Sentinel signals detected. Sentinels are being activated in another location. Number 17 and number 19. Just how many Sentinels are online now? Minami-san. Nachan. What are you guys talking about so seriously over here? N nothing really. Just talking about what our dreams were last night. Oh yeah? Anything interesting? Not especially. Just wondering about stuff. Like if dreams are influenced by the movies we see. Oh yeah. That video you asked for the other day. I was just about to bring it to you. No way! Yes! This is it! Thanks a bunch! I was super bummed, you know. I couldn't record last week's UFO Mysteries. That baseball game was going on for freaking ever. A special series airing on TV. All about the latest UFO discoveries. I'm so glad I got a recording of it. I haven't watched the video you lent me yesterday yet. Come on! You gotta watch EXT! It's a classic. I saw it in the theater three times at least. You can't talk about aliens without seeing that movie. I don't really intend on talking about aliens anyway. Thanks for recording this. No problem. An alien stranded on Earth establishes a bond with a young boy in this sci-fi movie. It's a real 1982 classic. Bet you're thinking, here she goes about those UFOs again. <laughs> no, not at all. You'd be the same if you watched this. They're already here on Earth, you know. Yeah, they look like octopuses and want to destroy us all, right? No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. That's from a book. You're thinking of the War of the Worlds. <laughs> oh, Nachan. There's no stopping you once you get going on this stuff. Just watch. One of these days, I'll work for NASA. And I'm gonna find a real alien. You're gonna have to get better grades in science, then. Oh, man. You're right. A classic sci-fi novel by that one famous writer. It features Martians that look like octopuses. They have three-legged weapons called tripods. And use them to invade the Earth. I'll get this back to you soon. Take your time. See you guys. Bye. See you later. Fuyasaka-san, hmm. we have to go to the audio-visual room. <laughs> oh, that's so right. stoked. Everyone's already there. Gonna pop I in my headphones, turn off all the lights. Yuki-chan. Yuki-chan. Huh. You still haven't gotten your new uniform yet? Oh. Yeah, who the hell knows? But never mind that. What are you smiling about? Something good on that videotape? Oh, this? <laughs> okay, okay. It's a recording of a TV show on UFOs. A friend let me borrow it. <laughs> that explains it. Glad to see Dr. Space is still alive and well. I'm weird, aren't I? Of 
course not. It makes me happy, actually. To know you're still my notch on. <laughs> but maybe don't call me Dr. Space anymore. We've outgrown our kid nicknames, don't you think? <laughs> Whatever you say. Well, if it isn't Takamiya. Oh, Gata. So that Kuri gang you beat up, they're hanging around our school now. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> what are you, my mom? Huh? I'm no damsel in distress. I can take care of my own shit. So beat it, pinhead. What did you say to me? Okay, chill out, Ogata-kun. You don't need to start a fight in the middle of the hallway. I didn't start anything. She's the one walking around here like she owns the place. Come on, you too, Yuki-chan. <laughs> Fine. Sorry, Nachan. <laughs> what the? Well, that was anticlimactic. Yuki-chan. <laughs> Don't worry. That stuff happens all the time to me. Oh, by the way, can I come watch you practice again today? Sure. There's the bell. Better get back to class. See you soon. Not to know. <laughs> Get a better time today? Oh. Well, it was kinda windy today. Running against it and all, you know how it is. <laughs> hey, first year! What's up, Senpai? Me and the manager have to go and talk to the teacher. There's things to discuss about the next meet. Sorry, but could you handle the cleanup today? Okay. Huh? Where did everybody go? Am I the only one still here? Hmm? Another suspicious looking man. I saw a couple of them in the schoolyard, too. I wonder what they're doing here. Seems like they're looking for something. Men dressed in black suits. <gasps> Wait a minute! Could they really be... men in black? An organization that monitors alien activity. Maybe... There's a UFO that's landed near here. A lone alien left behind by a UFO being pursued by relentless men in black. Its only hope is to be rescued by one chosen Earthling. Man, what a story that would be. Whoa! Sheesh, watch where you're going. Haven't seen that uniform before. Wonder what school he goes to. I'd better hurry and get on with the cleanup. Don't want Senpai to get mad. Okay, let's do this! <sighs> Finally done. Uh, I'm too tired to change. Maybe I'll just go home in my gym clothes. Uh, I am pretty sweaty. Uh, what was that? Uh, something's in there. Uh... Wait... What if... 
What's going on? What? They're a pervert in here? <laughs> Still totally dressed. Hey, what the heck? What are you doing barging into the girls' locker room? I heard you scream. I was just coming to help. Plus, all those creeps in black suits? Been seeing them everywhere. So, uh, I thought... You're the only creep around here, you moron! Get out of here already! Damn, try to do something nice around here. Um... Hey there... <laughs> this is wild! No way. It talks. Oh, man. This is just like the movies. Secret agents rumored to deal in the extraordinary and silencing those who witness UFOs. They call the men in black. No one really knows much else. An alien? Are you an alien from space? Oh my god. I'm the chosen one! Hey there, little guy. Oh, did I scare you? It's okay. I'm your friend. Hmm. Can you understand me? You and I are friends. <gasps> it worked. Okay, stay calm. Welcome to Earth. I can't believe this is really happening. My dream is finally coming true. Yes, it all makes sense. Those black suits all over campus? It's just like that one movie. They must be here to capture this alien. The thing they were looking for, this explains it. And that means I must protect him. BJ? Is that your name? My name is Natsuno. In our lawsuit, our code matched. Hmm? Huh? Natsuno. Yeah! That's me! His name is BJ. His mission was to protect Earth from other evil aliens. I don't mean to be rude. But, is that a spacesuit you're wearing? Like, is your brain inside of a jar or something? Natsuno. Need memory cell. That's amazing, BJ! Where'd you learn how to speak my language? Go to gate. Gate? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. But it's okay. I've seen the movie. You need to call your home planet, right? And then, a UFO is going to come and rescue you. Don't worry. I'm going to help you. Search gate. Wow. This technology is crazy. You want to go there? I know exactly where that is. It's a shrine near school. Whoa, wait! You can't just go walking out like that. The black suits would spot you in a second. The location BJ pointed out on the map. It's a shrine nearby the school. I can get him there, but I'll have to hide him in something.
My PE bag. Yeah, this'll do the trick. A bag given out by the school. It can fit more than it looks. Hmm. Maybe he can fit in here too. Sorry about the tight fit. Nah, -uh. you gotta keep your head down. I'll get you to where you need to go. Just hang tight, okay? <sighs> okay, doesn't seem like we were followed. This is it, Toki Saka Shrine. This place has been here forever. A pretty good hiding place too, now that I think about it. I mean, who would have thought somewhere like this was really a hub of extraterrestrial alien activity? Hmm. All right. We're here, BJ. Whoa! What is all this? So bright. Are these holograms? Access code approved. I've never seen anything like this. Except in the freaking movies! Designating sector. Wow! This is awesome, DJ! Oh man, you're really gonna... Getting pretty crazy even by dream standards. One second we're at the shrine, then we're surrounded by this weird light. And now we're in this place? What the heck happened to this city? It looks like there was a war. Ah, there's more? The government has released a statement at 5.40 p.m. Japan time. Communications with major cities around the world have not yet been restored. It is likely that these cities have also come under attack by the same unknown enemy that has besieged Japan. Domestically, multiple locales are reporting serious damages. Currently, the unknown enemy has made landfall, swarming a large area across the bay. They are now thought to be headed in the direction of Kasumicho in Sakura Ward. That was news footage. Wait, no. That's near our school. Is this... Are we in my town? I need to know more. It's hard to see here, but we have to understand. What can only be described as monsters have descended upon our town. It's quite difficult to comprehend. I see five, six, seven. No, there's more every time I look. What are they? Some say we are finally witnessing a takeover of aliens from space. Could this really be the end of humanity? Will our species not live to see past 2064? <sighs> They're nearly upon us. To all of you watching, good luck. 2064? We're in the future? 80 years to be exact. This can't be real. Can it? Hey, where are you going? Oh. 
one extra leg, but they're just like the tripods. Weapons used by aliens to invade Earth. And now they're destroying my home. Is this really happening? Was Earth really attacked by aliens? Do they want to destroy humanity? BJ, why? Why did we come here? Search. Let me go. Yeah, I know, but what is that? You're looking for this? Sentinel. Sentinel number 17. Do we attack? 
Wait, I think we have new enemies inbound. Actually, isn't that... Sentinels number 13 and 15? Are they friendly? We're activating Aegis. This terminal will close soon. What? Juro kun You're in a Sentinel too? It is you, Nachan! We're here to help! No way! You too, Yuri? What's going on? Thank you, Juro kun I couldn't have asked for better support. We have to defend the terminal until the systems activate. Nachan, let's do this together! Aegis has been activated. Terminal's been closed. I can't see any more kaiju around. Is that it? Did we beat them? Looks like it. No. This is still just the beginning. If they can't use this terminal, they'll just move on to the next one. If that's true, the more targets they lose, the more desperate our enemies will get, and the harder they'll fight. Yeah. These battles are only going to get tougher. Seriously? Yes? usually a good shortcut, but it is so gross today. Muddy as heck. My shoes are soaked. Hmm. What's up? You look bummed. It's nothing. Thinking about how no one talks to you again? Is that what's got you down? It's just because you're so quiet, Megami. People take that as you thinking you're better than them. Or that you're cold and distant. Not sure which is worse. They just need to get to know the real Megami. The one who's a hopeless romantic. And a cool, laid-back girl just like everyone else. Maybe then they'd have an easier time talking to you. Hey, you should try posting videos online like me. It could really help you come out of your shell. I think I'll pass. <laughs> you really are great at singing, Tommy. You watched my Inaba rabbit video? Mm-hmm. I never knew you were so talented. <laughs> well, you're in luck. I'm posting a new one when I get home. Did you see that? There was a light. I saw it in the water. Probably just a car headlight. got blown away. What a drag. Holy crap. We could have totally died just now. What even is that thing? Could it be a piece of an airplane? No, that's not it. But what then? Oh, this is wild. I gotta document this. Oh no, where'd my phone go? A light. A 
and it's moving? Uh, this seems dangerous. What if it, like, blows up? We gotta report this to the police. Uh, right. out of nowhere what the you saw it too right where did he come from uh um are you all right <sighs> where am i no when am i when well, today is October... No. The year. What year is it right now? Oh, it's... 2024. <sighs> 2024. I must have been forcefully shifted here. The front line's been broken. <sighs> it's over. It's all over. Um, should I call an ambulance? Uh, who are you? Oh, um, I'm just from the school nearby. No. Then that means this place is next. I'm Juro Izumi, and I've come from the future. This timeline, they're coming. <sighs> A cat. Oh, it looks so fluffy. Come here, Fluffy. Oh. Are you all right? You look a little lost. I was just thinking. In 1985, the West Building doesn't even exist yet. Oh. Churro. I needed to see you. Just one last time. One last time? They're coming. And number 13 is the only one that can still fight. I have to go. N no you can't. They won't let you. Taking back that robot, trying to fight by yourself. It's not a good plan, Juro. You couldn't defeat them even with all your friends. It's true. I don't know if I'll be able to protect you all. But I can't do nothing. But you haven't even recovered yet. Megami, I really am grateful to you. So, this is goodbye? Uh, I hope that it's not, but... Megami, this is bad. Uh, Juro Izumi. They're here, just like you said they would be. And now monsters are flooding the port in droves. Right. Megumi, tell me. I've told a woman named Morimura about you. When the time comes, you must listen to what she says. Yakushiji-san? <gasps> I need you to stay focused. Miss Morimura, how is Juro doing? You must forget about Juro Izumi. The Juro you knew no longer exists. There was nothing else we could do. 
From now on, you cannot go near him. But... It's for his own good. No, wait! <gasps> Juro! Huh? This is the school you attend. It is? How about we head back to the nurse's office now? It's important to take your medicine, you know. Stop. You have to stay away. He's Juro Karabe now. Not Juro Izumi. I don't understand. He is not the same person. Giving him a new identity was the only way to save him. That can't be possible. It was the only way. I'm sure he would agree it had to be done. So for now, you need to stay away. At this point, he is still very unstable. Trust me, you're doing this for him. Not a kitty. B what? All right, settle down. No need to make a scene. People are gonna start to think you're crazy. That cat just talked to me. I wasn't imagining it. This cat is talking to me. That's stupid. Cats can't talk. You might want to try thinking before you speak. Aren't you supposed to be smart, Megumi Yakushiji? How do you know my name? I know everything about you. You're the one who called me, after all. I... did? Yes. And now I'm here to grant you your wish. Your wish to save Juro Izumi. <gasps> Looks like I hit the nerve. So yeah, I can do it. I can get his memories back. Don't believe me? Oh, of course you wouldn't. It does sound too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, I don't go around granting wishes for free. In exchange, I need you to do something for me. After you agreed to a binding contract, that is. Hmm. Assuming this isn't a dream, or a hallucination, or some kind of cruel joke, what exactly would I need to do for you? I come from another world, one that was destroyed. Destroyed by a relic of an ancient civilization. It is called the Daimos Code. Ugh. It spreads like a nasty curse, and has begun to infect this world, too. I must find all the codes and set things right again. That is my mission. And the new big deal, Jobby, you get to do. If it's so easy, why don't you just do it yourself? You're not serious, are you? In case you haven't noticed, I'm a cat. You really want to leave the fate of the world to a cat? I don't even have thumbs. If I screw up, you're dead too. You're only damning yourself if you refuse. If I told anyone about this, they'd laugh and call me crazy. I'm sorry, but this all just seems so impossible. There's nothing impossible about it. A contract with a cat. 
are you gonna turn me into a magical girl or something? Well, I am curious to see what this is all really about. And more importantly, who's behind it? I can come play with you for a bit after school, okay? Just cause you're so cute. Sure, make fun. Just the fate of the world that's at stake. There's nothing impossible about it. <sighs> All right, I'll give you some time to think about it. I suppose it's a good thing you're skeptical. Instead of some idiot who believes everything she hears. Make no mistake. You will accept my contract. It's just a matter of time. Uh. Uh. If it really is true, and there is a way to bring back Juro, then I'd make a deal with the devil if I had to.
that's the gang from Curry High. What's going on there? I'm done talking. Hey, Wajima. Trying to get a date? Amiguchi. Got nothing to do with you. Get out of here. Threatening a girl? Not a good look, man. You think these chumps are a threat to me? Really? Just another pack of posers. What? Gotta call in your punk friends to take me on? He ain't with us. Otherwise known as Tack of Curry High. One of the top dogs in the gang at Nigakuri Industrial School. You stay out of this. Sorry, but you know I'm always on the lady's side. You think she's gonna fall for that shit? That's Takamiya from Suzu High. Wait, the gang leader? The one who beat all you guys up? No way! I only trashed three of these clowns. Now it's payback time. Can't let some chick get away with disrespecting us. We got a reputation. How you doing? The name's Amiguchi. Back off, lover boy. Still running that mouth. Now come on. Bad move. Hey, cut that out. Last time I'm gonna say it, Amiguchi. Walk away. You seriously just... Newsflash, buddy. I can't walk away from a cutie in trouble. Amiguchi! Time to go. Follow me. Hey. You gonna be okay after that? What do you mean? Wajima, man. You know that guy's an amateur boxer, right? My days are numbered, huh? Well, do I get a last wish, Takamiya-san? Because I gotta say, I'd love to know your first name. Ugh, does this guy hear himself? What? Sorry, you're gonna have to speak up. It's Yuki. Yuki Takamiya. I'm Shu Emiguchi from Sakura. Huh? What's up? That's where I'm transferring to. You're kidding! Well, hey, that means it's gotta be destiny. You wanna go get a drink somewhere? I'm good. You can just let me off. I got places to be. Well, I'll drive you. I'll take the train. Really, it's fine. Where am I headed? Take a hint, man. The crosswalk in front of the Shikishima building in Aoi. I know it. Gogyo Street, right? Big commercial district? What, you got a part-time job? Look, you want to make this an interrogation. I'm getting off. Ah. Oh. Okay, you win. I'll save the questions for later. Just hang on tight. We're going full throttle. Thanks for the ride, I guess. But your driving sucks, man. Hey, uh... You got a boyfriend? Oh, it, hell no! Oh. Cool. When do you start school? I'm transferring next week. Can't wait. Man, she's cute. Bombshell like that, sending those curry guys to the hospital? I've never met anyone like her before. I just might have fallen for her. Shikishima building. 
Shikishima Industries. They're the ones who make ships and planes, right? What's our school nurse doing in there? Guess that's it for the Type 98 bipeds. Turned out to be pretty useless in close combat. Wish I'd had some arms. Maybe then we'd stand a chance. Yeah, a big metal weaponized punching arm. Would've been great. Hopefully Kisaragi-san and the others managed to escape. As long as they got to the shifter gate, they should be okay. You realize how far we are from that gate? Too far for us to make it. Don't give up yet. Can you check that 98 over there? Pop the maintenance hatch. We're not out of options yet. You really think there's a point in fighting anymore? Not fighting. Escaping. <sighs> right. It was through shifting that we got the 98s into this era. So it could be linked to a shifter. It might just get us out of here. I've already input the shift coordinates. You disengage the auto control and switch to manual. Where are you going? We're going to need more power if we want to jump. I'll see if we can get it out of the downed 98. A direct feed, huh? Looks okay. Basically everything's operational aside from the legs. Things are getting bad out here. They've taken the last mainframe. We've lost. But it's not over yet. Listen. I've got just enough power to send you. As soon as the system's ready, you need to shift. What are you saying? No time left. Can't make it back. Sixteen years ago, I'll be on Sumire Bridge. Find me and tell me everything. Next time, Ida-kun. I know you'll find a way. <gasps> Miss Morimura! Definitely not how she usually looks. But I know that was Ms. Morimura. Huh. A giant mecha, a ruined city, and a gorgeous teacher in a cat suit. Jeez, like a kid who's been watching too much anime. <sighs> but man, I still remember how the ground felt under my feet. That felt way too real. Huh. Did I leave the TV on? Kinda late for a music show. I feel like I recognize those lyrics, too. Oh, she's that new idol. Been getting big lately. How'd it turn itself back on? broken. Finally. I finally found you. Now it's a drama. Late night TV gets weird. I've been looking for you for so long. Please help me. Shu Amiguchi. <gasps> You're the only one I can turn to, Shukun. What the heck? Is this a hidden camera thing? No. This is no TV show. Shukun, I'm talking to you through the TV. Please, 
save me. Calm down, Yuki-chan. We've got Kaiju on all sides here. I don't take orders from you. I gotta find Nachan. Wait, something's coming up. It's a sentinel. Number 22? Number 22, advancing. Two aerial models, which means Amiguchi and Takamiya, I presume. Ugh, it's just Goto. We're going to have the terminal defend itself. I'll need your help. Screw you, buddy. Do it yourself. If I don't find Nachan fast... There! I finally got through! Yuki-chan, it's me! Nachan! I'm glad you're safe. Wait, you got in? I thought I told you that thing was dangerous. Just hold on. I'm on my way. What? No! No, you stay back where it's safe. We got buttloads of kaiju over here. Damn it. Goto, we gotta do something, now. Glad to hear you're feeling so cooperative. I see things in the air. Are those enemies too? I've confirmed their position. Those are aerial daimos called hunters. Great. We got flyers now? They specialize in aerial mobility, much like our fourth generation sentinels. Melee attacks won't reach them. We can't rely on ground-based missiles either. Kind of short on anti-air options here. Amiguchi-kun, just collect the metachips. They can expand our mech's functions and unlock new weapons. How about you guys handle this tech stuff, and I just kick the shit out of them? Oh boy, we all better watch out for her. They're splitting up. Some of those guys look pretty tough. Okay, there's a lot of them, but as long as we stay cool and stick to the plan... These clowns are gonna need more than numbers to take me down. You want a piece of me, shitheads? Come and get it! <sighs> the hell just happened? Aegis activation confirmed. This area's terminal has been shut down. Wow! Did you see that, Yuki-chan? That UFO must have some unbelievable power! Calm down, Amiguchi. We still gotta meet up with Nachan. Calm down, she says. Like she wasn't the one raging out a second ago. know who I am, don't you? That's why you've been following me. Of course I do. You can't escape us, eh, Sekigahara? Sekigahara? What do you want from me? Tell me! Uh, guess you have a death wish. Wait! It's because... you came from another dimension. Another dimension? Enough with the games. Tell me the truth. Resistance is futile. Surrender now, or else. If you won't answer my questions, then talking to you is what's futile. <laughs> Another dimension. Could that really be true? Even if it is, there's no way I'd be able to tell. My memories, they're gone. Hey, Sekigahara. It's no use, I can't remember anything. But that's what he called me. It has to mean something. Phaser. I should have two or three shots left if I can serve power. This gun does feel a bit out of the ordinary. Could it really be from another dimension? Doesn't look like he brought any backup. 
Guess he's my only pursuer for now. Good. He's still alive. I made sure to set it to stun, not kill. Just who are these guys? Hmm. Maybe he has something on him that'll give me a clue. Just a pair of handcuffs in his pocket. And... Some old communication device? It's huge. All he has left on him is his wallet. You won't mind if I borrow these, will you? Nothing in here but cash. Might as well put it to good use. I haven't eaten a thing in two days, after all. Hang on. This is strange. The designs on these bills look completely different. There's even a 500 yen bill. Aren't those out of print? And these coins are from back in the Showa era. Communication device. I'd better not use this here. Its range looks to be only one or two kilometers. That means his little friends can't be too far. If I mess with it now, they'll know I'm nearby. Public transit is too risky. It's likely under surveillance. It might be safest to travel along the river. But before that, I should really get something to eat. Two days ago, I woke up in that alley. My memory's gone. Since then, I've been on the run non-stop. Where am I? How did I get here? I can't remember anything. What is this? Some kind of gun? Why would I have something like this? Is this thing real? Why would I be carrying a weapon? Everything is a complete blank. Why am I here? I don't even remember my own name. Hey, miss. Are you okay? <gasps> she isn't breathing. I wonder... What happened here? It's no use. I still can't remember anything. <sighs> Is it possible that I did this? Looks like she's bleeding from the abdomen. Based on this evidence, the gun appears to be the most likely cause of death. Is it possible this woman and I know each other? All I know is I woke up next to her with a gun in my hand. Was I the one who killed her? This is where I woke up. Did I miss anything? Pills? It's highly likely these belong to me. All right. I should see if that woman has anything useful on her. It might serve as a clue to what happened here. Oral NM C0204 is printed on the label. The bottle's made of plastic. There's nothing inside. There's something in her skirt pocket piece of paper with numbers written on it. Are there any other clues around here? The note says 4436853214. What could it mean? A password of some sort? She has nothing else on her. There's nothing else here. Oh, I haven't checked my own pockets yet. Let's see. An ID card. 
A student ID, to be specific. And... A key. But to what? There's an emblem on it. Maybe it's a car key? ID card. This appears to be someone else's student ID. Sakura High School, Class 1B. Iori Fuyusaka. Fuyusaka... Her face does look familiar, but I can't remember how I know her. It's uncanny, though. Almost like she's important to me, in one way or another. Someone dropped an envelope here. Could it have something to do with that woman? Whatever's inside seems to have stayed dry. There's nothing written on the envelope. Some documents are inside. ID card. It's a student ID from Sakura High School. It appears to belong to a Iori Fuyusa. There's a note and what looks like a personnel file inside. Chihiro Morimura. Occupation, teacher. There are instructions written on the note. If capture is not possible, then shoot to kill. A note that was included with the files on Morimura. It says, if capture is not possible, then shoot to kill. Morimura's files. Chihiro Morimura, 31. Sakura High School nurse. A key member of Shikishima's weapon development team. Chihiro Morimura, 31. Sakura High School nurse. A key member of Shik... Chihiro Morimura. There's no doubt about it. That's who this woman is. Well, was. This is the place. Let's see what we can find. Someone's coming. I won't be able to talk my way out of this one. I need to get out of here before they see me. Check down this back alley, too. Oh, they've got me surrounded. I need to hide. What a mess. Where'd that boy run off to? He has a gun. We'd best proceed with caution. We're authorized to use deadly force if necessary. Yes. We need to clean this up quickly. If he gets away again, we're in deep shit. Let's contact HQ and tell them we're on it. I'll leave that to you. We'll monitor public transit. He can't have gone far. Sounds like I'm the one they're after. Then that means... I must be their culprit. Why can't I remember? No time for that now. I can't let myself be captured. At least until I figure this all out for myself. What do I do now? If I don't get my memories back, what'll happen to me? Hey. Did you... need something? You stick out like a sore thumb in this part of town. Get yourself somewhere with lots of people. I still don't know how they do it. But they're able to track your general location. Wait, who are you? I'm here to return the package I borrowed from you. A package? Yeah, I left it over there. said this belongs to me? Hello. I can't imagine how seeing this must make you feel. 
Forgive me for the theatrics. I didn't have much choice. I'm sure you've noticed by now. My name is A. Sekigahara. I knew. If everything went according to plan, then I'm talking to myself, but with no memories. We don't have much time, so I'm only telling you what you need to know. This is not your world. You're a human from another dimension. This place you're in right now, your stay here was intended to be temporary. But there was an accident. A very grave one. And now many people are unable to return home. I... Well, you are stuck here as well. <sighs> but don't give up yet. There's still a way back. Unfortunately, I can't tell you here. You understand now, don't you? If they see this recording, they'll know. So I've hidden the information you need elsewhere. Its location is known only to me. You must find it. And don't get caught. If you do, there'll be no escape. You have to trust me. I only hope you make the right choice. supposed to believe all that still it does line up with what those men in black were saying first things first I need to get out of here if what that girl said is true then I'm not safe here Easy there, Hijiyama-kun. 
Don't easy there, me. I'm trying to lead the charge. I just want to go over something before the battle kicks off. Let's try improving the Sentinel. What, a refit? Right now? Sort of. This is one of the meta systems we managed to analyze. Basically, we can use those meta chips you earn in battle. With those, we can make some serious improvements to our armaments and the Sentinels themselves. You might even be able to make some brand new armaments on the fly. That's amazing, Okino. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Well, I haven't even tested it yet. I didn't have a way to confirm it. But hey, no time like the present. So let's give it a try. I hope we don't break it. So this is another part of the meta systems? This is a really impressive find. You're telling me these Sentinels can be even more powerful? Do we really have time for this? Um, I'm still not sure if I get it. Yeah, maybe this shit will make sense once I actually get to punch something. That should be enough. Even if there's something we forgot, there's no turning back now. Yeah, let's get going. Ow! Jeez! Walking in this thing is rough. I've got this weird pressure in my legs, like they're super cramped. It's not just me, right? All I can think about is how weird it is to see you in a robot, Usami-chan. I mean, I heard about the kind of dreams you've been having. It's super weird to me, too. But I kind of figured you might be involved in all this, too, Iori. At any rate, that would be the mech's nerve connection. The pain is because your nerves aren't used to it yet. More time in the pilot's seat will help condition your body. Eventually, you won't even notice it anymore. Well, a force of 13 Sentinels makes a formidable team, even accounting for the pilots' inexperience. But the assaults are gonna be a lot worse than the one on Sector 3. You're kidding. It'll be even worse than the attack on my city? Warning! Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. They're here. Eyes up, everyone. Looks like all the enemy signals are gone. How long you been sitting on that trick? Why can't we just do that to all of them? If it was that simple, we wouldn't be struggling. The Aegis can't activate unless they get close enough to the terminal. They're after the mainframe in the UFO underground. Their goal is to slip into terminals stationed in various positions across the UFO. If they seize control of the mainframe, our world is as good as gone. Our current situation demands a defensive approach. To keep the terminals safe, we have to rely on the Aegis. So what? The best we can hope for is to keep this one thing safe? Makes it sound like we're getting the shit kicked out of us. It's true. All we can hope for is to protect it to the end. Something messing with our heads. 
That's the operating limit of your Sentinel. You'll feel better once you're out. Piloting the Sentinel is an intensely demanding process. Using it puts massive pressure on your brain. You can't remain deployed for extended periods, or you start getting backlash. Don't overdo it. I'm not responsible if you end up decoupling your brain from your nanomachines. I suggest you get out of the Sentinel right now, unless you want to forget your entire life. Not exactly a user-friendly robot. Let's get out of these, Fuyusaka. Y yeah Look at it. It's like a tripod. Oh, that's a high quad. I just bought one earlier. It's basically just a huge crane though, right? Don't underestimate it. That thing's set with all kinds of weapons and defensive devices. The plasma cannon's what you need to watch out for. Sentinel armor doesn't stand a chance against it. But it's just a big dumb crane. Why'd they put all the weapons on it? Once they started facing resistance, they updated their designs, trying to match our own force. Wait, you mean those things only have weapons because the Sentinels showed up? Maybe. But we can still take them down. At least, we probably can. Keep it together. Everything will work out. How do you know that, Megumi? They're coming. Be careful. We're toast if we don't win here, right? So, let's get out there and fight back. Aegis activation confirmed. Damn it. The whole city's on fire. Is that how this is gonna go? Whether we win or lose, we're ruining thousands of people's lives? We have evacuation measures in place, but they're far from perfect, and the efforts still lack direction. We tried to reach out to governments and financial institutions through Shikishima, for all the good that did. What are we gonna do? Not fight back? This is all we can do if we want to save the world from these creeps. We've got kaiju signals popping up nearby another terminal. We got tons of civilians over there, thanks to all the highways being backed up. Come on, Miwako. Please tell me you didn't take a bus. Hey, maybe we could send a drone out to check on Miwako? On it. Worth a shot anyway. Hope my mom and dad made it out. I told them exactly what to do. is filled with RDX. Once the target's within blast range, the whole kaiju detonates. A single drum mine self-destructing could cause incredible damage to our sentinels. You know, that sounds like something we might be able to use. True. If we knock them away just before detonation, that could wipe out a whole swarm of kaiju at once. We use their own weapons against them. But is it really going to be that easy? Now you're talking. We'll give them a taste of their own damn medicine. I used to hang out there all the time back in middle school. Damn it. Hope everyone got out okay. It's never easy to see your own home up in flames. I know this must be hard. We're fighting to defend our homeland. We knew going in we wouldn't come out unscathed. Even if we win this fight, how many people are we gonna lose? Damn it! Is any of this city even gonna be left? Get a hold of yourself, Ogata. If we lose here, nobody makes it out alive. Even if it ends up tearing this city apart, what else can we do but fight back?
real enemy. And it's huge. Is that a bomber? You see that, Ogata? Looks familiar, right? Oh, that interstellar development stuff we saw. Back in the dead kaiju. Yeah. Can we get any more info out of the Sentinel computers? Wait, I think I've seen this. The command ship had some data on this trilobite guy. Hold on. Looks like we're seeing a Terra carrier. It's a transport craft for carrying resources. Okay, but what's it carrying? This thing's gotta be more than just a big-ass turnip truck. It says here it can take atmospheric movement and re-entry. The hull's surrounded by magnetic repulsion. A magnetic field? So, like, it'll deflect our shots? We don't know anything about its payload, but it seems hell-bent on delivering it. Whatever the hell it is, it ain't gonna be fun. Let's take it out before it can drop the goods. P.G. Amakun, use the Phase Plasma EMP. The flying kaiju will lose control and drop out of the sky. If you get surrounded, it's a good fallback. Good for me, but what about the city? Aegis activation confirmed. The terminal is now completely sealed off. We did it. They've changed targets. The next terminal is just over there. They're already on the move. Can't even let us catch our breath, huh? <sighs> I haven't hit my operating limit yet, but I'll be dismounting the Sentinel temporarily. Whoa, hey, then who's taking point? We don't need orders to kick some ass. Sentinel, activate! You can relax, kids. I'm back in the fight. I won't be long. I'll leave the rest to you. Fine then. Let's roll, Yuki-chan. Bad news, Juro. Amiguchi's gone missing again. Eddie's at the cafeteria. Get ready to head over. Are you thinking of crashing That's this place fine. again? Why not? Oh yeah, almost forgot. I never finished reading this. Is that this week's issue? Yep. Last week was a real cliffhanger. I'm dying to know what happens. Well then, allow me to explain. After all hell breaks loose, the main character just... Stop right there. One more word, and you're going on my shit list. <laughs> Didn't you want to go to Amiguchi-kun's house? Whoops. This is no time to be reading comics, huh? Let's head to the cafeteria. If we're too slow, we'll lose him. Shall Don't forget your bag. Together? Sorry, I have plans. Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but... He's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. We can't go to his place every single day. What if we're annoying him? Then let him be Crap. annoyed. I gotta get I going. I still get to play his games. I should head out too. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. Okay, it's not the I one you were looking for, but... <laughs> I found a little something else you've been wanting to see. You know, that hardcore foreign movie? Don't make it sound so creepy. It's just a sci-fi flick. I also taped the next episode of that drama series. The one where the alien runs away to Earth. Hmm. Is that the one where he teleports from the UFO to the bridge? Uh, oh, you've seen it already? I don't really remember watching it, but... I don't know. Maybe I did. In that movie, an alien's UFO breaks down. So he runs away to take refuge on Earth. There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. 
while I was taping that show, I remembered something else. I totally forgot last week they were airing UFO Wars on TV. I can't believe I missed it. Released in 1977, this was the first in a hit series from the United States. It's a dramatic sci-fi adventure taking place in a galaxy far, far away. Its popularity holds strong no matter how much time passes. I actually taped UFO Wars myself. Wanna borrow it? Oh, I'm in luck! The quality's not that great, though. I recorded it in EP mode. Jeez, get your hands on some better tapes. Hey, about Fuyasaka-san. I notice she always leaves during break time. Yeah? What about it? I'm just wondering where she goes all the time. Judging from what the other girls have been saying, she runs off to the nurse's office to take a nap. She's sleeping? What? You want to follow her to bed? Ah, come on, quit it. She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> It's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. Come to think of it, I saw Shiba-kun in a dream the other day. A pretty creepy one. Something about an android. Let's head to the cafeteria. If we're too slow, we'll lose him. Don't forget your bag. Oh, I forgot I had a flyer in there. The one for the Daimos movie. A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what would become a long-running series. Hey, remember the original Daimos movie I mentioned? Mighty Kaiju Daimos? They're showing it at the theater right now. Wanna go see it? Isn't that the crappy old theater by Tsutsuji Station? I'd rather rent it on video. Then we can watch it on Amiguchi's big TV. Cheaper, too. Not here either, huh? Well, crap. So much for gaming today. Think the girls might know where he is? Maybe they've seen him somewhere. I know you were eavesdropping earlier. You know, Kisaragi and the others. Did they mention him? Uh, I don't know. Huh? Oh, Jurokun! Hi, Minami-san. Uh... What's up? Well, uh... You know, about that guy. I'm just wondering how long he's planning to stay over. Ah, right. About that. Um... He's got a lot going on, you know? If you could let him stay a bit longer, I'd appreciate it. You're the best. Oh, would you look at the time? I've gotta go. Let's talk later, okay? Who's that chick? Minami-san, my neighbor. My grandma's pretty close with her family. You're looking pretty close yourself. What are you trying to <laughs> imply? This is a serious issue at home. I was supposed to have this free time to myself. Ah, so much for that. Ever since that day, my life's been turned upside down. I fell asleep.
Mmm. Smells good. Oh, you're up. Dinner's almost ready. Could you get the chopsticks? I fell asleep with the TV on. Thanks. Go ahead and place them at the table. Chopsticks for two. She probably didn't realize it, but these are matching chopsticks, like for a married couple. <sighs> that only makes me feel even more awkward. There we go. <laughs> it's like we're newlyweds or something. Okay, no. I'm not following that train of thought. I need to come up with a way to kick her out. Dinner's ready. Shall we start? You have bags under your eyes. It's because you stay up late watching movies every night. You need to get to bed early. We're the same age. Stop acting like you're my mom. Besides, I can't fall asleep even if I wanted to. Oh? Why not? Well, because... <laughs> you're here. Me? Have I done something wrong? Come on. We're a boy and a girl. Alone together? Puberty exists! Uh, are you trying to torture me? Hey, um... Uh, we really shouldn't be living together like this. Are you afraid of someone finding out? Well, that's part of it. Anyway, I want you out of here by next month. If you say so. Someone's here. Hide! Jeez. Jiro-kun! Are you home? Minami-san. Couldn't you have knocked first? Come on, your Granny Tamao and I are best buds. We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. Oh my god, Juro-kun! I didn't know you cooked! <laughs> so, uh, what's this favor you need? The favor is... Oh, Minami-san. I didn't know you lived so close. Did you really need to come out? You're Yagoshiji-san, our classmate? Wait, no way. Are you two... Do you need something from him? It's not what it looks like. This is just... You know... Natsuno-san? Oh, come on in. Pardon my interruption. <sighs> so this house is still standing. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. So, um, it's kinda complicated, but yeah. I need you to let him stay over for a few days. What? I understand you're Tamao-san's grandson. How do you know Minami-san? Come on, I know you have a spare room. Just let him stay until your granny's back. In exchange, I won't tell anyone you're living with a girl. That's not... The details don't matter. Just let him stay, all right? Thanks. See ya! Pardon me. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but... Are you hungry? Why don't you join us for dinner? <sighs> there goes my simple high school life. 
Things just keep getting weirder and weirder. Minami-san suddenly showed up at my house, and then brought over Miura-kun out of nowhere. As if I didn't have enough problems with Yakushiji around. I always dreamed of living on my own. So much for that. Guess we're out of options. Let's just go home. Bad news, Juro. Let me guess. He's prop. Thanks for making cool. Let's go. Oh yeah, um Usami-chan. I never finished re. Would you like to get crepes on our way home? I'd love to, but <gasps> I've kind of got somewhere to be. Hmm. Okay. Do you need something? Uh. Not really. Sorry. Chan, oh. you've been acting strange lately. Are you okay? You seem kind of stressed out. But you're just fine, right? Hey, I'm worried about you. Yuri Chan! Oops. <laughs> Shall we go home together? Sorry, I have plans. You too? Sorry, Miwa Chan. It's okay. I'll go home by myself. But first, I'll take a peek at Amiguchi kun. Okay, that's a little creepy. If you're looking for him, I just saw him by the vending machines. The break area? Yeah. Crap. I gotta get going. I should head out too. See you, Miwa chan. Later. Bye. I guess it's about that time. There are drink vending machines at the break area. It's located at the corner of the schoolyard. If what Fuyusaka-san said was right, we should be able to find Amiguchi-kun there. Hey, I think I know where Amiguchi-kun is. He's probably outside at the break area. Huh? You mean that place with the vending machines? Let's check it out. Amiguchi-kun. Ah! Oh. What's up? Could we hang out again today? You got it. Let's see... Why don't we go to your place this time? Wait, Juro's place? No! Don't you have the place to yourself right now? I want to check it out. It's true my grandma's away visiting relatives, but... His TV's a piece of junk. Well, right now... I have a... guest staying over. Things are a little awkward, so... Uh, sorry. It's just not a good time. Well, alright. Let's go to my place, then. That's my man! Thanks. Time is money. Let's go already.
It's already seven o'clock. Man, Amiguchi's place is the best. Any game you want to play, he's got it. He really is a rich kid, huh? I'm jealous. Ah, crap! Don't talk to me right now. You'll break my concentration. You said you wanted a drink, right? You cool with soda? Thanks, Amiguchi-kun. I can't see! Ah, just one more, okay? I need to try that again. If I die this time, I'll switch with you. <sighs> I can't... Ah, just one more, okay? I need to try that again. If I die this time, I'll switch with you. I can't see! It's getting dark. We should probably go get dinner soon. You're coming, right? My treat. You already paid for my ramen last time. I feel kind of bad. Then what? You want to call it a day? I can still tag along. I'll just pay for my own food. Damn. That means I've got to pay too. Oh. Did you watch the video? Hey, I'm not going to ignore a friend's recommendation. Did you already finish it? What did you think? Kind of a campy plot. You've got this mad scientist who loses his real body, so he builds a new body and sets out, bent on revenge. It was interesting, but definitely not for casuals. <laughs> for a B-movie? That just proves it's a masterpiece. Just one more, okay? I can't see. Whoa. What's up? Just learning something about you. I figured you were only really into Western music. Never thought you'd be into the idol scene. Miyuki Inaba. She's been really getting big lately, hasn't she? I mean, you know how it is. Just got curious. I'm getting hungry. Did you want to just grab dinner and go home? Actually, uh... Do you think I could stay a little longer? I'd really appreciate it. My old man's probably at his mistress's place again. And I'm all by myself here. Stay as long as you want. Thanks. Say, uh... Any specific reason you don't want to go home? Well, the person I'm living with is, uh... <sighs> I can't put the blame on her. I'm the one with the problem. If I'm around her too long, I might... Huh. Anyhow, wanna get food? We're leaving! Hold on, I'm almost done! We could swing by the video store, pick up something new to watch. Oh, speaking of, before I forget again, here you go. Is that the sequel to that sci-fi flick? All right, let's check it out when we get back. We can watch it together. I'm gonna have to pass. Oh, not in the mood for horror? That's not it. <sighs> Sorry, it's just... I think I've been watching too many movies lately. I'm getting kind of scared. I keep having weird dreams. Again? In the dream, I... I went insane. I killed everyone around me. Including Fuyusaka-san. And you. Ah. Uh. Yakushiji, too. So now I feel anxious whenever she's around. Uh, I'm scared. I might end up actually killing her.
Kasumi-san! Stop! Please! You killed everyone! How could you do such a thing? You... You came to the future for this? Whatever happened to protecting us? Ida... We had it all wrong. The true cause of this disaster was you. What? It's your nanomachines. You all have them. That's what's calling the Daimos here. As long as you kids are alive, the hordes will keep on coming until they've destroyed all time and space. You're lying. I'm sorry. This is the only way. No! No! I'm sorry, Yakushiji. The pain will only last for a moment. It's too late to back out now. I must kill my doubts and finish the job. In order to escape from this eternal cage, it must be done. The cause of this... was us? You're persistent, Ida. Don't worry. I'll put you out of your misery. My god... What have you done, Jiro? Morimura-san! Where's the wound? Let me see it. Karabe-kun. Are we on for today? Uh... I got somewhere to be. Uh... Well, all right. Sorry, man. No, I'm sorry for asking all the time. Terrible dream. That dream was awful. I was going around killing students. I shot so many, like Fuyusaka-san and Yakushiji. What a bummer. After all that, I think I'm gonna cry. Would you like to get crepes? Love too. I should head out too. See you, Miwa Chan. Later. Bye. <laughs> I guess it's about that time. Something up? You're staring. Well, maybe not here. Let's go out to the hall. Fuyusaka's avoiding you. Did you look up her skirt or something? No. What kind of kai do you think I am? I'm just saying. It is weird, though. I wonder why she's acting that way. The papers. Miss Morimura forgot them again. Sorry, Shiba-kun. I have to drop off these papers. Again? Jeez. Well, just meet me at the front gate when you're done. In the meantime, I'll go hunt down Amiguchi. Karabe-kun, over here. What's going on, Fuyusaka-san? Well, um, you know that dream you were telling me about? The truth is, it's real. It actually happened. 
What do you mean? What was that dream about again? You don't remember? You just mentioned it again last week. You know, the one about the shootout? Shootout? Something about taking refuge in a harbor. But you ended up getting shot and captured. I was the only one who managed to escape. Oh, yeah. In order to prevent killer robots from being invented, a factory got blown up, right? You remember now? I didn't know you were into action movies. That's the plot of Exterminator 2, right? <laughs> I almost forgot. <sighs> so you don't remember after all? Of course I do. That movie is a masterpiece. I'm not talking about a movie. This is something that actually happened. And it wasn't just a dream, either. <clears throat> what about this one? Is it real, too? If the Dymo showed up in real life? I don't know. I think it'd be pretty awesome. Well, lucky you. You'll be seeing plenty of them soon. Huh? Dimos is the general name for them. But there are many different types. Some as big as a truck, some bigger than a whole building. That series is really cool. It featured all kinds of different kaiju. If you love movies that much, you should check out this drama series. What's it about? It's an episodic show where the story plays out in different ways each time. In this one, an alien seeks refuge on Earth. There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. You've never seen it before? That was a real event. It took place on Sumire Bridge in the year 2089. Now that you mention it, that scene didn't look like it was shot at Sumire Bridge. I was the only one there. You never made it, Kurabe-kun. No, that's not true. I was there. You and I were transmitted together. Wait, what? Does that mean UFO Wars is real too? There is a UFO. It's beneath us. Oh. No way. It's just like the movie, isn't it? We're going to ride that UFO and fight off enemies. No. That's what the Sentinels are for. Sentinels? Giant robots. They were created to defeat the Kaiju. Oh. You're so interesting, Fuyusaka-san. Don't you already know all this? You're the one who told me about it. Remember when we were cleaning up the science room? You said you saw a shootout from the future in your dreams. Cleaning up the science room? Now that I think about it... I've handed you the key. Be sure not to misplace it. Renya Goto, second year. Popular with all the ladies. <laughs> A snob. When you're done cleaning, be sure to lock up. Then return the key to Miss Morimura. Understood? Yes. Then if you'll excuse me. Sorry for the trouble. Okay, there's not much left to do. Let's get this over with. I'll wash the equipment over there. Could you put the beakers back on the shelf? Goto-senpai Goto is so mature. It's hard to believe he's just a high schooler like me. I'm hungry, man. Cleaning duty sucks ass. Shiba-kun. 
Stop complaining and get to work. Did you say something? You were mumbling. Speak clearly, please. Just... It's Saturday. Kinda sucks to be doing cleaning duty. Rules are rules. Just deal with it, okay? Isn't Goto-senpai responsible? No wonder he's so popular. Are you done with the beakers? I'm getting to it. Cleaning is just so boring. Where should I put this? Beakers go in the big cabinet in the back. Guess it goes in here. This one too. That's all of them. Finished with the beakers? All that's left now is sweeping up. <sighs> what is it? <sighs> What's gotten into you? Is there something on my face? Sorry. I was just thinking about the woman from my dream last night. I think it was you, Fuyusaka-san. Me? In your dream? You were dressed in all black. Strong, commanding, and honestly, pretty attractive. Uh, <laughs> you're just talking about the dream, right? What happened in it? It's kind of embarrassing to talk about. The apocalypse was coming. To prevent it, we had to go back in time and blow up some sort of facility. But that got us in some trouble. Thanks to the bombing, the cops came after us. It came down to a shootout, and the two of us got separated. Oh, so I was a criminal. Well, kind of. It was a just cause. Uh-huh. Well, that does sound exciting. I'm curious to hear how it ends. Oh, yeah? I can keep going. Were you shot? Show me. It's nothing. I had a misstep, too. I failed to kill one of the researchers. The deed is done, though. The entire facility's been destroyed. We did good. The Interstellar Development Project was sent back to square one. Do you think we've changed the future? Sure hope so. If not, then we'll have killed all those innocents for nothing. I'd like to believe they haven't died in vain. Patrol boat. They're onto us. I'll handle this. You go on ahead. This wasn't part of the plan. I can barely walk. So what? You want me to abandon you here? You just need to make it through today. Remember. so tense. It's your house. Take a load off. <sighs> Ignoring me, huh? You must think you're so cool. People notice you're always alone, you know. <sighs> Come on, you're always so sensitive. A real high-maintenance girl, aren't you? 
I was trying to say that you're smart. Friends are pointless. They'll all be toast once the end comes. Being alone is the most logical solution. You really are an unpleasant cat. <laughs> be honest. You know you like me. The first time you saw me, you were all fluffy, fluffy. Chasing me around with that dumb look on your face. That, that's not true. So, what did you think about your first time? <sighs> did you already forget? You know, with the gun. And you shooting Renya Goto? Don't say it like that. Don't go all gooey on the inside now. Come on, you can tell me. What was it like? Shooting that pale, arrogant prick. It felt great, didn't it? Well, spit it out. My first task after agreeing to the contract. The first witch I sealed. I wonder what happens to them. All right, whenever you're ready. If you're ready, that is. Easy for you to say. But actually pointing a gun at someone is just... It's not just a gun, it's a magical gun. Or would you rather it be a magical kitchen knife? I... don't want that. You extinguish the evil in the person you shoot. Or if they could, they'd thank you for saving them. Still... Ready or not, here he comes. Yakushiji. It was quite unexpected of you to ask for me. What do you need? Um, well... I just wanted to see how things were going. You didn't need to call me out here to do that. Why didn't you just come to the hangar? I, um, don't really like looking at that robot too much. I see. Anyway, we need a password to remove the infection. But it has yet to be found. If you got in the Sentinel right now, you'd likely end up in the same state as Juro. You don't say. This is insane. I can't just shoot someone. Don't look over here. Oh. Just shoot him already. Idiot. Don't worry. We'll find the answer before they arrive. And if you don't? Then we fight with the Sentinels as they are. We couldn't possibly win like that. Maybe so, but we cannot do nothing. At least Juro has not lost his ability to fight. <gasps> hurt Juro again. I have a better idea. <sighs> oh no! What have I done? You shot him in the arm. That'll do. Are you sure he's not hurt? Yeah, yeah, he'll just be a little loopy. How am I supposed to face him after this? It's called a magical gun for a reason, numbnuts. His memories of before and after being shot will be all fuzzy. He won't even remember coming to meet you. Well, we should probably make ourselves scarce now. Wait! Well, 
Spit it out. My first task after agreeing to the contract. The first witch I sealed. I wonder what happens to them. It's not something I like to think about. I only did what you asked me to do. What I asked you to do? You shot him in the arm from point-blank range. I didn't ask you to pull off a stunt like that. But as long as it was on some part of his body, it shouldn't matter where I hit him, right? Oh, maybe I chose the wrong person. This one's got no sense of ownership. Your future's looking pretty bleak, kid. Listen, this isn't some idiot child's errand. We have a contract. Do I need to say it slowly for you? I'll grant your wish. And in exchange, you shoot the witches I tell you to. That was the deal. All you gotta do is shoot them. I don't care where. But if you fail, our contract is broken. Oh. Shouldn't you have already made up your mind about this? Yes. I have. Oh, that reminds me. Make sure the gun is loaded before you use it again. It's still in your bag, right? Well, go on then. Let's see the magical gun. This gun... is it really magical? You do see how tall I am, right? Put it on the floor! Still has enough magical bullets. Good, good. You never know when you might need to use this. So always make sure it's loaded. You keep calling this thing magical. So why does it have to be a gun? What does it matter? You'd rather it be a sparkly magical wand? What? You want to put on a frilly pink skirt? And wave around your magic stick like some idiot? <laughs> All right. You made your point. It's for you to shoot witches. That's why it's a gun. Ah, oh, hell. He's coming. Well, time's up. We'll discuss the next witch tomorrow. Meet me at school. Juro! Oh, hey, Yokoshiji. Man... Movie's still not on. More extra innings. <sighs> Shuro. We agreed not to be seen together. That's why we've been leaving at different times. A meeting like this defeats the purpose. Should we start going together then? <sighs> You're missing the point. Oh. Good morning, Amiguchi kun. Morning. Hmm? What's oh. up? Oh, uh, it, it's nothing. What are you listening to? Just brushing up on my English conversations. Wow. I'm obviously kidding. I'm jamming to rock, of course. Oh, well, your grades are always so good. It seemed believable. <laughs> you think so? I was wondering, can I come over today? Sure, why not? Great. Oh, right. Gonna swing by the vending machines before class starts. 
Okay. I'll see you after school. So? I haven't spotted the witch yet. I'll keep a lookout. Meet me after school. In the passageway outside the old building. Got that? movies that one was a masterpiece pretty awesome lucky you that series is really cool it featured all kinds of different kaiju if you love movies that much you should check out this drama series what's it about you've never seen it before you're so interesting Fuyasaka-san Girl, I hope she turns out to be a witch. Oh, <sighs> oh Yakushiji. So, you and that girl. Looks like you two are pretty close. What are you talking about? More importantly, why are you talking to me? We'd get expelled if they knew we were living together. That's why we decided not to talk to each other at school. I have to go. Fluffy's waiting for me. Fluffy. Nobody here. Why are you hiding? Here, kitty kitty. The hell are you doing? Huh? But you were just over there. All right, crazy. Come on, it's time to work. Uh -uh. The next witch is inside the old building. He's a boy with short hair. And is wearing a school uniform with no buttons. So I just shoot him and his powers will be sealed, right? Uh-huh. Now, there could be one small hiccup. He's got a very not-magical gun, and he might use it on you. That seems like a pretty big hiccup to me. Well, in case you've never been shot before, it hurts. So... Oh. Oh, 
He's not here. There's no one here. Maybe he made a mistake. Stomping around with your gun out like that? You're not sneaking up on anyone that way. So you've been hiding. You're from Sector 3. You're from back then. So you're the one. You're one of Juro's friends. What are you doing here? It doesn't concern you. I don't think this was your idea. Who are you being used by? I'm fine with being used. If it's for Juro. I'll do whatever I have to. Wait! Juro, where are you? The last place the Sentinel was seen. It should be somewhere nearby. You knew this is what would happen. No. I wanted to protect... what was important to you. I wanted to... protect... you. Juro! One sentinel to do all this? Unbelievable. Please! You have to help him! The moment you enter the sentinel, you inflict irreversible damage to your brain. Your memory is destroyed. In worst case, you become a husk. <gasps> Just being inside for a few minutes can be fatal. Izumi endured that pain. He fought in there for over two hours. He displayed incredible strength, but... You understand, don't you? It's too late for him.
Are you from the future too? There was a time I fought alongside him. So you're one of his comrades, and yet you won't even try. Please, there must be something you can do. Izumi was a dependable and true ally. I will mourn this loss as well. them for now. I have to consider my next moves carefully. So I'm from another world? I said so in that message to myself. Must have still had my memories when I left it. I also said something about a way to escape this world. Hmm. A note that was included with the files on Morimura. It says, if capture is not possible, then shoot to kill. Did I kill her? Did someone order me to do it? Details about the dead woman I found. Chihiro Morimura, 31. Sakura High School nurse. Sakura High School? Isn't that where the ID card came from? Sakura High School, Class 1B. Iori Fuyusaka. She definitely looks familiar. But from where? Why can't I remember? The note says... 443-685-3214. What could it mean? A password of some sort? There's an emblem on it. Maybe it's a car key? Oral NM C0204 is printed on the label. The bottle's made of plastic. There's nothing inside. As long as it's set to stun, it won't kill anybody. But it's strange. Why do I know how to use this? An outdated transceiver for communication purposes. It has a very limited range. The note says... 443... What could it mean? Maybe if I find this Fuyusaka person, I'll finally remember something. Come in. Are you there? instructions. I can't remember anything. That's exactly why I've contacted you. Listen, it's not safe out there. Don't trust anyone. Anyone? Including you? Better to be too careful than too careless. Otherwise you'll never escape from this world. Escape? Just stay put and don't go far. I'll see what I can do about your pursuers. You'll hear from me again soon. It disconnected. Don't trust anyone, huh? He mentioned an escape, like I did in that message to myself. Should I really just wait for him to contact me again? No. He said not to trust anyone, and that includes him. Both the victim and the owner of this ID card, they're from Sakura High School. Maybe this female student knows something I don't. Once day breaks, I'll pay a visit to the school.
Sounds like school just started. I'm so late. Uh, crap. I need to drop by the track room first. Hmm. No sign of her. Huh. Aikun. Yori Fuyusaka. I haven't seen you in days. I couldn't stop thinking about you. But now, I'm just relieved to see her safe. Is something wrong? Uh. It seems like we're close. Very close. But I can't trust anyone. For now, I'll act like I remember her. I want to hear what she has to say first. Iori, was there something you wanted to tell me? Huh? Well, like I said before, I still like you. Even if it is one-sided. <sighs> this belong to you? my student ID. I thought I'd lost it. But I'm glad you were there to find it for me. Thank you. Uh, um... Never mind. Do these pills belong to you? Pills? No, those aren't mine. Wait, aren't those the pills you've been taking? Oh. My mistake. These are mine. What are they for? Are you sick? I'm fine. It's nothing to worry about. Chihiro Morimura. She's the school nurse here, right? Huh? Yeah, she is. What about her? <sighs> what if... <sighs> Ever since that day, she hasn't come back to school. Could something have happened? Which day? The day I heard about Miss Morimura's secret. Uh, I'm sure she's fine. Uh, um, never mind. Morimura's secret. We must accept our fate. Huh? <laughs> That's not good. It's okay. He's gone. Thanks. <gasps> oh no! My first class is about to start! What will you do now, Akun? I'm gonna pay a visit to the nurse's office. But those men, won't they be on campus too? <sighs> Why don't you meet me here after school's out? I'll show you where to go. All right. I'll see you later. We must accept our fate. That's what Chihiro Morimura said. It's hazy, but... I think I remember. So this is where you've been. I figured I'd give the area an advanced survey. Quite the view. Worth taking in one last time. Right. I expect there to be considerable damage. We weren't prepared for them in Sector 1. There was nothing we could do. But not this time. 
We will fend them off. I certainly hope so. We've managed to prepare 19 Sentinels. And we've had positive results in our battle simulations. That won't mean much if our enemies have evolved. It seems our victory ultimately depends on luck. So let's assume we're met with the worst-case scenario. If we fail this time, we'll perform another loop. And we'll start over from the very beginning. We'll have a greater chance of success that way. Even if it means leaving this world behind? No. No more running away. If we don't settle this here, then I'm initiating Operation Aegis. So you intend to close the loop, then? If you do, no one will be able to leave. At the very least, we'll survive. You expect us to grow old and die in this godforsaken place? When that time comes, we must accept our fate. In any case... Yes. If we win now, we can avoid such an outcome. Then we'll finally be able to leave this world and... <gasps> Sekigahara-kun! How long have you been standing there? I don't know who you people are or where you came from. And frankly, I don't care. Just as long as you can defend my city from the kaiju. Without retreating, that is. You'll be the one in the Sentinel protecting the city. We're counting on you. Well, I assume you have some questions for me. There's something I need to confer. If I keep my end of the bargain, then you're gonna stop using Ryoko-senpai, right? Please understand, I never had any intention of using her. But I'll try to be more careful going forward. For the Sentinels you want command over, you require third generation machines, right? Correct. Then I'll update their systems as promised. Though I have to ask, why are you having me do this? Wouldn't it be faster to go directly through Morimura? I believe a shift in the chain of command is in order. And I'd like it to be done without her knowledge. Depending on how the situation unfolds, there's a possibility she may resort to drastic measures. Is that what she was just talking about? This... Operation Aegis? <laughs> That's right. Close the loop. What are they talking about? Are they planning on abandoning the city? No. I can't let that happen. I need more details on this so-called operation. Operation Aegis. What is its purpose? The enemy's main target is the underground mainframe. Each terminal is equipped with a self-defense protocol. However, the enemy's attacks seem to bypass it. So the moment they strike, we'll hack the terminal. This will activate the defense protocol. The Aegis system. Isn't that a good thing? Not exactly. Doing so will render our time machine useless. And that means we can never start over again. What's so bad about that? It doesn't matter as long as we succeed, right? Time will cease to flow in this world. When it does, everything will descend into chaos. And in the end, we'll be the only ones left behind in this hellscape. <sighs> This must be it. Of course, the track room's all the way in the back. Oh. <laughs> Na 
Machan. No way. Yuki-chan? You got tall, Nachan. Your hair's so long, Yuki-chan. I almost didn't recognize you. You're the one who told me to grow it out. Remember? That's right. You stopped writing back to me. I was worried, you know. Yeah, sorry. A lot of things happened after the move. But I just got transferred here. Today's my first day. Really? I knew you went to this school, too. Figured I'd find you eventually. It's good to see your face again. Though, I never took you for a track girl. <laughs> oh, there's so many things I want to talk to you about. Aren't you in the middle of practice right now? I've got to get somewhere, too. But now, we can see each other anytime. Totally. Keep working hard, Nachan. You know it. Later! See you tomorrow, Yuki-chan! Yuki-chan. So you're finally here. Nachan, my childhood friend. We went our separate ways in middle school. But we still kept writing to each other. She's the only person I really care about. Don't call me that. I don't like being called by my name. But I just heard... I didn't ask your opinion. Shut up! It's fine if it's her. Uh, you remember me, right? I don't know. Who are you again? How about the guy you were destined to meet? More like a random guy I bumped into in the shopping district. Don't get all weird about it. Aw, you're so cruel, Yuki-chan. I said, quit calling me that! Hey, I'm Iguchi. I've been looking for you. Ugh, Nenji Ogata. The hell? Well, well, well. If it isn't Takami of Suzu High. What are you doing on our turf? Not trying to stake a claim, are you? She just transferred here, actually. Built up a reputation as a tough guy. All the way back in middle school, actually. Every delinquent around here knows who he is. Some flirty rich kid who won't stop following me around. He seems to be close friends with a gang leader at Sakura. <laughs> the transfer, huh? You got the wrong uniform on, sweetheart. Oh, look! Th that's... It's just because that damn Four Eyes made a mistake. I mean... Obviously. Don't want to go around wearing those girly skirts anyhow. Seems kind of weird if you ask me. A transfer at this time of year? Maybe that's just how it happened for her. Or maybe she's trying to pull some shit. Hey, just lay off already. But why'd she come here of all places? Why here? Well... Found her. Go on, then. I've been waiting for you. You're dismissed. I'd like to speak with her alone. Yuki Takamiya, 16 years old. A first year at Suzugamine Girls High School. Entered a boys' school and engaged multiple delinquents. Twelve of which were sent to the hospital. Your reputation precedes you. I went to Nigakuri to settle a score. And somehow the cops managed to sniff me out. One of those dicks must have snitched. Any of those Kuri boys end up dead? Three had bone fractures, the others just bruises and scrapes. <laughs> That's too bad. Hmm. Got something to say? 
They're the ones who laid their filthy hands on my friend. All I did was give them what they had coming. None of your damn business anyways. You dragged me out of the pen just for this? You're really earning your pay today, aren't you? Well, go on. Rake me over the coals. See if I care. That seems like a waste of time for both of us. Allow me to get to the point. We've taken notice of your particular set of... skills. We'd like to work with you. Seriously? And by that, you mean selling out my friends? I'm not gonna be your stooge, and I don't work with cops. Go find some other sucker. Your father, Heita Takamiya, currently serving a sentence for the murder of a gang member. Yeah? So what? There have been attempts on his life by other inmates. Not surprising, since the man he killed was a gang leader. I imagine it's a matter of reputation for them. Your father has been assaulted twice, but he is alive. For now. <sighs> now, if we were so inclined, it would be quite easy to transfer him to a safer facility. Contingent on your cooperation, of course. God, I hate you already. He's behind bars for stabbing a Yakuza. Maybe he's nothing but a two-bit gangster, but... He's the only real family I have. On to business, then. Are you familiar with Shikishima Industries? Publicly, they manufacture a wide range of products. Rockets, planes, trains, ships, even home appliances. Not so publicly, it seems they're also developing nuclear weapons. We suspect they are colluding with another nation to do so. And what does that have to do with me? We began investigating, and found that several miners are connected to these weapons. All of these children are of high school age, and are being rounded up at a school affiliated with Shikishima. So they're using kids to make nuclear weapons? This shit sounds ridiculous. Alright, so they're making weapons. But what do these kids have to do with it? I'm glad to see I've piqued your interest. Take a look at those documents on the table. It's a list of their names. Shikishima. Shikishima. It's that company with all those commercials for TVs and fridges. So they're making weapons too? A few bastards got that much dirt on them. Why don't you just bust into Shikishima yourselves? We'd prefer not to have this go public. And the less the police are involved, the better. Wait, if you're not the cops, then who the hell are you guys? We are a special investigations unit. Government established and affiliated. Some might call us spies. I am director of the SIU, and your superior. That damn Four Eyes. He says there's some spy agency. It's short for Special Investigations Unit. They may not be cops, but they're honestly all the same to me. Ugh. Class 1B, Iori Fuyusaka. Class 2A, Renya Goto. More Class 1, Kisaragi, Karabe. Class 1C, Natsuno Minami? We need someone to investigate these students. And that someone is you, Yuki Takamiya. Nachan. But why her? <sighs> Who's this? Allow me to introduce you. This is Ryoko Shinonome. She is another undercover investigator, and your superior. Just as she did, you'll be transferring to Sakura High School. We'll handle the paperwork. Hey, pump your brakes, you old man. I haven't agreed to any of this shit yet. 
Fay got dirt on you too, Dopey? Is she the one? Yes, she is. Hey, I'm talking to you! She doesn't look like she knows much. <laughs> I can already tell I'm not gonna like you. <sighs> you have quite the abrasive personality. You have quite the ab We're not finished. <sighs> Do you accept your assignment? I don't give a shit about your assignment. Well then, I think it's safe to say we're not getting through to her. Don't worry, she will work with us. It's her destiny after all. No sign of her today, either. <sighs> Where are you, Nachan? Churro. Oh. Hey, you! Got a sec? You're in class 1C. That right? Yes. Nachan, my childhood friend. We went our separate ways in middle, but we still kept writing. She's the only... Did you need something, or...? Hmm. Natsuno Minami's in your class, isn't she? Oh, yeah. She's been out for three days now. Have you heard anything? The teacher just said she was out sick. Did they hear from her directly? I don't know. Hmm. Sorry for bothering you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um... Do you need something? No, never mind. Yui-chan! Yui-chan! Any news? No one at the school seems to know anything. Hmm... I hope Natsuno-chan's okay. <sighs> what should we do? Stop by Natsuno-chan's house again? Those weird guys might still be there, though. <sighs> Hey, you! <laughs> Got a sec? I heard you talking about Natsuno Minami. Who are you? Takamiya, but that's beside the point. I want to know what's going on with Natsuno. Why hasn't she been coming to school? It sounds like she hasn't been at home either. We went to her house yesterday, but her mom just kept apologizing over the intercom. The police were there, too. Were they really the police, though? <sighs> well, that's worrying. Thanks for letting me know. Usami-chan! Nachan hasn't been at home, either. Sorry, did I And those you cops... Waiting? It's okay. Or whatever Let's they are... Going. What were they doing there? <sighs> what are you doing? What's your problem? You remember your orders, don't you? You're supposed to keep a low profile. Hmm, huh, I can't recall. Maybe you've forgotten about your father, too. What did you say? <sighs> One more thing. Don't go looking for Natsuno Minami. What?
Those guys they thought were the police. They're agents with the SIU. In any case, Natsuno Minami isn't your concern. She's a part of my assignment. So stay out of my way. Are we clear? Hey! Hold on! What could have happened to Nachan? I bet that four-eyed bastard has some answers. Time to do what I do best. This is unacceptable. I thought I made it clear that you are not to contact me. I need to know what happened to Natsuno Minami. And I know you have answers. Teenagers run away from home all the time. That's what the police say, but the school insists she's out sick. Looks like nobody can get their story straight. So which is it, huh? I'm not an idiot, you know. Your suspicions are not unfounded. But our investigation is still ongoing. I don't have a clear answer myself. We don't know where she is, or even if she's still alive. The evidence so far points to kidnapping. Who the hell would want to kidnap her? Shikishima? They could have done it without anyone realizing she was gone. There'd be no need to draw such attention to themselves. No. Someone else is behind this. And that's who Shinonome is looking for? <laughs> Someone at the school could be behind this. It's possible they are there even now. In any case, the situation is dangerous. I suggest you keep your nose out of it. Shinonome-kun has this under control. As for you, Takamiya-kun, you will continue to monitor the other students as instructed. Have I made myself clear? <laughs> Screw that. Jeez. You really gotta stop doing this. Sentinel number 17. Created to fight against the tripods. It's also the robot that BJ used to pilot. His name is BJ. He's an alien that came from a highly civilized planet. His mission was to protect Earth from other evil aliens. Secret agents rumored to deal in the extraordinary and silencing those who witness UFOs. They call them men in black. No one really knows much else. Buddy, you gotta stay quiet if we're gonna keep you hidden. Let's go. Let's go to the gate. I'm almost done with practice. We'll go there after. Sound good? I do feel bad locking you up in here, but I don't know where else to keep you safe. It's like I told you this morning. Sorry, BJ, but if I left you in my room, my brothers would come in. They'd be able to find you even if you were hiding. Once school's over, I'll help you find what you're looking for. You just gotta be a good boy until then, okay? Gotta stay quiet or those men in black will find you. They really do seem to be everywhere. I'll come back during break. Just stay quiet until then, okay?
So you're gonna be a good little alien, right? That means you gotta stay in there. I'm sorry I have to make you wait. But I'll be back soon. You gotta stay quiet, or those men in black will find you. They really do seem to be everywhere. My room... gets raided by my little brothers pretty often. Either way, I can't leave BJ at home. As for the track room, no one goes in there until after school. If I put him in my locker, odds are no one would see him. Again. Natsuno? Oh, hi! That box on the floor, it's yours, right? Uh... Um... Why? You always put it in your locker. Oh, you saw, huh? What is it anyways? A clock? Uh... Um, what it is, is... Uh, well... It's a... it's a secret. Oh, I get it. Another silly UFO thingamajig. Whatever. Just put it away before Senpai sees. <sighs> oh, boy. She's gone now. Not you know. I'm the <sighs> If BJ is about to be seen by someone, I'll just hide him in my PE bag. Crisis averted. <sighs> I gotta be careful. This is confidential information, after all. We must go to the gate. <sighs> you don't have any idea, do you? What would happen if they found you? You'd end up in Area 51, dissected on a table. to need you to show me what's inside your bag. really sucks. really sucks. Well, if it isn't Minami. Oh god, Takun. What's up? Why are you in such a rush? Actually, I'm in a bit of a pickle. I'm in a black suit. 
I'm being chased by men in black suits. What? What'd they do? Nothing yet. But if they catch us, who knows? Dissection, maybe. Definitely a full body search. Full body? S so those clothes will probably be in the way. Huh? You know, that little outfit. Outfit? You mean the spacesuit? Well, yeah. They take the whole thing off. I imagine they'll search every nook and cranny. For real? Those lucky mother... I mean, those sick bastards! Don't worry. I'll take care of this perv. Huh? Hey! <gasps> you ain't getting away with this asshole! <laughs> What the? Where'd this guy come from? Never seen someone go down so easily. He came from over there. Well, that was... something. Crap, he's coming! Someone was just here. What are you doing here? Yuki-chan? Good timing. I could really use your help. What now? We've been pursuing a suspicious individual. She's still in the area, and she's concealing something. If I just help him out now, maybe old Four Eyes will let me have my way. Fine. It's an SIU assignment anyway, right? That's why I was hired to go undercover in the first place. All you have to do is locate her. Leave the capture to us. So, what does she look like? <gasps> There's... no way! Is Yuki-chan... working with the men in black? Yuki-chan... Senpai, what's going on? Minami, someone's trashed our room again. Also, watch this. Watch what exactly? Shh, stand over here, quietly. Watch the laundry basket. <laughs> Did you see that, Minami? Crap, this is bad. You know what I think this is? Mm -mm. It's a spy camera from a peeping Tom. <sighs> it's the same creep that trashed this room. He must have set this up. Actually, this is... Uh... This is mine. Yours? Yeah, it's a... It's an alarm clock. A clock? I gotta be careful. This is confidential information, after all. So you just carry it around? Yeah, well, the thing is, I... can't seem to tell time unless I look at this clock. Isn't it kinda... big? You're going home dressed like that? Uh... Yeah! I'm just in a hurry, so... I can't believe my one and only Yuki-chan. She's working with the men in black. That means she can't know. She can't know about BJ. <laughs> A man in black!
Okay, we're here. Range. Where should we look this time? How about Sector 1? Sector 1 has been searched. No sentinel found. I see. Bomber. What about Sector 2? 2065. We have been there. That's where we saw the tripods. It's too dangerous. What's that one at the bottom? Sector 5, 1945. Whoa, so we can travel to the past too? Hey, that's the year the Pacific War ended. Let's check it out. Access code approved. Designating sector. No way! How cool is this? This building is all old and musty in my time. But it smells like fresh wood. They must have just built the place. This all feels like a dream. Check it out, BJ. It's my school in the past. You really can jump back and forth through time, can't you? Yes, you know. I know, I know. We have to be careful not to change anything in the past. Or else we'll totally screw up the future. If we're 40 years in the past, then Dad's only three years old. He's probably at Grandma's house. I'd love to see that. A quick peek wouldn't hurt, would it? There's something old now to know. Man, okay. So, is the Sentinel here? Signal. An active sentinel is present. So... I've detected it. Someone's here. We've got to hide. Hmm. <sighs> Goto-san. Right on time. <gasps> Here's your pill supply for the month. Are these the same ones I had last month? Why do you ask? Please, just be honest with me. The pills you've been giving me, they let me see the future. But these new pills are different. I feel awful when I take them. And they make me forget what I've seen in my dreams. You must continue your treatment. They'll completely eliminate your nightmares. Nightmares? These don't feel like... Trust me. They'll help you revert to your original state. We're putting an end to this operation. Goto-san, please wait! I can't forget. It's our only hope of survival. It's no use. I can't remember. The weapon at Ayame Pass. No, I can't remember anything. Was that Goto-senpai? How's that even possible? How could he be here, 40 years in the past? Maybe it was his grandpa. Looked just like him. Ayame Pass. Huh? The place that woman mentioned. All right, Ayame Pass. Wait, you mean where the park is? There is no park in 1945. Let's go. 
Sentinel number 17. Created to fight against the tripods. It's also the robot that BJ used to pilot. Ditch me? Can't believe we're running around in a military base. What if they find us? So this is the Sentinel. It's huge! How does someone lose something so freaking big? The Sentinels are linked to the Shifter. It was shifted here. Crazy. Anyhow, I'm just glad we found it. This is Sentinel number 19. Wait, so it's the wrong one? Sentinel number 17. Right. You said number 17. Correct. We're searching for Sentinel number 17. Number 19. Belong to a comrade. I cannot pilot his sentinel. What happened to him? I have confirmed a cease in his vital functions. Do you mean... he's... Correct. He is dead. PJ... Critical change has been detected. Huh? The Sentinel's primary system has been altered. Someone bypassed and rebuilt it. I don't really know what that means. Maybe one of the people here did something to it. That would be impossible with the technology of this era. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow at 0800. <gasps> Someone's coming! Understand. Why is Professor Doji suspending operations? I know the Sentinel like the back of my hand, and I have no problem taking it to the front lines. Even there, I can perform at full power. So, why? All right, enough. I'm starting to sound like Takatoshi san. Nothing to get riled up over. I'm sure the people in charge have their reasons. Once the order comes, I'll be ready to lay down my life. And even if it never does, I'll still be ready. He's gonna fight too? Dang! Now someone's coming from the other way! Jeez! It's been a while, number 19. Let's have a look at you. Huh. Well, it looks like an alternate route was successfully created. It actually worked, and on my second test subject, no less. Impressive, Keitaro Miura. Nanomachine reconstruction agitates the brain, but you endured the process without losing your mind. With this data, I'll be able to take over the Sentinels. Goodness, I should be on my way. Professor Doji's security detail will return any moment. As promised, I'll remove the lock on the Sentinel. And there's one more thing I'd like to do. Just for good measure. There we go. As long as they come into contact with Miorakun. The data should spread to the others. Who 
was that guy? Those should leave. Let's hurry. Yeah, you're right. We're here, BJ. Someone's coming! Quick, hide! I'm pleased the data is complete. I suppose negotiating with the Professor was the right choice. Huh. The settings have been tampered with. Was someone just here? It seems this gate has been compromised as well. I'll set it back to its original key. I'd best take my leave. Did he just use the gate? Is he an alien too? Seriously? We can't go home? Analysis will be complete in 78 hours and 24 minutes. I can't stay here that long. Can't we find another way back to the future? The gate and the Sentinel are the only safe methods of shifting. The Sentinel? What was that just now? Someone else is coming. I'd BJ fast. It came from around here, I think. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe I saw a visiting god. <laughs> Not likely. So much for my first day of time off. It's already night. Shihiro's probably worried about me. Shh. <laughs> State your name. I know you're there. Freeze! Who are you? Sounds like a big mess to me. 
Oh, well. If you'd like, I could send over some light reading on it. I think I'll pass. So, any idea when we can meet up again? It'll be about 420 hours till the next time I'm off. I'll keep in touch, Natsuno. Good. I'll be looking forward to it. Bye. Takatoshi-san. A brand new schoolhouse with all its luxuries. And not a single student attending. They need every able-bodied student at the factories. I know. We're in a state of emergency. Just a shame that it's come to this, I suppose. I heard a rumor from the Marines at the port. They say we have no ships left. That it's a hopeless war. He's a year above me, but we're the same age. We grew up in the same town together. He was such a mess. Seems like he's shaped up, though. He's found a certain dignity ever since he enlisted. What's wrong, Keitaro? You resent being drafted? No. Just, of all people, why'd they choose me? Don't let your nerves get to you again. You'll get to fight for your country before your peers. That's an honor and a privilege. You don't have to worry anyway. One look at it, and you'll know this war is ours. At what exactly? I can't say too much out here, but... We have a secret weapon. Our own key to victory. You'll see it in the armory soon enough. <laughs> but... We're just students. Why do we have access to something so secret? Because... We've been chosen as pilot cadets for that very weapon. But keep it quiet. Maximum level security. Not even your family can know. Understood. A secret weapon powerful enough to win the war. And out of all the potential pilots across Japan, they chose me. What can I do? Will I be any help at all? So what is this new weapon? We've been calling it a Sentinel. A heavily armored craft that requires a pilot to operate. It'll help us gun down the enemy at our shores. So the Americans really are coming for us. We've been forced to abandon many of our posts overseas. At this rate, we'll have to end this on the mainland. Our homeland's future is in the hands of this Sentinel. But they're good hands. A single Sentinel rivals aircraft carriers in terms of power. No, it could outmatch an entire military on its own. Whatever they've got will keep our homeland safe. And one day, we'll take the fight to American soil. <laughs> I didn't think anyone else would come here. I'll see who it is. Tamao-san. So this is where you've been hiding. Takatoshi-san. Goodness, look at you. Such a gentleman now. Hey, Tamao-san. What brings you here? I had to see Keitaro son off. And when I heard you were back too, I had to come. I wanted to give you this. I made some ohagi for you. Maybe you and Takatoshi san can share them. Well, I am partial to ohagi. 
The rations don't give us that much sugar. I'm afraid they won't be very sweet. I'm sure they'll be delicious. Thank you. Is this a friend of yours? Yes, I invited her along. Pardon me, but... Have we met? Oh, that's Kiriko-chan. She came to us from Tokyo. It's fine. You really don't have to introduce me. But he's asking about you, Kiriko-chan. Oh. I'm... Kiriko Doji, sirs. Uh, I'm... Uh... I I'm, uh, Takatoshi Hijiyama. Pleased to meet you. Wait, Doji? Any relation to Professor Heizo Doji? I'm his daughter. I hope that doesn't bother you. No, far from it. I just never imagined his daughter would be so... Uh... I've heard about Kiriko-san's father. They say he's a remarkable teacher. Though I didn't realize he was a professor. Professor Doji's here? If he's at the armory, that can only mean... That's enough, Keitaro. His involvement with the new weapon is highly confidential. <sighs> I mean... Damn it. <laughs> Don't worry, we won't tell. You're pretty funny. Keitaro-san, do you know where you'll be stationed? He'll be working alongside me. The armory's not too far from here. However, it may be some time until he's back. Tamao-san, you and the Kurabes have been nothing but kind to me. I can only give you my thanks from the bottom of my heart. I'll have to leave my little sister with you, so please, take care of her for me. Don't you worry about a thing, Keitaro-san. I'll take good care of Chihiro-chan. And tell her I won't be gone for long. The second I get time off, I'll come visit. Keitaro, it's almost time. They're expecting us. We'd better get going. I'll be back. Do take care, you two. I promise, I'll be back. What was that just now? Some kind of flash. Lightning, maybe. It came from around here, I think. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe I saw a visiting god. <laughs> Not likely. So much for my first day of time off. It's already night. Shihiro's probably worried about me. Kiriko-san disappeared after that incident. And Professor Doji has gone silent ever since. It just doesn't make sense. Air raids have plagued several regions for months now. At this rate, the Americans will completely destroy Japan. We have to do something. Our new top-secret military weapon called a Sentinel. I've been selected as a cadet to pilot it. State your name. I know you're there. Freeze! Who are you? Uh... Shouldn't you be wearing pants? Huh? Maybe wearing gym clothes wasn't the best idea. I don't know why you're here, but... 
It's dangerous to be out this late on your own. Allow me to escort you home. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. I'm stationed at the armory nearby. But I'm off duty now, so I was on my way home. So, uh, what's your name? Natsuno. Um, Natsuno Minami. Which way to your place, Natsuno-san? Good question. Kind of a complicated answer, though. Wait. What's that sound? Trying to bomb the factory. But that's near where the Karabes live. Stay here. It should be safe at this distance. But what about you? I have to go help. Wait! Follow him. What? Seriously? Do I have to? Ugh. Fine, whatever. If everything goes wrong, it's totally your fault. Chihiro! Hot, hot, hot! Hey, hold on a sec! Why did you follow me? I don't know. Fine, but just stay there. It's clear here, but the flames are stronger up ahead. You're not going in, are you? I have to. That house up ahead is where my sister's staying. <laughs> this can't be happening. It's completely gone. It must have been a direct hit. Chihiro! Tamao-san! This belongs to Chihiro. Chihiro! Tamao-san! Our mother's terrible at sewing, but she made this for Chihiro. I'd never seen her struggle with anything so hard. But she did it. It's pieced together with scraps of cloth. Not the best quality. Even still, Chihiro took it with her wherever she went. Big brother! Chihiro! You're safe. Where's Tamao-san? Right here! Kitaro-san! Tamao-san! It's all gone. I know. But you're alive, and that's what matters. We ran to the shelters as soon as we heard the sirens. But Chihiro-chan ran off alone. She said she was going back to the house. Cause you were coming home! And if nobody was there to see you... You'd be really sad. Chihiro. So they're all safe and sound, huh? Uh, Natsuna-san. Everything on that side of the Kaede River is on fire. 
Looks like it's headed toward Kamazumi next. Big Brother! Why are they showing up in this era? I've always heard the U.S. had an industrial advantage over us. That thing has to be one of their weapons. They've finally come for our homeland. And if we don't stop them... Tamao-san, please take care of Chihiro. Big Brother! Stay with her and do as you're told, understand? Tamao-san, can I ask you to look after Natsuno-san too? Huh? What about you? I'm going back to the armory. You stay with Tamao-san. She'll keep you safe. Now go. I'll show them that Japan can still fight. This is the day I've been training for. Against the Sentinel, they don't stand a chance. You hear all that? Yeah, you know. I know. I'm on it. to do. There you are. I've been looking for you. <sighs> Don't you have anything better to do? Takamiya-san, you are the Holmes. And I am the Watson, Erika Aiba, at your service. Please, call me Erica. I will do my best to assist you in solving mysteries. How would you like to start? So, what should we do? Conduct interviews? <laughs> I love mystery novels. I've always wanted to be a detective, too. I met Aiba while I was trying to find out more about Nachan. Seems she likes me. Follows me around like a damn puppy dog. Even my steeliest glare doesn't phase her. Frickin' weirdo. Can't go wrong with apple juice. Me and Nachan used to drink it all the time when we were kids. That damn four eyes. He says there's some spy agency. It's short for Special Investigations Unit. They may not be cops, but they're honestly all the same to me. Shikishima. Shikishima. It's that company with all those commercials for TVs and fridges. So they're making weapons too? Nachan, my childhood friend. We went our separate ways in middle school. But we still kept writing to each other. She's the only person I really care about. It's been several days since Minami-san has gone missing. She isn't sick, contrary to what her teacher says. And she didn't run away, contrary to the rumor that's been going around. It seems likely she was involved in something much more sinister. Are you upset with me? Just been antsy without my cigarettes. I'm not playing pretend, you know. Uh, yes, of course. I am merely your capable assistant. Huh? Well, at least I'll try to be. What should we look into first? This place is a dump. This is Amiguchi's. He got a 92? <laughs> Maybe he's not just a dumb pretty boy after all. 
Then again, he did ball this up and leave it on the ground. Yup, still an idiot. Some flirty rich kid who won't stop following me around. He seems to be close friends with a gang leader at Sakura. What should we look into first? Interviewing. Hmm. The word has such a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Did you see that cute handkerchief? The one tied to the fence on the roof? I wonder whose it is. You think it's some sort of sign to her lover? Oh. <sighs> Maybe not John's in here. Or not. Have a minute. I got some things to ask you. Natsunomi Nami's still out, huh? Seems like it. Did you notice anything strange about her? Before she started taking days off, I mean? Well, I haven't really thought about it. But now that you mention it, I noticed she was always hurrying to the track room at break. Even during class, she seemed to always be a bit anxious. The track room, huh? She was in the track room even during break. What was Nachan doing? Is there anything else you noticed? About Natsunomi Nami? I did see her fervently scribbling something in her notebook. And it didn't seem like it was just notes on the lecture. Mm -hmm. Nachan was writing things in this notebook. Things that had nothing to do with her classes. Could it have something to do with her disappearance? Huh? She was... She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Her name... It was Yakushiji. She's pretty dull, actually. <sighs> was there something else? Have a minute. I got some things to ask you. Can I help you? No. This girl. She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Yuri Fuyusaka. And the one next to her, in the red glasses. Her, too. Tomi... Kisaragi, I think? Now you. You've been going to Natsunomi Nami's house, yeah? Any news since? Oh. So, uh... Yes? You stay here. You're on the track team, right? I'm a second year, and captain of the track team. Did you need something? I wanted to ask you about Natsunomi Nami. She skipped out on our last few training sessions. But I guess she's out sick? Did she look sick to you? She looked fine to me. Right? <sighs> yep. I thought so, too. Did you need something? I think it was after that one incident. That's when Minami-san started skipping training. And school, too, I guess. What incident? There was a fire in the North Building. Oh, yeah! 
Maybe it's unrelated, but... Right around the time of that fire, Nachan started skipping her training sessions for track. Could it be related? A fire? In the North Building? Yeah. I heard an explosion started it. Really? I heard it was arson. Nachan, my Ui winner. Did you need some? You on the track team? Yes. Natsunomi Nami is too, right? Did you notice anything strange about her? Besides her being absent from school. Well, depends what you define as strange, but... Natsuno did stop coming to training. But I'd still see her in the locker room. Doing what? It seemed like she was there to get something. Something like... Some kind of UFO-looking thing? I don't know exactly. It just looked like a box when it was in her bag. A box in the locker room, huh? Yeah. Something that the girl on the track team mentioned. She said Nachan went into the locker room to get a box. And described it as some kind of UFO gadget. Hmm. You know anything about the fire in the North Building? No. Oh, yeah? Hello. I can see it clearly now. The primary suspect. I am certain. Their intentions were not pure! You heard anything about that fire in the North Building? No, I'm sorry. I don't know anything. I can see it click the pro- I- Their intent- Excuse me. That room is for authorized personnel only? It's just a damn locker room. Can't get in the locker room as long as that ditz is around. Guess I have no choice. I gotta ask for her help. I can see it clearly now. Yo, Aiba. I want to take a look around the track room. But that goody two-shoes over there keeps stopping me. Uh... You want me to be a decoy? What? You don't want to do it? Oh, good heavens! You and I are partners, Takamiya-san. I shall not let you down. Yeah, okay. Just hold her attention until I get inside the room. Wait for me out here when you're done. Mm. I can see it clear. I beg your pardon. Oh, yeah? I would like to inquire about Minami-san. You too? Oh, was there someone else? Well, yeah. What did you want to know about Natsuno? Oh... Uh... Well... Uh... Oh... Uh... Well... Nachans found it. This must be that notebook. 
The one that girl in Nachan's class was talking about. She said she saw her fervently scribbling into it. What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. I have finally encountered my destiny. He has arrived from outer space. An actual extraterrestrial being! In summary, whoa, aliens really do exist. An extraterrestrial being? Did Nachan make all this up? Or is it possible she really was abducted by aliens? What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. These advanced life forms have managed to conquer time and space itself. Who could have dreamed that their technology had such capability? An actual gateway to time travel, right in Tokisaka Shrine! Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe Nachan went there. Either way, it's definitely a clue. What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. He says he's looking for a robot. It's called Sentinel Number 17. Writing inside of it seems to enable him to fight against evil aliens. A robot? Could this be what Four Eyes was talking about? Is this the weapon Shikishima is developing? Hmm. Time Nacha. Nothing I haven't already looked at. Huh? I thought you were supposed to be distracting that girl. She was called over by her senpai. So, off she went. Ugh. I thought I told you to wait outside. I can't do that. You heard anything about that fire? No, I'm sorry. I... The locker room of the athletics building. Just think of the drama that unfolds here. I thought I told you to wait outside. Takamiya, with the SIU. I assume you've heard about me? So you're the student on the inside. So you're not here to supervise me? What's the deal, then? We receive new intel. Confidential information from Shikishima was brought here. About those weapons? Cram it, will you? Just ignore me. Worry about your own mission. Hey. Don't talk to me. Oh, yeah? Did you need something? I can see it clearly. The... You heard anything about that fu I can see it.
Ogata. Why are you here? It's a public roof, ain't it? I said, why are you here? Just checking if my handkerchief was dry yet. That handkerchief was yours? Yeah. So what? <laughs> I thought it was a girl's. <laughs> so this is Ogata's handkerchief. Are you trying to pick a fight with me? Oh, not me. Never. I heard there was a fire in the North Building. I also heard that it was caused by a certain cigarette-smoking delinquent. You trying to accuse me of something? First of all, I don't smoke. Second of all, the fire was in the girls' bathroom. And rumor has it, it wasn't even really a fire. Something happened in the girls' bathroom of the North Building. So about Notch... I mean, Minami. What are you getting embarrassed for? You've called her that since you were kids, right? Right. So, Nachan, You know she's gone missing? Yeah. I do know. I suspect the black suits have something to do with that. Why do you say that? I saw Minami being chased by them one time. You what? What the hell is going on? Tim Four Eyes never mentioned that little detail. I also heard rumors about some kid in middle school. I guess he's been looking for her too. Something fishy's going on. But it's getting complicated. I can't keep up. <clears throat> the agent on Nachan's case. Shino Nome. Do I have to ask her for help after all? I mean, she is pretty messed up too. <sighs> Something happened in the girl's... Have I answered enough of your questions yet? Get lost. Have I answered... I think it may be ill-advised to associate with hoodlums. I want to take a look for myself. Let's go to that girl's bathroom in the North Building. Certainly. Holy shit. In this? There's no way all this was from a fire. We are not allowed to be in here. Oh, we'll get in so much trouble if they find us. What is wrong with you? It just feels like we're actual detectives now. Not one burn mark in sight. Seems more like a bear went on a rampage. There's signs of damage all over the place. This can't have been the work of just one person. These scratch marks... They're carved pretty deep in there. Someone's eyeglass frames. They're red. Probably belong to a girl. Any ideas? Who do you think these glasses belong to? Well, the glasses are broken, so they won't be wearing them anymore. Do you remember anyone wearing a pair like that? Now that I think about it, yeah, I do remember someone. Nachan's friend in Class 1B. And a name on Four Eyes' list. Tomi Kisaragi. Tomi Kisaragi. 
I think I saw her in the class one hallway just now. I gotta find her. Judging from this level of destruction, I deduce that the perpetrator was... someone with an extreme hatred for girls' bathrooms. Uh... Maybe whoever those glasses belong to knows something. Oh! Wait for me! She was somewhere around here before. Where could she have gone? She's got to be nearby. <sighs> Not here either. Please don't run off like that so suddenly. <laughs> I can't keep up. glasses what's this all about go ahead take a closer look well they do look the same as mine but you probably noticed I'm wearing mine right now so obviously they can't be mine hmm girls bathroom. you went to the girls bathroom in the north building that right what happened there Oh, what's with all the questions, anyways? I know you were there. Are you talking about what happened in the North Building? I had nothing to do with it. Why would I go all the way there to use the bathroom anyways? <sighs> all right, listen up. These glasses were found on the floor of the bathroom. And you're the only one in this whole damn school that wears glasses as distinctive as these. So you're blaming me? What could I possibly gain from setting a toilet on fire? Fire? You're not messing with me, are you? Actually... Yeah? I saw her... the day of the incident. Usami-chan was in the North Building. But Miwako, what the hell? Uh, but I really did see you there. I saw Natsuno-chan there too. Wait, what? <sighs> I feel bad for making them wait for me. I should hurry up and get these to the art room. <sighs> Natsuno-chan! Miwako! Aren't you supposed to be at training? Where are you off to in such a hurry? Where isn't really the... <sighs> Sorry, Miwako! What was that about? Hmm? Uh, Usami-chan? What happened to your leg? Did you hurt yourself? <sighs> she ignored me? That's not like Usami-chan. Oh, I've never even seen that place! Seriously, Miwako? Oh, but... I... What's going on? Yui-chan! So, I was saying... But that can't be right. No, it's true! I really did see them! That's the day we were waiting for you outside. And Usami-chan was with me the whole time. At the front gate, remember? Uh, that's right! So, two Tomi Kisaragis. What the hell's going on? The 
But what about Nachan? I, I mean... How did Natsuno Minami look? Hmm... She was in a hurry. She had her bag. Oh, yeah! On my way back from delivering the copies, I saw another girl. But she was covered in dust. It was really weird. And now that I think about it, she was coming from where the bathroom was. Who was it? Hmm... Well, she looked mild-mannered. And I know I've seen her face around here before. But I don't know which year or class. So two Tomi Kisaragis. And... A girl covered in dust. What in the hell happened? In the girl's bathroom. Everyone here? Is it just me, or is my robot a little slower than everyone else's? The second generation Sentinels are more heavily armed than other models, but also more heavy in general. They're well over 2,000 tons, so careful where you step. Don't want to crash through some underground structure. The fusion reactor on it is pretty heavy, but its energy output is off the charts. Enough that it can power a plasma arc fusion cutter. Once you know how to use that, you'll be slicing up kaiju like a knife through butter. Their original purpose was to break down massive pillars for high-rise buildings. Of course they'd be heavy. But in a close quarters fight, that 1300 ton grip strength will come in handy. Second generation models are linked to a squad of support units, too. They'll respond to distress calls. If you can figure out the best time to use them, you might just turn the tides of battle. Uh, I don't know if I can remember all that. Oh, jeez, that's not good. I found Miwa-chan with the drone. You found her? Oh, that's a relief. No, listen. Miwa-chan's heading right for the next terminal. What? Miwa-go, what are you doing? That girl has no sense of direction. We can't just leave her. I'm gonna go meet up with her. We'll make sure she runs somewhere safer. We're counting on you. Where's Kisaragi? Where did she just run off to? Well, uh, um... Kisaragi, what's your status? Answer me. <sighs> Kisaragi, the girl is... I know. I'll get back to the battle once Miwa goes safe. <sighs> You just looks like it's got a big fan on it. What even is that thing? That's an Apsos. More officially, it's an APS feeder. Oh, that one. They're pretty nasty to fight. They can put up deflective barriers. Probably easier to say it's like a support kaiju that can give other kaiju shields. It's got shields? A shield matrix. The fourth gen Sentinels have those as well. Oh, I get it. Like the one on Amiguchi-kun Sentinel. Your own third-gen unit should have a weapon that can disable that, too. The EMP Stunner. I think that's the one. That'll stop the D-forces in their tracks with an electromagnetic pulse. The EMP should also deactivate any shields they have up, too. That said, you'd be better off destroying them before they get the shields up at all. All units fighting the Kaiju. Can you hear me? Who's that? How'd you get on this channel? Wait, here's a girl Miwako was helping. Chihiro? Is that you, Chihiro? I'm Chihiro Morimura. What? That's our teacher's name. I'm going to evacuate the populace all at once. Readout say 1.2 million people in Sector 4. They'll all be force shifted to the year 2025, as in Sector 3. To the year 2025? You're shifting.
infecting over a million people? So you don't have to worry about any civilian casualties. That's all. Chihiro... Oh, wait a minute. Look! All the people vanished from the city. It looks like the battlefield is totally empty. She really evacuated 1.2 million people. You did all that, Chihiro? That's crazy, Chihiro-chan. What did she even do? The D-forces are coming. But it's like she said. Now we can fight without worrying about collateral damage. Yikes. There's a ton of those bug guys coming this way. They're bigger than tanks, but still too small for sentinels. They'll be pretty hard for us to hit. Workers. About eight meters in size. They're general-purpose drones that can handle any terrain. They can also link up with the quadruped units. They form a kind of crane arm. The Aegis activated. The city's definitely taken damage, but no casualties. Back in the days when I ran with my gang, I used to talk about how I wanted to tear this whole city down. Never thought I'd actually end up destroying it in some big robot battle. But you're still fighting to protect it. There's not much more we can do. Yeah, who asked you? What the hell would you know about how I feel? <sighs> if you're going to lash out at people, could you try not to do it when our lives are at stake? Who asked you? Come on, Yugi-chan. Yeah, I... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. All this shit's just getting to me. My Sentinel looks pretty skinny compared to you guys. Don't tell me I got stuck with a wimpy one. Its shoulder gyros can carry up to 600 tons, so it can fly, but it's about a quarter of the weight of a third gen. But hey, that's some crazy mobility, Yuki-chan. Besides, it's got a lot of power in those legs, right? The spiked heels are powerful pile bunkers. They can also release a high voltage surge to overload enemy internals. But that requires a massive amount of energy. If you overuse it without any cooldown, you'll find yourself out of power fast. Looks like they changed targets. Now they're going for another terminal a ways off. You guys go on ahead. I'm giving my Sentinel a break for repairs. I'll go find a motorcycle nearby and catch up. Stealing bikes again? Thought you said you were gonna stop that shit. Hey, don't say it like that. I'm just borrowing it. Cut me some slack, man. It's an emergency. Could you give me a ride? You're dismounting too, Shinonome-senpai? Sure, let's go. You're gonna let her ride behind you? Yeah, what's wrong with that? <gasps> Don't tell me you're... No, dumbass, I am not jealous. I got places to be. That's a hefty chunk of them we've taken out. They can't have infinite numbers. Shouldn't we have put them on the defensive by now? Something like that. You should have at least made a dent, but somehow... Gotokun found the math on how many kaiju were produced, but those figures aren't matching up with what we're seeing. By now, you've taken down more than we ever thought were made. Maybe his numbers were off. No, the math was based on the factory in 2105 running at full capacity. Our own projections corroborated what he found. Then... What does this mean? Why are there so many? Wait, what's that? Warning, Dino signatures identified. Enemy in range. Strange. That kaiju isn't in our data. It must be a new model. Hey, the signals are picking up fast. Oh shit, is that thing making more? I know this one. It wasn't meant for land or terraforming. It was in the data for interstellar development. 
An RPF. That's a roving production facility. Guess we know how they boosted their numbers now. Finally! We managed to take it out! Don't relax yet. Judging by the jump in numbers, there's no way it was just the one. Warning! Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. Looks like that one's manufacturing drill flies. What a nightmare. Machines giving birth to increase their numbers? That one's probably assigned to a single kaiju type, too. More of those flies? No, this one looks like it's churning out twin tails. Again? This RPF looks like it's working on drum mines. Those self-destructing ones? Just our luck. Can you hear me? All Sentinel pilots, please listen to me. What the... Hey, ain't she that singer from TV? Miyuki Inaba. We're lucky to have her. I'm going to try reaching the mainframe. If I can, this nightmare will finally end. But I can't do it without help. I need you to protect the terminals from Daimo's intrusion. You're fixing the mainframe? You mean the big underground computer? So this is Okino's last resort. Your survival hinges on this. If Universal Control can finish processing my commands, you'll all get through this alive. If we can keep the Daimos from interrupting the process before the mainframe destroys your world, we can save everyone. I just need time. The rest is up to you. Protect the terminals from the Dimos. No matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. You can hardly see any stars in this era. Though I have to say, the city lights are a sight to behold. This place isn't too crowded. Gives me room to hang around and think for a bit. Better take advantage of that. Hmm. Nothing's changed today either. It hasn't gone anywhere. It's still there, hiding behind all those elaborate curtains. That's Sentinel. It's what brought me here. Why were just the Sentinel and I brought here? That thing is beyond me. I'm no expert. But I know it's capable of some extraordinary feats. Time travel, though. Could the Sentinel possess an ability like that? Before the war, my uncle gave me a sci-fi novel. A story about traveling through time to the future. It only ever felt like a far-off fantasy. But on that day, at that moment, that fantasy became a reality. All out of flying bombs. Electromagnetic rounds are offline. Outputs drop by 50% in both electromagnetic battering rams. There are just... too many of them. But I'm not about to just sit here and die. I still have two minutes before I hit my operating limit. Might as well give it everything I got.
It reached its operating limit. Where am I? The air raid. Everything was just on fire. All these giant towers with glass windows? What the hell's going on? <sighs> the last thing I remember is being surrounded by those new American weapons and... No, it can't be. I've heard about major U.S. cities. These high-rise buildings are common. Was I captured? And they got my sentinel too? They must have done it when I lost consciousness. Brought me to the mainland as their... No, wait. If the sentinel just reached its operating limit, then not very much time could have passed. But this view says otherwise. It's not my homeland. Somehow, I ended up on U.S. soil. If that's the case, fine. I guess this is where I'll die. But I'm not going down without a fight. I'll face the enemy, even without my sentinel. Uh, the sentinel. This is bad. The sentinels are top secret. It can't fall into enemy hands. I can't move the sentinel now since it hit its operating limit. Considering everything it's been through already, I can't expect it to perform at full capacity. Sentinel. The enemy cannot get their hands on the sentinel. That's the kind of issue that becomes a national crisis. But what can I do? I can't activate now, let alone initiate self-destruct. I need to slow down and think things over. I should probably go lie low until the Sentinel recovers. But not because I'm afraid. My country. My little sister. I'd give my life for them at the drop of a hat. But I have to be smart right now. And that means waiting for the Sentinel to be up and running. Now that I have a plan, I'd better move fast. I should get out of here before American soldiers show up. I'll stay out of sight until it's the right time to move. Everyone here appears to be Japanese. But something's off. These signs show both kanji and the English alphabet. Ashitaba Printing, Ashitaba Bank. Why are they named after my hometown? You want to stop by the arcade? Sure. The one at Sun Mall? Nah, the one at Joyland. Let's go try out those big new Sega machines that came in. I have no idea what they're talking about. But their language doesn't sound foreign to me. Did you see him in last night's episode? Yeah. Oh, he's so amazing. Right? I watch everything he's in. Female students. Though that's quite a bit of exposed leg. It almost seems like a different dialect. But it's definitely Japanese. Cars. Where in the world am I? This isn't America. It looks like Japan, but everything seems off. This is all just a terrible dream. Right? Right. It's nothing to worry about, just my brain acting up. That's why my surroundings appear to be different. We knew what the risks were going in as Sentinel pilots. Professor Doji made it all very clear to us. That's right. This has happened before. I experienced a similar illusion during the Sentinel Sync test. He's wearing a boy's school uniform, but appears to have a girl's haircut. Hmm. Huh? 
the hell are you looking at? This one has a particularly strange hairstyle. Hey, you trying to get your ass kicked? It looks like... I've finally gone crazy. You wanna see crazy? Hey, stop! What is this room? Oh, hold on, I think I remember. Some guy with weird hair hit me with his bag. This doesn't look like a detention facility. Either I'm still seeing things, or someone removed me from the Sentinel. Whoever it was brought me to some kind of lab. box-shaped technicolor projection device. The Sentinel has its own spatial projector as well, but that's highly confidential military technology. Huh? It's about baseball. I'm not in a military base, am I? Foreign phonograph records. Takatoshi-san used to let me listen to his. Why are there so many records here? There are way more than I saw at the Hijiyamas. It's a calendar. 1985? It's all in my head. It's just an illusion. Math. Modern Japanese. Lots of textbooks lined up here. Japanese history. So I really am still in Japan then. <sighs> this can't be right. 1945, the year of Japan's unconditional surrender. Surrender? We lost the war? 1945, that's this year. August 6th. Atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. 140,000 killed. Three days later, second bomb dropped on Nagasaki. 70,000 killed. All from just two new American bombs. What is this book? 1951, US-Japan Security Treaty signed. 1964, Tokyo Olympics? How far does this go? Wait, what did that calendar say? 1985. It has to be fake. When was this printed? It says here... 1985. Could it really be? You okay? Here. It's so cold. That's all that was in the fridge. <clears throat> wow. Not a big fan of soda, I take it? Some kind of carbonated beverage? I had ramen once at a festival in Tsutsuji, but I was just a kid. 1985. Am I still in Japan? But... In the future? Who are you? I'm Shu Amiguchi. And we're at my apartment in Kamazumi. Keitaro Miura. So, how did I get here? I called a taxi and brought you over after you got knocked out. So you... helped me? Guilty. You know, you really pushed Ogata over the edge. He was already pissed from being chewed out. If he gets in trouble one more time, he's getting suspended. Be real nice if you two could work things out peacefully. I need to know one thing. What year is it? Uh, what? Afraid you got knocked into a coma for the last few years? Relax, you didn't get hit that hard. It's still 1985, alright? 
You haven't missed a day. No matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. I don't care that we lost. I'm proud my country could rebuild after what happened. But I won't accept this future. Now that I know we lose the war, that's all the more reason to go back. I'll bring the Sentinel with me, and I'll change history. It's my duty to fight and protect the people. I have to save as many of them as I can. <sighs> but what if it's impossible for me to go back? What if I'm trapped here? Shihiro. All right, that's enough. Get it together. Don't get discouraged. You will make it back. No matter what it takes. Hmm. I wonder, what if I never actually traveled through time? It's possible that space-time here is warped somehow, but it could just be a local effect. I should try heading toward the school. Maybe time is flowing normally over there. Despite a catastrophic loss, Japan recovered quite well. It seems to have entered a prosperous new era. Almost too prosperous. Hurry up, Miwa-chan! Slow down, Iori-chan! Female students. Looks like the school's still here. Isn't that... Hey, hold on! <laughs> Miyorakun? Thank goodness! You're Natsuno Minami, right? The one I met at the shrine. What are you doing here? I've gotta say, you had me pretty worried. I had no idea where you went. I just... I can't believe you're here, too. I couldn't find you anywhere. I thought you got snatched up and hauled off to Area 51. But anyway, what have you been up to? Wait, first... Where have you been? <sighs> A kind student's been letting me stay at his place. Aside from that, I've been sleeping outdoors. Outdoors?! Natsuno-san. Get it together, Keitaro. She certainly is quite... Yes. I admit, she's bright, cheerful, attractive. But right now, I have more urgent matters to tend to. Hang on. This is my mess, so I have to figure out how to clean it up. But then again, hmm, I can't really bring a boy into the house. Oh yeah, Granny Tamal went on a trip, so Juro-kun should be the only one home. That house does have a lot of rooms. Granny Tamal? Uh, sorry, let me go grab my stuff really quick. I'll be right back, so just wait here. Then we'll head over to the Karabe's house. Karabe? Managed to leave quite the dent. Chihiro? You don't have to cry. It's not like you did this on purpose. I'm sure Uncle isn't mad about it anymore. 
What about you? Are you mad? Of course not. I'm your big brother. I'll always be on your side, Chihiro. Now, come on out. So, how'd you hit the pillar with the laundry bucket? You must have been playing pretty rough. The bunny was biting. And it beat up giant ghosts. Cause the ghosts smash all the houses. And more of them keep coming. Such strange ghosts. Did you come up with them yourself? No, Tamao told me about them. I'm sorry, Chihiro-chan. My father has quite a short temper. I'm sorry. This was all my fault. Tamao-san? It only happened because I told Chihiro-chan about my dreams. Is it okay for you to be awake right now? Mm-hmm. I've been feeling much better lately. And I have Goto-san from Tokyo to thank for that. He's been sharing some foreign medicine with me. It's just that... Ever since I started taking it, I keep having strange dreams. But they feel like... more than just dreams. They're like memories that I just suddenly remember. <laughs> the sirens. This is bad. Turn on the radio. This military broadcast. Air raid alarms have been sounded. Enemy is flying at low altitude. More air units to be expected. To prepare against the coming invasion. We ask all citizens to unite as we fortify our air defenses. It's a massive enemy raid. We have to hurry to a bomb-proof shelter. Come on, Chihiro-chan. We have to go. Jiro-kun! Are you home? Minami-san... Couldn't you have knocked first? Come on, your Granny Tamao and I are best buds. We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. Oh, Minami-san. I didn't know you lived so close. Did you really need to come out? You're Yakushiji-san, our classmate? Wait, no way. Are you two... Do you need something from him? It's not what it looks like. This is just... You know... Natsuno-san? Oh, come on in! Pardon my interruption. <sighs> so this house is still standing. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. So, um, it's kinda complicated, but yeah. I need you to let him stay over for a few days. What? How do you know Minami-san? Come on, I know you have a spare room. Just let him stay until your granny's back. In exchange, I won't tell anyone you're living with a girl. <laughs> That's not- The details don't matter. Just let him stay, alright? Thanks, see ya! Natsuno-san, is this... It's fine, it's fine! I live super close by. So if you need anything, just let me know. There she goes. Well, this is awkward. Pardon me. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but... I really don't want to be an inconvenience. Are you hungry? Why don't you join us for dinner? No, I shouldn't. Your stomach thinks you should. 
No, that was, uh... I'll go fix your plate. So, Tamao-san is your grandmother? Is she in good health? Grandma? She's fit as a fiddle. She's visiting relatives back in Shimane. That's why she isn't here. Shimane? She must be with her mother's side of the family in Iwami. Do you... know my grandma? Yes. You do, huh? So then? How long do you need a place to stay? Not long. Just until I can make my way back home. Well, all right. If that's the case, it shouldn't be a problem. Just try not to cause any trouble. Feel free to use the guest room on the first floor. Thank you. Before the war, I... I... Not long. Well, I'll just try not to cause any trouble. Feel free to use the guest room on the first floor. Thank you. Before the war, my uncle gave me a sci-fi novel. A story about traveling through time to the future. It only ever felt like a far-off fantasy. To think it ever become a reality. I checked the library for any records of such a weapon. But in all of history, nothing like it has ever existed. Not in the US, not anywhere. What was that thing? There's a projection device where the radio used to be. It's been lightly remodeled, but it's the same house. I could have sworn it burned to the ground. The damage on this pillar is missing. And it wasn't changed when they remodeled. If this really is the Karabe's house, then it should be right here. Chihiro left a dent in this pillar. Back on my parents' property. There was a wooden, single-story house. It was built in the middle of the 20th century. That humble little place stood for about a hundred years. My grandfather often told me stories about it. Some of his fondest childhood memories were at that house. That sounds lovely. I'll have it produced for you. You will. But all I have left are old photographs. That's fine. I can restore them for you. Thank you, Mira-san. I'm looking forward to it. Oh! Were you just on a call with someone else? With Professor Karabe, yes. We were discussing the layout of the residential zone. Oh, that's right. Professor Karabe was born in the 21st century. She's 120 years old, right? I know that she's receiving nanomachine treatment, but she still looks so young. She's Professor Morimura's mentor, I hear. Quite an intelligent individual. Well, yeah. She is the foremost expert on AI, after all. Right. Anyway, is something wrong? Why does something have to be wrong for me to call? Well... I just so happen to have a really urgent problem. I need emotional support stat. And I need it from you. Oh, that does sound urgent. Then I'll be waiting.
No matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. I met Natsuna-san over at the shrine. She ended up dodging my question. What was she doing there? She attends the same school as Jurokun. At least that's what he told me. Despite a catastrophic loss, Nothing's changed today either. I need to figure out how to take back the Sentinel. Then I can find a way to return to 1945. Though, I can't seem to reactivate it. I've tried countless times, too. I hope I didn't break it. If there's a mechanical issue, I'd love to take a look at it. But security around the building's been tight lately. Now I can't get too close. I can't just sit here. Actually, that factory at the mountain pass may have survived the air raid. It might still be standing in this era. Natsuno-san, I saw when the war supposedly ends in that history book, August of 1945. If that's true, then Japan loses the war in just three months. Ayame Park. This is where the factory used to be. Chihiro? Is it really you? What business do you have with my little sister? Who are you? I'm that child's older brother. Is there something you need from her? No. She just... looks like a relative of mine. Mm. Let's get going. Hero, if she's still alive, she'd be over 40 by now. If she's... We don't have a family burial plot where I'd find her. I have no idea what's happened to her. She's either alive somewhere in this world, or... <sighs> Chihiro, I'm going to find my way back to you. In any case, I should go talk to Natsuno-san. She must know something. Sakura High School. It looks nothing like the school I attended. If she's... It's still here. It's been renovated. But I do recognize this building. If this is the school building, then over there's where the potato field used to be. Looks like that plot of land got bigger. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way in. There's no one here. Do they not use this building? This building was brand new. Now the floorboards creak. The pillars are all scratched up. And really has been 40 years. <sighs> uh. 
This is where I waited for Takatoshi-san. And more Tamao-san came to see me off. How strange. It almost feels like it was all just a distant dream. All right, enough. This isn't the time to be getting sentimental. Oh, Miracon. Megumi-san, thank you again for the bento you gave me. I found a nice spot to eat it by the Kaide River. A bento with meatballs. Quite luxurious. I was very impressed. Oh, they were just regular old meatballs. Nothing special, but I'm glad you liked it. What are you doing out here? Are you looking for someone? I'm trying to find Natsuno-san. Would you happen to know where she is? Minami-san? She should be in the track room. The athletic building's over that way. Want me to go check? No, that's okay. Oh yeah, so for dinner tonight, I think I'll make Hamburg steak. You seem to really like it. You mean that giant ball of meat? Hamburger meat, yeah. It's Jiro's favorite. So try not to come home too late. Those meatballs they call hamburger. I've never had anything so delicious. Enough. This is no time to be distracted by food. Natsuno-san's over there. Everyone's staring at me. I'm glad I found Natsuno-san. But I don't like all this attention. Hey, you! You've been standing there an awfully long time. What are you doing? I'm waiting for Natsuno Minami. Minami? How do you know her? And how old are you? Looks like a middle school uniform to me. No, uh, I'm, uh... Seriously? You guys have to be so nosy? Natsuno-san. Come on, let's go. So, Minami's got a boyfriend, huh? Sorry I took a while getting changed. It's fine. I said I'd wait. So, whenever you exercise, you all change into outfits that show your legs? That's... fascinating. <laughs> anyway, you kind of showed up at school out of nowhere. Everything okay? Natsuno-san, I met you before, back in 1945, and now here you are. Huh? You must know something about all this, about how I ended up in this era. Please, tell me what you know. That's, uh, jeez, how do I put this? Look, I can't really talk about it here. There's gotta be a good place. Somewhere with no one around. We could go to the building I used back in my time. It seemed to be empty. The old school building? We can go in there? Yes. It was open. All right. Then we'll talk about it there. Let's go. I always thought this place would be locked up. We should be good here. 
Miyuru-kun, can you keep a secret? Uh, of course. Okay. <laughs> then I'll tell you. Don't freak out, okay? This is BJ. He's an alien from the future. <sighs> BJ's looking for the robot he used to get here. And I'm helping him find it. A robot? Does the word Sentinel ring a bell? <laughs> that Sentinel from back in 1945 belongs to BJ's alien friend. There are a few of them, too. How does she know about the Sentinel? And did she say it was made by aliens? It's a top-secret military weapon created by Japan. I don't need to tell you this, but those babies are capable of time travel. <sighs> This... BJ. I have some questions about it. I've heard Shikishima engineers talk about something like this. Isn't this actually a type of scout unit? Shikishima? They don't dabble in alien technology. All they do is make weapons, and BJ is no weapon. But... Kikaro... Miura. If he's just a scout unit, explain how he can talk. Don't be a jerk, Mirakun. BJ isn't some kind of robot. This is just a spacesuit. Aliens come in all shapes and sizes. My guess is the only thing inside that suit is BJ's brain. <clears throat> so you're an alien? Interesting. Why are you searching for the Sentinel? What's your objective? To uncover the truth. The truth? Do you wish to know where you came from? Do you not? What are you talking about? I came from 1945. Incorrect. Your log proves otherwise. My log? Yeah, show us. I don't care who's responsible for creating the Sentinel. I need it to save my country. But what do I do? The circuit should have repaired itself by now. But I can't seem to reactivate it. This log. If you really have it, I'd like to see it. Professor. I have switched over to a private channel. Professor Takamiya, can you hear me? Is that... Miyura-kun? Professor Takamiya. I'm connected now. Thanks, Miyura-kun. What the heck? Yuki-chan? Everything goes smoothly with the shuttle? I was able to secure a seat thanks to you. It'll probably be the last shuttle. This place will be lost by tomorrow, too. Has the front line advanced that much already? Afraid so. If anything, they're picking up speed. Did Natsuno get out safely? She arrived in Sector 4 about five hours ago. Ah, so she's there with you. You know, you two... I never approved of your relationship. <laughs> what? Mom! There's my girl. <laughs> You know, I'm only kidding. I didn't think you wanted to talk to me anymore. Of course I do. I'm sorry about all the trouble with your father. He and I haven't been on good terms since we split up. It's okay, Mom. I want to be with you. I know. Me too, Nanchan. Yuki-chan's my mom? I'm sorry, Professor Takamiya. The shuttle's about to take off. All right. I'll see you at Sector 3 in 14 hours. We'll be waiting for you at Landing Zone 10. Looking forward to it. The destruction is spreading. 
It's only a matter of time until the surface is lost. What the heck was all that? <sighs> that was just a segment of the log I've retained. I have to know. When was that log recorded? In the year 2188. That doesn't make sense. How is this even possible? Yuki-chan's my mom in the future? No matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. That scout unit is an alien from the future. At least that's what Natsuno-san says. The footage he showed us is allegedly from the future. If it's real, then how am I still alive 200 years from now? <sighs> All I know for certain is that it's no ordinary scout unit. She's from 1985. She seems to know about the existence of other Sentinels. Is that how she's able to travel through time? Maybe there's another way. In any case, she appears to be a central figure in all this. Could she still be at school? Megumi-san. Do you know where the track room is? Yes. Oh, right. Have you seen Juro around anywhere? No. I see. Maybe he went home already. For dinner tonight, what should I make? We could have Hamburger. Again? No, no, that's all right. I'm fine with anything. Well, let's see. We've had nothing but meat these last few days. I think I want to make some fish for Juro. Okay, I better run to the store. I'll see you later. Natsuno-san's over there. again. Minami isn't here today. Must have been really important. She even ditched practice. Is that so? Hey, are you Minami-san's boyfriend? How far have you two gone? What? No, you've got it all wrong. Do you happen to know where she went? All she said was that she was in a hurry. But I don't know where she went. I know where. She went over to Tokisaka Shrine. What's she doing there? Not sure. I didn't ask. Tokisaka Shrine, huh? That's where I first met her. But it was back in my own era. Amazing. The shrine's hardly changed at all. The surrounding thicket, on the other hand, that has changed considerably. I don't see Natsuno-san anywhere. I wonder if she's hiding behind the trees again. What I'd give to see that. We 
couldn't find it. I wonder where it could be. Natsuno-san. Whoa! Whoa, hey, uh, what are you doing out so late? And why are you here, of all places? Natsuno-san, what was that just now? There was a big flash of light, and you just... appeared. Just like when I came to this era in my Sentinel. Same flash of light and everything. I, uh... Come to think of it, this happened at the shrine back when we first met, too. There was a similar flash, almost like lightning. I get it now. You have to come here to travel through time. What do we do, BJ? Please, tell me what's going on. I just want to go home. Are you just going to leave your sentinel behind? Oh yeah, that's how you got here. What are you going to do with it? <sighs> I'll figure out how to deal with the Sentinel later. It's Shihiro, my little sister. If there's any chance she made it out of that hell alive, then I have to find out. Hmm. Okay, that makes sense. BJ, think you can make it happen? Please. Fine. Activate gate. Setting coordinates to Sector 5. Initiating shift. That data unit. So it was with Natsuno Minami all this time. Is it really that easy to travel through time? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? If we have the power to travel freely through time, can I just send the Sentinel back to before the war starts? Nope, that's impossible. We can't just jump around as far as we want. We can only travel 40 years at a time. Besides, this is as far back in the past as we can go. I see. That's unfortunate. For now, let's find Shihiro. All right, let's go. She's most likely at an evacuation shelter. If not, then I might find her at the Karabe's house. going on. The place is deserted. The factory and station are both empty. Radios are down. No one's answering. Where is everyone? You see that? It's that creature. Okay, so... That thing is an alien weapon, and it's here to invade Earth. The Sentinels were created to fight them off. This is just like what happened in the city from the future. After the aliens invaded, everyone was gone. Wait. If people are disappearing in the past, what's happening to everyone in my era? <sighs> That's... Kaiju aren't secret U.S. military weapons. They're alien invaders from the future. And the Sentinels are the tools we need to defeat them. Tamao-san! <sighs> what happened? Uh, uh, 
vital signs are failing. Condition is too critical for life support. Tamao-san, where's Shihiro? Shihiro, John, is... Please calm down, Miss Morimura. Uh, Chihiro-chan! Where do you plan on taking her? Uh, I apologize for what I've done to you. But you have no reason to worry. Uh, Wait! Goto. The one who was giving you medicine. Uh, Tamaho-san! She disappeared. Universal control has shifted her. Does that mean the aliens got her? Probably. It's likely that everyone is being held there. Until this world comes to an end. What do you think you're doing, Gotokun? I believe I told you using the gate is prohibited. <sighs> Tell me, Miss Morimura, is history one of your better subjects? <sighs> I have some theories myself. I'd like to know if they're accurate. For example, the true location of the lost nation of Yamataikoku, and the truth behind the Hanoji incident. How Oda Nobunaga really died. Unfortunately, my paper in middle school was bound to the failures of our historians. In theory, I could update it into a full report. In theory, at least. A shame that the gates are locked to specific points in time. What are you really working towards? It's simple. I want to know the truth. Are you all right? This isn't like you. That implies an understanding of what is like me. Or at least, that you believe you understand me. That's not the point. You need to stop using the gate. I'm going to seal this place off. <laughs> Sounds like you've got something to hide. I don't know what you're... Wait. Perhaps a personal notebook seems a bit archaic, but it does present certain advantages. Digitized data can be altered, fabricated, falsified. No intelligent person should trust it. But you already know that, don't you? <sighs> you are acting strange, after all. I hardly think you're in a position to talk. If anyone's changed, it's you. I can only wonder why. What are you? Miss Morimura, my question is, who exactly are you? So, did the scout unit have anything for us? Well, the surface is a total loss. The automated factories are all running at full capacity. They're mass-producing kaiju. Hey, getting used to everything? The technology itself isn't so different from 40 years ago. The real surprise was finding that it's all been integrated into one unified system. You sure don't seem like someone from your time. How are things looking? About like we expected. Naturally. All the nuclear plants are stable. 
Seems like it's the same for other countries, too. Defensive measures. They want to ensure nothing interrupts production. So, these factories, are they particularly large? It's more about how they got totally automated. That was back in 2080. They started functioning as part of a network instead of individual units. A worldwide network comprising 1.2 billion factories. All fully integrated and synchronized. Based on a client's request, the computer designs a blueprint. From there on, everything is fully automated. Assembly, production, even cost-effective ordering of parts. The human element was no longer necessary for those processes. So it's a manufactory that can mass-produce anything, on a global scale. They all function as part of a unified global manufacturing network. By its protocols, all 1.2 billion factories worldwide remain in automatic, perpetual production. And their sole output are these mechanized kaiju, which we know as the D-forces. We checked on the plants in Kolkata and Chennai. Since they're the largest plants of this era and all, their production rate has doubled over the last three days. Just like last time. The timing matches up, too. Not long now. They'll make their move soon. Morimura-san. Regarding my home time, that is, the year 2064, you're certain we'll face a similar attack? We don't have long until they appear in 2064. That much we know. It'll be just like last time. No, not quite. This time, we have the Sentinels. True. Anything on your end? Loosely speaking. We managed a partial data dump from the underground mainframe. Goto-kun? It's an archived news report. Concerning a certain scandal. More important, though, is its date of recording. When's the data from? The year 2188. In other words, far in the future. Even more so than our current temporal position, 2104. Let's see it. Before dawn on the 20th, eight Newman Inc. executives were taken into police custody. Charged with human trafficking and illegal cloning, their established motive was to tamper with human memories. Authorities consider this an organized effort and are pursuing further charges. Mind hacking crimes have been on the rise in recent years. By exploiting nanomachines such as interlocitors, malefactors can overwrite stored memory information in cerebral synapses. This technique has recently been used to enable other associated offenses. These arrests come after a string of similar cases, including culprits criminally downloading memories onto another body. Evidence suggests these are attempts at a kind of technological reincarnation. And we've already seen more than 460 arrests connected to this practice. A log concerning the scandal involving Newman Inc. The report is dated 2188. Some of their executives were taken into police custody. The crime in question was apparently attempting to use nanotechnology to, in theory, take over physical bodies. I didn't know it was even possible to download memories. The crime apparently occurred in June of 2188. Ida-kun. That's not all. Let him finish. Regarding this Newman, I found one more log that could be relevant. This report is from March, about three months prior to the other log. Newman Inc., the tech 
giants, known for interlocutors, has been acquired by Shikishima through a takeover bid. Shikishima's CEO had this to say. Nanotechnology has made leaps and bounds over the 22nd century. Now, even the human body can operate with all the power of a supercomputer. Interlocitors have paved the way for humanity's next step in evolution. For any one of us, all it takes is a thought. And we can have the world itself at our fingertips. With the brilliant minds at Newman driving our nanotech business, we look forward to a brighter future for Shikishima and all our affiliates. With this acquisition, Shikishima now sits among the top three in global market share of interlocutors. Three months prior to the Newman Inc. incident, Newman was acquired by the conglomerate Shikishima. With these interlocutors, apparently some kind of nanomachine information technology, they've become one of the world's top megacorps. They kept talking about those interlocutors. You think that's the nanomachines inside our own bodies? Most likely. So Shikishima's at the heart of this, too. At least we know we weren't wrong. This all began in the future after all. Still, 2188. 2104 is the furthest we can shift into the future. It's a shame, but... I don't think we can verify this ourselves. Hmm. I think we should drop this lead for now. Better to focus on protecting Gotokun's hometown instead. Maybe so. We're almost out of time, so we'll need to move quickly. Best to return to the school in the year 2064. We'll need the cooperation of the other two compatibles. Gotokun, we should focus on putting the Sentinels through the combat sims. I hope you can join me. Sure. My apologies, Miss Morimura. Making arrangements in 1985 proved somewhat difficult. I'm sorry we've had to remain here the past few days. Not much we can do if it's an emergency. I have to ask. Was it absolutely necessary to dress me up like this? Does it bother you? Considering the age you appear, well... It struck me as the most inconspicuous choice. You're not having trouble walking, are you, Miss Morimura? You should probably just call me Chihiro. Otherwise, we'll seem suspicious in public. Okay, Chihiro. San. Better drop the San, too. Honestly, I'm surprised you were able to find me at all. A certain data log helped. I found records that your mind had been transferred into the young child standing before me. This body is a juvenile clone of me. I ran an experiment to see if I could restore my compatibility. It turned out to be a failure. That's why I sealed my memories. This compatibility... That'd be the ability to control the gate and the sentinels? You need compatibility to control the mainframe. I was once compatible myself. But after everything got rewound, I lost that power. Maybe it's hard for you to see how crucial that ability is. But you'll understand soon enough. This refers to the humans who can control the UFO's mainframe. Those compatible have nanomachines implanted in their bodies. What's going on with my actual body? She's acting like a completely different person. My theory is that someone's taken control of her. You're saying she got mind hacked? She's clearly behaving very differently, at least. It seems like she's working against the Sentinel Project. It's like she's been influenced by 426. 
Or the man himself may just be wearing her face. That certainly explains why you woke me up. <sighs> Not much to go on, though. Either way, we'll have to do some more investigation. I can see it's been quite a while since my memories were sealed. Five whole years. And now four sectors have gone dark. Talk about a rude awakening. First, you'd better catch me up on major developments in the last five years. Easy enough. Hardly comfortable surroundings for a briefing, though. I'll explain over in 1985. That should do it for preparations. Now, let's see if the biometric authentication works. Did it go through? Looks like that got me past the initial barrier, at least. Now, with Miss Murimura's ID, I should be able to get into her logs. Found it. One of the logs she left behind. March 2nd, 2100. Well, I guess there's no point in putting a date to these logs. We've probably got four years left until the invasion begins. I ran an experiment on my clone. I wanted to see if I could make her more compatible. I had more than enough data stored in Sector Zero. She would have had all my memories. However, I could not establish compatibility in the clone. No more than I could in myself. Maybe... There really is no way we can survive this. <sighs> Not even Ida-kun knows about this experiment. I've kept this attempt secret from everyone. The memories I implanted in the clone have been sealed. I left her in 1940 under the Miura family's care. She'll be able to grow up as her own person. Someone separate from me. Until they invade, at least. That methodology sounds familiar. Was she basing this project off of those memory overriding crime reports? All in an effort to achieve compatibility? So compatibility isn't just a matter of differences in the nanomachines. There's more. This file looks like the last thing recorded. since the battle that ended with the Sentinels infected. Miss Morimura has been pushing this operation as one of its fiercest supporters. The final log that Chihiro Morimura left on the UFO. She speaks at length on Operation Aegis. Her goal is that he and she would ultimately survive, even at the cost of humanity's future. The question is, who is he? That's puzzling. There's a log registered under my name. As far as I know, I've never recorded anything like this. Renya Goto speaking. Oh. Did you confirm receipt of payment? Then I'm sure you can see to the details. Am I clear? I want her dead. 
any means necessary. Execute her. And stop the project. That's not my problem. It's in your hands now. Do you realize what'll happen if her project gets approved? It could ruin everything we've worked for. You know what must be done. Kill Chihiro Morimura. Was that really me? That man was a Shikishima executive from the year 2188. Is that supposed to be my future? Seems like a private communications log. The other person on the line wasn't recorded. But it's clear enough what they're talking about. That was an assassination order on Shihiro Morimura. Which... I seem to have called in. Chihiro. Renya Goto. He's the one who took Chihiro from me. He might be the same guy that Tamao-san gets her pills from. According to Natsuno-san, a boy named Renya Goto attends school in this era. He can apparently travel through time too. And BJ said he's from 80 years in the future. Back in 1945, everyone mysteriously vanished. But here in 1985, 40 years later, there's no historical evidence or impact from that event. It reminds me of a concept I read about in a science book. The idea of two similar parallel worlds. According to the history of this era, it has indeed been 40 years. But this era doesn't seem to be based on the era I'm from. The two aren't connected. Perhaps this isn't really time travel after all. Renya Goto. He's the one who took Chihiro from me. If he's in 1985, then Shihiro will be with him. Even if I do bring the Sentinel back home, how can I bring myself to fight? The ones I swore to protect are gone. Our mother... The Kai... Could he be at the school? I don't care what it takes. I'm going to find him. And I'm going to get Shihiro back. Renya Goto is Natsuno-san's senpai. He also attends the school in 1985. And according to BJ, he's from even further into the future. <sighs> Miyura-kun! Natsuno-san! Perfect timing. I was just about to go looking for you. Same here. I've been worried about you, Miyara-kun. Thanks, but I'm fine. In fact, I came here to find Renya Goto. But I have no idea what he looks like or how he dresses. Could you point him out to me? That might be a little tough. Goto-senpai hasn't been back on campus. I asked around and... No teacher knows where he lives. Well, that's a problem. <sighs> oh, Natsuno-chan! Miwako! Done with practice already? Oh, you have that picture of Goto-senpai, right? The one you took when he wasn't looking? <laughs> hey! Not so loud! Sorry, sorry. So do you have it? Yeah... Yes, this is it! Miyura-kun! Look, I've got a picture of Goto-senpai! 
Pardon my interruption. He's the tall guy in the back. This here is Renya Goto? The one with the glasses? Yep, that's him. Thanks, Miwako. <sighs> Natsuna-chan. What's going on between you and that guy? Huh? Nothing's going on. Just a normal, casual friendship. <gasps> casual? You mean... N no! Not that. How could this be? The man I saw at the park was Renya Goto. The bastard who kidnapped Chihiro. Chihiro? It really is you, isn't it? Please say something. I found this. It survived the air raid. I meant to give it back to you earlier. This is your favorite stuffed animal, isn't it? Big... Big brother! Don't lose it again, all right? I won't. Chihiro... It really is you. I'm so relieved you're safe. <laughs> I suppose it's true. It's not like my memories were displaced. My blissful dependency as your little sister. It's become part of my identity. Denial can cause enormous strain to one's psyche. Chihiro? Are you... okay? Better than okay. I've regained my original memories. I'm Chihiro Morimura. Morimura? You're the one who insisted on keeping that a secret. Yet you gave it away in the end. It's you. Sometimes a bold change in plans is necessary. You'd know that better than anyone. Wouldn't you, Goto-kun? I didn't expect to see you here. Renya Goto. What the hell did you do to Chihiro? I don't appreciate the hostility. But what you see here is Chihiro in her original state. She was never your little sister to begin with. Shut up! I'm not listening to a word you say. I won't forgive you. And I will avenge Tamao-san. I believe you misunderstand the situation. Chihiro, listen to your big brother and come with me. We're going. Where, exactly? Back to 1945 where no one's left? Don't you see? It doesn't matter where we run. <laughs> if we have any hopes of preventing the loop, we need to prioritize gaining control over all systems. You've always been the dependable type. You used to be an excellent design engineer. What are you talking about? I'll always be on your side, Chihiro. That's what you told me, remember? So please, cooperate. <sighs> Is everything prepared, Goto-kun? Already. Good. Then I shouldn't waste any more time. Let's hurry. Chihiro! <sighs> Don't even bother. Get out of my way. Chihiro is coming with me. She's being targeted for assassination. <laughs> and I highly doubt you have the capacity to protect her. What? Who would... Eiseki Gahara. Should you decide to cooperate, 
Let me know. <sighs> Seki Gahara. Did he travel through time too? Is that how he got here? Tamao san. The military police are gone for now. How are things looking? They're searching for Kiriko san. I can't believe she's a spy. They seem to think she's associated with him. He must have dragged her into this. I just don't understand. Why protect a wanted man? <sighs> that woman... Her name isn't Kiriko Doji. And she doesn't come from this world. You're a lunatic. I don't get it. What could she want with the Sentinel? You know about the Sentinel? You really are a spy. If she were to try and escape, she'd likely use the gate. If we leave now, we might be able to catch up to her. Seki san Please, I have to know the truth. I was told that my parents aren't really my parents. And that... I was brought here from the future. Is that what Kiriko Doji told you? I don't know why she'd lie. But... I think that explains the dreams I keep having. She's tampered with your memories. <sighs> He's out of his mind. Don't listen to a word he says, Tamao san We should just turn him in. Keitaro-san, please. I don't want it to come to that. Keitaro? As in Keitaro Miura? How the hell do you know my name? I see. So it's you. What are you on about now? You and I have been fighting alongside each other. I've never seen you before in my life. The Miura of this era hasn't. The Miura of the future has. The future? Yes. He no longer has his physical body. His consciousness is currently stored inside a scout unit. Then... Keitaro-san is... One and the same. <sighs> I've had enough of this nonsense! You, come with me! I'm taking you in. Don't move. <gasps> Sekigahara-san! You bastard! Like you said, I'm out of my mind. Poison is coursing through my brain as we speak. inside a washing machine. That frickin' inspection hatch? Definitely don't recommend. He hit my butt so many times. Ah! How in the... How am I supposed to get down from here? Companion ladder on the front. Oh, right. The thing I used to get up here in the first place. Whew! That was scary. Just the thought of slipping and falling all the way down. My hands are real sweaty. BJ, are we... We made it back, right? It is 1985. A robot as big as this. I can't believe it's capable of time travel. 
alien technology sure doesn't disappoint. Wait, where's Miura Kun? He is already gone. You mean he's somewhere out in the city right now? That's not good. What if those men in black get a hold of him? They probably want to take him to Area 51. Our situation is more critical than his. I can't... It's even capable of time travel. Oh no. A bunch of police cars are starting to gather down there. I guess we did kind of destroy the building. Oh man, we're gonna get arrested, aren't we? We need to leave. Yeah, okay. What the heck are we gonna do about this? Not to know. Right, first things first. Let's get you in the bag. lock you up, BJ. But those men in black are still wandering around. Hmm? Hmm. My notebook's not in here. My research notebook on aliens. Where did I put it again? I was writing in it during class today. Oh yeah! I took it to the audio-visual room. Crap! I totally left it there, didn't I? I've searched for quite a while. But I couldn't find miura anywhere. I bet he got captured by the men in black. And it's all because of me. It has all sorts of records on Alien BJ, too. It'd be a disaster if someone saw it. someone saw my notes. I gotta get my notebook back, no matter what. Aw, oh, yeah! Got it! All right, Minami. Listen up. All top-secret documents need to be kept extra secure from now on. We can't afford leaks. Put them somewhere safe and keep a sharp eye on them. Right. You got it, boss. Not to know. We have to keep moving. I know, I know. To the gate, right? No. I've detected an unfamiliar signal. It's coming this way. What is it? Unable to identify. Estimated threat level is extremely high. Leave this area now. Oh! You saw me? No! <gasps> Whoa, what the heck? You almost hit me! Man. What 
What's going on? Why is Usami? That is not Tomi Kisaragi. What? So she's an imposter? No, it's an android created in her likeness. Oh, I get it. Those evil aliens are after you. So they made a robot to track you down. Where are we now? I ran into the bathroom. This is a dead end. There's nowhere to run. Not helping. It's too late. <gasps> She's right there. What do we do? I've got to hide. Well, well. Please don't make me use force. Just do as I say and come out quietly. Someone else is here. What a surprise. How'd you find me here? I thought number 17 was gone, but its signal led me here. <sighs> now that I've found 426, I can't just walk away. Whatever you have planned, I won't let you go through with it. You know Ida was full of crap, don't you? And you still have something against me? Many people fell victim to you. That much is still true. That's why I have to destroy you here and now. You're awfully dramatic for a machine. And I'm awfully strong, too. Well, his body really is falling apart. I can barely hold my gun straight. Didn't think I'd ever seen this resort to violence. Knowing who you were. I guess in your heart is just a machine. You're a monster yourself. No different from me. Whatever makes it all easier. Quiet now. <sighs> Holy crap! What a mess. Hey. is a robot. It looks just like Usami. What are you doing here, Tamao-san? And this... Did you do all this? Not you. Stay back. Hey, don't jump out like that. He's also an android. Created in Tamao Karabe's image. She's a robot, too? I'm the one who called her here. However, as of a few moments ago, I can no longer identify her. Stay back, Natrio! <sighs> I didn't expect you to be here, too, Miyurakun. You're... I see. broken. What did you do to BJ? Why did you come for him? Forgive me. We seem to have a misunderstanding. I've come for you, 
Natsuno Minami. What? Those monsters, the ones that destroyed the city, they have a new commander. And it's you. So, starting now, I'll be the one giving you orders. saw who saw me. Uh, man, I can't really remember what happened here. We should go before anyone else shows up. Yeah, you're right. Come on, we can't let anyone see you. Things. You're sure there are none of those men in black suits here? Positive. Chihiro Morimura's objective. One with great implications. Especially for those from another world, like me. If Operation Aegis succeeds, we'll never be able to leave this world. But that must be it. That must be why I killed her. She seems to have a particular fondness for me. It appears she confessed her feelings to me. And I have yet to give her an answer. What was I going to do? She... The, the, or... The, the, I did see them earlier in the morning. But I haven't seen them at all this afternoon. Do you think they left? I seriously hope so. If a random stranger like me is seen on campus, will that be a problem? Oh, I don't know. Will it? <sighs> But you shouldn't worry, especially with that uniform. It may be from the future, but it's still a Sakura High uniform. So you don't have to feel like a stranger. So tell me, what's Sakura High like in the future? In the future? Well, there should be a new building up and running. Should be? Yes, you'll see it for yourself someday. Uh, no fair. Is anyone just allowed to enter the nurse's office? Well, there's no teacher there, so it's closed right now. <sighs> Leave it to me. I'll figure something out. Oh, it's you. Yori, what's up? Hey, Sami-chan. What are you doing here? Well, he wanted to check out the school. So I'm just showing him around. Hmm. Uh, oh, cool. Yep. Anyway, we better get going. All right. See you later. from myself. <sighs> what? Nothing. 
Is something wrong? Uh, no, I'm fine. Must have been my imagination. The door's open. Hmm. I managed to borrow the key to the nurse's office. And all I had to do was lie to the teacher. Please! My classmate skinned her knee! <laughs> oh. What's wrong? Well, um... It, it's just the two of us in here together. All alone. Ah. Uh. Uh. Medicine? Oral NM. <sighs> These drawers are locked up tight. What are you looking for? Are you looking for something, Akun? It must be really important. Let's see. There has to be a spare key for that desk. And it's probably somewhere in the teacher's lounge. Okay, I'll make up another excuse. Then I might be able to get my hands on it. The label's a bit different. But it lists the same medication. Oral NM, C0204. Just like the bottle I picked up before. Let's take a look at these student medical records. Ryoko Shinonome. Looks like she was given C0204. Morimura. She's been administering this drug to these students. Ryoko Shinonome. There are more. Shu Amiguchi. And Juro Izumi. Huh? That was quick. So, did you manage to find the key? The nurse's office is closed. Come back when... <laughs> you better start talking. Those men that are after me, are you working with them? This is what you wanted me to do. What I wanted? Hey, what is this? Sekigahara, wait! Don't shoot! You too, Megumi. What are you thinking? Megumi! I only followed you out of sheer curiosity, but... What in the world just happened with Megumi? Not a thing. And you're wandering around by yourself? Where's Iori? <sighs> What's your problem? Well, clearly I'm just a hopeless busybody. <sighs> I'm going to look for Megumi. I know I've seen her somewhere. But where? Damn it. Come on, think. That's right. She's... The lights are still on. Maybe this place isn't entirely abandoned. This terminal should be able to tell me where I am. Quite a bit of Android information here. This all looks like research data. Ah, here we go. Shikishima Tech Lab number six. Sixth level underground. So, this is a Shikishima facility.
current year is 2104. I've shifted 40 years into the future. An android. Is that what this place is being used for? What the hell? I keep getting these terrible headaches. Could it be from shifting? This looks bad. Another one? Over here. Unless you want to die, you should stop snooping around. The surface is covered in lethal levels of radiation right now. Go up there and you'll cough up blood until you're dead. Who are you? Well, clearly, I'm just a hopeless busybody. <laughs> I inspected the Sentinel that was transmitted underground. How much do you understand about the current situation? I don't know why, but I ended up here somehow. I have no idea what happened. Then allow me to fill you in. I'll start from the end. The Sentinel, or you rather, are compromised. You've been infected with code DD426. Code DD4... what is that? It's a program that's been implemented into you. Well, into the nanomachines in your body, to be specific. Its main function is to sever a portion of the nanomachine. The part that's cut is physically connected to the brain. And that region of the brain is where memories are stored. Your brain suffers damage each time a connection is severed. <sighs> you can lose your memories. Or worse, become a husk. Is that why I've been getting these headaches? I've had them ever since I got here. This is all so sudden. I'm not entirely sure I can believe her. But I do keep getting these headaches. And I definitely don't want to become an empty husk. Why would anyone want to do something like this? Is this irreversible? Can I try deleting the code? That's not possible. Access to your nanomachines is restricted. Once a code or program is implemented, there's no way to delete it. How long... How long do I have before I become a husk? It depends on the intensity of the infection. Or how much time you spend inside the infected sentinel. The longer you're in there, the worse it'll be. Let's assume the infection is moving slowly. To spread to your entire body, it'll take about a month. That's the best case scenario. Worst case would be within a few days. A few days? I may not be able to remove it, but there is a way to delay its effects. Fortunately, I discovered a nanomachine lab here. I found it by analyzing the underground mainframe's data. It is a facility that researches future technologies, after all. I can create a code that'll temporarily stall the effects. You can? First, let's make a deal. What? I need a small favor from you. It's nothing complicated. I just need you to get me out of here. Not anyone can use the shifter. Only those who possess nanomachines can use it. Android. I have to ask... What's a young girl like you doing in this place by yourself? Ah... Uh, I see. The androids here are wrapped in a human-like skin. Just like you. Oh, this? Yeah. 
It's pretty easy to see the damage on this skin. Well, I guess the cat's out of the bag now. That's right. Okino mentioned something about this. He said some AI stole an android and escaped. Tsukasa Okino, huh? You should ask him about DD-426. No one knows more about it than he does. Is that so? So? How does my offer sound to you? I don't really have a choice. Then it's settled. I'll give you some pills for your headaches right now. Wouldn't want you to forget about our deal. them for now. I have to consider my next moves carefully. A girl with red glasses and braids. She created NMC-0204, the same pills I take. I saw her at the school. But what business would an android have there? Besides, there was something different about her then. DD-426. Likely the root of my memory loss. But who would create such a thing? And why? Come in. Are you there? Uh... Don't be a fool. What do you want? It seems you found your way onto school grounds. Unless you want to get caught, you shouldn't wander about. <sighs> what business did you have there? I wanted to learn more about the person I killed. Forgive me. I should have been transparent from the start. Did you see anyone else there? Did anyone see you? No. I trust you. Partners don't lie to each other, after all. Partners? Us? You really don't remember. You and I are working together to save everyone. Everyone? Even the one I murdered? That was a necessary action to prevent Operation Aegis. No one else has figured out the truth yet. Those who came from other sectors have been deceived. And Morimura was the one behind it. Uh. There's no coming back after total annihilation. And that was reason enough. It's why you agreed to take the job. What job? You were tasked with retrieving information. It was to be extracted from a certain data unit. But circumstances have changed. That unit may jeopardize our escape. You must destroy it. It's likely hidden somewhere at Sakura High School. And it may be accompanied by another student. Seek out Natsuno Minami in Class 1C. Is that an order? Not at all. I'm merely presenting options. The situation must be dealt with, one way or another. If we don't, there's no turning back. <sighs> it's basically the nanomachine equivalent of a virus program. Except it causes brain damage. The infected will ultimately lose their memories. Or end up as husks of themselves. It's likely the cause of my memory loss. Found at the nurse's office where Chihiro Morimura worked. The label matches the one on the bottle I had. Oral NM, C0204. Ryoko Shinonome. Let's see. Attempting to delay nanomachine separation in the brain. Applying memory link enhancement. C0204 and C22. So there are two types of pills then. 
C0204 is the same one I have. It's been over a week since she last received a dose. I wonder how she's doing. Without the pills, her memory must also be suffering. Shu Amiguchi. He was administered NMA8076. Looks like a different kind of nanomachine medication. Seems it was only administered once. All it says is 20% transplant rate. Juro Izumi. He's receiving two types of treatment. NMA8075 and B01. He received four doses of A8075, then switched to B01 from the fifth dose on. There's a scribbled note here. B01 was synthesized by Tamao Kurabe. The, the, a gun from the underground facility in the future. The android was using it. He's aware of my circumstances in this world. And he knows about my memory loss, too. Should I have gotten more information out of him? Natsunomi Nami. All I was told about her was her name and class number. She may be in the possession of that data unit. If not, she'll know where it is. Hmm. I don't trust him, but for now I have to cooperate. It's my only shot at recovering my memories. Tomorrow, once classes are over, I'll pay a visit to the school. An update. Natsunomi Nami. She was the one who had that data unit. The medical records of three Sakura High School students. Shu Amiguchi, Juro Izumi, and Ryoko Shinonome. They've all been administered a pill called NM. Hey, Iori. Oh, hey, Nachan. What are you up to? I'm just waiting for someone. Miwako and the others? No. Someone else? Ah, okay. Well, I'll see you later. Okay, see you. Hey, Ikun. Were you waiting for me? Mm-hmm. I was hoping you'd show up. Is everything okay? I believe I owe you an apology. <sighs> uh, I see. Guess I'm not your... I... lost my memories. Huh? Yesterday, I only pretended to know who you were. What? But there's a reason I wasn't honest. I still don't know who my enemies are. I can trust you, right? Seriously? Of course you can. Then I'm going to need your help. I'm happy to help. But I'm not happy you lied to me. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I'm sorry. I never said anything to you about them, did I? About my memories, I mean. Nope. You tend to pop up out of nowhere when I do see you. And when you do, you never really stick around long. <sighs> Although, the last time I saw you, you had this look in your eyes. Like you really had something to say. Maybe you were planning on telling me then. Have you ever seen this note before? I don't think so. Yori-chan! Oh, hey, Miwa-chan! <gasps> oh, good! 
chill out, Miwa-chan. So, are things going well with you two? Oh, well, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> so, did you get to first? Huh? No, oh, you didn't go to second, did you? Already, Yui-chan? You move fast! Are you done? Huh? Uh, sorry, I'm doing it again, aren't I? Classic Miwa-chan. Well, anyway, just keep at it. Uh, thanks. What are you holding, by the way? Oh, this? I'm trying to figure out what these numbers mean. Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what these are for. You know what these numbers mean? Y yes I think so. Please tell me. They're for the telephone message service, I think. It just started last month. Oh, where you can leave messages over the phone? Mm-hmm. My mom uses it. Whenever she works late, she leaves me a message. Uh, why don't I get out of your hair? You got this, Yui-chan. Wait, Miwa-chan! A message service, huh? So, you lost your memories? How did you find me? Easy. Your student ID helped me track you down. Oh, right. Do you know a first year by the name of Natsunomi Nami? Nachan? Yeah, she was just here. She's the one I was talking to before you showed up. Oh. That girl in gym clothes. She's probably gone by now. Do you know Nachan? No, not at all. Later for you, Sakasan. Oh, Karabe-kun. See you later. That's Juro Izumi. Yakushiji. <laughs> He's the one receiving nanomachine treatment. And she's the one who aimed a gun at my head. She's definitely up to something. There's something I need to do. <sighs> Could she be connected to the ones chasing after me? Guess there's only one way to find out. It says Kurabe on the nameplate. Do they both live here together? The table's set for three. Miyura-kun? Dinner's already. <gasps> so we meet again. <sighs> it's easy when you're the one holding the gun, isn't it? But not so much when you're staring down the barrel. Now tell me. You said that I asked you to shoot me. What did you mean by that? That's just what I was told. Who ordered you to shoot me? Tell me everything you know. I... Stop! No, wait! You shouldn't startle me like that. Unless you want to die, that is. Juro... Just who do you think you are? You can't barge into someone's house without permission. I remember you. You're the one who shot that robot at Tokisaka Shrine. This is between me and her. Stay out of this, Juro Izumi. Izumi? You've got it all wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. Whoever you are, get out of my way. Juro! He's not dead. I only stunned him. I still want an explanation. Why don't you just ask for yourself? The brains behind the whole thing is sitting on the TV. 
the TV? Well, I guess we're doing this whole thing now. A cat? No way. You are not a talking cat. There must be some trick to it. The only trick here is my unrivaled genius. Cats aren't stupid, unlike humans. Especially you. You tried to ditch your sentinel. You thought you could escape the game? <laughs> game? Are you talking about the fight against the kaiju? Sure am. All you could ever think about was running away. But it looks like you came around eventually. I'm guessing you learned some new information. New information? Yeah, you know. The unshakable truth. That's why you came crawling back. And begged me to put you back in the game. I did? The gun she aimed at you is a nanomachine injector. Anyway, as promised, I'll let you back onto the battlefield. When you say all I could think of was running away, do you mean I was trying to escape from this world? Hm. Who knows? Then what did you mean by new information? Man, you really don't remember a thing, do you? You can always ask, you know. Maybe the guy behind you knows something. Bastard! Just what the hell do you think you're doing? Miyurakun! Sekigahara? Miura? Uh, did you say... Miura? Updating the data for Sentinel number 17 as well? For all third generation Sentinels, actually. Tamosan. Just know, I don't intend to report what you told me. However, I suggest you stop poking your nose where it doesn't belong. I'm afraid I can't do that. Now, I need a favor from you. If anything happens to me, I want you to keep my line open. Uh, fine. Hey, Miura. I saw Tamal Karabe at the Sentinel number 18 lift, too. Who is she? Is she also from the future? She's Sentinel number 18's pilot. But I thought only AI could operate Sentinel number 18. I noticed you didn't refer to me by number. You used my real name. Well, you did say you were a human once. So you believe me? Listen, Sekigahara, I have some matters to discuss with you. You got awfully serious. What is it? Let's talk face to face. Raise the lift so no one else can disturb us. That's good. I've got the perfect view of your face from up here. Quite imposing. Anyway, what is it? Remember the conversation about the mainframe? That's the computer in the underground UFO, right? Right. It turns out it was created in the year 2188. That's even further in the future than Ida and the others. I'm positive that's the era they come from. I spent a lot of time analyzing the mainframe's data. That's when I found a massive report on this so-called 2188. I've only managed to decode a portion of it so far. 
Once I'm done, we'll find out what set this all into motion. Who knows? We might even find a way to save the world. Really? Now, on to the real issue. The data on the mainframe has been quarantined. Someone made it inaccessible. I'm positive Chihiro Morimura was the one who did it. Morimura? If I had to guess, there are some things she didn't want us to find out. I thought she came here to help save this world. It definitely seemed that way. But as it turns out, she has ulterior motives. There has to be a way for you to access it. I've tried everything. It's impossible. So there's nothing we can do? <sighs> I'm going to let you in on something. Something even Tamao-san doesn't know about. There's one more data log. The one I copied to my brain. So you created a backup. And it's stored in the memory of Sentinel number 17? That's right. But if Morimura finds it, I know she'll erase it. You think? She probably isn't the only one who wants it erased. That's why I'm asking for your help. If this Sentinel suffers extensive damage, please recover the memory block at all costs. When that time comes, I'll be counting on you. I won't let you down. By the way, what brought you here in the first place? Oh. Well, I came to update your system. It won't take long. Sekigahara. Yeah? We're friends, right? <sighs> Miura. Of course we are. like I've lost them for now. I have to consider my next moves carefully. A girl with... Why does this guy keep calling? Have I been following his orders this whole time? He wanted information, and he was trying to extract it from that data unit. <sighs> These numbers are for the message service. One set is the user number, and the other is the password. <clears throat> that student I saw in front of the school gate. She's not Tsunami Nami. She's likely already gone home by now. I'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. <sighs> Just an ordinary cop. I should stay near the station, where it's crowded. Now, I should sort out my thoughts. And now that I think about it, this is the same gun that android was using. The one from the future. Hey, you! <laughs> what were you just holding? Show me right now. Now, do what I say and empty your pockets. Is this some kind of toy gun? I'm taking you in for further questioning. Ugh. Damn it. Freeze! Looks like I managed to lose that cop. All that running. And I end up back here. Morimura's death hasn't been made public yet. Those black suits must have disposed of the body. Okay. Let's say I did kill her. At that point, they were already coming after me. Did I lure Morimura out here? It just doesn't add up. I managed to find some good clues here before, but I'm still not sure what some of them mean. It's... 
map. She's... These numbers are for the message service. One set is the user number, and the other is the password. This key I had on me... It has some kind of emblem on it. Was I driving a car? Oh, the emblem appears to be a button. Mm. Well, I pressed it. No nearby car made a sound, though. Maybe it's somewhere further away. An outdated... this motorcycle get here? Did it come when I pressed the button on the key? Voice authentication verified. A key is required to unlock this vehicle. It's voice activated too? Is this... a self-driving motorcycle? Hey! A key is required to unlock this vehicle. Unlocked. You may issue commands using your voice. Please set your next destination. Hey, who do you belong to? Registered drivers of the Shikishima SXRNR. A. Sekigahara and Chihiro Morimura. Me and Morimura? It looks like I've used this motorcycle before. Then it must know where I've taken it. I'm guessing you have a travel log, right? Can you pull it up? Displaying travel log. Oh. Looks like I've taken this thing all around the city. But there are only two places I've visited multiple times. Aside from Sakura High, it's just this one other spot. Set this location as your destination? Yes. Let's hit the road. Hey, did I leave anything with you? Invalid request. Please specify. I want to know if I left behind any messages. Two logs found from A. Sekigahara. Seriously? Begin playback? Yeah, show me. So, did you find it? My... well, your intuition was right. I'm leaving this message as a precaution. Just in case I lose my memory sooner than I expect. You've still got work to do if you want to escape this world. You must acquire the data logs from 2188. One more thing. And this takes priority over all else. You can't let Chihiro Morimura execute Operation Aegis. She holds a position as a nurse at Sakura High School. But it's all under false pretenses. Stop her at all costs. My headaches are getting worse. I'm running out of time. In any case, some interesting developments have come up. I've confirmed that Iori Fuyusaka was able to use the gate. I checked the log she left behind. The ID she used was Morimura's biometric ID. Iori Fuyusaka is Chihiro Morimura. Knowing this, do I still try to stop Operation Aegis? That's the real question. Well, the answer's obvious, isn't it? Playback complete. Fuyusaka... is Morimura? How is that possible? And what did I decide to do? So this is the place. 
Now what am I gonna find here? Locked. This factory has to be what I'm here for. <laughs> well, look who we have here. Sekigahara. Here to cause some more trouble? Something wrong? No, nothing. Uh, let me guess. You finally lost your memories, right? Uh, how... How did you know? Just by the way you're acting. Kind of a dead giveaway. I'm surprised you even made it back here. Do you know... what I was trying to do here? That's odd. Well, Okino. Okay, you're in my way. And you are? Hmm. <sighs> it didn't work. I suppose 32% wasn't enough. You recognize me, don't you? No. I don't. That can't be. <sighs> Focus. Hey, Okino. Take a good look at my face. I know you can remember. Wait! This can't be. Pills the android gave me in the underground facility in 2104. They slow the effects of DD-426. A third generation model. Sentinel number 19. So this is where it was transmitted. Is this a hangar for Sentinels? Awfully persistent, aren't you? Fine. You got me. I know it's you, Okino. Even in this outfit, you managed to catch me. Have you been in hiding ever since the incident? Just laying low in Sector 5? <sighs> Tell me, Sekigahara-kun. Why were you searching for me? I need to stop the effects of DD-426. You're an expert on the subject, aren't you? I am indeed. It's a code that was distributed on the battlefield. Do you know who's responsible for spreading it? Uh, no. Right. This is exactly why I went into hiding. Because I can't trust anyone. And that includes you, A. Sekigahara. You were on the battlefield, too. Yet you're not showing any symptoms. I could say the same about you. I'm taking pills to help reduce the symptoms. Pills? These. I see. These serve as additional code for priority processing. These aren't going to save me. Of course they won't. All you're doing is buying yourself some time. What about you? You're completely healthy. There must be some way to stop it, right? I'm afraid that's impossible. It was about a year ago. I discovered a code created by 426. The aptly named DD-426. I tested it on myself in an attempt to detach the decode. <sighs> which resulted in the loss of my memories. That's why I was unaffected on the battlefield. That can't be true. You don't seem like you've lost your memories at all. 
That's because I transferred my memories to my nanomachines. And I was able to create a simulated personality. It carries all the qualities that make up my identity. Let me get this straight. You're a program that's simulating Okino? Initially, yes. But now that I've been affixed to the brain, I've become the true Tsukasa Okino. I possess the original Okino's personality and memories. You can't even tell the difference. But you're still not the same. The Okino from before was different. Human beings are constantly evolving. Whether we retain our memories or not, we're never the same as our past selves. My goodness. Your pursuit of me caused quite the panic. Professor Doji wants to have me restrained. And now that you've caught me, maybe it's time I gave up. Oh, perfect timing. Huh? Hijiyama-kun! Over here! Help! Huh? Kiriko-san! What's going on? Th that man! Hey! Who the hell are you? How'd you get in here? Please, make him go away. Hold it, Okino! Not so fast, you bastard! You're coming with me! This is highly classified material, and you've seen too much. Damn you, Okino! Okino... Remember now? Tsukasa Okino. We met in Sector 5. Good. And you're an AI construct. Huh? Is that all? You've neglected to remember some rather important details. <sighs> Let's try this again. Okino... Do you really have to stand so close to him? Don't pay him any mind. He's just jealous. <laughs> yeah, right. Now concentrate, Ace Ikigahara. Try to remember why you kept coming back here. How are you feeling? My head feels like it's about to split in half. What about the pills? They aren't working. But you've taken so many of them already. They still aren't helping? We're ready to go. Oh. There was one thing I wanted to ask you. You seemed very reluctant to go through with this at first. But now you've come to rely on this plan. So what changed your mind? Nothing changed. I still think this is terrible. But there are some things I don't want to forget. Like that vile face of yours. I'll be sure to preserve that memory for you. Walk me through the steps once more. Sure. First, I'll input a memory extraction code into you. Your memories can be saved at any time. Your consciousness itself, though, can't be saved. Then, a simulated personality will... All I need is for you to save my memories. I don't want some AI taking over me. A simulated personality will think the same way you do. It'll be able to work together with your own brain. In other words, it will act as a support to your brain. The relationship is symbiotic. It'll teach your brain new ways to think and solve problems. But you will still be in charge of decision-making. I just... I hate myself. I really don't need a simulated personality. <laughs> All right. In that case, I'll simply extract your memories. 
After your memories are extracted, they'll be stored in your nano machines. I'll configure it so when the decode region is detached, your memories will be backed up. We'll require an intracerebral map to save your memories, though it'll all be pointless if you end up as a husk. Your brain did have more damage than anticipated. My equipment can only do so much. I'll only be able to map roughly 30% of the region per scan. So you'll have to make multiple trips. Let's get started, shall we? Please, take a seat. I'm going to create your intracerebral map. We'll start with some word exercises. Try listing any words starting with A that come to mind. As you say each word, imagine the object in your head. A. Apple. Asphalt. Anchor. How many phone booths do they really need? Whoa. That bus is so old. What am I even looking at? And all these cars are so blocky. They look so weird. Oh, I think I've seen signs like that before. They're just like in those retro videos I've seen under the Showa era tag. This is kind of surreal. Even the stoplights here are huge. Stop wandering off on your own, Kisaraki. Wait, okay, for real though. They seriously haven't invented smartphones yet? <laughs> this is so crazy! How do they even talk to each other? Oh. Whoa. Oh, oh my god. We really are in the 80s. I can't believe that hair. What? <laughs> Sorry, I just can't stop laughing. What even is that? A pompadour? The show air is so weird. And what the hell are you laughing at? Huh? Your hair, duh. I just said. You trying to start shit? <sighs> Please excuse us. I'm afraid she's a little... Well, she has difficulty with social interaction. Hey! Don't make me sound like some kind of weirdo. Please. Carry on. I'll give her a talking to once we're home. <sighs> Goddamn freaks. Well, there goes my day. Stop causing problems. You realize we're only here with the help of this era's facilitators. If we're to be accepted here, we must respect the place. We're essentially foreign refugees. Don't forget that. So, about those facilitators. You mean Shikishima? The military corporation? All they care about is getting their hands on future technology. You sure we're not being used? That is not your concern. I remember seeing that company in the news back in 2025. They make everything from fridges to missiles. They've got tons of factories across the world. Sakura High. I trust you know where to find it. It's the same school. I expect you'll adjust quickly. That is not my school. Everyone from that class is old enough to be my mom. 
Don't act like it's the same. We left mine back in 2025. So in 2025, I would have turned 16 next month. But now, I'm way back in 1985. So like, how old am I, technically? Take me back to my own time. I thought I explained this already. The world was destroyed. Okay, fine. Let's say that's true. I've still got to go help my mom and dad. They won't be there. It's already too late. I doubt you'd get the clearance to time jump anyway. That another one of their orders? <sighs> I didn't want to get dragged into this. Am I supposed to just take it? Whatever you say? Precisely. You should count yourself lucky to have escaped with us. I never saw it myself. The world was destroyed, apparently. What do I even say to that? Yeah, cool. Got it. Still, even if I begged to go check it out, something tells me they aren't gonna let me. What I need is a little leverage over them. I gotta make them an offer they can't refuse. Until further notice, here are your orders. Do not act on your own. Remain inconspicuous. And for now, simply attend school as usual. Am I clear? So everything back home's been destroyed? Yeah, right. I'll believe it when I see it. I gotta get leverage and go back to my own time. So, Shikishima's a conglomerate with political ties. They made it big during the Meiji modernization. You always see their branches on Employer of the Year lists. Back in the Meiji era, they were shipbuilders. But they expanded into aviation and a bunch of other things. During the war, they did a lot of weapons R&D. And now, they make everything from home appliances to rockets. Shikishima Industries is just one of those branches. Their machinery is known all over the world. Check her out. How does one person sleep that much? Usami-chan, did you check out all those books? What are they? Hey, do you mind if I take a look? They're not that interesting. I just want to peek. Let's see. Business quarterly? Corporate guides. Economic reports. This is impressive, Usami-chan. Are you studying for a career in business? Uh, not really. I was kind of looking for some leverage. You know, dirt on some big shady corporation. So then I could, like, control them a little. Huh? Usami-chan, that's a little... weirder than I was expecting. I could do this in a snap if I had internet here. Manually searching through books? So inconvenient. Internet? Uh, oh! Uh, like... You know, net profits. Big business talk. <laughs> or something. I scoured the whole library for reference materials. Wasn't hard to find things on Shikishima, but... It's just like... stock market stuff. I should have known. Nothing I could use as leverage. Hey, Miwako. I know this is random, but... There's this company called Shikishima Industries. You know anything about them? Shikishima... They're the ones who make ships and things, right? This old friend? His father works for them, I think. Seriously? Miwako, can you do me a favor? I want you to introduce me. Sure. 
Yes! Those big mecha corps always have shady stuff hiding in their HQ. One step closer to getting the dirt. So in 2025... You said your friend goes to the school, right? They're still not here. Did you get the meeting time wrong? No. Did they just ditch? Don't worry, he'll be here soon. He's not the type to break promises. What's up? <sighs> I'm here. It's that Pompadour guy! Hold on. What's he doing here? This is my old friend, Nenji Ogata. You're kidding. So, uh, where's she at? You said some girl was looking to ask me out? What? Well, um, that would be her, Usami-chan. Huh? You're the chick who shat on my hair. Real dog face, aren't you? The heck is that supposed to mean? I take it you're not calling me a cute puppy. Okay, hold on. What did you say to this guy? Just that a girl I knew wanted to tell him something. And he thought that was a confession? How dumb is he? I'm standing right here. Why'd it have to be you? The feeling's mutual, man. Please, can't we all calm down? There you are. I've been looking all over for you. What was... Huh? I could have sworn I just saw them. My name is Nenji Ogata. Get it straight, dogface. Oh, excuse me, Captain Pompadour. I'm Tomi Kisaragi. Don't give me any stupid nicknames. All right, smartass. Please, we can't be fighting right now. to all these buildings it's like we were attacked <sighs> do you know something i know the city got leveled you saw that flash right must have been a nuke uh, a nuclear bomb you realize we were at school just now isn't this downtown? Way I figure it. The blast must have knocked us all the way over here. Okay, never mind. You're just a moron. Hey! You're like a big greasy roach. I bet you could survive a nuke no problem. <sighs> you got a better idea? What the hell else could have happened? Oh. <sighs> If we're here, then... No way. The world got destroyed in my time. According to what Goto said, anyway. So maybe...
This is... Kayaki Cho. Huh? Oh, you're right! Look at that sign! It must be near the shopping district. The hell? You know how far that is from school? Look, I don't know what the hell happened. But nobody else is here. Think they all evacuated? Well, then where... Where's everyone else? Miwako. Dad! Mom! Wait, you hear that? Rescue helicopter? No, it's... What the hell is it? Hide, now! That... Ain't some kind of bug, is it? No way. The thing is huge. Looks like it's clear. The world got destroyed in my time. What was that thing? Whatever it was... I got a bad feeling about it. I remember seeing it in the news back home. It's a kaiju. This isn't the city you two know. It's hard to tell with everything messed up like this, but... I think we're in the year 2025. 2025? Are you crazy? This is my home. Well, was my home, I guess. In case I didn't mention, I came from the future. Usami-chan, we have an emergency! I found someone else back there! <gasps> I'm thirsty. How's Senpai doing? She was struggling for a while. But I think she's calmed down. We need to get her to a doctor. Maybe, but how are we supposed to do that? <sighs> this place isn't what it used to be. Back in 2025, it was my home. She... Shinonome Senpai. Do you think she came here at the same time? Probably. We'll figure it out when she wakes up. Anyway, once that moron gets back, let's decide what to do from here. Okay. Shinonome Senpai. I saw her hanging around Goto. Maybe she's from the future too. Oh, there you are. Nice of you Look to drop by. I'm back, Miwako. You've got some nerve. What? I take my eyes off you for one second, and you just go running off looking for your own house? We were waiting for you, you know. Yeah? And how's that sickly-looking second year? Well, she hasn't woken up yet. You were stuck here either way. You're really gonna give me that? So how was it? Before we get into that, here, have a drink. Copped it from a busted vending machine. You too. We're not gonna last long without food and water. There should be cans lying around if we look. Um... Thanks. Hey, I found a calendar when I was digging around. The year on it was 2025. Guess this really is the future. Everywhere I looked, the place has fallen apart. It's no different from here. But I'm telling you, there was some crazy shit out there. Like what? 
kaiju. Dead ones everywhere. One was like a metal centipede. Big as a truck. Another one was real stocky. The size of a damn building. They were just lying all over the place. I never liked creepy crawly things. I couldn't stand to look at them too long. How did you know they were dead? How do you think? They were torn apart. It was pretty obvious. Ugh. What? You need to see it to believe me? So, did you find your house? You could say that, but I wasn't there anymore. Guess it got replaced by some skyscraper. Wasn't looking so hot, though. What about my place? Sorry, but it's the same deal. The place is nothing but a giant parking lot. What about Mom and Dad? If this is 2025, that means 40 years have passed. Your guess is as good as mine. I wonder what happened to my place. I'm gonna check out the kaiju. Oh, where were they? Huh? Hey, wait! Miwako, stay back with that second year. Over here! Dead as a doornail, right? This is some kaiju. Looks more like a machine. Come to think of it, I was talking to Natsuno. Maybe this thing's a big alien weapon. Hmm? Is this a control panel? For an alien machine, it looks pretty familiar. Guess we're not so different. Morimura. Megumi. Are they planning on fighting those things? What's up? Nothing. Just thought I saw someone. Over there, in the rubble. Where? Maybe your eyes are playing tricks on you. I swear I saw it. Oh shit. Kisaragi, hide! Don't be stupid! What's your Hurry. deal? Industries logo. So all these kaiju looking things. Shikishima made them? That means it wasn't an alien attack. It was a man made one. But why? Biometric <gasps> ID scanned. No match found. Access denied. What the? Biometric ID scanned. No match found. Access denied. Biometric 
ID scanned. No match found. Access denied. Biometric ID scanned. No match found. Access denied. Whatever I press, it's the same. Maybe you're doing it wrong. Let me try. With this stuff, you just gotta... Authorized board member, administrative ID. See? Something came up. Board member? Like, Shikishima board member? Maybe because my pops is an exec. Wait, you're a rich kid? Shut it! Shikishima Interstellar Development Division, year 2188. Huh? Terraforming Project, number 8834. Interstellar Development? D terraforming another planet? Third phase. Surface construction and modification. Colossal Autonomous Heavy Machinery, D-Series, D-800. Surface Excavation Unit, Giant Bowler. This Kaiju is Shikishima Heavy Machinery? If that's true, these machines were made for planetary development. What are they doing on Earth? Especially in the past. Hell if I know. Welcome back, Usami-chan. Thanks. Did Senpai wake up? Darn. I'm back. In the far-off future... Shikishima planned to colonize other planets. And the Kaiju were tools for terraforming the surface. What are they doing here in the past? Worry more. We checked out the Kaiju. Turns out it's not a monster at all. Not an alien weapon either. It's heavy machinery made by Shikishima Industries. Heavy machinery? You mean like for construction? We were attacked by something like that? <clears throat> They're from an interstellar development project even farther into the future. Guess they were supposed to do work on some other planet. No idea why they went back in time. Or why they're destroying everything here. Shikishima's a conglomerate with political ties. They made it big during the Meiji modernization. You always see their branches on Employer of the Year lists. Back in the Meiji era, they were shipbuilders. But they expanded into aviation and a bunch of other things. During the war, they did a lot of weapons R&D. And now, they make everything from home appliances to rockets. Shikishima Industries is just one of those branches. Their machinery is known all over the world. So that's how it is. I wonder what else we can find. Here. Found him at a convenience store over there. Got enough for both of you. I'm not a big candy guy, so have at it. Thank you! Mm. There's no time to be tired. What I need... Is a sugar I rush. Be a little better. <laughs> There's three more convenience stores across the intersection. Plus the one right over there. How many of those things do you future people need? <sighs> There's something I need to see. I'm going back to my house. Sorry. Just wait here for a bit. Usami-chan! Hey, wait! Miwako, stay back with that second here. Uh, my apartment? 
apartment building. It's ruined. <sighs> Sorry, I just had to get that out. I gotta stay strong. You don't have to push yourself. If you want to cry, then cry. <laughs> don't be stupid. I'm not crying. Oh yeah? What's with the voice then? You got a cold or something? I always sound like this. Whatever you say. There was a cake shop on the first floor. They had this pear tart I used to get. It was so good. Megumi and I. We loved those things. That one of your friends? Yeah. Megumi. You saw what was happening here. That's why you... Renia Goto. Why you gotta do this to me? Like, what, I'm supposed to go to class and pretend everything's normal? Well, it's not. This place is 40 years old. Those girls over there. They look about my age, but back home they must be in their 50s. That's too weird. Sorry for making you wait, Miwa chan. Miwa chan, where were you? There was a bed available in the nurse's office, so I took a nap. You skipped six period for that? I didn't really mean to, but yeah. When I woke up, class was already over. <sighs> I messed up. That's the girl who sits behind me in class. Must be nice. Oh well. No point feeling sorry for myself. Time to check out the library. I need to find some dirt on Shikishima. But jeez. Not having a smartphone is suffering. Wait! Tomi! So you're here too! I'm so glad you're okay. Megumi... What happened to our city? You were there, right? You stayed back. Well... My mom and dad... They're fine, right? Goto's just making things up. Tell me it's all a big lie. It has to be, right? just walked by. That's Izumi, right? He's in my class here, so I've seen him around. But when I talk to him, he's like a totally different person. He's all nervous and stuff. It's weird. Did something happen? Oh. As a result of battle, he... He lost his memories. Huh? Like, he hit his head? It'll all come back, right? No. They said it was permanent. No way. So he really is a different person at this point. Does that mean he doesn't remember you? Oh. What now? Are we supposed to just give up on him? I could never ever do that! I'll never give up on him! I'm sorry. <laughs> Megan. I'm so sorry. Here, Tamao-san. This place isn't ideal. 
I'd be found far too soon. Hmm. Maybe Tamao-san was abducted by a UFO. Wonder what they did to her. <gasps> Who is this? Does she want to join the team? Oh, um, well... Wait, don't tell me. You turned in your sign-up form but never came, huh? It's Iba-san, right? Erika Iba? Uh... So, Iba-san, you're in Class 1D? Right next to Minami-san in Class 1C. Uh, yeah, right. Have you recovered from your illness? Well, actually, she... Not entirely, so can't join yet. Huh? Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's too bad. I hope you get well soon. Maybe she just looks like Tamao-san. Could there really have been someone like this just next door? Huh. Erika... Aiba... Class 1D... Next door... Hmm. She's pretty weird. Yeah. Right. I should go tell the coach. BJ, did she find you? She? The girl that was just here. Iwa-san. Nobody was here. <sighs> I can't believe... A small puncture on my cheek. Looks like I got stabbed by a needle. I must have gotten it in the girl's bathroom. But why can't I remember anything about it? Did I... Was I captured and had my memories erased? What if they implanted something in me? Hmm... <sighs> I'm probably overthinking it. At least for now, I told Mirakun he should stay at Jurokun's house. After all, I'm the one who dragged him into this. I need to take responsibility. I mean, not in a weird way. Let's go to the gate. I didn't see any men in black outside. Maybe we can sneak out. You gotta stay in there. Are you going home, Natsuna? <laughs> you got me. Please don't tell Senpai. Our planet is in danger. There isn't a second to spare. Yeah, whatever. What is it now? I thought you had no seconds to spare. Yeah, I just... Don't worry about it. It's for something important, right? Thank you. Leave the future of Earth to me. Okay. A grave responsibility rests on my shoulders. Okay, we're here. Activate gate. Sentinel search range. Where should we look this time? How about sector one? 
Sector weapon has been searched. No sentinel found. I see. Bomber. 1945. We found a sentinel there, but not the one we're looking for. Travel to Sector 5 is possible. But there is no signal from Number 17. Sector 2 looks suspicious. Sector 2 was our first destination. Yeah, but we didn't get to look around much. Let's go there again and do a proper search. Access code approved. Designating sector. see any tripods, but we shouldn't let our guard down. Okay, how should we do this? That's it, you wait here. Huh? You're going by yourself? Fires continue to burn on the surface. It's too dangerous. Time required to search the path is... 27 minutes. Oh, come on! We come all the way out here and you just leave me all alone? It's not often I get to time travel. I certainly won't waste it waiting. I'll make it quick. Just gonna peek around a bit. got here. I saw something light up. Ah! Is that a sentinel? <laughs> Look who found it first. That's what you get for leaving me behind. brain's okay. I'm sure I can save him. Oh, where is it? Is this it? This light bulb thing. I think it's this. There's some letters on this. Shikishima. Shikishima Robotics? Wait, as in the appliance company? I'm such an idiot. PJ's not an alien. He's a robot made in Japan. PJ's not an alien. He's a robot made in Japan. That sound! saw earlier. It was a different robot? You found a sentinel. Sentinel number eight, a remote control type. This is not sentinel number 17. <sighs> Were you made by Shikishima Robotics? You're just a robot made in Japan. You're no alien. Isn't that right? Yeah. I bet this is another one of Shikishima's. Uh, 
Does that mean the tripods too? Four-legged autonomous cranes from Shikishima Industries. High Quad 150B. No way. They're heavy machinery robots for the development of Mars. But why? Why are robots meant for Mars invading Earth? Hey, on that. This place is not Earth. Not Earth? It is a speculation. The lack of proof makes it only a possibility. Okay, but... what? The basis for my speculation is this log. Huh? All right, go on. There are 117 planets under consideration for the project. Of those, the top prospect is a planetary system 12 light years away. I don't think this is going to work. Aren't you the professor's daughter? Yes, I'm helping with the layout. For the migration ship? It looks quite small. In the harsh environment of space, it is not possible to sustain life for extended periods of time. The ship will be carrying only our DNA. In the final phase of the project, humanity will be restarted. So we're creating aliens. How large of a population are you estimating? We're planning for six million. And you really expect me to approve of this project? If you just listen to my mother's explanation, it is not necessary. This endeavor is nothing but self-satisfying. It is impractical. Now that my father has passed away, I am the one in charge. The research will be disposed of and the funds suspended. You can't! Ogata-san, please! This was recorded in 2188 with Natsuno Minami's ID. A communication log between Natsuno Minami and Shikishima's top executive, Renji Ogata. Ogata-kun? After this log, the plan was implemented. But 2188 is in the future. We are further into the future than when the log took place. Natsuno. Do you understand? It is possible. You are the alien they created. <sighs> Man, I'm really off my game today. All these weird dreams must be getting to me. And that show that came on in the middle of the night. Wish that was just a dream. My motorcycle's a Shikishima GRD250. I woke up late this morning, so I came to school by bike. But I've got it parked off in the shopping district. That way the school can't get on my case about it. Yuki Inaba. She's a celebrity, a pop star. <laughs> Who'd believe me? Hey, so I've been talking to this pop star through my TV. Ugh. Yeah, no. No easy way to drop that bomb. They'd have me committed. Man, she's... I don't see Karabe-kun. I wanted to talk about my dream. Might be out in the passageway. Oh, it's her. Yuki-chan's supposed to be in class 1A. Oh, it's just on no sign of her, though. I didn't offend you or anything, did I, Sawatari-san? Amikuchi-kun remembers my name! I remember Tomi-chan, too. Why bother remembering me? I never get a girl's name wrong. <sighs> Miwako, what do you see in this guy? Come on, let's go. 
She's in 1B, same class as Karabe-kun. She's not even my type, but I can't get her out of my head. Must be from all those dreams. <sighs> Karabe-kun might be waiting for me. I should get going. Isn't that... Hey, Nira-kun. Amikuchi-kun. You still on the run? I can't go home. Even if I could, it wouldn't solve anything. Look, you don't have to tell me any details if you don't want to. But it sounds like a pretty rough situation. Well, for what it's worth... You can crash at my place whenever you need to, okay? I owe you a debt of gratitude for all you've done. I'll be all right. I'm staying with an acquaintance now. Oh, yeah? Glad to hear it, man. So, uh, what is this thing? Uh, well, this is... Don't forget your promise. It talks? Whoa! An RC robot? That's crazy. Is it yours? Not exactly. Wow. Deja vu. Oh, yeah. I feel like I had a dream about something like this. You were in it too, Mira-kun. Maybe that's your big secret, huh? You're some runaway hero from a ruined future, here to save us all. <laughs> eh, bad joke. Just been having some crazy dreams lately, I guess. Maybe I am from the future. Jeez, you didn't take me seriously, did you? Mm -mm. Anyway, if something big happens, you can always talk to me. Hope things start getting better for you soon, man. Thank you. My dreams are always somewhere in the future. But I feel like I know everyone I keep seeing in them. Well, maybe I really am just dreaming. Makes more sense of them being premonitions. I don't know if that could really be our future anyway. Everything in them is way too crazy. Even that dream. Was that drone scouting for the kaiju? Hope they didn't find us. Kisaragi-san? There was this great cake shop on the first floor here. They had this pear tart. It was amazing. And now, even my own apartment, it's all ruined. All gone. Are you gonna be okay? Sorry, I just had to get that out. I gotta stay strong. My, my voice is all scratchy from crying all day. You sound good to me, and scratchy or not, I'd still tune in to see you. You're such a dork. Let's try to get to the cross-country road. We might see a rescue copter flying around or something. What, up there? The only things flying around are the weird bug things. Nobody's here to help us. Even online, nothing's getting updated. There's no way we're getting rescued. I mean... I think it's like this around the whole world. Those things erased everybody. Like how everyone in the city just vanished at once. I saw it happen. I bet Mom and Dad were... That's the part I don't get. Whatever these big killer alien things are, 
They've clearly got us way outclassed in tech. They can wipe out whole crowds without a beam or anything. And still, with all that power, they come here in this gigantic horde. They dig these holes all over town, and then... they just stop. No carnage. They're just sitting there. Like they're waiting for something. <sighs> and us, we didn't get killed or vanish or anything. There's got to be a reason for that, too. How are you still this calm? It's crazy that you can still keep it together. Even with all this stuff. I... I'm really not. Trust me, I'm freaking out, too. <gasps> It was just a building collapsing over there. They didn't find us. Yeah. <laughs> what? Huh? Uh... Well... Y you really changed. Back in middle school, you were a total nerd. Glasses and all. It just makes me wonder... Why do you make such a big change to your image? Uh, oh, uh, well, funny story. I was listening to one of your streams, and... You said you'd kind of go for tough guys. Cool guys. That's basically it. What? Oh, that's it? That's why you started trying to be such a badass? I guess I got the look down, but I couldn't walk the walk, huh? Come on. Seriously, this isn't the time for jokes. You were already popular enough back then. Why would you go that far just because I said... Well, you know fate? As in the letter F and number 8? What? That's... actually my username. What?! All this time that's been you?! Hey, it's not like I was keeping it a secret. I only got so far because of him. That's why I started getting serious about my singing. Because he supported me. Told me I was a great singer. Well, you are a great singer. And I, um... I guess I always sort of had feelings for... Her. Over here! <gasps> I can't believe it. There were other survivors. We came to rescue you. Morimura-san, they're over here! My name is Keitaro Miura. What about you two? I'm Tomi Kisaragi. I'm... So the drone found these two then? Now, who are you? Me? I'm Tetsuya Ida. <sighs> Man, I'm really off my game today. All these weird dreams must be getting to me. And that show that came on in the middle of the night. Wish that was just a dream. Back in my dream, he called himself Tetsuya Ida. We look identical, but that's not my name, so... It's weird. I keep seeing Kisaragi in my dreams. Except it's not exactly me. My name's Ida there. Just two people struggling to survive. Wonder if they're in love. This dream's probably way, way off in the future. Looked like it was in some kind of lab. Never figured she'd turn up. But that was her, Tomi Kisaragi. My m Yuki chan's supposed to be in class 1A. No sign of her, though. I don't see Karabe kun. I wanted to talk about my dream. 
Might be out in the passageway. Uh, ouch! Ow! Oh, it's you. Uh, what? She's the same. Just like the Kisaragi I saw in my dream. Did you say something? Gotta make sure. I mean, I had this dream last night. I just had to make sure you actually had a belly. I'm sorry. What? Now you're calling me fat? What the hell is your problem? How is that okay? Do you think you can just go around grabbing girls? Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry. I saw her hanging there. Or half of her, at any rate. Maybe it really was just a messed up dream. I already know what Karabe-kun would say. I gotta lay off the splatter flicks. <sighs> Such a skis ball. What's with this guy? <sighs> Karabe-kun might be waiting for me. I should get going. Oh. Hey, Fuyusaka. You the only one here? Hi, Amiguchi-kun. Karabe-kun's not here, huh? I had this dream. It's bugging me. I kind of wanted to talk about it. How about you, Amiguchi-kun? Yeah, my dreams have been crazy lately, too. Do you see robots, too? No... Well, okay, sure, yeah, they're kind of like robots. What kind of robots? Well, they were more like androids. I mean, you couldn't tell them apart from human beings. And I'm there in some kind of lab with all these androids? I know that place. I was there too, in my dream. The sixth biggest underground laboratory in Shikishima. Or something. That place is... underground? And I saw Usami-chan there too. Tomi Kisaragi. Yeah, me too. It's got to be the same place. Amiguchi-kun, please. Tell me more about your dream. Okay, so... And that should work okay. Memory data is now ready. Thank you, Tamao-san. I really don't know what I'd do without you. Don't worry, Ida-kun. You succeeded with me. I'm sure you'll do fine with her. I'm sorry I had to prioritize her. Don't worry. We'll get you a body, too. Soon. I'm looking forward to it. Let's begin. Initializing composition. Personality and memories have been synchronized. Please, come back to me. Tomi, do you recognize me? Uh, Ida-kun? <sighs> Wait, are you his older brother? <sighs> Did he even have a brother? It is you. You look so... grown up. I'm sorry it took so long. 
It took eight years, even with the technology underground. Huh? I... I can't move. She's having trouble understanding her situation. I will inhibit her emotions to avoid a panic attack. Uh. Huh? What's... happen... Ing? Please listen. Try to stay calm. I analyzed your data from the records in Sector Zero. I found data for your old memories, your mind. And now I've transferred them into an android body. You mean I'm... I'm not... human? Am... I... Tamao-san, please turn up the sensitivity on those inhibitors. Keisaragi-san, you're like me now. An AI based on memory data. You are constructed to think and act just like her. To be Tomi Kisaragi. You're still you. Uh. Let me try to calm her directly. Could you connect us? Do what you can. Please. Problem with the Sentinels, Itakun. The Sentinels we thought were complete aren't responding. The Sentinels are working off of the same code base as the D series. So it has to be the D code control holding them back. If we want to disrupt that function, well, we need someone compatible to maintain direct access. Something wrong? No. Is this a bad time? No, everything's fine now. She's calmed down. Really? Tommy? What happened... to the real me? Well... Please, be honest. Juro killed you. You... and the other kids. And I put him down. Damn it. That dream again. Man, what time is it? No way I'm getting back to sleep after that. So in that dream, my name's Tetsuya Ida. It looks like it takes place in the future. And Fuyusaka's apparently been seeing stuff in the same place. Huh. I've been seeing things through Tetsuya Ida's eyes, but Fuyusaka... Actually, now that I think about it, the Ms. Morimura in my dreams looks pretty familiar. She kind of reminds me of Fuyusaka. <sighs> um, you in there? Not coming out today? Hello? Nothing to see here, just a guy talking to his TV. Okay, maybe I'm just going nuts. No, you're not. I'm glad you talked to me. There you are. What is going on? From the sounds of things, this might still take a while. Are you the real Miyuki Inaba? Or something else, just wearing her face? There's only one Miyuki Inaba in the world. But whether this face is just a mask... It's hard to say. Sometimes a mask is all an idol has. Sometimes it's all they are. I know this is a normal TV set. It doesn't even do video phone stuff. Pretty sure I shouldn't be able to talk to someone through it. You yourself are the transmitter. The TV is just the receiver. This is the only way I can communicate with you. I was blocked by universal control. The system denied me access. So I had to sneak in on this broadcast. 
kind of over my head, but I guess the point is, you hijacked the airwaves, and that's how we're talking. You could say that. Why me, though? You're the only one I can find. More accurately, your ID is the only one I could locate. But even beyond that, I know I can depend on you. Okay, back up. You said something would take a while. What were you talking about? It will take a while to help you understand. Understand what? Our situation. <gasps> I'm being tracked. I'm cutting the connection for now. my game today. All these weird dreams must be getting to me. And that show that came on in the middle of the night. Wish that was just a dream. Back in my... in my dream, her soul was in an android body. That's gotta be the craziest feeling. What would it even be like, not having a body of your own? This... my... Yuki Inaba's been hijacking the airwaves. Also, she can talk to me through the TV. She knows me somehow. Not just that. She says I'm the only one she can depend on. <sighs> I'm still waiting for the punchline here. Man. I see Tomiki Saragi in there. Ah, come on. What am I getting self-conscious for? It was just a dream. It's got nothing to do with anything I actually feel. But if I bump into her, things could get awkward fast. <sighs> what I really need now is a cold drink. Just gotta grab a drink, sit down, and chill out for a sec. <sighs> could use a sugar boost. Yeah. A little pick-me-up should do it. <sighs> Love me a little fizz. Man, I needed that. Okay. Let's think about this. Yeah, I only really see this going one way. I tell someone and they dump me in a psych ward. So what can I do? Amiguchi-kun. Oh. Hey, Kurabe-kun. Could we hang out again today? You got it. Let's see... Why don't we go to your place this time? Don't you have the place to yourself right now? I want to check it out. It's true my grandma's away visiting relatives, but... Well, right now... I have a... guest staying over. Things are a little awkward, so... Uh, sorry, it's just not a good time. Well... All right. Let's go to my place, then. Thanks. Done already? Sorry. Looks like all we've got is soda. You did say you wanted a drink, right? Thanks, Amiguchi-kun. It's getting dark. We should probably go get dinner soon. You're coming, right? 
My treat? You already paid for my ramen last time. I feel kind of bad. Then what? You want to call it a day? I can still tag along. I'll just pay for my own food. Oh. You watched the video I lent you? Hey, you recommended it. How could I not? Did you already finish it? What did you think? Kind of a campy plot. You've got this mad scientist who loses his real body, so he builds a new body and sets out, bent on revenge. It was interesting, but definitely not for casuals. <laughs> for a B-movie? That just proves it's a masterpiece. people who might believe me but how do I even bring it up don't want to get this wrong I know if I don't make myself absolutely clear I'll just come off as a crazy fanboy actually maybe I better keep my mouth shut what's up just learning something about you I figured you were only really into Western music never thought you'd be into the idol scene Miyuki Inaba. She's been really getting big lately, hasn't she? Uh, oh, that. I mean, you know how it is. I just got curious. I'm getting hungry. Did you want to just grab dinner and go home? Actually, uh... Do you think I could stay a little longer? I'd really appreciate it. My old man's probably at his mistress's place again. And I'm all by myself here. Stay as long as you want. Thanks. Say, uh... Any specific reason you don't want to go home? <laughs> well, anyhow. Want to get food? We could swing by the video store. Pick up something new to watch. Oh, speaking of... Before I forget again, here you go. This one I brought with me. It's basically the sequel to that other sci-fi one. This story was meant for you. Oh yeah? Yeah. For you and me. Memory transfer complete. Now, open your eyes, Juro. Or, maybe the name 426 would be more appropriate. <sighs> Do you recognize me? Tetsuya Ida. Or at least, an older version of him. I was gone a long time. You always seem to notice that whenever I wake you up. It's been three years since you died. Next year, we enter the 22nd century. How do I look now? Oh, uh, this is horrific. No arms or legs, not even a face. You'll find the pain receptors are all still there, at least. So I'd really recommend you cooperate. You are now an android. Your consciousness is stored on an electronic brain. So you pulled my data from Sector Zero. Brought me back as a ghost. I brought you back because we need to talk. You clearly did the most work on that underground supercomputer. So we're gonna have a little chat about your research.
Let's talk about your final project. You were testing an unorthodox function for the interlocitor, downloading memories into a human brain. I'm picking up where you left off, so I'll need more details. Records say the memory transplant was a success, but all the raw data from the experiment was deleted. Why did you delete it? Did you hit some snag with the method? Okay, maybe you're still a little groggy. Let's wake you up. System security. You've been bringing me back and killing me for a long time. You even got me to tell you how to interrupt the D-Force's production. Must have been painful if you got that out of me. Handling the Dimos code is dangerous, you know. How far back did you look? I really need to keep an eye on you. So that's your process. Copy me into this husk of tin. Then it wastes me once you have what you need. You're a dangerous man. Better get rid of you early this time. Can't afford the risk. Itakun. What's wrong? I found out from Morimura-san. You're trying to transplant my mind, aren't you? You want to replace the Tomi Kisaragi of this world with me. Do you realize how horrifying that is? How could you? Wait, look. It'll mean you can be human again. It means you're going to sacrifice a living human girl. But she's you. It'll be your heart and mind going into your own body. What's wrong with that? <sighs> You know she's dead. The girl you're talking to. She's just a machine wearing Tomi Kisaragi's face. But your heart is real. You're still you. Don't you get it yet? The girl you knew will never come back. Even if... Even if you steal her body and transfer my mind... Please. Please, I... Without you, I'm... You know I love you. But I can't support you. I can't support this. Uh, that explains why you woke me up. It sounds like things aren't going according to plan. Who's that? Uh, well... I can tell you your biggest failure right now. She's standing right there. You should never have revived her as an android in the first place. All you had to do was transfer her mind into a flesh body. You could have gotten everything you want. Nobody the wiser. Shut up! Juro Izumi. You're Juro Izumi. Prisoner 426, aren't you? Why did you wake him up? Same reason he brought you back. We're both his means to an end. Tools to be used and thrown away. Why him? Just had some technical things I wanted to check. Don't worry. I'll erase him as soon as I'm done. 
I had a couple more questions, but we'll get to them another time. I noticed you kept Kisaragi's memory from before transplanting her into the android. Huh? Paranoia getting to you. You didn't need to keep so many backups. Strange move for a man who sees humans as replaceable hardware. Or maybe you had the same contingency plan for her. You could erase her and start over as much as you wanted. Ah. Uh. I've heard enough. No need to get emotional. After all, me and your Kisaragi here, we're just data. All you have to do is reset us, and we spring to life. Just like you did to me. <sighs> I'm erasing him now. Just keep your eyes on the console for me. should do it. You know he was just trying to mess with our heads. <sighs> Are you mad at me? <sighs> Data transmission had been remapped to the delete button. Guess he was too worked up to notice. Never thought I'd find an escape route planned out for me. And by one of my past selves, no less. So, how are you doing? <sighs> what happened? Hey, Kisaragi. How's the view from the other side of that shell? A shame it might end up getting you deleted. And by the man you love, too. Oh, very classical tragedy. Easy, son. Sorry. But I need this body more than you do. have fallen asleep watching a video. Looks like Karabe-kun went home. And the tape must have hit the end. It's automatically rewound. Ah. Uh, the dream just now. Feels like it started off the end of the last one. You saw the video. Hey! Man, I'm not even surprised anymore. Are you still... the same Shu Amiguchi? Yeah, I saw it. But what are you talking about? What you saw wasn't a video. Everything you saw was real. All events of the distant past. Wait, that happened... in the past? You're still talking about that movie I watched, right? Okay, hold on. I borrowed that video from Karabe-kun. So let's assume you're telling the truth. What's Karabe-kun's part in it? Does he want me to see this stuff too? He's... He's the same as you. Watching the past unfold. Even if he has no idea. He doesn't know that it's why he keeps coming over. Or even that he's communicating with me. Wait, you talked to him? When? We were just hanging out, playing games, watching movies. That's how it appears to you, yes. So Karabe-kun's watching the past, too. Is that what these weird dreams are? Yes. So, wait. 
all these dreams look pretty futuristic. You're saying they were in the past? I keep seeing that guy in my dreams. It's his past you're seeing. He resembles you greatly. His name is Tetsuya Ida. Okay, so now you've shown me all this crazy vision stuff. Now what? I have to find out what he's thinking. What he intends to do. If he's thinking of resetting the plan, then he has to be stopped. There's a plan? Okay, so what's this plan? <sighs> Come on, what have you got cooking? This isn't gonna be some big evil scheme, right? It's not. It's called Project Ark. The plan is meant to save humanity. As a species, you will all be moved to another planet. And whether you know it or not, this plan revolves around all of you. Whoa. Man, I'm really off my game today. All these weird dreams must be getting to me. And that show that came on in the middle of the night. Wish that was just a dream. Back in... Well, it's not just our names. He and I are totally different people. And the way Miyuki and Aba tells it, those dreams weren't from the future like I thought they were. They already happened. It's all in the past. My... The way she describes it, these aren't just dreams and videos Karabe-kun and I see. They're actual events that happened in the past. The past of Tetsuya Ida. Man? Hmm? I see Yuki-chan! Maybe Yuki-chan's in the cafeteria. I should get going. Whoa! Yuki-chan! Amiguchi! I was just thinking about you, and now, here you are. Destiny sure wants us to be together. What the hell are you talking about? So, Yuki-chan... Didn't I tell you not to call me that? You like Hey C? I heard vitamin C helps keep you healthy. I'm not drinking it for my health, dumbass. Nachan used to drink it, that's all. Gotta lay off the smokes anyway. So, I need something else to focus on. How about a date? No. You know, I came by bike today. Got it hidden away nearby. We could go somewhere right now. No. How about the beach? I know a place with a great view. I said no. What, you don't have any place you want to go? A place from back in the day? Somewhere with good memories? <clears throat> Got a place on your mind? Or is there a reason you can't go back? Of course not. I just got to thinking. Reminded me of my grandma on my mom's side. Haven't seen her since my parents divorced. You don't say. <sighs> you set me up. Well, let's go. What? Let's go see your grandma. What are you, nuts? She's not even in the city. Her place is in Hamanashi, a whole prefecture over. Uh. That's what I thought, dumbass. It's too far. No, let's do this. I want to go too. That's just about a hundred kilometers one way. Huh? Come on. Hey! 
This is the perfect chance to check something. After what I heard from the TV last night, I've got to find out. Shukun, let me tell you where you are. What do you mean? This is my house. That's not what I meant. Think bigger. I'm talking about everything you know. Hmm? Everything in this city. Everything you've lived. It's an isolated enclosure. Just 30 kilometers in diameter. An enclosure? Hmm. But we still get news from all over the world. You're telling me we're closed off? No, that's too much. I don't buy it. That's a reasonable reaction. So... I think you should go take a look yourself. I'm going to unlock a part of the Suwabuki Bypass. You should now be able to see the truth. <sighs> go to the edge of the world. To the outer walls of the city itself. <sighs> Whoa! What the hell? Agree to this shit. Huh? You say something? You ever think anything through on the Gucci? Hey, I can get us back within two hours. Home before sundown, easy. Don't worry about it. How about you tell me a little bit about your grandma? <sighs> She's out in the boondocks. Nothing but rice patties. Yeah? Used to go to her place every summer. Walk in between the fields in the mornings to do radio gymnastics with everyone. No kidding! I did the same thing in the countryside when I was a kid. In the afternoons, Grandma would give us some watermelon. We'd swim in the river and catch fish with our bare hands. And we'd go catch cicadas off the old Zelkova tree, up on the hill behind the house. That's weird. What? My grandpa had a Zelkova on the hill behind his house, too. And we'd go catch cicadas off it. Oh, yeah? And the river, the watermelon. It sounds exactly like what I remember. Not that weird. Doesn't everyone remember the same stuff from vacations in the country? No, but that's exactly what is weird here. Well, we're almost 15 kilometers from the middle of the city. This tunnel should end around the prefecture line, so... What the hell is this place? What's going on? Huh. This is what she was talking about. This sure doesn't look like a construction site. It just goes on forever, above and below. I can't even see the end. Yo, uh, where the hell are we? The outer walls. But what the hell is it? How do we get through? I don't know if there is a way through. What if all our memories from outside town are fake? What if everyone's been convinced that an outside even exists? No way. I can't believe it either. How could I? It mean this 30 kilometer enclosure, this isolated city, is the only world we've ever known. So me and Karabe-kun, probably Fuyusaka too, the dreams we're seeing are actual events from the past. And it turns out this place is actually isolated? 
And how do you know all this? Oh, you know, just the pop star Miyuki and Abba talking through my TV. Who the heck do I even talk to about this? If I just tell the truth, they'll throw me in a loony bin. Miyuki and Abba was right about everything. There was a boundary. So here we are, in 30 kilometers of city. And beyond that, nothing. Wish I could pretend it was all a dream. My own private little adventure with Yuki-chan. Back in my dream... She was right. We found that weird barrier on the edge of town. <sighs> Maybe I should listen to her more carefully. I just wanted a nice first date with Yuki-chan. So much for that. Now I've got myself wrapped up in some huge conspiracy. <sighs> Used to be I'd just daydream about girls for a while and perk right up. Something tells me that's not really gonna work here. Tomiki Saragi isn't here. Well, probably for the best, actually. Bumping into her now would be super awkward. Kurabe-kun. Amikuchi-kun. Hey, you going home? Perfect timing. See, um, about that video. Sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry. Oh, uh, it's cool. <sighs> huh? Oh, nothing. See ya. Karabe-kun. Seems like something's up with him. Maybe he's figured something out too? Hmm. <sighs> Maybe I need some fresh air. I should just go public, lay everything out in the open. I guess I could record Miyuki and Abba talking to me? Send that tape out to TV stations. What's got you so spaced out? Amiguchi. Uh, just got shit on my mind. What about you? You look like hell. Something weighing you down? Yeah. You could say that. Hey, uh... Remember when I skipped school for a few days? What about it? Yeah, uh... I actually spent those days stranded in another time. Stuck in the future. Huh. Well, me, I'd go with a more plausible excuse for ditching. Yeah, that's about what I figured. So... What's going on with you? Huh? Oh. You know that pop star, Miyuki Inaba? She's been showing up in my room every night. I don't know what to do. Well, if you're gonna make me feel stupid for asking. Yeah, that's about what I figured. Hmm? <laughs> oh, I totally forgot. What's up? Yakushiji-san from Class 1C. She said she wanted to talk to me today. Said she'd find me up here. This shit again? Sheesh. Sometimes you're real annoying to be friends with. I'll just get out of your way then. Again? Oh, just stuff from middle school. Girls used to confess their love to me in front of him all the time. Oh, oh, wow. Is that what this is about? I'm sorry. Really, I... I I've got feelings for someone else. That's not what I came here to tell you. Oh, sorry. Awkward. So, what do you need? No <gasps> need to apologize. This might hurt a little anyway. <sighs> Mission accomplished. Sentinel number 20, transmitting. <gasps> Is this 
the robot I saw in my dreams? Whoa, shit, this thing flies? Launch point looks to be Yai Machi. Close to Sakura High School. There's no mistaking it. It's a sentinel. Notify all ministries and agencies, and the US military. Tell them no scrambles. Showa era weapons won't do much against a sentinel. We don't know who's on it or what their intent is. And call in Ryoko Shinonomi. Still ascending. What's it trying to do? That Sentinel. I believe that's the last aerial lightweight craft designed by Okino. I thought it never even entered production. Who is that? Yuki-chan. I knew it. It's like I keep saying, we gotta be soulmates. Good timing, too. Kinda hoped I'd see you one more time before I died. You're seriously still talking this crap, even now? Is that thing yours? Sentinel number 20, transmitting. It's gone. I'm just glad I didn't crash somewhere with people. You gotta tell me what happened. We'll take over from here. Of all possible pilots, I'd never have expected you. Shu Amiguchi. Four eyes. We're agents with the government. Allow me to be direct. Cooperate with us, and I can guarantee your safety. If not, you will be institutionalized. You know something? I really, really hate being talked down to. Especially from guys like you. Easy, Amiguchi. Yuki-chan, you know this guy? <sighs> she is a member of our organization. What? You were part of her assignment. She was sent to monitor pilots like you. That's why she was transferred to Sakura High School. No way! Tell me he's kidding. Amiguchi, I... Oh, 
I suggest you cooperate, Shu Amiguchi. For Takamiya's sake, if nothing else. So many mysteries about what happened in the girls' bathroom. But one thing's for damn sure. Nachan's definitely involved. Gotta look for more clues. There you are. I've been looking for you. It's been several days since me... Right before the incident in the girls' bathroom, there was another Kisaragi chasing after Nachan. Kisaragi is also one of the names on that list. So that means Four Eyes wants me to watch her. And Maybe we should look around the girls' bathroom again. Oh, didn't I tell you? They've started renovating. Even if we can get inside, there's nothing to see anymore. Well, shit. That was fast. Are you upset with me? <sighs> Just been antsy without my cigarettes. Yo, where's Tokisaka Shrine? It's nearby, actually. I should go check it out. Take me there, will ya? I'm gonna go grab my bag. I'll meet you at the front gate. Shina no Mei. Hey. Yuki Takamiya. Weren't you told not to contact me? Shino no Mei. There's something I need to speak to you about. All right, fine. Make it quick. So, before Natsunomi Nami vanished, I heard she was being pursued by men in black suits. If that's true, you've got some serious explaining to do. I've already told you. Natsunomi Nami has to do with my investigation. But I can tell you one thing for certain. We didn't kidnap her. If we had, there'd be no need for this investigation in the first place. Are you giving me your word on that? Get back to your assignment. Wait. There was something you said before. I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. You said you hid something for me. Oh, right. You told me to hide it. You don't remember, do you? It was in the passageway to the old school building. You were watching something. It was being shown through a projector. And you started crying. A projector? Yeah. And you were saying something about Four Eyes. Mr. Ida? Oh. So sudden. My pills. Hmm. Shino no me. Sorry to make you wait, Takamiya-san. Shall we get going? Give me a minute. It seems Shinonome has forgotten what happened in the old building's passageway. But I remember. It wasn't too long after I transferred here. I saw her. She was near the old school building. Hmm? 
was thinking there were fewer people around here. So, this is the old school building. I heard it's gonna be demolished soon. No doubt it is old. It was built during the war. Seems like a shame, really. This place is so quiet. Would have been a perfect place to hang out. Sakura High School. If I had been serious about my studies, I wonder if I could have gone into Sakura the normal way. <laughs> yeah, right. Huh? My ID is now registered. I'm shutting off your AI function. Search for it. It's somewhere in your memory. Look for the information on me and Mr. Ida. It was all a lie. Is this me from the future? His love was nothing but empty words. Mr. Ida. He was using me right from the very start. <laughs> I was such a fool. We are all that remains of humanity. And still we deceive each other. So filled with hate. I have had enough. This can't be real. Humanity has always been fated for ruin. Project Ark was a mistake. But it is already in its second stage. I cannot stop it. All I can do is derail it. I have linked in parts of the terraforming project. The heavy machinery will then purge humans from all sectors. If everything goes according to plan, the final phase will be reset. And all sectors will fall into a never-ending loop. What remains will be a peaceful world. Finally free of humanity. No. I couldn't have. This place will be destroyed as well. The human race has reached its end. We have no need for a future. What in the hell? Wait a minute. You're the girl that was with Four Eyes. Shinonome, right? It's impossible. Are you okay? Did I do it? Was it really me? I destroyed the world? No, I won't believe it. Mr. Ida would never deceive me. What are you talking about? There's no way. That isn't my future. <laughs> Just take a deep breath. Okay? Come on, stand up. Who are you talking about? Was it Four Eyes? future we're heading for, then what good are these? Shit. Madison? Here. Uh. Don't you need these? Uh. Why? Why are you trying to help me? Well, I just... You're my senpai at the SIU, so... Uh. Oh, yeah. That thing is crazy! Is it a new kind of projector or something? So how do you work this thing? I want to see that video again. Huh? Hey! Are you...
Are you all right? Get that thing out of here. Please. Don't tell Mr. Ida. Don't tell anyone. Please. I can't believe you collapsed on me like that. Uh, hey, whoa. You sure you're okay to get up? Here. It's your medicine. Morimura made you take those pills, too. It was the first thing she did when I carried you in here. Are you sure it's okay? To take so much of it, I mean. I don't understand. Why did you have my medicine? You threw the bottle on the ground, so I picked it up for you. I threw it? Yeah. Anyway, about that... thing. Are you sure it was okay? Huh? What? The thing you told me to hide. I said no such thing. Are you trying to play games with me? You were babbling on and on about that damn four eyes. And crying. A lot. What? Me? Don't lie to me. What the hell is going on with this girl? It literally just happened. <sighs> Shit, seriously? What are those for, anyways? I can't think straight unless I take them. I uh, know, dude. It looks like bad news to me. Oh. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Takamiya-san, please, just stay out of this. <sighs> Is something wrong? No. It's just... You don't look too well. Maybe some medicine would make you feel better. Yeah. I'm out of here. Shinonome-kun. I have a question regarding what we talked about today. Will you answer it for me? <laughs> Mr. Ida? I thought I had made myself clear. You are to avoid contact with me while at school. I will make an exception this once. What is your question? It's about your feelings, Mr. Ida. You said I was special. You are special. The thing is, I felt it too. The moment you arrived, I knew you'd be special. That something might happen between us. Mr. Ida. Mr. Ida, the substitute teacher. He's here to fill in while our teacher is on maternity leave. I've come to find he's quite mysterious, and comes with his own set of secrets. Mr. Ida, I've never... I've never felt this way before. Just thinking about you makes me... I have already explained to you what my position is. While you are important to me, to all of us, you and the rest of those chosen as pilots, your well-being is of the utmost importance to the mission. You do understand what I'm saying, don't you? Please don't cause any trouble for me, Shinonome-kun. 
It is true you are quite exceptional, Shinonome-kun. Your intelligence and adaptability are above average. And your piloting technique is more than sufficient. With you on our side, we stand a real chance. But you must be fully committed to the cause. To achieve victory, one must prepare with a full heart and great tenacity. The internet has been talking of nothing but what happened last week. A group of invaders had come ashore. Their attack held back by a mysterious robot. Mr. Ida, is your only desire to put me inside one of those things? If we don't defend against the attacks on this city, it is no exaggeration when I say that the world will be destroyed. We succeeded in defeating them in the first battle. By ensuring that they were unable to reach the heart of the city, we were able to minimize the damage that was done. But the invasion is just beginning. That attack is nothing compared to what's coming. Hey, what's going on here? Aikun. Weren't you the one that said not to contact you? What do you want with Ryoko-senpai? Sekigahara-kun. Stop, Aikun. I'm the one who has to talk to him. Senpai... That is true. Nevertheless, we're drawing attention to ourselves. I'm leaving. Wait! I'll do it. If it's what you want, then I'll fight. Are you certain? Yes. I've made up my mind. Then we will meet after school. I'll give you more details then. Wait. I'm in too. You will fight as well? Yeah. I'll do it. I'll go with Ryoko-senpai. That is excellent news. Then I will see you after school as well. Are you sure about this? I am. Ryoko. Area B2, Matsuyuki Cho secured. Area D7, 23 remain in the seventh wave. Fourteen has secured a path. Just a little more. Don't stop. You're almost there. Number fourteen has taken damage. Shinonome-kun, pull back. No, I can still do this. Number seventeen, assist number fourteen. Number seventeen. No response. Miss Morimura, something's wrong. I'm not getting a response from Sekigahara either. The system's being attacked. From where? Through the laser link. The attack is originating from number 15. Sekigahara kun? Sekigahara is transmitting it to every sentinel. at this rate. They're going to be wiped out. Use the force transmit code on all units. But we don't have time to adjust the settings. 
Do it as is. The link will be shut off that way. But we'll have no idea where they go. The pilots' lives are the priority. Number 16 and 13 have begun transmitting. Number 12 and 19 transmitted. Number 14 has completed transmission. No response from the others. How did this happen? The kaiju are almost here. We need to go. We can figure out the reason afterward. I was able to access the autonomous type number eight. We can buy time with that. You two, head for the gate. Itakun. Please hurry. I'd rather not die a meaningless death. Miss Morimura, we need to go. to the very end. All so we could escape. <sighs> this must be his hideout. 426 is a dangerous criminal. It'd be foolish to go in unarmed. Remember what Mr. Ida said. To achieve victory... One must prepare with great tenacity. Prisoner number 426. That's what he was called when imprisoned in the future. And now he travels through time, trying to thwart our work. A gun made in the 2100s. If it comes down to it, I'll use this on him. There's still some ammo left. <gasps> Ryoko-san. I've got you cornered now, 426. It's time to pay for what you've done. I'm taking you in. And if I don't come willingly? If you want to resist, feel free. Just gives me a reason to put a bullet in your head. Four, two, six. There's nowhere left to run, 426. Who told you I was 426? I saw the access logs. It was you, Eisaki Gahara. The program that infected the Sentinels. It was created with 426's ID. Looks like someone left some foolish evidence behind. Whatever it is you're trying to do now, I don't care. But I can't forgive you for what you did to Mr. Ida. Because of you, he's... You... You're still going on about Ida? What to do? We're done talking. I should kill you right here. <laughs> then do it. Shoot me. Go on. I'm serious. I'll do it! Huh? The trigger's locked. I'm the registered user. It won't shoot me. I'll take you on myself. Really? With those injuries? Besides... What are you doing? Empty. Like I thought. 
They'll wear off soon. I'm sorry, Ryoko-san. I tried. But I couldn't save you. Easy. Take your time. Do you know where you are? Do you know what year it is? 1985. What's the last thing you remember? 426. He got away from me. I won't let him escape next time. I see. All right. How are you feeling? My head really hurts. Maybe I should keep you here for further observation. My internal clock just needs a bit to readjust. You're putting too much of a burden on your nervous system. You need to stop shifting. Do you still have your pills? Make sure you're taking them. This should make me feel a little better. Take those when your headaches start to get bad. The medicine is a bit strong. You may experience some temporary side effects. But don't worry, your memories will return quickly. I need to go back. You can't time travel right now. But I need to fix the Sentinels before the invasion begins. You can't stop me. I need to go after him. I'm not trying to stop you. We just can't use the gate right now. The coordinates for shifting through time. They're set in 40-year intervals. So we can't travel freely. Why can't we time travel right now? The gate has been sealed by someone. I'm looking into it. The gate is locked. There's only one person who could have done it. It's him. It has to be. 426. The one that set up the gates in the first place. So we're stuck here? In the past? Are you alright? Who are you? Hmm. Miss Morimura, are you still overworking her? I've had no choice. And you are? Rinya Goto, a second year, like you. I've been assigned to offer you support. <sighs> it's a pleasure to be working with you. The source of the disaster that will destroy the world. If we don't capture 426, there's no way we'll be able to withstand the invasion. The invaders appeared in 2064. They destroyed the world. But they won't stop. They're coming for us here, too. These pills are hard to swallow. But it's the only way these headaches will go away. I don't need any help. I can do this on my own. It's too dangerous for you. Please, go with him. This isn't 2065. You will follow my orders. Gotokun, I leave her to you. Understood. We're counting on you. It's only a matter of time before 426 makes contact with someone. I need the list of those who are compatible. Of course. That includes the people of this era, too. I'll see what I can do. There's no other option. If we don't find him, the result will be worse than anything we imagined. <sighs> or would you rather... I go ask the students, one by one. <sighs> Fine. The file is on my desk. It isn't everyone, but... It does list those who are compatible at the school. If I get any information on him, I'll let you know immediately. 
humans with the capacity to pilot the Sentinels. They have already been identified in the future. I'll fix it as soon as I can. So this is it. The plan to gather all the compatible ones. Four girls, including myself. Wait, only girls? Fuyusaka and Kisaragi, Class 1B. Yakushiji and 1C. All of the compatible girls are first years. These files are only for the girls. That's all we have here. Gotokun has information on the boys. You can consult with him. I don't have the list. Therefore, I don't know. Renya Goto has the information I need. Tell me who the compatible boys are. Certainly. But there's something I'd like to ask you first. I wonder... Why do you hate 426 so much? Are you serious? The fate of the world is at stake. Even so, I sense your hatred stems from something else. <laughs> because he ruined the Sentinels. Because he destroyed my home. That thing deserves no sympathy. 426 is not human. He's an AI created in the future. And now, he calls himself A. Sekigahara. Hmm. A picture of 426. He calls himself A. Sekigahara now. But he's gone into hiding. The one that ruined the Sentinels. The disaster that will destroy the world. If we don't capture 426, there's no way we'll be able to withstand the invasion. Tell me who the compatible boys are. 426 could try and contact one of them. Or maybe he already has. According to the clock on the wall, it is time for lunch. They should be in the cafeteria now. Let's go. I don't have the list, therefore, I don't know. Renya Goto has the information I need. Kuyusaka and Kisaragi. No, the girls can wait. I need to focus on the boys first. The bread they serve here comes from quite a popular bakery. It's always like this at lunch. Have you already eaten lunch, Shinonome-kun? I'm not hungry. Have you already eaten lunch? So, where are the compatible ones? I don't see any from here. Huh? Shinonome-senpai. Good timing. We were just looking for you. That's Shu Amiguchi. He's one of them. Did something happen? <sighs> I can't go on. My head feels like it's splitting. This should make me feel a little better. Question for you. Have you seen someone that looks like this? Hmm. No, never seen him. I see. Oh! Ah, oh, jeez. Were you able to get your bread? 
You need my help with anything? <sighs> well, not last time. I wasn't able to do anything then. But I want to make up for it. You did try. And I'm grateful to you for that. Where are you going? Would you quit talking to me in front of other people? What is this strange feeling? When I see him talking to another girl, my chest feels so tight. It feels like I'm jealous. No, about him? That's ridiculous. There's no way. Shu Amiguchi. I get a strange feeling when I think about him. It's almost like I'm in love with him. Fuyusaka and the first year classrooms are on the third floor. Now what? Where are you going? Time to find the compatible girls. Where are the compatible ones? I should look at the pictures in their files. You don't have to follow me. Don't say it like that. My job is to help you. Doesn't seem likely. Why don't you tell me what you've gathered so far? So I can better assist you. I don't see them. Tell me, Kisaragi. Kisaragi san, can I talk to you? Oh, Senpai! Is there something I can help you with? Anything at all? Yeah. Do you like sweets, Senpai? No, so, no. So, what's up? Right, well... Has anyone suspicious tried talking to you recently? Uh... Besides you? <laughs> oh, my no. head. What oh, sort of women do you like? Well, I. What do you do when you're doing that? I'd rather not say. Have you seen do this you person like before? Oh, oh, no. What, what sort of women do you like? Well, I. He calls himself what A Seki Gahara now. I'd but he's gone into hiding. Not say. If I show his picture to the compatible ones, no, no. maybe I can figure out who he came into contact with last. Well, I... I can't go on. My head rather not feels say. like it's splitting. Do you like sweet senpai? No, no. What sort of women do you like? This should well, make me feel a little better. I... What do you do on your days off? I hey, what's going rather on? Not say. Why are you doing this? You need to run! What's going on? Did something happen? Nah, no, all good. Come on, Mibuko, let's go. Where are we going? What are you staring at me for? You probably think I look awful. That is true. Those injured, frail arms. To think they could produce such raw power. It's hard to comprehend. You saw that? The last battle. I was assisting Miss Morimura. Now what? Run away? Why do I need to run? <sighs> My head. It hurts. Megumi Yakushiji. I can't go on. My head feels like it's splitting. Oh. 
This should make me feel a little better. Yakushiji-san, can I talk to you? What is it? Have you seen this person before? That's 426, isn't it? You know him? I mean, I've heard about him enough times by now. So Morimura told you. You know, the way you're acting, it's going to be difficult for you to pilot number 14. Number 14? Number 14. Number 14 is my sentinel. This is number 14. The one you piloted. I'm glad we were able to recover it. Even in Shikishima's largest hangar, it was barely able to fit. Transporting it here was quite the challenge as well. But now, including number 14 here, we've been able to recover three Sentinels after the incident. Unfortunately, the new models are all still missing. We also have yet to find number 12. And Okinokun, too. So are the Sentinels fixed? With the systems infected as they are, repairing them will be no easy task. And now that he's taken control of the Sentinels... So unless we capture 426, we won't be able to use the Sentinels. What's her deal? Uh, oh, yes. Let me introduce you. This is Megumi Yakushiji-san. Hello. She's one of the compatible from the year 2025. Worst case scenario, she will be piloting the Sentinel instead of you. What? I won't allow it. Piloting effectively is not possible in your condition. But number 14, Mr. Ida chose me for it. It's my sentinel. Then you're the one who should have been in it. If you're really that possessive of it, then why didn't you fight instead of Juro? It doesn't matter. You'll forget this too. Just like everything else. Yakushiji-san! Easy. Take your time. Do you know where you are? <laughs> Answer the question. 1985. I know what you're going to say. I'm fine, all right? I see. I just forgot to take my pills, that's all. Take those when you're... We're still unable to time travel. I already know that. Just tell me when it's fixed. There must be some sort of clue. Something that happened in 2064. Are you alright? You should get some rest. You don't need to worry about me. This should make me feel a little better. Where are you going? Stop following me. That's not happening.
Kisaragi-san, can I talk to you? <gasps> Goto-senpai! Is there something I can help you with? Anything at all? Yeah. Do you like sweet senpai? So, what's up? Right, well... Has anyone suspicious tried talking to you recently? Uh... Besides you? Do you like sweet senpai? No, no. What, what, what do you Did you like? just tell me well, to run? I... What do you do on your days off? Photos distracted. I'd rather Come not on, say. Jim. Do you like sweet senpai? Oh, no. I can't go on. My head feels like it's splitting. It's empty. That was the last of them. I need to get more pills. Before it gets worse. The nurse's office should have some. So cold. So sweet. I can't get enough. Uh, what seems to be the matter, young lady? If there's something troubling you, I can try to help if you'd like. No thanks. Uh, I suppose it's to be expected, looking like this. It's open. Good. Morimar is not here. Now, where are those pills? There's a student asleep in here. This girl, she looks familiar. Compatible Yori Fuyusaka. She's one of the compatible. There's something under the pillow. An ampoule. This must be the medicine she was given. The label says NM0206. So she injected you with nano machines. What is Morimura thinking? Why give Yori Fuyusaka nano machines? Medication record. Maybe there's something useful in here. Yori Fuyusaka, Nano Machines Anchored. Memory Transplant, Attempt Number Seven. Memory Transplant? It can't be. Ryoko Shinonome. <sighs> Memory separation. Progressing. Third phase. As with Jiro Izumi, administering personality synthesis. Oh? Where's Gojo-kun? <laughs> you didn't have permission to read those. What does this all mean? It's a necessary measure. Well, did you find the culprit? Uh, what are you planning? You're in even worse condition than I thought. Uh, you need to take your pills. Answer me. What are you doing to Yori Fukusaka? My head. What are you doing? Maybe it's time. Shinonami-san, how are you feeling? How much can you remember? <sighs> As I suspected, 
You're starting to disappear. Easy. Take your time. Do you know where you are? It wasn't a dream. Morimura. She's been modifying personalities with nanomachines. She wants to change both me and Iori Fuyusaka into different people. I can't believe what Morimura says. Are you alright? Where are you going? Stop following me. That's not happening. Yakushiji-san, can I talk to you? I guess there's really nothing you can do about it. Do about what? You know, your... condition. Look! It's Goto-senpai! <laughs> oh, it is. Izumi kun you're all right. <laughs> He's so hot! I'm relieved. Student council elections are coming up. <sighs> Not again, up. Senpai. He's running for president, right? What? Really? I've That's already amazing. asked you to stop making fun of Smart me. Smart and I'm handsome. I'm Kurabe. Juro Kurabe. Goto Senpai. Apologies, Kurabe. You can go ahead. Kurabe? But he's Izumi kun. I don't understand. I bet Renya Goto knows something about this. Should make me feel a little better. What was that about? <clears throat> Jiro Karabe? Explain. You have the wrong person. That's not possible. I wouldn't mistake him for someone else. <sighs> there are certain things you're better off not knowing. Damn it, just tell me. Juro Izumi doesn't exist anymore. He's Juro Karabe now. His mind could not withstand the battle. He had to be turned into someone else. There is no chance of recovery. <sighs> now what? Izumi kun. He has the same symptoms as I do. Shinonome-san, right? Who are you? I'm Juro Izumi, and I need your help. We're going to save the world. With that robot. Strange. 
Are you all right? Oh. I... What do you feel with this? Did you just tell I'd me to run? I'd rather not say. Shh. Do you like sweets, Senpai? Koto's no, distracted. No. What, Go on, did what you? sort of women do you like? Well, I... What do you do on your days off? Posting about club member recruitment. That doesn't concern me. <sighs> but I took my pills. Senpai, are you all right? Shu Amiguchi. There's something I wanted to ask you, actually. But it doesn't look like right now is a good time. You really don't look so good, you know. Your face is all red, too. Maybe you have a fever? Just leave me alone. This isn't right. I just took some. Shinonomi-senpai? What is this feeling? I'll take it from here. Yes, sir. Ryoko Shinonomi. Female. Teenager. No matches in the registry, no prints on file. According to the written statement, purports repeated falsehoods, possibly delusional. Psychiatric evaluation necessary. So what? You're gonna get rid of me by claiming I have a mental disorder? What about my sentinel? How are you going to explain that? We're still investigating. How'd you get something that large into the city? You'd think someone would have seen it. What even is that thing? It's a weapon. Created to fight Kaiju. Hmm. Kaiju... The ones you said appeared in 2100? They're mentioned in the statement as well. <sighs> 2104. What was that? They first appeared in the year 2104. <sighs> so, if you're from 2104, what are you doing here? I came from the year 2064. I've told you this already. I don't know why, but when I woke up, I was here. Your story is just too unbelievable. <sighs> My apologies, but all investigations regarding this case will cease immediately. And you are? Tetsuya Ida, advisor to the Special Investigations Unit. You will throw out all statements and records and hand over this witness to us. <sighs> Come with me. Mr. Ida, I'm so glad you're safe. I'm sorry for not coming to get you sooner. Special Investigations. So it was true. An intelligence agency created from private contractors. But does it come with actual authority? Orders from the Director General of the Defense Agency. Please, 
Look them over. These are confidential matters relating to national security. Therefore, it needs to be kept a secret within the police as well. Monitoring public safety also falls under our jurisdiction. <laughs> You're all right now. Let's go. Yes, sir. You okay? You should probably take it easy. At least until the nurse comes back. Th thanks The nurse's office was left wide open. So I'm sure she'll be back soon. <sighs> I was saved by Mr. Ida. Is he really alive? And Shu Amiguchi. Why do I remember when I look at him? This strange feeling. It makes me so anxious. I don't even know what it means. I just... I feel like I'm forgetting something important. Mr. Ida. Mr. Ida. He didn't die in 2064. He helped me when I got here. How could I... Forget something that important. About Mr. Ida. Where is he? He's been missing ever since the battle in 2024. You don't remember? Are you alright? No. What? What sort of women do? <sighs> but I took my pills. Senpai, are you all right? Who are you? Come on, Senpai. It's me, Shu Amiguchi. Amiguchi, I don't know you. Leave me alone. Senpai. I've never seen him before. But then, why does he seem so familiar? You should probably go to the nurse's office. I'm fine. I just need to take my pills. It'll go away then. <laughs> See? Better now. I guess they're done selling. <laughs> My head... It hurts. There you are. Kisaragi-san. Why are you still chasing after Sekigahara? Oh, right. You might not know, but... But you have to capture him to fix the Sentinels. And he's 426. Is that right? You knew? Yeah, cause you flippin' told me! I don't remember that. Is Morimura doing something to you? I can't go on. My head feels like it's splitting. You don't remember being in the ruined city together? A ruined city. Irritating lock. Doesn't seem possible to force a connection. <sighs> Ryoko-san. Just like I thought. I knew you'd show up here. There's nowhere left to run, 426. 
I'm 426. Who did you hear that from? I saw the access logs. It was you, Eiseki Gahara. The program that infected the Sentinels. It was created with 426's ID. <sighs> Looks like someone left some foolish evidence behind. <sighs> no! Don't move. The shift radius is off. I haven't set the input, but the shift's still being executed. Get back. I won't let you mess things up again. Ryoko-san, you need to stay out of this. No! Damn it. We shifted. And to the wrong place, too. Now there's others involved. Not good. My location's going to be tracked. I need to delete the gate's logs. All these kids... because of him. Time to end this. Tell me Kisaragi. One of the compatible. This just wasn't your day. <laughs> Ryoko-san. I've got you cornered now, 426. It's time to pay for what you've done. Because of you, he's... You... Uh, you're still going on about Ida? I should kill you right here. <laughs> then do it. Shoot me. Go on. I'm serious. I'll do it! The trigger's locked. I'm the registered user. It won't shoot me. <sighs> I'll take you on myself. Really? With those injuries? Besides... What are you doing? Empty. Like I thought. <sighs> Your condition's gotten worse. How long has it been since you've taken them? Guess I don't have much choice. I've got those pills, too. Go on. Take them. You're not gonna trick me, 426. I don't know what you've been told, but I'm not the one who infected the Sentinels. I'm not 426, Ryoko-san. We never lived too far apart. Ever since we were kids, wherever you went, I followed. My big sister, Ryoko. Don't you remember? Hey, come. Please, take them. This hideout isn't safe anymore. You need to take the ones outside and go back. Understand? I need to get out of here. He's not... 426? Then... whose fault is it? What's going on? I don't... understand. Wait... I need to know. Nome Senpai? <laughs> if Eiseki Gahara isn't 426, then who's the one that messed with the Sentinels? 
Eiseki Gahara. Eikun is a year younger than me, and a childhood friend. How could I think he was the culprit? selling. Uh, my head. It hurt. That girl. Shinonome. What are you doing? What? Those black suits, they're looking for you. For me? <sighs> Who are you? What are you talking about? I'm an undercover agent for the SIU too. Did you forget that already? Sorry, undercover agent? I can't go on. My head feels like it's splitting. Four Eyes has something on you. That's why you've been forced into being a spy for him? Four Eyes? Tetsuya Ida from the Special Investigations Unit. <laughs> Mr. Ida? But why would he... You really don't remember? What about when we shifted back here? In the science room? Can you remind me? Sakura High, Sector 4. The first one you set up. The gate in the science room. Amiguchi's not here. Shit, we left him. Tell me the truth, Mr. Ida. Am I just being used? Because if that's what you want, then I don't care. Uh. But... You having feelings for another girl? I can't accept that. Mr. Ida, you were just going to throw us aside, like nothing. Also, you could have a do-over with her. Shinonome-kun, just take a breath. This is all a big misunderstanding. Ever since I saw the recordings from the lab, I can't take it. You're confused. You need to take your pills and calm down. I've made my decision. I know what I have to do. Stun mode deactivate. <sighs> w wait, Shinonome-kun! Goodbye, Mr. Ida. wasn't budging. I had no choice but to call in the black suits. Is Mr. Ida... is he okay? How would I know? I haven't had any contact with him since. No. <sighs> I couldn't have. Well, it's hard to imagine he's okay after that. <sighs> Might even be dead. I still don't really understand. Why'd you do it? I saw... a recording. A recording of what? No. Stop. I don't want to remember. No more. I don't want to. Uh. There's no time. 
time. I need to hurry. I need to find as much as I can today. Where did I leave off? Accessing Mr. Ida's research. Okay, log 3214. And the next one is... <gasps> research on AI? The data's gone. Strange. The log just ends here? The most recent log is from three years ago. Anything more recent than that has been deleted. Weird. They shouldn't have been able to get in. I locked the passageway door behind me. The surveillance camera. Maybe there's something on there. The surveillance footage from when I came here last. Found it. Hmm. Morimura and Renya Goto have been here a few times. So they're the ones that open the passageway. Okay. Maybe if I keep going back through the footage, I'll find out who deleted the locks. for having to use this body. I did not anticipate that 426 would take yours from you. I'm sorry. You made that body... just for me. No, I'm the one who let my guard down. I'll make you another, right away. You should make bodies for the others, instead of me. Yes, well, unfortunately... They no longer need bodies. Because of the Sentinels? So you're aware? You're going to trick the UFO into thinking it's being controlled by the Compatible. By putting our bodyless friends into the Sentinels. That's right. Although I'm still unsure how successful we will be. The UFO is not easily deceived. Then put me into a Sentinel too. Don't be ridiculous. If you're discovered, you'll be removed as a foreign entity. It's too risky. Miura and Hijiyama can handle it. They lived as humans in an era of war anyway. Iku, look at me. I'm not Tomi Kisaragi anymore. But if I transfer you into this world's Tomi Kisaragi, everything will be back to normal. My research has been progressing. You'll be able to come back. No. Absolutely not. How could you even consider it? She's still me. Sacrificing someone so I can take their place. I could never forgive you for that, Iyakun. Tommy. Please. Put me into a sentinel. <sighs> I'll think about it. Anyway, I need to make some adjustments. I'm gonna shut off the power for now. Why can't you see? The only person I want to save is you. I don't care who has to die for it. None of this means anything if you're not here. It's just as he said. If I had just put her in another body from the start, none of this would have happened. Her original consciousness data is still in the UFO. No. 
What if we just start over from the beginning? From that day. Then I can transfer her data into the new Tomi Kisaragi. She'd never have to know. We just need to reset things. It'll all be better that way. Again? Jeez. Well, just meet me at the front gate when you're done. In the meantime, I'll go hunt down Amiguchi. Usami-chan, you've been acting strange lately. Are you okay? You seem kind of... stressed out. Oh. Churo. You'll be home for dinner, right? I'll cook something for you. Hey, watch what you're saying. We're still at school. For tonight, I'm thinking Hamburg steak. Your favorite. <laughs> Knock it off. If people find out we're living together, we'll be expelled from school. Hmm, is that so? I don't mind. Well, I do mind. So please, Sorry, sorry. It's our secret, I know. I'll be a little more discreet. Jeez. It feels awkward going home like this. I'm gonna be restless all night. We're just teenagers. We can't be living together already. What is she thinking? Just showing up at my place and treating me like this? That's strange. The front door was unlocked. I hope there wasn't a break-in. Huh? You're... You're from my school, right? I think we're in the same... <gasps> it's been 40 years. I've missed your touch. What? Hold on, back up. What are you doing in my house? I'll be renting a room starting today. My name is Megumi Yakushiji. Hello there. You're joking, right? I spoke with your landlord, Tamao Karabe. She gave me this rental agreement. My grandma? I've already moved in my furniture. Jeez. I mean, yeah, there was an empty room. And she said she was planning to rent it out, but... I didn't expect it to be a girl from school. <sighs> what were you thinking, Grandma? <sighs> There's no way. I can't do this. Grandma's going to be out this whole month. She's visiting relatives back in Shimane. That means it's just the two of us here. If the school finds out... We're going to be expelled. Well, that wouldn't be so bad. What? Anyway, I need to get started on dinner. As thanks for letting me stay with you, I'll be taking care of your meals. I hope you like it. Hey, wait! Kurabe-kun? Huh? Miss Morimura. What's the matter? You seem deeply concerned. Are you feeling ill? No, that's not it. That girl... 
she always stands a little too close to me. It's awkward. I get really self-conscious all the time. How am I supposed to interact with her? You forgot these again. Oh my! Sorry for the trouble. I do appreciate it. Thank you, Kurabe-kun. Well, that saves me a trip. Now, I wonder if Shiba-kun was able to find Amiguchi-kun. So, what do you plan to do? Yakushiji. I've gotten permission from Morimura. I see. Even if that's the case, it isn't looking good. There's an issue with Juro's condition. We can't let it continue as is. You still plan on using him, don't you? You can't. I won't let you. <sighs> Please, let him be free of the Sentinel. As of now, he's the only one who can fight. I can't promise anything. I recognize the position you're in. You harbor feelings for him, correct? But you must understand that he is no longer the Izumi you knew. Izumi? He is Juro Kurabe. You would do well to consider him an entirely different person. The new personality is not stable. Don't disregard the danger this may put you in. Juro will recover. I'll make sure of it. Even if we erase the personality of Juro Kurabe... What? It would be a futile effort, as I've already explained. Izumi's memory is gone. There is nothing left. You're a difficult one. Oh. Izumi... For your own good. Haven't I heard that Just name before? I cannot. I think Shinonome Senpai called me that. You must oh, return to Shikishima. And I saw it at the nurse's office too. There but was a document labeled now? Juro Izumi. You're a difficult one. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> Karabe. <laughs> Juro. How long have you been listening? <sighs> What was that about? Who is Izumi? Uh, I'll cook one of your favorite meals tonight. So please, come right home, okay? No eating out. <sighs> I'm a different person? Juro... Izumi? <laughs> That's ridiculous. And yet... Why do I have this sinking feeling? It's like... The one Yakushiji has feelings for isn't me. It's... Izumi. In my dream, a woman and I went back in time to prevent the extinction of humanity. To do that, we had to blow up some sort of research facility. And, well, we did it. And if that weren't enough, we shot the researchers dead. The woman I was with in that dream looked eerily similar to Fuyasaka-san. Usami-chan! <gasps> You've been acting... Oops. <laughs> Shall we go? I'm sorry. We have plans. Guess Miss Morimura's not here. Since she's not around, I'll just leave the surveys on her desk. I'm sure she'll see them when she gets back. Huh. 
They're gone. Last time, she had documents on Juro Izumi here. I guess she put them away. Shino Nome, Senpai. <sighs> Izumi-kun? I'm so glad you're safe. I heard terrible things. So, I thought... Senpai, my name is Kurabe. Juro Kurabe. <sighs> That's right. So you know him too? Juro Izumi? <sighs> Juro Izumi is you. But right now, you've been given a different personality. Given? By who? The two of us lost our memories after a certain incident. We suffered serious mental trauma. Especially you. I heard that you had it worst of all. But I'm not so well off either. My memories keep disappearing. I'm not sure if I'll even remember this conversation. What was this incident? It happened in the future. But you received medical treatment here. Back in the past. The future? No way. It's true. And you're Juro Izumi. So, let me get this straight. Juro Izumi came from the future. He lost his memories due to some incident. And the damage was so bad he needed a whole new personality. That's how he became... me. Juro Kurabe. It's so hard to believe. But if it's true, that would explain why I kept feeling like something was off. This is crazy. Honestly, it's really hard for me to believe. I don't blame you. If that was a real memory, does that mean I actually did all that? This is crazy. Honestly, it's really hard for me to believe. I don't blame you. Whoa, you're still here? Shiba-kun, what's up? I couldn't find Amiguchi anywhere, so... I thought I'd come looking for you. Well, guess that's that. Let's call it a day and go home. Are you all right? No, I'm not. And neither are you. Well, guess let's call it a day. Freaking Amiguchi. You're not getting away from me tomorrow. Uh. Hey, Juro. Let's go home. Oh, yeah, almost forgot. I never finished reading this. Hey. Don't you want to go to Amiguchi-kun's place? Oh. You didn't bring it up today. Well, I beat the game, so... Now we can hang out, you and me. Where do you want to go? Did you just want to go to Amiguchi's as usual? I'm fine with whatever. Do you think that one video is still available for rent? Probably. Wanna go check? Okay, cool. Don't forget your bag.
Hopefully no one's checked it out yet. <sighs> We're out of luck, man. Video store's closed. By the looks of it, I don't think it'll be reopening anytime soon. The windows were completely shattered. It must have been part of that big gas explosion. Oh, I saw that on TV. That was our video store? There was a gas leak in the shopping district. The explosion damaged buildings and shattered windows. I heard about it on the 7 a.m. news. So what do we do? Just go home disappointed? We don't have much of a choice. Oh, Mirakun. What are you doing here? I followed you after school. Is... something wrong? Tell me the truth, please. Huh? You don't need to play innocent. You are a sentinel pilot. How did you activate it? Sentinel? What is that? Are you telling me you've forgotten? It just happened the other day, right here. You mean the gas explosion? I heard about it, but... That wasn't a gas explosion. It was you. You transmitted your sentinel right over there. Transmitted? You talking about movies? I think I saw that one. Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it. That did happen in one of the tapes you let me borrow. Jurokun. Who are you talking to? Uh, that's right. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is one of my classmates. His name is Kyutashiba. <sighs> Where is he? What? Shibakun? He's right next to us. Sorry, but it's just you and me here. <laughs> Come on, Mirakun. Wait. I think this has happened before. <sighs> So, did you check out that video I lent you? Yep. Watched the whole thing. I forgot to bring the tape back, though. No rush, man. But you gotta tell me what you thought. Well, in the end, the criminal took over the main guy's body. So I guess he ended up becoming a criminal himself. Not sure how to feel about it. I think it's pretty controversial. Oh, yeah? I thought the ending was awesome. Hey, um... Why do you keep talking to yourself? Is everything okay? I'm not talking to myself. Then who are you talking to? Come to think of it... I saw Shibakun in a dream the other day. A pretty creepy one. Something about an android. I was talking to Shiba-kun. Shiba? Who the heck is that? You know, Kyuta Shiba. Our classmate? There's no one with that name in our class. Huh? Hmm. Hey, Kurabi-kun? I know. The papers, right? I'll get them later. Listen. Kisaragi-san's acting strange. She's saying there's no one named Shiba-kun in our class. Shiba? Um... Who? He's standing right there. Um, Kurabi-kun... There's no one named Shiba here. <sighs> Are you okay? Say something, Shiba-kun. They're being so mean. Is this some kind of prank, or are you talking to ghosts? 
Either way, it's not funny. Me? A ghost? These girls need a better sense of humor. Let's go. sheba -kun. What's your deal? Let's get going already. Hey, um... We grew up together, right? Well, yeah. We've been best buds since grade school. What's gotten into you? Something's just not right. You're taking their joke way too seriously. It is strange, though. It's odd. When I think about grade school, I don't remember him at all. I can't remember any times in middle school, either. <sighs> Shiba-kun? You said you've been with me all this time, but... I can't seem to remember the details. I don't have any memories of our time together. Why do you think that is? <sighs> I should have known you'd figure it out. What do you mean? Guess I overdid it with the mind hacking lately. <clears throat> Let's not overthink this, okay? Here, take this tape with you. It's your next set of memories. Go home and watch it carefully. <sighs> okay. Wait! Calm down. I remember now. He's... Shibakun is... <gasps> I'm the only one who can see him. Well, I can't be letting anyone else in on our little secret. I gotta get my shit together. When I'm not careful, I blow my cover. Who are you? Artificial Personality, 48Q. Codename QTA, CBA. In other words, Kyuta, Shiba. I know, it's a bit of a stretch. But I had to come up with something that suited you. You get along well with this kind of guy, right? Kyuta? There's no use running. It's too late for that. I've already filled your head with transplanted memories. They're running all around in there, aren't they? Oh, but don't worry. Leave things to me, and you'll be just fine. Transplanted memories? Yep. Mine. Calm yourself. There's no one here. But he's right there in front of me. You would have been better off not knowing any of this. What a shame. So those movies were... Shiba-kun's memories. Shiba's? No. My real name is Juro Izumi. You're not gonna remember this anyway. So chill out. Unless you want to look like a crazy person. All right, my friend. I've got a new video for you. Just forget about the world for a bit. And watch this. You're gonna love it. It'll wipe your mind clean as a whistle. No. Stop! Jiro-kun! Hey, Jiro. Let's go home. Shiba-kun's not actually human. And not only that, he's been manipulating my memories. It seems his goal is to turn me back into Juro Izumi. Uyosaka-san and I were the only ones who made it. We escaped to Sumire Bridge 16 years into the past. These must be Shiba-kun's memories. Or rather, the other Juro Izumis. Oh. <clears throat> what? Why the long face? Have another nightmare or something? Knock it off. I'm not stupid. I know I'm the only one who can see you. 
<laughs> so it wasn't fully wiped. What exactly are you? 48Q. QTA, CBA. I already told you, I'm an artificial personality. That doesn't mean anything to me. Hmm. Then why don't you watch this video and relax? I'm not watching it. Damn. I guess mind hacking has its limits. Why did you do this? Why did you give me Juro Izumi's memories? Are you trying to turn me back into him? Don't worry about it. You were never meant to be this way in the first place. See ya! Bye! You know, we can't have you causing a scene I here. Guess it's about that time. Your memory needs to be wiped clean. Let me try one more time. Hey, watch it! She's not here. Are you looking for someone, Ogata-kun? Yo, yeah, Kurabe. Sure am. Tell me Kisaragi. Got a clue where she went? Uh, can't expect you to know. No. Running won't change a thing. Think, think. Who might know something about this? Fuyasaka-san's absent. What about Yakushiji? Shinonome-senpai. She knows about Juro Izumi for sure. I should go talk to her. Hopefully she's at the nurse's office. Shinonome Senpai? Please wake up. <sighs> Izumi kun. No. Don't you remember? I'm Juro Kurabe. Kurabe. Please help me. It's Shibakun. He's been messing with my memories. And replacing them with Juro Izumi's. Izumi Kun's? That's odd. According to Morimura, his memories were lost for good. Miss Morimura? Our teacher? What does she have to do with this? I'm talking about Shibakun. Who is Shibakun? Kyuta Shiba. He called himself Personality 48Q. I'm the only one who can see him. <sighs> I'm sorry. I don't know anything about that. Am I going to disappear? Well, if Izumi kun's memories were transplanted into you, does that mean you know about his past? I saw it all in the form of dreams and movies. What happened in them? In order to prevent the apocalypse, Fuyasaka-san and I went back to the past. We bombed the facility that was said to be the source of it all. But the police caught us, and we ended up in a shootout. With Iori Fuyusaka? This is all news to me. What memories do you have of his? What were your dreams like? The city was in ruins. I went around killing students, one by one. I wouldn't let any of them get away. Among the dead, I saw people I knew. Like Fuyusaka-san and Yakushiji. 
Yuzumi-kun did that? It can't be. There's no way he would do such a thing. Visitor from another world. I forgot to mention. Shibakun gives me memories on videotape. Videotape? Fuyasaka-san told me they're all real events from the future. Like what? If I recall correctly, we were in a big UFO. Peace. I don't think the world had much of a chance. The year was 1985. Is that a flyer from a movie theater? Logs indicated shutdowns sometime in the Heisei era. But at the time I visited, was right there in Tsutsuji Ward. So Sector 4 is in 1985. And Sector 3 is in 2025. That's another 40-year gap. This machine only lets us travel to specific time periods, all of which are under attack by the invaders. Why are they showing up in the past? <sighs> I have no idea. What do you think, Sukasa-kun? We have no record of such an invasion occurring back then. If that's the case, it's inconsistent with history as we know it. You're right. It was just last year that we were invaded. The year 2104. That was the first and only time. If there were a kaiju attack prior to that, we would have known about it. We must be dealing with a time paradox. Maybe something weird happened when they arrived. It could have caused reality to split into parallel universes. We know that kaiju technology allows for time travel. It's not hard to believe that would impact the future in some way. Hold on. While this device does appear to be a time machine, it may be premature to make such assumptions. <laughs> An earthquake. A big one. Something feels weird about it. This is bad. What's wrong? The countdown. It's reached zero. Don't tell me. The shaking is... It's time. Look at this! <clears throat> We're rapidly losing contact with zones of the UFO. The very Earth's crust is crumbling. This is an unprecedented disaster. Several areas now report an elevation of below sea level. Is it sinking into the ocean? At this rate, we'll be going down too. So this is what the countdown was for. It may not be possible to survive this. We have no choice. We must seek refuge in the past. What? Get in the transmitter. Are you serious? If we do that, we might not ever come back. And if we stay here, we die. This will need a timer. When it's all set, I'll join you. Please, get to the device. All right. If you're setting our destination coordinates, let me suggest Sumire Bridge. Amidst the destruction I saw earlier, that bridge was still standing. You heard him. Let's get in. Okinokun! Is something wrong? 
It's not letting me select any sectors. I don't understand. My commands aren't working. I need to find a time it'll let us travel to. Stay in the device. Just hurry, okay? I've got it. Sector Zero. I don't know what year that is, but it's the only destination we can access right now. Takasakun, get over here, now! I can't. It's not letting me set a timer. I'll need to operate it manually. Go on without me. Takasakun! Hero. I saw the signs in town. We're in 2089 now. We traveled 16 years back in time. I see. So that's why. Look over there. Across the river. It hasn't been redeveloped yet. No wonder Century Tower isn't there. It wasn't built until 2100. It'll be over ten years from now before it goes up again. There's no point in waiting any longer. Let's go. Sukasa-kun... ...isn't coming back. Look! Even the Shikishima State Building is missing. We have to go! Do you plan on standing here forever? We can't just leave him! You agree with me, right? In this era, you and I are still newborns. Even your own mother wouldn't recognize you. Our citizen ID won't be valid here either. We can't purchase anything or use public services. The city may look familiar. But this is the world of 16 years ago. To us, it might as well be a foreign country. But we can't go back. We have no choice but to figure something out. What are we going to do? The invasion's going to happen again in 15 years. We need to warn everyone about it. Will they even believe us? All we can do is try. And if they don't, we'll take matters into our own hands. No one else knows what's coming. It has to be us. Let's figure out how to get back to the UFO. It should still be buried underground. If we can find it, then... I get it now. We can save Okinokun. All we need to do is travel through time again. I can't say it's impossible. But if we're ever going to do that, we need to make it through today. Let's find ourselves some food and a place to sleep. You're right. Shall we? From there, the two of us spent the next few years together. Living in society's shadows. Huh. Stay away from me. <sighs> that guy, in my dream. He called himself Tsukasa Okino. I feel like we've met somewhere before. That incident you just described... It's not one of your lost memories. If it involved rewinding time 16 years with Morimura, then it must have been... him. Who? He's a time traveler. He's gone back in time over and over again. A time traveler? That's crazy. The memories you've been seeing are his. But... his name is Juro Izumi. Does that mean he's me from the future? No, it's a different Juro Izumi. One who came from a lost world.
day back. I was told he's incredibly dangerous. So that means... my dreams are memories of a lost world? And Shiba-kun... is that world's Jiro Izumi? That man has nothing but his consciousness left. He transferred himself into an android and fled. His... consciousness? <laughs> oh my... Looks like Senpai isn't feeling so good. Shibakun. Man... You've sure got a big mouth. Stop this! Oh, come on! Ryoko Shinonome is a freaking weirdo! If you really want to take her word for it, you'll have to face the consequences. Did you see that, Usami-chan? It was that kitty again! I don't see it. Must have taken off already. After this, you wanted to go to the record store, right? Yes! You must really want that new Idol Group's album. Well, you know the lead vocalist? He looks a bit like Amikuchi-kun. So what? Jeez. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even money in my bag? Julian <laughs> love is wonderful, Sunny chan Even... Are you sending your love letter, Miwa-chan? I don't know. My fortune said bad luck this week, so... I see. Confessions take a lot of courage, huh? Yuri-chan... Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. Don't mind me. You should get a four-leaf clover, Yuri-chan. Huh? It's a love charm. I saw it in a magazine. If you include it in a love letter to your crush, your wish will come true. Uh-huh. And what was it last week? Put a photo of your crush inside your pillow? About Amiguchi-kun... I heard he's not joining the basketball team. What a shame. He's so good at it. Back in grade school, he played soccer. But one day, he just... got bored and quit. You guys knew each other back then? Yeah, in fourth grade. Nachan too. We were in the same class. Let's see... Now where were we? Hmm... It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket! <sighs> Maybe, but come on! Have you seen how the guys react when Morimura walks in? Let's just say they're not looking at her eyes. She does have a nice figure. And I can sort of understand. As for guys I like, I think Amiguchi-kun's handsome. That guy's shallower than a cookie pan. You've got a strange taste in men, Miwako. That's mean. Goto-senpai's pretty cute, too. He has a lot of secret admirers, even some of the third years. Yeah, I'll pass. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? Being in love is wonderful, even just what it's like... <sighs> Romance aside, I'm still hungry. Let's get more treats. Good idea. Where should we go? Let's get sweets. It's a hot day today. Why don't we get soft serve? Nah. I'd rather have crepes. Let's let Yori-chan decide. The soft serve place just got a new flavor in. 
I wonder what it tastes like. Don't you want to try it, Yuri-chan? Oh, Which I can one smell do you the want? crepes now. Crepes? Soft serve? Freshly made? I need it. The soft serve place just got a new flavor. And we've had crepes a lot lately. So I agree with Miwa-chan. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go! We all got the new flavor. Rich vanilla, right? It was either this or a chocolate mint. All right, I'm gonna try it. Mmm, it's so good. Super sweet. You know what my lucky item is this week? Soft serve ice cream. <laughs> Guess things are looking up for you then. They really are. <laughs> Can tell. I um. Do you think we'll put on weight? Mm, we did just eat a lot of sugar. Iori, are you on a diet? Is that crush getting to your head? Don't tell me. You two are taking things to the next level. It's not like that. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one. Miwa chan? You should do it. Send your love letter. Huh? But it said my luck for this week is bad. Don't forget, you got your lucky item today. Yeah, just tell him. Oh, stop! It's so embarrassing! Watching from afar is good enough. But I do envy you, Iori-chan. You talk to Amiguchi-kun like it's no big deal. You two are chatting on lunch break, right? In the passageway? What about? Well, uh... Dreams? Let's see. Now, where were we? Hmm... Being in love is wonderful, Asami-chan. Even just Amiguchi kun and Kurabe kun's dreams. They sounded a lot like mine. I wanted to talk to them about it. Maybe we're all connected. Yusaka-san. What brings you here? You weren't at your desk, so... I thought I'd check outside. Are you waiting for Amiguchi-kun? Well, trying to. More dream talk? <laughs> I'm sure that's what he'd want to do. But <laughs> I just want to play games. I thought I'd ask to hang out at his place. You know, I've been thinking... I know we just met here at school, but it doesn't feel like it's for the first time. <sighs> Have we met somewhere before? A long time ago? Um, I don't think so. Oh. Fuyusaka's here too. Amiguchi-kun. Did you have another dream? You guessed it. It was crazy, man. I was in this tank thing with legs walking around beating up monsters were you watching some sci-fi b movie before bed so you've been having dreams like that all this time oh yeah especially lately you too right karabe kun mine was about a ufo i went back in time using the ufo's transmitter i have dreams like that all the time but in my case 
I think I'm too easily influenced by movies and stuff. Why did you come here anyway? Don't tell me you're interested in our dreams. About that, the truth is, I've been having weird dreams too. It seems like they might be related, so I thought I should talk to you guys about it. Oh yeah? What kind of dreams? That dream you just told us about. You know, the tank with legs. I saw something similar myself. For real? Hey, tell us more about that dream. I think that was you in my dream, Amiguchi-kun. The riverbank looks so empty. There's no Century Tower. This must be before it was built. I went back 16 years. Looks like I'm the only one who made it. Were Jiro and Okinokun unable to escape? This must be around the time I was born. And I'm all alone. What am I supposed to do? Hiro Morimura, am I right? Who are you? I'm Tetsuya Ida. I was sent here by the future you to the year 2089. The future me? She asked me to find you on Sumire Bridge 16 years prior and tell you about our battles. We'll defeat them this time for sure. It's getting noisy. I don't want to get caught. Let's get out of here. What about that thing? Are you just going to leave it here? Don't have much choice. Gonna need it eventually. I'll worry about it later. For now, though, I think it's best you come with me. in my dream. He said he'd gone back in time 16 years to find me. If that was a real premonition, something's gonna happen in the year 2105. That's 120 years from now. Must have taken off already. After this, you wanna... There's not even one... Being in love... <sighs> Romance aside, I'm still... Let's get more... Let's get sweet. It's a hot day today. Why don't we? Nah. I'd rather have crepe. Let's let. The soft serve place just got a new flavor. I agree with Usami chan. Crepes sound good right now. Then that's that. Let's go! You didn't get your usual? Chocolate banana, right? Double strawberry was half off. I have to try it. Yum! Let's see. How is it? Mmm! So many strawberries! Crispy edges. Lots of cream.
You know? What if I got the tuna in mayo? I could have fed it to the cat. Hey! Cats can't have crepes. I actually have cat treats with me. If you want to feed him, give him those. So you're the one who's been feeding them? Jeez, Miwako. I'll keep that in mind next time I see one. Thanks, Miwa-chan. Um... Do you... Mm, we did just... Don't tell me. It's not... Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even <gasps> one you might like? Mm, how Now's the time. I'll use Miwa-chan's treats. It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. <sighs> Maybe, but come on. Hey! Hey! Miwa-chan! Over here! Oh, one moment. I'll get the treats. And they're very similar, but I think the one at school looks slightly different. So there's more than one. You got a good look at the one at school, huh? At the front gate with Karabe? Oh, you saw that? Oh! That guy's kind of weird, don't you think? What were you talking to him about? It was... It's not so bad if I put my mind to it. Oh, kitty! Early cat gets the mouse, huh? Oh, he's sleeping. Good morning, Fuyasaka-san. <gasps> Shh, quiet! Huh? Oh, a cat. Looks just like a stray I've seen by my house. Maybe they're siblings. Kurabe-kun, do you still have those dreams? Yeah, sometimes. I have them too. You know that one you talked about earlier? With the UFO buried underground? UFO? Iori! Morning! Usami-chan! Good morning. What were you guys up to over there? Oh, um, just looking at a cat. Uh-huh. Hey, can we talk a little more? Uh, okay. Megumi? Oh. A UFO, huh? What happened in the dream? Every day, I have... <sighs> Juro. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried with you all by yourself. Something were to happen to you, uh, I. Drew, stop. <sighs> I'm flattered you feel that way, but I can't think about this not now. I don't want to leave you hanging. No, I get it. I don't know what got into me. This is no time for a confession. It would only make things more complicated. But listen, when this is all over, I'll talk to you again. Promise. There it is again. Were you able to find the source of these tremors? Okino-kun. 
Remember the kaiju that were immobilized? They're starting to collapse. The tunnel is blocked. We'll need to find another route to the surface. There's no use rushing. No one's left up there anyway. <sighs> you don't have to say it. <sighs> so you remember. I'm so sorry. About your mother. It's okay. Our work here is a good distraction. I'll check the terminal over there. I didn't mean any harm, Morimora-san. Don't worry about it. This one block of data is still being analyzed. It's been three days and it's only at 1.2%. That's unusually dense. Still, the system's logical structure... It's not so far off from our own. Was Okinokun right all along? This could be a relic of an ancient civilization. I wonder what this is for. Something incredible, surely. If you asked me for my best guess, I'd say it's a transmission device. In other words, a teleporter. <sighs> Don't give me that look. Hear me out. I actually found some associated data. Come on, you've taken quantum mechanics. Transmission of matter isn't possible. That's what our science says. We can't assume that alien technology is bound by the same constraints. If my theory is correct, we've got an explanation for the disappearances. Including those of your parents, Morimura-san. Guys, come take a look at this. The analysis took some time, but I found this. What is that? The map. This relic is enormous. It's 30 kilometers in diameter. And the whole thing's underground, right beneath the city. It looks like a giant saucer. Fascinating. So this isn't just any alien facility. It's a buried UFO. We're only 300 meters from the surface. This facility is huge. How could it have never been discovered? It's not likely. Rather, it may have been intentionally hidden. A government cover-up of alien life. Sounds like a movie from the 20th century. Those monsters on the surface. Are they trying to unearth this UFO? Just what are they after? It may have something to do with this. It's a data signal being emitted by this facility as we speak. What does it look like to you? This is... A countdown. It started when the kaiju came in contact with the mainframe. Since then, the clock's been ticking. We should investigate further. This may not be appropriate, but I'm honestly excited. This sort of alien technology? I can hardly believe it. What do you think? So when the countdown reaches zero, what happens? Hmm. It may be related to the gravity wave abnormality. Do you think it might... launch? Let's just continue the analysis. There's no time for what-ifs. We need to find out what's going on. A giant UFO buried underground. Was it a premonition? 
That's crazy. Maybe Natchan's getting to my head. When she starts talking about UFOs, you'll never hear the end of it. Gotta love her, though. Oh, Every day, so I good. have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. Pop quizzes suck. <sighs> Yu Chan's my good friend. She's gentle. Usami's at my old school. We never. Usami Chan. Hmm? What's up, Iori? Did you tank the math test too? Those formulas put me right to sleep. So you got an F? No! It was close, though. Don't worry, Yuri Chan. You're good in other subjects. Really? That sounds wonderful. Your grade wasn't so hot either, Miwako. Can we stop talking about this? I was going to study last night, but then I turned on the TV. Miwa-chan? Yes? What were you watching? A special on Haley's Comet. It's coming next year. Oh, I wanted to see that, too. The next one won't be for another 76 years. A once-in-a-lifetime encounter. It feels so romantic. And that's how you blew off your studies. This school gives way too many tests. I thought it'd be easier here, not harder. What school did you go to? It sounds quite different from ours. Actually, it's, uh, you know, pretty similar. The best cure for the blues is good eats. It's true. You know that bakery? Their hot dogs are so good. If we're talking about meat, I could really go for some Mikuman. Oh, yeah? Let's get... Which do you want, Iori? Me? Gotta be hot dogs, right? They make them fresh each day. Warm sausage wrapped in a slightly sweet bun. Mikuman are amazing. Mm. Every bite is a perfect balance of fluffy bun and juicy meat. Gotta be hot dogs, right? They make them fresh each day. It's a bit chilly today. Perfect time for Nikamon. Eh, all right. That deli's Nikamon are huge. And so warm. Time to taste test. So juicy. Hmm, the dough's so chewy and light. Feels great to bite into. Good idea for a date. Just buy two of these, stuff them in your shirt, and bam! Instant Morimura. Uh, <laughs> give it some thought. You'd burn yourself. Oh, by the way, speaking of TV shows, I saw a real weird one the other night. It was from the Explorer series. What is that? Usami-chan. Huh? What's up, Iori? It's a popular segment on Weird Wednesdays. Last week it was... Terrible Tales of the Massive Mummy. The Amazon's Underground Secret. I think that was the name. <laughs> yeah, something like that. The mummy was so fake. Who believes that stuff? Wait, why do you know so much about it? Do you watch that show? More like Nachan wouldn't stop talking about it. Oh. Oh, that one! I watched the whole damn thing, 
but it left me with more questions than answers. Yeah, it's always like that. So you know it? The boys in class were talking about it. I usually watch the music show in that time slot. Miwa-chan? Yes? Well... Lately, I've been getting into idols. Oh yeah, the one who looks like Amiguchi-kun? Yes, and also... There's a female idol I like a lot too. She's so cute and has a wonderful voice. Oh, is she that really popular one? Yes. She's coming out with the record soon. Maybe I'll buy it. Dang, you're really into idols, huh? You might like her too, Sami-chan. Today's top hits remind me of old times. Old times? Really? These days, music is trending more towards pop. I think it's pretty different from before. Huh? Oh, right. Are you pretty into music, Asami-chan? Kinda. I'm more about singing than listening. Wow! You can sing? What kind of songs? I'm curious now. Well, uh... It's kinda hard to explain. Is it foreign music? Not exactly. I don't get it. I can't just say it doesn't exist yet. Huh? Ah, nothing. Don't worry about it. Why are you being like this? Sorry, Miwako. The best cure for the blues is good eats. It's true. I might put on weight. <laughs> You know that bakery? They're hot dogs. If we're talking... I could really go... Oh, yeah? Which do you want me? Gotta be hot dogs, right? I'm with Usami-chan. Let's eat hot dogs. Yes! Cute bakery. Right? Let's eat before it gets cold. Yeah. How hmm. Hmm, what sauce is that? It's kinda spicy. It's chili sauce. Yum. Love the kick. I'm not a kid anymore. I've gotta be mature to handle this stuff. Usami chan, you've got chili sauce all over your mouth. <laughs> you look sleepy again. Are you doing okay? I'm fine. Something happened? I told you, remember? Yuri-chan collapsed in the science room. I was still at school, so... I took her to the nurse's office. Oh, yeah, you did tell me that. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, thanks for coming with me. Goto-senpai really saved the day. He carried her there in his arms like a princess. I could hardly believe my eyes. That's the shocking part. Ugh, Ever I'm since so that dead. day, I can't stop thinking about him. Was it all just a dream? <sighs> and that about does it for the sweeping. Good going, Karabi-kun. Something wrong? The door won't open. Hmm? It's locked. Goto-senpai gave me a key ring, but... None of these seem to open the storage room. Well, that's a problem. What do we do with all the equipment? I guess just leave it. 
We can't do that. Well, I guess I'll get the key from the teacher's lounge. You can go back to class, Kurabi-kun. I'll take care of the rest. Sorry about that. Hey, no worries. Good job today. She's in the same grade as me, but she talks like she's my older sister. Looks like you've come too. I'm so glad you're okay, Yuri-chan. Miwa-chan. You were lying on the floor. Completely unconscious. How do you feel? Are you alright? senpai Huh? So don't push yourself. You should stay in bed. Um, I'm okay. How did I get here? Goto-senpai found you. He carried you all the way here. He did what? The Burning City. Were you there too, senpai? I don't know what you're talking about. You had collapsed in the science room. Huh? The science room? While you were in there, uh... How do I say this? Did you see any... weird flashing screens? Anything like that? No. There was nothing of the sort. A dream. That's all it was. I'm sure. A dream? Miwa-chan. I saw it. The burning city from my dreams. Another nightmare? No. I was actually there. <sighs> Let's calm down, Yuri-chan. It was just another dream. A dream? <laughs> There's no way. It was real. And I saw... him. <laughs> he was there. At the Burning City. Yuri-chan. What is this place? It's destroyed as far as the eye can see. Just like the place I saw in my dreams. <gasps> I see someone. Um... Oh, you're... No sudden moves. Huh? Is that... a gun? Who are you? I'm Iori Fuyusaka. I know that much. Huh? Uh, how do you... Who ordered you to come here? Ordered? I just saw a flash in the science room. And the next thing I knew, I was here. 
Wherever this is. You really don't know? This is Ashitaba City. In the year 2065. The future? No way. If the gate reacted to her, she must be one of the 15. And that's not all. She unlocked the gate. A locked gate can only be opened with Morimura's ID. It's as I suspected. Iori Fuyusaka is the real Chihiro Morimura. Morimura? You mean our teacher? Uh. How was the city destroyed? <gasps> We're safe at this distance. Daimos. From the kaiju movies? Not a bad comparison, but this one's a machine. Those things appear in droves, hell-bent on destroying the world. Before long, they'll take over our very own town. Wait a minute. How do you uh, know so uh, much? Don't get the wrong idea. I saw it in a dream. A dream? That monster was wrecking the city. And it was coming for me. I ran for my life. There were other dreams, too. People talking about monsters. Maybe they weren't dreams after all. That's right. We lost the fight and ran away. A monster was chasing us. And the person with me was... <laughs> Koto-senpai. When did I get so obsessed with boys? <sighs> they keep showing up in my dreams. My dreams have been so strange lately. So I've been thinking... Maybe they're premonitions. What are your other dreams like? In one dream, after the city was destroyed... I wound up underground inside a big UFO. In another one, I escaped to the past all by myself. Were those... all real? Morimura told me the same stories. Dreams, huh? Um... Who are you? Wait. Do you hear that? Huh? A drone. Shit. They found me. There's no choice. Come with me. Huh? Um, okay. Sekigahara got away. Did you find Sentinel number eight? Yes. It had been taken over by the Daimos. I suppose it's risky to send units out autonomously. I'll restore manual control to number eight. Go ahead and shut it down for now. By the way, we had a surprise visitor. A Sekigahara. He's in this sector. Unfortunately, he got away. And not only that, can you see her? She's a student from Sector 4. <gasps> Could he have brought her here? She looks familiar. Same class as Kisaragi, I believe. In any case, bring her back. Juro. 
I won't let you get away this time. It's you. Well, the you of 16 years ago. You're not aware of what happened, are you? That's disappointing. <laughs> what happened? You and I were in love. Hand in hand, we struggled to save the world. That... It was all for naught. Not entirely. We did find the truth. This is but one small part of a massive operation. Even if I tried to explain it, it would be lost on you now. The plan needs to be revised. Please, you must let me go. Do you mean to say you'll be taking even more lives? You've already killed the four that came with you. You misunderstand. I backed up my data on Sector Zero before the final battle. That was all I could do. I'm not aware of what happened to the others. That's not what Ida-kun said. That guy... I can't trust a word, you say. The 25-year-old Morimura felt quite differently. You said you'd loved me since the day we met. I can't imagine that's changed. Please, open the way. I can't. in my stomach. That was real. I should go back to the science room. Maybe it'll happen again. I need to look for him. That's right. We lost the fight and ran away. A monster was chasing us. And the perk... You were absent the other day. What? Did something happen? A giant UFO... Oh. Oh, wait. The science room. The door's always locked. How do I get back in? Um... Every... I... You watch... Yeah, I'm... Usam... Kurabi-kun. He looks a bit like the man in my dream. And I called that man... Juro. It was him, right? It had to be. I know it's just a dream, but... I shot him point blank. Feels kinda weird to talk to him now. Samichan, Welcome back to the land of the living. Gotta say, sleeping as much as you do is a real talent. <laughs> hey, Usami-chan. Nenji-kun was absent, too. Hey, Miwa-chan. Good morning. You were quite sleepy, huh? I saw you nodding off the whole time. The teacher was glaring at you again. <laughs> The very same day as you. Uh, it's my turn to clean up the science room. Sorry, dude. That one's a real pain. Eh, whatever. Maybe the other helper's a cute girl. Let's see. Oh, it's so Atari. Lucky you. Is she your type? Eh, I don't know, man. Maybe that's my key to the science room. Miwa-chan! Could it be... What? Stop jumping to conclusion. If Miwa-chan's on cleaning duty, I'll just ask her to let me in. I already talked to him. Hey, Miwa-chan. Good morning. You were quite sleepy, huh? I saw you nodding off the whole time. The teacher was glaring at you again. <laughs> she went on a trip that day. Hey, Miwa-chan. It's your turn to clean up the science room, right? Uh-huh. I have a favor to ask.
I don't know what you're planning on doing. But be safe, okay? Chemicals are dangerous. Relax, it's nothing like that. I'll be sure to lock up when I'm done. Don't worry. Okay. I'll take the trash out now. Do what you need to. Thanks, Miwa-chan. All right. <gasps> Last time... Stuff started popping up right about here. Hmm. There has to be something. <sighs> Come on. Anything? Everything's normal. Hmm. Open Sesame! Voice print matched. Senior administrative ID authorized. Whoa! There it is! It really worked! I knew it wasn't a dream! I have no idea how this works, but let's see. I think it was like this. Yes, I'm going to meet him again. Take me there, into the future. dream. An alien? Is it dead? Looks like a computer. Hmm. There's text on the screen. Another one. This reminds me of something. What was it? These computers are analyzing the UFO. We must have brought them here. Just like in the dream. Do I hear footsteps? Someone's coming. Oh no, what if it's an alien? I need to hide. He's still after me. Is that Shinonome-senpai? No good. It's not moving. 426 must have shot it. There's no choice. I must retreat for now. All right. Why must you keep running from me? I'm... Stop. <sighs> 426. You won't get away with this. That again? Give it a rest. There's not much time left. Come with me. I'll protect you. Please, Ryoko. Don't... Stop trying to confuse me! <sighs> no way. Just when I thought we could meet again, he's in love with someone else. Who's there? Iori Fuyusaka. Are you alone? What are you doing here? 
Well, um... I wanted to see if this was all just a dream. And... I guess it was. Uh... In any case... You shouldn't be here. Go back to your sector. Guess I'll send you myself. Miwako's taking a while. She said she had some papers to deliver, right? To the art room, I think? Yeah. Mm. What's up, Iori? You look bummed. Huh? I I'm fine. We're going to Tsutsuji today, right? Miwako did say she wanted to stop by the record store. She wants that new Idol album, right? There she is. Sorry to keep you waiting. You know what? I saw Natsuno-chan just now, but... Hey, the bus is here! Save it for later! Wait for us! The sun's already gone down. It's because you were waiting on me. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, Miwa-chan. We couldn't even get the record you wanted. I can't believe all three stores were sold out. It's getting kinda late. My dad's a worry ward. Maybe I should call home. There's a phone booth over there. You gonna call? Yeah. Hi, Dad. It's me. Uh-huh. How'd it go? Pretty much how I thought. He wants me to come home ASAP. Figures. The train's probably fastest. Oh. What's wrong? Do you see that guy? Oh, yeah. It's the bully from before. I thought so. Pompadour dude? What about him? I think it was last week. He was harassing us by the school gate. You got harassed? Dude, everything okay? Luckily, Neji kun stepped in and saved us. He... he did? <laughs> Dang. What now? Should we go around the other way? That'd be best. Hey, what school are you from? Didn't they tell you not to roam around after dark? Um, who's this geezer? I'm Heizo Onishi, police force, juvenile division. Uh-oh. You may know me better as Onishi the Ogre. He's gonna take us into custody. Judging from the uniform, you're from Sakura High. It's 8 o'clock. What are you doing out at this hour? Um, well... We were shopping for a record and it got dark before we knew it. It's true. It's dangerous for young girls like you to be out on the streets at night. The reason doesn't matter. We're sorry. If it happens again, I'll write you up. Now hurry on home. Just hurry up and go home. Uh. Well, well. 
So we meet again. Please. It must Anything. be destiny. Come with me. I'll show you a good time. I know the perfect place. Watch him. Won't you see the ogre? Don't tell me. You're up to no good again. I haven't done anything. Yet. Run along home. Or would you rather come with me? <sighs> Damn it. Thank you so much. in front of the station and forced us into this creepy alleyway don't think you'll get away with this the police are on their way oh shut up <laughs> Wajima-san has something to say so listen up will ya hey knock it off you know all my life I've been shit out of luck when it comes to women until now, I'm telling you, girl, the moment I saw you, I knew you'd be mine. <laughs> get it, Wajima-san? No! I consider myself a man who minds his own business, but I can't abide by this. You need to leave those girls alone. Get out of here. Now. Who the hell are you? Another poser, huh? Hard of hearing, are we? Don't say I didn't warn you. It's you! You better not be messing around. Damn it! This bastard's a boxer! A tad rusty. You got a few hits in. Um, thank you. But why? Um, mere coincidence. You're lying. Uh, they must have heard the commotion. Uh. Are you guys okay? Usami chan! I got the cop. Care to explain what happened here, Wajima? I feel much better with the policeman here. Thanks, Usami-chan. You should have just bolted past the ticket gate. You're such a slowpoke sometimes. Sorry. Anyway, how'd you get out of this mess? A really cool guy came in and saved us. You mean the one who ran downtown? Yes, that's right. I wonder what school he goes to. Well, I'm glad you're okay. We can leave the rest to the cop. Let's go home. <sighs> what should I do? I wonder where he is now. I might never see him again. If I don't run after him, I know I'll regret it. Even if he turns me down, I have to tell him how I feel. <laughs> Sorry, guys! It has to be him. He's nearby. Where did he go? He has to be somewhere. Uh. Hey, um... Huh? Oh. Um, sorry. I thought you were someone else. Uh... I can't find him. That guy looking for someone, too? <sighs> He's 
gone. There you are. You? Were you following me? Um, I wanted to tell you something. Don't. If you're seen with me, the men in black suits will go after you too. Black suits? I'm being hunted. Do you get it? Now go home. All right? Oh. So that man I saw over there. I've got you now. Damn it. Let go of me. Don't even think of drawing your gun here. Watch this. Reckless. Look out! <laughs> You're not getting away, Sekigahara. Just run! Forget about me! Is this girl with you? No. The hell's going on here? Perfect timing. Give me a hand. So women and children are fair game, huh? What? I don't stand for that, buddy. Arrived at destination. Over here. Get on. Right. The girl. She seemed to be associated with the men in black. Did you recognize her? No. It was too dark. I see. You might want to hold on a little tighter. You're gonna fall. Uh, okay. Where do you live? I'll take you home. It's now or never. Hey, um... I know this is sudden, but... I need to tell you, I... I love you. What's this all of a sudden? Some kind of prank from this era? It's not a prank! I know... You already have Shinonome-senpai. It's probably awkward to hear this from me. But... Even if it ends up breaking my heart... I just needed to tell you. I needed you to know how I feel. There seems to be a misunderstanding. Ryoko-san is not my girlfriend. Huh? I spent a lot of time alone back home. My parents weren't around. So she stepped in. Looked after me like a big sister. She's family to me. In that sense, I do care for her. I want her to be happy. That's all. You mean it? Middle school was a rough time for me. Haven't heard a thing about love since I was a kid. Until now, that is. So she's not his girlfriend after all. You know, it seems the two of us are bound by fate. What would you do if I told you I'm an assassin from the future who came here to kill you? It wouldn't matter. I would still love you. A guy whose name you don't even know? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you feel that strongly, huh? Didn't see that coming. My name is A. Sekigahara. A. Sekigahara. So, um, I haven't heard enough. Let's get you home. Don't follow me again, all right? <sighs> I'll be in touch. Okay. So many mysteries about what happened in the girls' bathroom. 
But one thing's for damn sure. Nachan's definitely involved. Gotta look for more clues. There you are. I've been looking for you. Guess I'll grab my bag. Oh, I'll go with you. Ah, oh, shit. Wajima. Yo! Out of my way, punk. <laughs> you trying to give me orders now? You better get out of my face. I'm not in the mood for your shit right now. Sorry I'm late. <sighs> you really have crap timing, Aiba. Uh, um... Takamiya-san? Are these people... friends of yours? That's right. And if you're friends with her... That means you have to be friends with me, too. Hey! You lay a finger on her, and I'll break all ten of yours. Oh? <sighs> you think you can threaten me? Bastard. <laughs> Does that answer your question? Heavy your way. I owe you a lesson from before. Stay back, Aiba. Maybe this time it'll stick. <laughs> Get up! Shit. The school called the cops on me. Hey, buddy. Can I go home now? <sighs> no. Damn it. Four Eyes isn't gonna shut up about this. Oh, it's gonna be a real drag if I get suspended from school. Quit pacing. Just stay still and stay quiet. Hey. Just wondering where the ladies' room is. <sighs> All right, fine. I'll just stand here with my mouth shut. I'll take over from here. Yes, sir. Onishi the Ogre. Glad to see you haven't changed, Takamiya. So, what happened to Wajima's lackeys? Most of them got away. The two we caught only have minor injuries. I've been worried about you. They took you away, and I didn't even know you were transferred. What happened? Are you involved with the SIU? Tell me what you know. Sorry, old man. Can't talk about it. <sighs> Half a year ago, there was an incident involving the transport of heavy machinery. It was reported as an accident, and in the middle of all of it was a young lady, Ryoko Shinonome. I took her into custody. Shinonome? But just like with you, those men from the SIU took her away by force. Her statement was a curious one, though. She claimed both her and her weapon came from the future to fight against Kaiju. So what? You believed that crap? There was another heavy machinery accident just recently. I saw it there. Just before they covered it up in a tarp. And let me tell you, 
That thing was no ordinary piece of construction equipment. Something is going on in this town. And I have to find out. You'll tell me what you know, won't you? <sighs> You'll tell me what you know, won't you? <sighs> that damn Four Eyes. He says there's some spy agency. It's... She... No. Shinonomi and her weapon came from the future, huh? I remember, in Nachan's notebook. She wrote about time travel. And a robot that fights. Onishi the Ogre may just be another old fart. But he's an old fart I think I can trust. Maybe I should talk to him. And have him help me, too. Nachan, my... Natsuno Minami has been missing since last week. Are the police even looking for her? Natsuno Minami. Huh. The name doesn't sound familiar. She's a first year at Sakura High, and the SIU are looking for her. You'll let me know if you find anything? I'll keep my eyes open. So, how much do you already know? about the SIU. It seems there's an understanding among the higher-ups, but it's still a mystery for us underlings. As far as I know, they're doing extensive research on Shikishima Industries. I figured as much. Now, I don't know how much of this is true, but according to Four Eyes, Shikishima is making nuclear weapons. And there are miners involved. They told me to watch him, which is why they transferred me. Miners? Ryoko Shinonome is at Sakura High, too. Take a look at this. It's a request to limit traffic while transporting heavy machinery. The thing Shinonome claimed to have arrived in is on its way to Shikishima's new shipbuilding dock as we speak. If I can get there, maybe I can finally figure it out. What the machine is, and what happened to Nachan. After hearing what Onishi the Ogre had to say, I had no choice but to get on this train. Shikishima's shipbuilding dock. No idea what shit I'm gonna find there. But the anticipation is twisting my stomach into knots. The shipbuilding dock the robot was moved to. It's on a landfill near the port. A deserted area with nothing but storage. I'll take this train to the last stop, and then wait near the facility. I'll have to wait until dark to sneak in. Ogata? Hmm? Takamiya. What are you doing here? Obvious, ain't it? I'm going home. But I thought... Don't you live near Nachan's house? Yeah, when we were in elementary school. I live with my grandpa now. Where are you going? Oh, well, uh... To see the ocean? You all right? So where's your minion? Decided not to follow you around today? You mean Erica Aiba? Aiba? You're in class D, right? She's in your class, isn't she? Huh? That's not Aiba. Aiba's been absent from school for a while now. Uh. The next stop is Akebi. Akebi. Oh. Gotta switch trains at the next stop. I'm gonna take off. See ya. Not Aiba? Then, who the hell is she? Shit. Who can I even believe anymore? I guess just myself now. Trust nothing I don't see with my own eyes. And the first thing I'm gonna see... The weapon at Shikishima. <laughs> 
Security sure is crap here. Sneaking in was almost too easy. Though, when it's this damn dark, it's hard to see much of anything. Huh? Where's that light coming from? Wait a minute. It's my skin that's lighting up? Well, that explains Who's there? it. Wait, I know that voice. Ryoko Shinonome. What are you doing here? I should be the one asking you that. Hey, you... Your leg is glowing. What's going on? Our bodies are responding. We are pilots. Pilots? <laughs> we are being called by the 14th Sentinel. Son of a... What the hell is that? Is this... the thing that was being moved through the streets? This is a weapon. We will need it for the upcoming battle. And you... are one of the people who can pilot it. Yuki Takamiya. You... I remember you from the list. You're Renya Goto. What do you mean, one of? This is my Sentinel. Sentinel? No way. Did you sell me out? I don't know what that means. Stay back. The hell? Is that real? You want to find out? Ninji Ogata, Class 1D, has made the claim that Erika Aiba is not who she says she is. If that's true, then... Who's the person that's been following me this whole time? And what does she want with me? So this is the Sentinel? This is what Nachan was looking for? A robot that can fight aliens? Really? Aliens? Was she planning on fighting some little green spacemen? Well, then what are you trying to do? Save the world from the kaiju. Where do you think you're going? <sighs> We're not done talking. So this was an ambush? You could say that. So this is the weapon Shikishima made? No. Shikishima did not make this. We did. Who the hell are you guys? From our perspective, this world is nothing but the past. You mean, time travel? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Very. The Sentinels themselves are weapons from the future. Get out of my way! Or am I gonna have to beat the crap out of both of you? There will be none of that. After all, you too have a part in this. I don't have jack squat to do with this! Your glowing skin suggests otherwise. I don't know what you did to me, but I've had enough. What did you find? New code has been added several times. How many times did he come into contact with her? They must be close. You're... from the nurse's office. I'd like to research you a bit more, Yuki Takamiya. What are you- <sighs> I was let go? They're probably still watching me. Just waiting to use me. <sighs> Whatever Goto and them are trying to do, it's beyond me. Ryoko Shinonome. Seems like she's completely forgotten. But she's the one who told me to hide that box in the first place. Erika Aiba, 
Kunachan was hiding a box in the locker room. Come to think of it, that projector I hid looks a lot like a box too. Could it be the same one? I saw something that looked like a weapon in the Shikishima facility. But what Goto and Shinanome said doesn't make sense. Maybe they let me go so they could track me. To get to the organization behind the scenes. There you are. I've been looking for you. <sighs> Don't you have anything better to do? I will do my best to assist you in solving mysteries. How would you like to start? That thing I had. I need to take a closer look. But I can't let Aiba know about the SIU. I'll have to go alone. You're in the same class as Ogata, aren't you? Yes. But I doubt he remembers me. I don't leave much of an impression. <sighs> Are you upset with me? Just been antsy without my cigarettes. Sorry. I just remembered I had something to do. We're done investigating for the day. Aww. Smells like mold in here. I saw some... It's in here. There it is. It's somehow able to project things. How did Ryoko Shinonome make this thing work? Box. I guess you could call this a box. So, this is what Nachan was hiding? If only I could show this to that track girl. <sighs> Yuki Takamiya. Aha. Uh -huh. Good work, Takamiya. You managed to recover it from him. There's valuable confidential information in there. Confidential? Yes, in that data unit. You had orders to look for it too? Uh, actually... Anyway, good job. What guy were you talking about? You haven't heard. I came in here because I thought I saw him. Eiseki Gahara. He's a vicious criminal that will stop at nothing to get his hands on this information. I don't think I'm that bad. <sighs> oh, it's you. Hey, old guy. I didn't kill him. He's just unconscious. Hey, hands off! Get away from my box! Right. Do you even know what this is? This guy was saying it's confidential, so... Activate AI. <laughs> Miura. Do you know who I am? You got your memory back. Where am I? Sector 4. The old building at Sakura High School. Then we have a problem. Natsuno got left behind. Did you say Natsuno? Are you talking about Natsuno Minami? Does that mean you know? You know where Nachan is? Who are you? I'm Yuki Takamiya. But that doesn't matter. Just tell me where she is. I do mean Natsuno Minami. 
According to my last memory, he is currently marooned in Sector 3. Sector 3? You'll understand once we get there. Let's go, Miura. I know a shortcut. Are you coming with us? You bet your ass I am. Tokisaka Shrine. I knew this place was important. Nachan came here too. You don't mean... Are you saying this is Sector 3? What's it doing? Activate gate. The hell? Don't move. Executing shift. Nachon. Where else could she have gone? I can't believe the stuff about time travel was real, too. How long has Nachon been stranded here for? Canned food isn't hard to find if you look for it. As long as she didn't do anything reckless, she should still be alive. I hope she hasn't gone someplace dangerous. So, what happened to this place? It was attacked by the Daimos. The Daimos? The swarm of machines that look like monsters. No one is left in the wake of their attacks. And their next target is your town. <sighs> what? The only chance we have of surviving is to fight back with the Sentinels. Sentinels. We need you for this too, Takamiya. You're saying I have to get in one of those things? So you've seen one? In Shikishima's facility. They were calling it number 14. That's Ryoko-san's sentinel. <laughs> He's back. Right on time. So, what'd you find? I scanned for heat sources from the air. I detected no signs within a five kilometer range. We may have to prepare for the worst case scenario. Shut your damn mouth! If she is still alive, she's either deep inside a building, or she's moved farther away. I will widen my scan range. Not John. We couldn't find Not John. What if she's alone? Shivering, scared in that ruined city? I won't give up on her. A city in ruins. And this one's next. Is that what this place is gonna look like? I can't even imagine. That guy I met inside the old school building. He's on the run from those black suits, named Sekigahara. He'll be hiding out in one of the old classrooms for a while. Him and Miura. If I want to rescue Nachan, I'm gonna need their help. So the box I thought was a projector was actually a talking machine named Miura. And the stuff Nachan wrote in her notebook. She must have been talking about that. So it wasn't just made up. I'm sorry for doubting you, Nachan. We finally found out where Nachan is. She's been left in the ruined future city. I may not be able to get to her yet, but I will save her. But... There you are. I've been looking for you. Don't you have anything better to do? I will do my best to assist you in solving mysteries. How would you like to start?
Hey, you! Got a sec? You have more questions? I already told you everything I know. Hmm. Sorry for bothering you. You want something? Nothing for me. Thank you. Yuki-chan! Amiguchi! I'm telling you. Destiny sure wants us to be together. Uh, this again? Switched over to the High King team, huh? What? Because you're usually drinking Hey C. Quit watching me. I just need something in my mouth. Doesn't matter what, as long as it's not cigarettes. What the hell do you want, anyways? How about a date? No thanks. I mean, really. How many times is it gonna take for it to stick in that floppy-haired head of yours? How about... until you go on a date with me? <sighs> I got my bike with me today. So I was thinking. Ooh. A bike? Sounds wonderful. Mm. Who's this? Apparently, she's Watson. Huh? Are you from another country? <laughs> Sorry, pretty boy. But I got more important things to do today. We are actually quite busy. Okay. Well, I guess I won't keep you. You're awfully docile today. Just don't want you to hate me. For being too aggressive, you know. Hmm. Huh. Yuki-chan, next time's a date for sure. Uh... Well then, shall we? Yeah. Are we looking for clues in the cafeteria? Nah. Son. I see you're still wearing the uniform from your last school. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, if you need help with anything, come and see me anytime, all right? Tamao san, I haven't heard from you in some time. Where have you been? You need to check back in with me, understood? Uh... Morimura gave this note to me. <sighs> Shit. She wants me to do something. And the first step is talking to Aiba. There's something I want to check on the way home. Come with me? Certainly. I just wanted to check something. Oh? What is it? So, I ditched class this morning. Went to pay someone a visit. Who? Erica Iba. In the hospital. Ugh. 
The real Aiba has been sick, confined to her hospital bed. And I overheard you talking to the school nurse, Morimura. She called you Tamao. Is Tamao your real name? Uh, well, I guess the jig's up. You're right. My name is Tamao Karabe. I harbored no malicious intent. Plus, a twist like this in the third act? It makes for a better detective story, don't you think? You really are good at this, Takamiya-san. <clears throat> you remember the incident in the girls' bathroom? Yes, but why bring that up now? There were two Tomi Kisaragi's witnessed that day. And I recently found the second one. Who's there? Ah, oh, Sekigahara. Hey. Oh. oh! What are you doing? Is that... Tomi Kisaragi? It's a machine made to look like her. An android. <gasps> Can't get it to work anymore. Data's been corrupted too. But before it was destroyed, the inside seems to have been replaced. Meaning he got away looking like someone else. Who's he? Juro Izumi. He's a mass murderer. He may be without a body, but I know he's plotting something. <sighs> I found this shoved into a broom cupboard. He must have hidden it himself. This place is behind the North School building. The girls' bathroom. The other Tomi Kisaragi. This is the culprit. A robot? Weird, right? And it's been bugging me all this time. Who this guy could have jumped into next? Know what I mean? So you're saying... A robot destroyed the bathroom? Hmm. You think anyone will believe that? You heard about these nanomachines? I just learned about them myself, actually. Had to sneak into the Shikishima facility to do it, but... They said someone close to me altered me somehow. Several times, in fact. Mm. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Because the only person who always seems to be around me... ...is you. Oh, Takamiya-san, don't get so worked up. I have no idea what you're talking about. You're not Erika Aiba. You're not even Tamao Karabe. You are a fugitive. One that used a robot who looked like Kisaragi to escape. You are housing the consciousness of a mass murderer. A man by the name of Juro Izumi. <gasps> you think I'm a man? Are you okay? Well, this is annoying. <laughs> I could swear I made sure to erase your memories. Finally dropping the act, huh? I suppose this time... I'll have to erase quite a bit more. Like hell you will. Look behind you. <sighs> so this was a trap. Morimura's idea, actually. It's been a while, hasn't it? I never thought I'd see you dressing up as a schoolgirl. You're insane, Juro. 
At least I'm more sane than you. Trying to save your own ass by derailing the Interstellar project. I'm doing this for you and me. We can make it out alive. Not the you as you are now. But the one before you awakened here. For the small sacrifice of 15 other lives. It's not a sacrifice. They'll be able to lead happier lives this way. Even if it means they're denied their future without ever knowing why? I have shot you here on Sumire Bridge once before. I have no hesitation as I do so again. Oh shit, Iba! Stay back. It's not dead yet. You really are a robot. Just what the hell were you doing to me? Getting you ready. Ready for the game that will soon begin. Things are about to get underway. I don't have time to deal with nuisances like you. He jumped. Jumping from this height in the state he was in. Not even a body made of metal could survive unscathed. He shouldn't be able to move very well. We need to surround the perimeter. Yes, ma'am. You need to go straight home. We'll look around where he fell. Understood. Iba. Tell me the truth. This isn't about my lost memories, is it? You're not trying to restore them. You're giving me someone else's. What are you talking about? They're Juro's memories. In other words, yours. The other Juro Izumi. <sighs> you know, this one's three times older than you. See ya! Bye! You know, we can't have you causing a scene here. Your memory needs to be wiped clean. Let me try one more time. You can't run from me. Leave me alone! Let me guess. You're meeting up at the same place again? Pretty much, yeah. See ya! <laughs> Bye! So, Atari-san, do you have a minute? It's about Kisaragi-san. Usami-chan? Where does she always go? Why do you ask? Ogata-kun was looking for her. Oh, really? Maybe Nenji-kun likes her. So, do you know? She goes to Tokisaka Shrine. I think she's waiting for someone there. Tokisaka Shrine? Is that the one that's supposedly haunted? I've been there before. Something happened there. I can't remember. Oh, wait! Please don't tell Nenji-kun. The person she's meeting is a boy, so... Oh, no. They say the shrine by our school is haunted by ghosts. Kisaragi-san's told me a bit about it. She seems interested in the shrine for some reason. I 
no one. You know, we can't. Your memory. Let me. Hey, watch it! She's not here. Are you looking for someone, Ogata-kun? Yo, Kurabe. Sure am. Tell me Kisaragi. Got a clue where she went? Hey, I think I do have an idea. I heard she went to Tokisaka Shrine. Huh? For real? The heck is she thinking? Wait! I'll come with you. There's something I want to check. Be my guest. This street. I've been here before. I think I saw something. The memories are starting to come back. But I can't remember any specifics. Gotta. You. Hey, Hijiyama. You remember all that shit you put me through? Cause I sure as hell do. I see how it is. You came looking for another black eye. Try it. See what happens. Ogata-kun. Aren't we here to look for Kisaragi-san? Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Don't have time for this. What? Sorry to disappoint. We'll dance some other time. And that's your decision to make, huh? Selfish bastard. The hell are you doing here anyways? I'm looking for Okino. What happened to him? This is just what I heard from Sawatari-san. But according to her, Kisaragi-san's been going out to meet some guy lately. She what? Just the two of them? So this Okino you're looking for, is that Tsukasa Okino? What, you know him? Not exactly. That's just the name I heard in my dream. But it's probably the same person. So that's who Kisaragi ran off with. Got a feeling I know where they went, too. What? How? Uh, she mentioned something about it. By the way, do you know how to work this time travel business? Uh, oh. You don't know either? <sighs> it was right here. Something happened. But what was it? Oh, yeah. I carried something over to the dumpster. What's up? There's a, a corpse in there. The hell? No way. Cut the cra- Whoa! Isn't that- Hey! Give me a hand! Sure looks like a corpse. But this thing's a robot. It's- It's a Mao-san. Why? Why does it look like her? To Mao? To Mao Karabe. Wait. What? My grandma? No. This is... It's dark out already. Well, that's okay. This was worth the detour. I finally got my hands on that movie. Now I just need to get home and watch it.
I'm sorry it had to come to this. I should never have let you out of the underground. Just as I thought, you've returned. If only I hadn't spared you. I won't let anyone interfere with my escape. You must think you're handling this situation well. But Nira is well aware. I doubt it. The reason he deleted your memories at school was to hide the lock from you. Uh, quit stalling. <laughs> Morimura must have arranged this. Um... What? She's... not human. Is this a doll? That's odd. If that's the case, then who was talking to him? Buddy? I'm afraid. <laughs> That's not very nice. <sighs> yeah. Sorry. I remember now. You're Shibakun. Wait, hold on. I was attacked. I need to call the police. Attacked? Maybe you really did go nuts. Huh? Are you telling me this doll attacked you? Where'd you get that thing anyway? Don't just leave this thing out in the street. What if it causes a car accident? You'd be in deep shit, man. Uh... Yeah, you're right. Let's just dump it in the trash. Uh, wait. Something's just... Oh, snap out of it. Come on, I'll help you get rid of the thing. Just pick it up already. Um... All right. I'm back. I guess Juro hasn't come home yet. Fluffy isn't here either. I should get dinner ready. What should I make for dinner? I think we have some ground beef. I'll make Juro's favorite meal. Time to cook some Hamburg steak. And done. I'm home. Wow. What a feast. Miracle. Did you make all of this? Amazing. We'll eat once Juro gets back. Why don't you go wash up while we wait? Right. Mm -hmm. 
Sounds like you're pretty hungry. It's okay. I will wait. Well, it seems like Juro is going to be late. Go ahead and eat before it gets cold. No, I could never. Please, I insist. Go ahead. Uh, are you sure? But what about you, Megumi-san? Don't worry. I'll eat with Juro. I see. In that case, I'll do as you suggest. Thank you for always preparing our meals. It was as delicious as ever. Oh, thank you. Can I help you with anything? That's okay. I've already put away the cutting board and everything. Why don't you go watch some TV and relax? TV? That's better. Mm. You know, Miyura-kun. You don't have to wear your hat in the house. The surgical scar on your forehead doesn't bother me. How did you know this scar was from surgery? Did I tell you? Oh. Oh. Well... It, um... Just a lucky guess. I see. <sighs> oh. It all happened right here. And that's that. Keitaro Miura is a witch. You can't overlook him just because he lives here. But Juro could be home any minute. Does it have to be now? Yes, right now. <sighs> now, on to the next headline. The video store explosion that occurred today in Keiakicho. An investigation <sighs> found that the accident was the result of a gas leak. This is what happened before. Don't come over here, you coward. Hurry up and shoot him right in the forehead. Oh. Miracle. You always wear your hat, even when you eat. Megumi-san? Why is that? It's because... I have a scar on my forehead. I thought it might be unpleasant. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. That scar... It allows you to pilot a sentinel. Isn't that right? How do you know about that? Scar. It allows you to pipe. How do you know? You want to know how? I'll tell you. But can you show me your forehead first? <sighs> I'm sorry, but I have no choice. This will hurt. But you'll soon forget. I'm sorry, Miyura-kun. Don't touch him. He's dangerous. <clears throat> Just as I thought. He's had surgery. There's a component embedded in his forehead. It forces them to use their magic. Who would do such a thing? Humans, obviously. There's many that greatly covet this power. But it's not entirely bad. That component gave him immunity to the curse. This is a good catch. The curse? Yes, he is able to use magic. And not suffer the same fate as Juro. <gasps> All right, he's sealed. It won't be long before he wakes. 
I'd get out of here if I were you. A curse, huh? Next, we bring you a follow-up report on the gas explosion in Kayakicho. The administration claims these explosions are being taken seriously. Gas companies have been put on immediate notice and instructed to be vigilant in their inspections. Gas explosions? Something doesn't feel right. I'm home. Huh? Mirakun, have you been at home the entire day? <laughs> Juro. Welcome back. Dinner's on the table for you. It's fine. I'm not hungry, actually. Come on. I'm sure you'll change your mind once you start. Why do you care about me so much anyways? Oh, is that... bad? <sighs> Just quit treating me like a child. Miyurakun? What's wrong? I'm sorry, but there's somewhere I need to go. I won't be long. A gas explosion? I need to see for myself. Fluffy. You failed to shoot a Sekigahara. You're going too damn slow. All right, sorry. Why were you taking so long in there anyways? Striking stupid poses with your gun doesn't accomplish anything. When it comes to things like this, you need to do the deed quick. Quickly, you got that? I'm sorry I didn't catch that. Got it. Well, nothing that can be done about it now. But you better not screw up this time. This time? Shu Amiguchi, the floppy-haired dunce that hangs around Juro. He's also a witch. <gasps> you should still have some bullets left. Seal his powers tomorrow. Think you can handle that? I'll get it done. Are you watching me? Fine. Juro! You were waiting for me on purpose, weren't you? Uh -uh. I keep telling you, if they find out, we'll get we'll expelled. expelled. <laughs> yeah, I know. <sighs> right. Oh! Yo. Good morning, Amiguchi-kun. Morning. Huh? What's up? What do you want? Oh. I'm not here to talk to you, Kurabi-kun. It's you I'd like to see, Amiguchi-kun. Me? You're from 1C, aren't you? I am. My name is Megumi Yakushiji. Cool. So what can I do for you? Well, I don't really want to talk about it here. Could we meet somewhere later? Just the two of us? <sighs> oh, I see. How about after school? Let's say the roof of the new building? The roof? Yep, I'll be waiting. It's hard being so popular. Does that bother you? No. I... I see. Fluffy. I know what you're going to say. Do the deed quick, right? I won't fail this time. Ugh. You better not.
Shu Amiguchi. I wonder if he's already on the roof. There he is. All I have to do is shoot him. It'll only take a second. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I totally forgot. What's happening? Oh, this is Yakushiji-san, from 1C. She stopped me this morning. Told me she had something to talk to me about. <sighs> this shit again? Sheesh. Sometimes you're real annoying to be friends with. I'll just get out of your way then. Again? Oh, just stuff from middle school. Girls used to confess their love to me in front of him all the time. Oh, oh wow. Is that what this is about? I'm sorry, really. But I've got feelings for someone else. That's not what I came here to tell you. Oh, sorry. Awkward. So, what do you need? I guess I just assumed. Sorry about that. Well, what is it then? <sighs> no need to apologize. This might hurt a little anyway. <sighs> Mission accomplished. Sentinel number 20, transmitting. <gasps> What the hell did you do this time? Fluffy... He must have come into contact with Mura too. Damn it, how irritating. Juro, he... he saw me do it. I'll take care of it. What are you still doing here? I need to manipulate his memories. And make him forget everything he saw. You think I can do that with you hanging around? Take a hint and scram! <gasps> I'm home. Oh. Shiro. Um. What is it? You're making a weird face. Huh? Um, well, because of what happened on the roof today. The roof? What are you talking about? Uh, Fluffy. He really did alter his memories. It's nothing. I'll start making dinner. Oh, you don't have to. I'll just make instant noodles or something later. You can't eat that for dinner. It won't take long, so hang on just a bit. Okay? I really just wanted some ramen. Now to the ongoing story of the American helicopter crash. Huh? During a routine flyby, a US military helicopter clipped Sakura High School at low altitude uh. and crash landed into Ayame Park. A U.S. military helicopter? That was definitely a sentinel. Did Fluffy do this too? 
Oh. What a nice evening. Fluffy. Fortunately, there were no injuries reported in the aftermath of the U.S. military helicopter crash. First gas explosions, now helicopter crashes. Human cities really are the worst. Oh. Change the channel for me, will you? The buttons are too small for my cat paws. Are you trying to be a jerk? Hey, asshole. Turn the TV back on. Can't you be a bit cuter about it? Please, I'm way cuter than you'll ever be. Hey, asshole, turn the TV... Can't you be a bit... Please. Ugh, boring. Keep going. Ooh, yes, that's the one. I'm watching TV. Kindly go away. I'm watching... There was no U.S. helicopter crash. It was different from the one Juro was piloting. But it was a Sentinel. Altering the news is part of your powers, too? You think cats are some kind of little furry gods? You're no cat. Well, duh. It'd be pretty crazy if there was a talking cat wandering around. Wait a minute. What if you're the crazy one? Maybe I'm just a figment of your imagination. Maybe there's no such thing as magic. Juro's memories of what happened on the roof. You really did erase them. You gave me no choice. But if you can do it so easily, what's to say you won't do the same to me? Well, nothing really. So it's possible that you won't restore his memories, and are just using me for your own personal gain. If I was a bad guy, sure. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Clark's three laws, huh? Well, guess there's no point in hiding it anymore. I'm a cat-like robot from the future. I even gave you a secret gadget. Oh yeah, the time machine's inside your desk drawer. Wanna check out my four-dimensional pocket? Quit messing with me. I'm watching TV, kindly. The Dimos Code. By sealing those that hold power, you'll be able to defeat the Kaiju. That's what you said, right? I said that you all wouldn't have to die. Tell me what you're really trying to do. Otherwise, I won't help you anymore. That's going against our contract. Fine, I'll make an exception this time. Even if you seal the witches, the kaiju will still come. Then what are we sealing them for? This is a game. A game of survival. I've simply been readying the playing field. And now the witches will join in the fight. They'll have no choice but to take their sentinels into battle. Then... what I've been shooting them with is... A magic that forces them onto the battlefield. No... Anything can be resolved with a magical spell. A happy ending for everyone! You know that's not the way it works. Your world's future is on the line. You need to fight to win it. I'm just here to watch it happen. You're talking to me way too much today. What does it matter to you who I am anyways? Your only concern is for Juro, right? I've been looking for memories in that busted brain of his. 
It's like trying to sift through mud. And it's all for you. But if you want to break our contract, then I'll stop right now. It won't be hard to find someone more capable than you. An honest girl who actually wants her wish granted. <sighs> now, if you plan on upholding your end of the contract, then I need proof. I want you to shoot your friend. Tomi Kisaragi. She's a witch. I can't do that! Remember your contract. Remember it real good. Tommy. Juro? Why are you sleeping out here? You're gonna catch a cold. Don't wake him up. You again. But how? I said, don't wake him up, idiot. I'm fixing him. This prank is starting to get on my nerves. I don't want to be a part of it anymore. Is someone trying to test me? You really are a suspicious one, aren't you? Your cute girl charm is quickly wearing off. It's time to start accepting your reality. But... talking cats don't exist. That's right. And yet here I am. Even better, I know your wish. Hasn't Juro said anything to you? Something about his dreams, perhaps? Now that you mention it, he did say he had a dream about getting in a robot. Yes, I've been digging through his memories. Will that make him remember everything? Maybe, if they're still in there. I can find memories and put them back into an empty head. Pretty amazing, I know. Well, that's the end of your trial period. I gave you a preview of the benefits you'll get from me. Anything further requires a contract. <sighs> oh, fine, I'll answer any questions you have. And then, you have to decide. After you agree, there'll be no more questions. I expect you to carry out your duties with no complaints. Don't be shy. Ask me something. If you're not going to ask anything, then make your choice. I'm sorry, but having a contract with the cat is just too weird. Whatever, your choice. Have a nice life with Juro. No, wait! Maybe I just need to think about it some more. Ugh, women are so indecisive. Let's say I do agree to this contract. How do I know you'll hold up your end of the deal? Well, aren't you rude? Cats are free spirits, but they are not con artists. A cat who betrays his word is nothing more than an animal. If you don't trust me, then say so. You're only wasting time. <sighs> what exactly are you? A magic cat, obviously. You said you came from a world that was destroyed? That's right. My world was destroyed by Daimos. Daimos? You mean the Kaiju, right? You heard that from Juro Izumi, didn't you? The curse that summons them. That's the Daimos Code. And all the witches in this world are affected by it. Don't be shy if you're not going to ask anything. Can 
Can you tell me more about the witches? They are those born with the power of magic. Piloting sentinels, using gates. It's only a fraction of their power. And Juro is one of them? That's right. He's a witch too. The Daimos Code. You mentioned that before. You said it was a relic of an ancient civilization? A terribly old relic. From a magical civilization that existed millions of years ago. But if it's from that long ago, humans would have still been apes. It's pretty crazy, right? What will I have to do to fulfill my end of the contract? At least, a general idea. Your job isn't hard. First, I will give you one of my magical tools. You will use that to seal the witches. Seal them? What happens after that? The Daimos Code will call the Kaiju. If you seal the witches that have access to it, you will be able to live longer than you are fated. Don't be shy. Ask me something. If you're not going to ask anything, then... You can fix Juro, right? Sifting through someone's head is what I'm best at. Oh. Okay. I will accept your contract. Then it's settled. Now, this should go without saying. But this agreement between us... If anyone finds out, the contract will be broken. And you'll never see me again. What's your real name? Call me whatever you want. Well, I don't know then. You called me something when you saw me at school. What was it? Oh, um... Fluffy. Now, how lame. Not very original, are you? Lots of things are fluffy. Well, whatever. I guess that's fine. in forever. Yeah. Good Me morning, Osami-chan. Morning. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. You don't want to go with your friends? You're my friend, too. Or did you forget that? Well, anyways. I noticed something the other day. It was how unusually quiet your room was. So you can understand my surprise when I saw that all your things were gone. Right. I'm sorry for not saying anything. It's okay. Just kind of feels like a waste. Not taking advantage of the apartment Shikishima got for us. Oh, then again, they are Showa-era buildings. So I guess they're not that great. So, where are you living now? Oh, um, at Juro Karabe's house. Hold up, you're living with him? Seriously? You have Morimura's permission for that, right? Well, probably. Oh. You've changed, Megumi. You think so? You've been way more proactive since you came here. Which is a good thing and all, it's just... Uh, well... You know, he's not... I know that. But I 
don't care. Since the day Juro showed up, no matter how much the world might change, I decided that I would always be by his side. Oh. Ah, oh, sheesh, Megumi. But I get it. I'll help any way I can. We're friends, you know? You can talk to me about anything. Oh, right. Thank you. Come on! We're gonna be late! Tomi... I don't deserve your friendship. I hope one day you can forgive me. Sandwich and strawberry milk. And for me, we'll go. Uh, yakisoba pon and melon pon. No, wait, not melon pon. She wanted a cornet. Hmm. So counting mine, I need two cornets? Hmm. I also wanted a tuna sandwich. Oh, with milk and a tea to drink. You sure you want to wait here? If you don't hurry, they're gonna run out. <laughs> I'm tired of the chaos buying a piece of bread brings. From today on, I'll only have nice, relaxing bentos from Mom. Animals? Duh. Kisaragi. Oh, good timing. Hold this. Hey. All right. One more time. Hey, wait! I need to buy something, too. Fine. What do you want? Oh, uh... Anpan. I thought you didn't like sweets. Huh? I like sweets. Well, whatever. I'll get yours, too. Keep holding that. Tommy. You trying to buy bread too, Megumi? I yeah. Want me to get something for you too? Oh, no. I'm still looking. If you don't decide soon, there's gonna be nothing left. Okay. Out of the way, you nerds! Tommy, please forgive me. Tell me, what happened? Are you okay? Uh. Just hang on. Don't push yourself. Are you okay? Uh. No. Uh. Anpan. Do you need me to take you to the nurse's office? Huh? The cafeteria? Why are you here? Oh, right. Rock, paper, scissors. Hmm. What else did I need to buy? <sighs> that girl. Hey, you. Hang on a sec. I saw you. You did something to Kisaragi in the cafeteria, didn't you? Hmm? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Hang on. Don't play dumb. And this isn't just about Kisaragi. 
can't remember it exactly, but you were the one who helped me before, I think. Is that right? Please stop. If you don't leave me alone, I'll call for help. I guess that answers that. It was her. I'm home. Oh. Juro, are you sleeping? Uh, Yakushiji? Sorry, did I wake you? That dream. The woman at Sumire Bridge. It was Fuyusaka-san. What? Oh no. You heard me? Fuyusaka-san is in your class, right? This has nothing to do with you. <sighs> Was he dreaming? Or remembering? And why about her? What a nice evening. Fluffy. Turn on the TV, will you? I won't bother you if you do. Ugh, boring. Keep going. Oh, yes, that's the one. What does Juro's dream mean? What are you talking about? The one about Iori Fuyusaka. Why is he dreaming about her? Don't ask me. I had nothing to do with it. Seems like he dreamt it on his own. Oh. He is a boy, and right at that special age. No surprise he dreams about the girl he's into. That's not true. Could that really be true? Does Juro have feelings for that girl? You know what that means. You're in the past now, right? Well, maybe this, Juro. Enough. How about I give you an order that'll change that? Yori Fuyusaka's a witch. So she's one too. Indeed. Time to shoot and drag her onto the battlefield. Fluffy? What are you doing? your idea of a joke? Wait, how did you get here? Are you trying to mess with me? Oh, uh, what? What's up with you? Is this about the other night? No, that has nothing to do with it. I knew you were being annoying. Uh, Maybe I need a break. You'll feel better after you shoot Fuyusaka. You know you want to. I'm only doing it because she's a witch. They say jealousy is flattering. But lying about it is just sad. Is that okay? 
All right then. See you later, Miwa-chan. So what is it? Oh, it's a little hard to talk about here. That's... Is he looking for me? This isn't good. Oh, hey, Ninji-kun. Hey, Fuyusaka. Who's that? Yakushichi-san. She's from 1C. Is that right? Can't let that happen. Actually, not the roof. Let's go that way. Hmm? Say your best friend hated your boyfriend. What would you do? Like, do you need your friend's approval? Yeah. So... What did you want to talk about? <sighs> Juro is mine. How dare you try to take him away from me. No, that's not why I'm doing this. This is... for him. Um... This is for Juro. Kurabe-kun? But... is it really? Who is this for? This is for me. Yakushiji-san? Even so. Iori-chan! <laughs> Are you okay? Huh? Miwa-chan? Why am I... How did I get here? Connecting strain to Yuri-chan. I saw her just this morning in front of the school. She was talking to the gate like it could talk back or something. <gasps> to the gate? You mean you couldn't see Fluffy? Oh my god, she even named it! Welcome back, Usami-chan. Thanks. Did Senpai wake up? Darn. I'm back. I've been thinking... When all this happened, we were at school, right? Maybe we should try going there. <clears throat> you think that'll help? Well, you know... That's where we time-slipped from. Oh. Maybe we can find a clue on how to get back. Anything. So how was it? Well... You know... You might be onto something, Miwako. The school. Morimura was always there. So I'm thinking... Maybe there's a time machine there. Morimura? You mean our teacher? Oh, yeah. That nurse with the big knockers. She's from the future, too. Huh? In fact, she came even farther than me. You gotta be kidding me. Here. Found him at a convenience store. Hmm... That makes me feel a little better. You should eat something, too. Eh, uh, I've done worse. Don't worry about me. <sighs> well, not a lot we can do from here. 
If we're gonna go, we gotta head out before it gets dark. What do you think? You're right. Just let me rest for a sec. Man, we've gotta do something. Let's go back to the school. What about that second year? We're just gonna leave her here? <sighs> oh, yeah. I'll stay here with Senpai. You two go on ahead. Appreciate it. We'll come back as soon as we can. Gonna trip if you keep running like that. Rough roads over here. Well, aren't you cool? It took a while to get here with that blocked off road. Some of us have our eye on the time. Another kaiju thing? No. This is... Sentinel number 13. A robot that fought to protect the city. We got kaiju fighting robots now? The future's wild, man. But I guess in the end, it lost, huh? <sighs> anyway... We're kind of up a creek here. Look. The road's nothing but rubble. Even if we tried to climb down, the other side's no better. Guess we gotta turn back and take the long way around. Let's do it soon. I'm worried about Miwako. The last time I saw this thing, it was right before I got taken away. trouble me any further. Come. We must evacuate. Just give me a second. I'm not leaving without my mom. You must. You're the only one capable. The Daimos invasion has already begun. Listen to me. No! We're already within their attack range. for another deployment. This is Juro. Izumi? I'm going to take them on. What are you doing piloting that? This is Sentinel number 13. There's no one else who can pilot it but me. Sorry to rush you, but we're running out of time. I'll go when I find my mom. <laughs> Miss Morimura? Change of plans. Juro Izumi's made his choice. His nanomachines aren't going to hold much longer. If we don't begin the test now, we'll miss our chance. The evacuation can wait. Hurry and bring that girl over. Huh? Miwako? What's up? What happened? Shinonome Senpai, she's gone! What? I only looked away for a second. What should we do, Sami chan? What should we do? Sami chan? How far could she be? She wasn't exactly in a state to be running any marathons. We need to find her. What should we do, son? Morimura. She might still be nearby. Let's split up and look around. Got it. 
Okay. I'll go check across the street. Thanks. Maybe she went off to the shopping district. far so what now should we keep looking I'm gonna go check out the kaiju <sighs> you stay here Miwako never know when that second year might come back Senpai? Hey! This thing's dangerous. You know that, right? But... Ten minutes. I'm not hanging around here any longer than that. I don't see her. in there where is she she couldn't have gone far did you find footprints <sighs> thought I had something nope no good huh looks that way all right Let's check somewhere else. Osami-chan. Did Senpai come back? Did you see her? Nope. There's no sign of her anywhere. I'm gonna check on my house. Usami-chan! Hey, wait! You stay here, Miwako. I wonder if Senpai's here. Hey! There are a reason you picked this place? Well... Maybe she's gotten hungry. There's a lot of food places here. True. She couldn't have eaten while she was knocked out. What is that? Looks like an RC helicopter. Is that thing with the kaiju? Nothing in there. Any luck? Not around here. Did you find footprints? <sighs> Thought I had something. Nope. Where is she? She couldn't have gone far. Guess this was the wrong place. Where do you think she went? Who knows? I don't got a clue. I guess we'll head back for now. Osami-chan. Did Senpai come back? Did you see her? Nope. The... What about the sentinel we saw? Maybe she went over there. Big guy did stand out. You wanna go? Miwako, wait here. Be careful. We'll be back in a jiffy. I'm 
Why here? I figured... If Senpai's trying to get to the school... She'd probably come this way. Oh, right. She wouldn't know about the messed up road. A sentinel, huh? Did you find footprints? <sighs> Thought I had something. Nope. Anyway, we need to find a lead. No. We need to explore more thoroughly. Anything? Hate to break it to you, but I don't think she's come by here. Any more is a waste of time. Let's go back, Kisaragi. Shinonome Senpai. Less thinking, more walking. Let's go, Kisaragi. Let's try checking the school. Senpai might have had the same thought. Let's do it. It's all the way around the bend. Miwako, wait here. Be careful. We'll be back in a jiffy. Building's gone. And the schoolyard's totally caved in. Oh, look at that. Over in the pit. That another construction machine? I bet that's what dug the hole. What's the point? They trying to make a nest or something? That thing's a construction machine for developing planets, right? Would it dig up a hole for no reason? Maybe there's something down there. Underground. Like what? More dirt? I'm just saying. Well, so much for this place. There's not a single person here. Let's keep looking around. <sighs> Speak of the devil. Shinonome, senpai. Hey, wait! That can't be good. It's that android from before. Is it broken? Guess there's our answer. Run! <gasps> We're surrounded! Serves you right. Hey, uh... Thanks. Who are you? The name's Sekigahara. You're Tomi Kisaragi, right? Didn't know any of you were left. Are you the only ones here? Oh! Shinonome-senpai is... Well, she was there. Dude, it was just a second ago! 
I guess she ran away from the androids. So Ryoko-san's here too. Are you with Morimura? Maybe. I mean, you've got to be from the future, right? Yes. Quite a ways away. Now listen here. How do you know Kisaragi? That's... A drone. It's a probe that found you two on its patrol. To think you were still here. I honestly didn't expect it. So it told you about us. Sorry you got caught up in this mess. In any case, you need to go to the underground gate. I'll take you there. All the gates above ground are locked. I've been struggling to find my way out of here. You too? We need to go underground. The primary shifter should be there. The other gates all connect to that one from afar. They're merely access points. Underground? You mean... Down there? That's where we need to go? Correct. Did you find Shinonomi-senpai? In a word, yes, but... She ran off somewhere near the school. Guy named Sekigahara is looking for her right now. Uh, who's that? The only other guy we've seen here besides us. Anyway, it seems like we've got a way home. To 1985? Really? We came here to get you. You ready? Y yeah Hard to say if we can trust this Sekigahara guy. But let's hurry. Hold on. Hard to say if we can... But let's hurry. Hold on. Stick with me, okay? Let's head to the school. where we're going. Oh, really? Is this that robot you were talking about? That's weird. Wasn't there more than one android here? Now that you mention it, yeah. Uh, Ryoko-san. So you still don't remember? They're taking advantage of your hazy memory. Stop this. Get him. 426, your time is up. Is she trying to beat me down there? Shinonome-senpai can control the androids? She's being manipulated by the one in charge of them. We need to go after her. If she seals off the gate, it's all over. What's on your mind? That guy just now. Are you sure he's safe to be around? He has a gun. Yeah. We don't have much of a choice. What's the report? Identified evidence of activity. A human likely utilized a crane to descend. Sounds like Ryoko-san's gone ahead. Secure the crane. Don't let her lock it up. So how are we supposed to get down there? Isn't it really deep? 300 meters. That quadruped's got a crane equipped. 
A crane? That does sound like construction equipment. We'll use it like an elevator. It'll take us all the way to the bottom. Let's go. Wait for us! Ryoko-san! Wait. What in the fresh hell is this? This is too much for me. You gonna be okay? I'm not good with heights. I didn't realize just how deep it was until we were right there. I thought I was going to die. Look! The same kind of gadgets we saw in that dead kaiju. They're all over the damn place. Almost like we're in the belly of the boss. <sighs> Looks like something out of a movie set. Usami-chan? The way we came in is completely dark. I never want to do that again. Don't worry. We'll be home soon. Aiken. You recognize me? Why am I here? Why are you here? Looks like you got some memories back. Do you have your pills? Not anymore. I'm all out. Hang on a little longer. We need to get back to 1985. Miura, help me out. The pills are in Sector 4. Is she okay? She will be. I was worried for a moment, but she seems to be fine for now. What happened to her? Is she ill? An incident occurred during our fight in the Sentinels. From that point on, we began having memory issues. Unfortunately, someone's been taking advantage of that. Her condition is far more serious than mine. She can't prevent it. In any case, looks like we can travel to 1985 without issue. It'll be ready soon. Just wait here for a moment. This machine... Is Morimura using it too? She's the reason we're able to use it at all. This functionality was her handiwork. Looks like something out of a... What could this be? going on? Please, respond. This is number 16. <sighs> number 16? That's the one who's been missing. Is everything okay? I finally got through. Kisaragi, what are your coordinates? Kisaragi? That's... My current location is unknown. My sentinel, and even myself. I don't know what condition we're in. <laughs> and it's gone as suddenly as it appeared. Sentinel number 16... went completely off the radar after that incident I mentioned. What did you do? How did you make contact? All I did was poke this thing. That voice from the TV screen... Didn't it kind of sound like you? You think so? Hey, just now... Did you call that person Kisaragi? Kisaragi is... The control system for Sentinel number 16. Why do we have the same name? Because... He is you. Rather... A different you. 
get it now. Tell me, Kisaraki. It's your biometric ID. The line of communication opened due to her ID being authenticated. Give it another try. There, answer us. I managed to connect to the system and determine my location. If the answer is troubling, oh, I'm outside the world. What does that mean? This place is not recognized in any era. This is bad. I'm being denied access to all sectors, it's universal control. It's trying to get rid of me. At this rate, I'll... It just closes right away now. What's this universal thing? Universal control. It's here. Where the primary gate is housed. This underground mainframe monitors the world. Location. It appears the mainframe does not want us to know. Looks that way. It just closes right away now. Stop. The command's not working. I'm out of ammo. We need to shift. Gather close. Now! Initiating shift. I know this shrine. It's by the school. Sweet! You hear that, Miwako? We're almost home. Uh, Miwako? Kayaki chose down that way. I'll be damned. We really made it back. We're missing Miwako. What? Wasn't she right next to you? Miwako! We must have left her behind. Let's go back. It's no use. She's not like us. The people here, everyone in the city, were all managed by that computer underground. Isn't that right, Akun? Hmm. To make sure no one impacts this world. To make sure no one finds out the truth. Universal control pulls the strings. Behind the scenes, it handles our lives as it sees fit. It must have determined that she was an inconvenience to this world. She knew too much. signatures confirmed. We're starting to get even more of them. That's weird. They're a little different from the D-forces in the database. What do you mean? They're similar to their original designs, but they've been modified and optimized further. 
The system's making changes to the kaiju on the fly. Specifically to fight all of you. My current processing is at 6%. Be careful, everyone. I don't know how long we gotta hold out here, but... Not gonna back down now. The database has been updated. I guess we have number 16 to thank for that. Those little buggy bastards are even faster now. If we let any of them through, they'll swarm the terminal in seconds. Then, even that G-Molar? Its power unit's been upgraded. Now it's got even more destructive potential. Not just offense. Some kind of new alloy's been integrated into the defensive shell. If the shell's harder, then we just punch it harder. It's gotta crack eventually. Everyone listen up. Each of you needs to check this, uh, meta system business. Something's been added to the system. Did you do all this data analysis? Do I sound like I understand all this egghead talk? I'm just relaying a message. From who? Well, that child from earlier. Chihiro did this? So she is helping us. Let's hope. Warning. Dymo signatures approaching. Dymo signatures. That means they're coming. Aren't these freaking flyers? Man, why am I stuck on the ground? Quit whining. I wish mine was stuck on the ground. If it meant I could hit like a train. The fourth generation models have some unique features. They can use the latest plasma weaponry and interceptors. On top of that, they're equipped with barriers and high output laser weapons that didn't exist at the turn of the 22nd century. The rotors matched the drill flies, and the barrier was clearly taken from Apsos technology, meaning... The fourth generation mechs were created by Okino, derived from the designs of the Daimos themselves. Is that true? He makes it sound so cool. I was basically copy-pasting random design elements with no idea how it'd actually work. Really, the Sentinels have always kind of been siblings to the Daimos. I know it's kind of late, but maybe you'd know Sekigahara. They're attacking the mainframe from these terminal things, right? That means these terminals are all huge weak spots. So why are there so goddamn many of them? We covered this already. The mainframe uses them to control and maintain the city. They're laid out in a network like a massive nervous system. That's why the kaiju are going after them. So... It's the UFO that's going to destroy our city? You don't know anything, huh? This ain't even our city. It's been a damn cage ever since we were born. It's that thing again. The one that spits out its filthy brood. Judging by the data we got earlier, it's not the same as the RPF we fought before. Looks like its design was improved, too. Back in 2064, we didn't have to deal with those. What do we know about this kaiju? Any extra intel could help here. I saw this in the files on Shikishima Space Initiative. The RPF was made for deep space exploration. It's the ultimate manufactory. Its nanomachine forge can handle all steps of production, even raw material synthesis. It's an auto-propagating machine that can generate near-endless copies of itself. A true monster. Be careful. Those minor kaiju are new models, too. What's wrong, Okino? We made it through all that, but something's clearly bothering you. Well, it's like this. The RPF probably didn't show up before this loop. We've seen the Dymo system using not only civic development machines, but space exploration tech. 
So if the system's expanding its reference data based on its opponents, then... Based on current feedback, it's entirely possible... What is? Stop dancing around it. Well... I mentioned the Sentinels were like siblings to the Deimos, right? Wait... You're not saying... I'm saying I've got a bad feeling about this. Hey, Amiguchi. Kind of brings back some memories, huh? It's like our brawl on the big bridge. Oh, yeah. When we threw down with those curry high punks in middle school? Kind of went south when someone called the cops on us. We all had to jump in the river to get away. Sure, but that was after we knocked 20 of those chumps on their asses. Got the same kind of feeling seeing these clowns is all. Square up, strap in, kick ass. Are you two done trying to prove how badass you were in middle school? Give me a break. This coming from the leader of the Suzu High Girls? They're here. As moving as this nostalgia's been, you need to stop wasting time and start wasting kaiju. The hell you say? Hey, asshole, get back here! Hey, don't go picking fights in our own squad. What, you're not gonna stop him? Eh, Ogata's fine. He got up in my face like that when we first met, and now we're cool. Let's go. Hard to get the upper hand when their numbers keep increasing so fast. Any units equipped with EMPs should fire at will. That electromagnetic pulse will slow them down. EMP? Is that what this clunky thing on my leg is? Oh, this was in one of my sci-fi books. It uses these big electromagnetic waves to take out electrical circuits. It's a tool made for localized operations. The EMP pulse is generated from the attached plasma dome. But the Sentinels are machines, too. Can we afford to set that off near allies? Each Sentinel automatically shields itself when it detects an allied mech firing an EMP. The enemies need a moment to bring their systems back online. It's a temporary effect, but it can still buy us some time.
that also means it's got a more unstable connection to its pilot. We had to put a limiter on its functions. So, its true power is being restrained? What would happen if that limiter came off? You'll get a huge boost in maneuverability, but it'll put an incredible strain on the pilot, too. A small price for new power, and nothing a true son of Japan can't handle. Sounds like it might have its advantages anyway. I'll have to let Sekigahara and Ogata know. Huh? Where'd he go? I saw a log made by me, but from 2188. In it, I spoke about a project capable of creating humans on another planet. And according to BJ, this is that planet, and we are those creations. But the log alone doesn't leave me entirely convinced. But there's something else about Sentinel number 17. There are logs from 2188 hidden inside it. If I can find this Sentinel, then I can find out once and for all if these aliens are real. Turns out, he wasn't an alien. He was actually a futuristic robot made by a Japanese company. The agents continue to lurk around the school. They gotta be searching for something. And I think I know. I'm almost sure of it. They still think BJ is an alien. actually stayed hidden this time. Hey, so... BJ? BJ? What kind of robot are you, anyway? I am an AI. Only integrated into a Sentinel. There was an incident. I had to transfer myself into this drone. So when Miyura-kun called you a... a piece of Sentinel technology, he wasn't wrong then. You mentioned something once. That we're the ones who are aliens. That this is a different planet. I find that hard to believe. Okay. Understand. Hey, so... The Sentinel you're searching for... There's more than one, isn't there? The video logs from 2188. Sentinel number 17's memory cell. It contains all of the logs. Now that I've seen one, I need to know the truth. So I'm gonna be tagging along. At least until I get a good answer. Got it? Yes, you know. Well, now that that's settled. This is certainly no time to be training. Let's go find it, little guy. If... If I didn't tell Senpai? Huh? Uh, hey! Where do you think you're going? Skipping training again? Well, the thing is... There's something I really gotta do, so... You first years are such slackers. And now I gotta deal with our track room getting trashed. Ugh. Maybe a stray cat got in. No. Someone broke the lock in the middle of the night. I wonder... Were those men in black looking for BJ? 
Here you go with your nonsense again. We're here. Sector one. We've searched there already, haven't we? Where could number 17 be? Let's go to sector one. You want to look there again? What year is it in sector one anyways? 2105. Hmm? The 22nd century? Access code approved. Designating sector. This is the only room with the lights on. Hey, BJ. You said this place is underground, right? How are things looking up on the surface? Highly contaminated with toxic levels of radiation. The environment is too inhospitable for us. Seriously? So we ended up nuking them? It was the government's last-ditch effort after the city was destroyed. And we still couldn't beat them? There were too many of them. This underground facility is the last place of refuge. Nowhere else is safe. <sighs> what have you been looking at this whole time? I'm searching for... memories. Like your own memories? After I ran a self-diagnosis on this drone, I discovered my memories were fragmented and inconsistent. Seventy-two percent of them have been deleted. They've been tampered with twice, possibly more. By who? Unknown. Though in all likelihood, the memory of the Sentinel's location was deleted then. In this facility, is this era's largest quantum computer. If anyone were to store memories here, they would be at least 300 meters out. What's wrong? Someone just shifted to the hangar. They're coming this way. <gasps> what do we do? Who are they? They erased every last trace from the system. We must hide, quickly. Wait for me! What do you think? Hard to say. I need more information. This decode is... Problematic. It attaches to the part of the brain where memories are stored. It must be physically severed to be removed. The damage this procedure does to the brain is lethal. That program, the one that severs the code, that's what's infecting the Sentinels. Right, Sentinels. I wasn't aware that control over the automated factories could be partially adjusted. You did well to discover that detail. It wasn't me. It was Juro Izumi from two loops ago. Two loops ago? Hmm? Have you forgotten? We've restarted twice since the world ended. I see. The shifting range isn't just limited to residential zones. Sector Zero makes that possible. In any case, we don't have much time. Where did you get all this information from? From the computer and the underground UFO. <laughs> UFO, huh? Is that what you've been calling it these days? Well, 
Can we go there? <sighs> yes, we can. You are the one who made it possible, after all. Have you really forgotten? In case you couldn't tell, I have a child's brain. The occasional memory lapse is to be expected. Now, let's go. Wasn't that Chihiro, Chan? And Gojo Senpai was with her. You saw that too, right, BJ? Oh, no, not you. Man, if you didn't stop me, I totally would have jumped out at them. I saw Goto Senpai in the past. I guess he's able to time travel too. She was dressed like a kindergartner. That was Chihiro chan, right? Miura kun's little sister? She didn't seem like she was unhappy to be there. And there was something different about her. Goto senpai was talking to her like she was a scientist. Hey. VJ? I located it. It huh? was in the access log's history. My memories really were stored here after all. Really? Apparently. I predicted all of this. Somehow. We have a problem. What is it? I'm unable to locate the memory data. They're stored in the cache somewhere. But they appear to be hidden. Isn't this supposed to be some super strong computer? Can't you do a quick search of it or something? After a preliminary scan of the cache, 9.216 million data units were found. If I were to trace every unit, I'd need about 80 days. I must have left some kind of hint. Something to identify the data unit. Identify? What do you mean? Each unit is a three-dimensional construct. Their coordinates consist of two alphabetical letters, as well as two numerical values. I know I left some kind of hint. Two letters, huh? Back when we first met, I just assumed BJ was your name. But maybe... BJ? That's the name you gave me. No, I didn't. You're the one who said it. I have no logs of this exchange. Wait, let me think. Yeah, it was something like... BJ 11 BJ 11 5. So, was that it? Yes, I've located it. Oh, right! And? And? Sentinel number 17. I know its location. So? Where is it? At an altitude of 500 kilometers. No way! So, it's up in the sky? Yes. In an artificial satellite orbiting the planet. Orbit? Like, in space? I cannot access it from here. Let's go. Where? To space? To the place Renya Goto mentioned. The UFO. year student did you need something from us <sighs> it 
it's open. <gasps> Where's BJ? There you are. Hiding in the laundry basket, huh? Wait, was that girl... Was she looking for you? It seems likely. You think she's working with the men in black? Her affiliation is unclear. However, her intentions... She wants the logs, doesn't she? Correct. Or information on technology and the future. My bag's been open too. She must have looked in here. People are starting to suspect me. We gotta hurry and find that sentinel. It's only UFO, right? You said UFO, but... It was manufactured in Japan, wasn't it? It is the name of a control system. <sighs> right. So, where do we find it? The gate. Let's go to the gate. Okay. Goto-senpai. He can also travel through time. So, who exactly is he? I saw a log... This small puncture on my cheek. Why does it glow... When I touch it? It's scaring me. Maybe... Maybe aliens really did put something in me. Have... That second year could be outside still. Don't worry. If I see her, I'll just sprint right on by. I don't see her. We're here. Activate gate. What's the matter? It is sealed off, just like Sector 5. So we can't go today? There is an opening in Sector 3. We may be able to go from there. Sector 3? It is in 2025. 40 years from now, which means I'll be in my 50s. I'm having mixed feelings. Access code approved. Designating sector. You're here? Jeez, this place is falling apart. I guess 2025 got hit pretty hard, too. Uh, there's something on the ground. It's a student ID from my school. Ryoko Shinonome, class 2A. This picture, that's the girl I saw in the track room. How'd this get here? This place is in ruins, but it almost seems like someone's living here. Is the UFO close by? It's 1.7 kilometers away. Hey, don't leave me behind again! We're supposed to stick together! Stop right there. <sighs> she don't know me, senpai Wait. Did you time travel too? I've been waiting. I knew you'd be here. 
This is 426's hideout. You're working with him, aren't you? 42 who? The heck are you talking about? I've never been here before in my life. Don't play dumb. I'll deal with you later, Natsunomi Nami. And when I do, you will tell me where he is. But right now, my mission is to take that data unit back with me. Now hand it over. Ryoko Shinonome. You're being used. There's a reason they want you to find me. It's to prevent you all from seeing the logs. And uncovering the truth. I don't care about that. Even the logs about you. And Tetsuya Ida? <sighs> You're not taking BJ! Natsuno, don't... Out of my way. Natsuno! <laughs> It's freezing. Wait, where am I again? Uh, oh crap, that's right! PJ! PJ! He's not here. Maybe he's... Nope. Never mind. BJ! Not over here either. What a mess. With the way things are, it's looking pretty grim for me. I can't go home. before we left. Hmm? You've been acting strange today. Uh... We went to the ruined future. You really don't remember? You said that this morning, too. I've never heard of ruined future. What kind of shop is it? Did something happen? You're acting like nothing did. That's the problem. Oh yeah! We went way deep underground! You were freaking out. You've got to remember that, right? Underground? You mean the downstairs food court at the mall? Um, no. All right, Miyuko. Tell it to me straight. In the last few days, did anything big happen? Anything at all? In the last few days? Oh, let's see. Hmm, something big. Oh, I know. You remember? Three days ago? We moved classrooms from the old building to the new one. And that was so sudden. I could hardly believe it. <sighs> Is that not it? She doesn't remember a thing about what just happened. That's not something you can just forget. It's more like... Her memories were rewritten. As if she never went there at all. As the school marked us absent those days. But she's acting like she's been here the whole time. It's crazy. Did that underground computer do this? Hey. 
I'm glad you remember, at least. Miwako has no memory of the whole ordeal. To her, it's like nothing ever happened. And Shinonome-senpai... She doesn't even remember my face. So that's what Sekigahara meant about being managed. Damn. If that's true, then... Everyone here's in the same boat, right? My mom? The people of my city? Maybe they're all hidden somewhere, being monitored. It all comes down to that underground computer. I bet it has the answers. <sighs> I'm... I'm gonna go back there. What? Dude, are you crazy? The place is crawling with androids. Um, I'm pretty good at hiding. Dumbass, you'll die. Besides, how the hell do you plan on getting there? How the hell do you plan on giving it a... If we use the gate again, we can return to that era. Do you even know how? Uh... I don't think Morimura would be much help. And Shinonome-senpai... She was looking at me real suspiciously. Oh, I know! Sekigahara-kun! I'll find him and... Calm down. Just think about it for a sec. You really want to mess with that thing? Shit's dangerous. And you know... If you get stranded again, you might be stuck for good. I guess when you put it like that, maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. But still... Now that I think about it, why do you care? Don't tell me. You're worried about me that much? Am I really that important to you? Oh, shut up! Go ahead and die for all I care. It's just... I'd feel pretty shitty being the one who let you do it. Huh. So that's how it is. So... what? You want me to just sit on my ass until something happens? I get it, alright? We'll think of something together. Just don't go rushing off on your own. Well, look what we got here. Ogata, most punchable face in the city. I think it's about time we settled our shit. Hey now! Come on, you're fighting again? Stop that! Hey, stay out of this, idiot. What do we got here? Don't tell me this little bitch is your girl. <laughs> Didn't know you were into elementary schoolers. <laughs> That's messed up, man. The hell did you just say? You want to say that again? Say it to my face. Come on! Hey, stop it! That's only a taste of what you deserve, asshole. Train's already here. Whatever you want. I can't keep waiting around like this. We'll think of something together. <laughs> yeah, right. Keep your word next time, dummy. Another day, another waste of time. There has to be a gate here somewhere. Was it all just a weird dream? Oh, oh stop it, Mia.
me. If I start to doubt myself, it's all over. I've got a lot more investigating to do. When we arrived, the gate was right here. If I stand here, I should be able to go back. At least, that's what I think. But what do I do to get it to show up? Maybe there's a switch somewhere. Huh? Whoa! Here we are, 1985. <sighs> do you know what you have to do? If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I'd be questioning my sanity. It's so absurd, my head's going to burst. You can head back and rest up. Okino. Don't worry. I won't be going anywhere. I just need to ensure Chihiro Morimura doesn't find out. Time to pull a few tricks on the gate and cover our tracks. See you. I saw oh. that! <laughs> Finally found my inn. So... You there. You seem to be able to access the gate. Who are you? Tomi Kisaragi. And you are... Okino-kun. A guy who doesn't want to be caught by Morimura. Right? Uh... Now then. Won't you do something for me? You don't have much of a choice. Looks like I've lost them for now. I have to consider my next moves carefully. An old fashioned phone. So the numbers were for a message service. I wonder who would have left a message for me. Myself was true, then Natsuno Minami is a key figure in all this. She may get me a step closer to recovering my memories. If I can really believe what I heard, that is. I guess I'd better get my hands on that data unit and find out. I'll do some investigating of my own on Minami. I just need to find her first. Now, how should I approach this? I wouldn't mind having Fuyusaka tag along. She may even be able to help me find Natsuno Minami. But I don't want to get her mixed up in all this. Wait a minute. When 
I met up with Fuyusaka this morning, a girl passed by and said she was going to the track room. Wasn't that Natsunomi Nami? I'll wait for school to get out tomorrow. Then I'll head over to the track room. Fuyusaka's at the front gate. She's still waiting for me. Things might heat up again. I can't drag her into this. If anything were to happen to her, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself. Fuyusaka wasn't kidding. They're crawling all over campus. I'd better stay out of sight. Excuse me. Where can I find someone who's on the track team? Oh, well, we're on the track team. Do you need something? I'm looking for a student by the name of Natsuno Minami. Oh, Minami? She went for a run around the school. She hasn't come back yet. Yep, that's right. Around the school. Got it. Thanks. That's... She's the one who delivered that package to me. The one that contained the message to myself. Looks like she goes to this school too. Where'd she go? with me? <sighs> She's definitely up to something. <laughs> um... Natsunomi Nami. For what? This asshole just held a gun to your face. Stop this right now, you two. Fine. You seem to know who I am. Care to explain what's going on? You really forgot everything, huh? Just like Shinonome. <sighs> That's why I can't get a good read on you. Hard to tell whose side you're on right now. You two. You lured me all the way over here. What are you planning? Planning? I thought you came for him, right? Him? That's... That's what showed me the footage of myself. Wrong. That's not the same one I gave you. That unit was a different one supplied by the SIU. They're the ones who had it say all those things. SIU? It's where those guys in black are from. Uh, how do you... Just who in the world are you? I'm Yuki. Yuki Takamiya. Are you working with the SIU? Strictly speaking, no. Then why cooperate with them? Got no choice. They're keeping tabs on Nachan. <sighs> so those black suits wanted me to see that footage. But why? So this is it. This is the data unit I was told to seek out. There's a message for you. A message? He asked me to show it to you. So... Here it is. 
Not John. <sighs> Why? Why did you temporarily erase your memories? Was it because of me? Yes. I can't let them get their hands on this information. My partnership with Ida. My dishonesty. You knew all along. Didn't you, Miura? You might not know this. But you're a terrible liar. I guess so. Why didn't you show me the data after it was analyzed? Because you took pity on me? Some things are best left unknown. I disagree. I should know about my own past. No matter how terrible I was. Can you link me to the logs through this message? Seki Gahara. Please, Miura. Show me the logs from 2188. Who's the target? The leading figure in nanotech research. Chihiro Morimura. Hmm. She's a former executive of Newman Inc. After she left the company, I allowed her to participate in Shikishima's project. The project was put on hold, but she continues working on it despite our warnings. Our company will suffer massive losses as a result. That's not the real reason. Excuse me. You pushed for the acquisition of Newman Inc. And that initiated a backdoor transfer of a large slush fund. What are you basing this on? Morimura's interstellar development project. It was one of 12 that were showcased for the acquisition. You used the project as a cover for the real use of your funds. But Morimura's actions threw a wrench in your plans. If an international agency were to catch wind of the situation, they'll definitely launch an investigation. And that will put you in danger of losing your position. Are you threatening me, Sekigahara? <sighs> like I'd waste my time. I'm an assassin. A professional. If I'm expected to perform my job perfectly, and I need every last detail on my target. <sighs> Sector 4. It's another colony that's still under construction. You'll find her research lab there. I'll be heading into orbit myself next month for an inspection. I want the job handled by then. And be discreet. I've just sent over security details for Sector 4. You'll also find a security personnel ID for your use. Eliminate Chihiro Morimura and put an end to the project. First, I'll have to confirm receipt of your payment. What was all that about? Yuki Takamiya. She delivered the data unit to me near the riverbank. She seemed to have known me before I lost my memories. Mori Moore is that one teacher, right? You came here from the future to kill her? But more importantly... The hell were you doing with that four-eyed bastard? I'm... an assassin? Morimura. So I really did do it. No. I wasn't going after Fuyusaka next, was I? <sighs> and I've been lying to Miura. Was it about the change in command? No. That can't be right. There you are. Keeping an eye on me with your drone? Finding you was simply a coincidence. Just like you, I'm now considered deceased. Ever since the battle in Sector 2, I've been in hiding. So tell me, 
Back on the battlefield in 2064. Who used DD-426? Someone did his research. Your Sentinel was the source of the infection. So the evidence suggests that you're the one who used it. Guess that's how it looks. I'm not sure who the real culprit is. However, Chihiro Morimura enacted Operation Aegis after we lost. Isn't that why you're here? To see how things went in Sector 3? <sighs> What is Operation Aegis? Just look at this place. What the hell happened? Sector 3 was used as a trial run of sorts. It was the only terminal tested on. But it was enough to activate the self-defense system. Sector 4 will be the real deal. The 1980s. Once all the terminals are sealed by the self-defense system, then Operation Aegis will be fulfilled. If that succeeds, we'll no longer be able to loop. And we can't let that happen. Unfortunately, your city is doomed to forever be in ruins. If we're unable to loop anymore, that is. By loop, you mean going back in time, right? How is that different from shifting? Well, this world was created only 15 years ago. You come from a different world, where the year is 2064. Your world never existed prior to 2049. Never existed? But we're in 2025 right now, aren't we? This is neither the past nor the future. That's how the five sectors were designed. They were created when you arrived from another world. This all sounds like nonsense. <laughs> I've had enough of this crap. If there's really some other world, then prove it. I take it you're aware of Miura's logs. Logs? Logs of the year 2188. I made an interesting discovery after studying the data myself. I learned that the real world is in 2188. We were meant to return there eventually. However, this world is destroyed before that time can come. A tragic incident indeed. Especially if it was the result of someone's careless actions. Our enemies, the ones we call Kaiju, have one goal. To gain control over every mainframe in all sectors. Once that's accomplished, the five sectors will reset. This causes the world to be recreated. And that includes you. Morimura and I didn't exactly go back in time. We merely skipped the recreation. You're looking rather pale. <sighs> Didn't you deliver those pills to Morimura? For Izumi and Shinonomi-kun? <sighs> you and the others have no hope of fully recovering. However, there is a way for you to survive. How? I'll extract your data from before you lost your memories. Then I'll take it with me to the recreated world. That should stop the effects of DD-426. Can you really do that? <sighs> so then, what do you need me for? To make sure we can loop, of course. I intend to stop Operation Aegis so we can start over again. And if I'm going to do that, I'll need your help. <sighs> Still don't believe me? Not really. Well, you will once you see the logs for yourself. I need you to find Sentinel number 17. 
I know he made a copy of it. The data will be useful in the next world, so I'd like to get my hands on it. See that drone over there? Drone? This thing? Yes, but don't activate it just yet. That's no ordinary drone. It's him. Miura? It was before the Sentinels were randomly transmitted. He transferred himself into that drone and escaped. I managed to secure him in Sector 2. He doesn't entirely agree with my methods, though. As such, he's chosen not to cooperate. It would be best if you told him you saved him from me. Come again? You're going to convince him that you've saved him. Then, you'll retrieve the data from him. You're asking me to lie to him? He received command over Sentinel number 17 instead of me. I'm not exactly sure why, but he's the only one who can track and activate it. For your sake, cooperate. I'll ensure that Miura comes with us. Above all, this is for you and Shinonome-kun. Well then. You can't use the gate at school due to structural damage. I've set new coordinates further ahead. Feel free to use that one. Hang on, I never- To avoid suspicion, I'll have my men continue following you. They won't be aware of our plans, however. So try not to get caught. I'm heading back to Sector 4. Glad you're okay. Chihiro. No point in trying to make sense out of his story. And still too early to say anything for sure. But a scout unit from the future? And it possesses my consciousness? Hero. She was acting like a completely different person. Design engineer? Controlling the system? What was she talking about? <sighs> Chihiro. What's happened to her? Chihiro Morimura? She's the original Chihiro? Is there no going back to the way she used to be? <sighs> Chihiro. Natsuno-san, I'm not sure why, but I really want to hear her voice right now. Could she still be at school? Natsuno-san's over there. What's the hurry? Miura-kun. BJ's gone. I'm pretty sure he's lost somewhere by himself. If he's caught, we'll never see him again. All right. Let's split up and find him. Okay. He couldn't have gone too far. Maybe he's inside one of the school buildings. Okay, then you search the buildings. I'll search the campus perimeter. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks. Did you see that flying RC thing? 
It went back behind the North School building. Think it belongs to the radio club? It was all boxy and weird shaped. Didn't look like a helicopter to me. <sighs> so it can fly. Behind the North building. That's where the old school building is. sign of them. Sounds like rotor blades. Are you trying to draw attention to yourself? Natsuno-san's worried about you. That's fortunate. I've been looking for you, too. Nope. Is what Sekigahara said true? Are you... me? That's correct. I am Hitaro Miyura. <sighs> At this point, nothing I hear should surprise me anymore. Why do you look like this? When the world was destroyed, I died. <sighs> I had to take your place and fight in the Sentinel. In order to do this, I was resurrected as an AI. So you've been using a Sentinel to fight off those monsters. That's what you're looking for, right? Then how did your AI end up in this scout unit? There was a malfunction in the Sentinel. So I uploaded a part of myself to this drone. However, 72% of me is still wrapped inside the Sentinel. Does Natsuno-san know that you're me? from the future, then you must know what's going to happen. My experiences are all from past events. Past events? Time is relative. Even with future technology, time travel is impossible. We never traveled through time. But you're Keitaro Miura from the future, right? So the rest of the footage is available. Promise me. Uh -huh. Before the final invasion begins, you'll research the logs and figure out a solution. Shihiro Morimura's plan, Operation Aegis. It will lead you all down a path of destruction. Chihiro's plan? Promise me. Why are you asking me this? Because... I'll be gone soon. Aurimura-san. Is all going as planned? All issues have been resolved on my end. Four sectors are ready for the final phase. The remaining one is at roughly 70%. Sectors? Their structures are similar to these colonies. So that's what I've been calling them. So we'll have five sectors then. I've chosen not to divide them based on orbital positions. Instead, I've separated them by historical eras. I've been meaning to ask, why don't we create a
the residential district of the present day. The decision was made to start over. From a time before the world took such a terrible turn. Before the nanomachine incidents? Perhaps humanity tasted the fruit of knowledge too early. When it was being decided how far we should go back, we couldn't come to an agreement. So we ultimately settled on preparing residential districts by era. I've always wanted to live in the 20th century before the war. So this works out perfectly. However, some resources of the era are quite old. Accurately reproducing them might pose a difficulty. I don't think I can do it with confidence. That's fine. As long as our civilization survives, I'll be happy. Once it's completed, just one district will be the size of a city. It'll have a bustling population of 1.2 million people. We have more residential areas than we originally planned. Miss Karabe's hands are going to be awfully full. I'm sure everything will be finished on time. I have to get back to work. Understood. So he was just playing the part of Kiriko Doji. I don't know what he's up to. But if I help him, I can save our homeland from this war. This is it, all right. Though, it's a far cry from the school I remember. Now, I don't know if he's here or not. Still, I should go around the back. Keep a low profile. This building had just been finished when I knew it. Now, well, it's certainly seen better days. So the Sentinel's a weapon from the future? It's strange to say, but it does make sense. After all, even one of its computers was so far beyond what we know. It feels like just yesterday. I walked these very halls to pick up Keitaro. And now, four decades have passed in a blink of an eye. Like a fairy tale. And this young lady would be? Oh, that's Kiriko-chan. She came to us from Tokyo. I'm Kiriko Doji. Why, well, miss, you're... You're stunning. M my name is Takatoshi Hijiyama. I'm going to remember this day forever. Because... It was the day you came into my life. You're a funny guy. But you seem pretty incredible yourself, Takatoshi-san. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know about that. So what's got you all bashful and smiley in here? Kiriko-san. I mean, Okino. You really are a funny guy. Um... <clears throat> you could have just taken a nap at my place. I didn't think you'd come running after me. I'm not about to let you get away from me. I showed you my hideout. Why bother trying to run now? Still don't trust me, huh? I want to know everything about what you're trying to accomplish. I see. Well, fair enough. The question is, are you even going to believe me? I have already learned for myself that time travel is real. At this point, nothing surprises me anymore. No more secrets. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to stop the apocalypse. A force is already on its way here to destroy the world. And they've got more numbers on their side than we'll ever have. What are they? I'm not really concerned with what they are. What I want to know is, why are they coming? 
the answer is in something called the decode. Let me try and break this down for you. There are other humans with modifications like you and Murakun. And they're beaming out these signals calling the destroyers here. Even though they have no idea. So the Sentinel's a weapon from the... The Southern threat you said the Sentinels were meant to fight. Are you saying it's them? These destroyers? They're a huge threat, all right. And these people with modifications, like me, they're calling them here? But weren't those implants only added so we could pilot the Sentinels in the first place? Well, I made the Sentinels, sure. But I'm not the one who modified all of you. There's too many unknowns with the Inner Lossiter. That's what I'm looking into. So this Inner Lossiter... It's like a little network of tiny machines. It has to be implanted into your body. So what do you want me to do now? Everybody's supposed to be in class right now. You'll stick out if you're on school grounds. We can't have you wandering around where staff can see you. It'd definitely be a liability for me, at least. There'll be more of a crowd when lunch period rolls around. Until then, you should hang out here. Sleeping face down on a school desk can't be good for my neck. Mm, Loki now. Still no sign of him. Noodle stirf. He told me to wait until noon. But I can only waste time napping for so long. It's quiet outside. Maybe everyone's still in their classes. I'm trying to avoid being seen here. So I'm not supposed to go outside, but... <sighs> Come on, Takatoshi! You can't just let Okino tell you what to do. I can't wait any longer. So basically... You mean? But then that means the dream is... Real? Uh... Huh? A student's duty should be to focus so on their studies. You mean... This kind of hanky-panky has no place the here. Is... Really? <sighs> Not that that girl wasn't cute, I suppose, so but... Clearly, she has no eye for men. But then that means the dream is... Really? It's not like that. It super is, though. You think so? Was he? Does he even go to our school, though? Oh, please. There. That has to be... <clears throat> I can't let myself get spotted now. Okina would probably never let me hear the end of it. The one? Said you'd be waiting here around now. Even stuffed a letter in my shoe locker, right? Yes. Shit, she's cute. Okay, so, uh, what's this about? Um, I like you. Uh, 
Seriously? You? Me? Yes. Kizaragi's bullshit was starting to get to me. Maybe I'm kind of a stud after all. What? No! Kiriko-san! That rat bastard! He don't go for another fella's girl! Huh? What's your problem? Hey! Put him up! Uh, hold on! Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, did I just... I can't believe you, Hijiyama-kun! This is... I mean... Don't tell me. You were jealous. I... of course not! I'm sorry for hitting him. You can... like whoever you like. It's none of my business. Where's this coming from? You think I like him just because he's a guy? Uh -huh. Actually, you couldn't have picked a better time. This works. Nenji Ogata secured, despite complications. Now, help me get him into the old school building. <sighs> False pretenses or not? That confession really got to him. Even knocked out, he's still blushing. I almost feel bad for him. So, that confession was just so you could analyze him, then? Why else would I do it? Destroyers. So he's implanted with the same technology as me? He's going to destroy the world? He's sending signals to the things that will. At least I thought he was. Something's off. Nenji Ogata here is not transmitting any kind of command signal. Looks like the decode signature has been changed. That's bad. Now I'm gonna have to check everyone's individual codes. More work I don't need. What changes if you can figure that out? We save the world. Or find a way to do that, at least. Sentinel. Don't we have the Sentinels? You said you created them to save us all. That's right. But we've already thrown 19 Sentinels at them and lost. Ugh. We need a bigger game changer than one or two Sentinels. That alone's not gonna make a difference. You did your homework on the Pacific War. You get it, right? When you're up against numbers like these, what can you do? <sighs> the Sentinels are meant to be a last line of defense. There, we've got a clue. But I can't access it from this side. He might be the only one who can. So, where does that leave us? <sighs> Morning, Hijiyama-kun. Okino, what's going on? I looked at Nenji Ogata. He didn't have anything for me. But I took a look at your code. And I have to say, it's been very thought-provoking. Untie me this instant, or I swear, I'll... Why are you getting so worked up now? This isn't all that different from the old days in the factory lab. Just the two of us, enjoying some quality time, right? What? Even if that's partially true, things are different now. Untie me before I really get angry. Well, that's weird. 
You sound like you're mad, but these numbers don't lie. You're actually kind of enjoying this, aren't you? Being all tied up at the mercy of your crush? You're such a perv, Hijiyama-kun. Stop toying with me! Well, why don't we see what's really in your heart? What the...? Whoa, you really can't stop thinking about me, huh? Don't be ridiculous! I get it. You're lying to yourself. All to protect your self-image, right? But you can hide all you want. Your physical data gives it away. Don't lie to me! Fine. Why don't we take a deeper look? Stop! Wow. This really says Stop it all. Stop it! Stop, please! When you put it like that, maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. Still, though. Uh, hey, are you even listening? What the hell just happened? Shit, the, the train. It just went off the rails and. I didn't know you could sleep standing up. This is... the same platform as before. The hell is this? Kisaragi, weren't you on that train too? How do we get back here? You mean the train I'm about to get on? You're... about to? We were in that train car, and... Then the whole thing got knocked off the line. So, how are we here? No way we would have walked away from an accident like that. Look, just... I need you to listen to me, okay? Uh, whoa, what are you getting so serious about? I'm saying, I've been on this platform before. Well, duh, this is how you get to school every day. No, I mean, just now. I was here. Uh, is this like a setup for a joke? No, wait. I remember. It wasn't even my train. I got on the semi express to go after you, Kisaragi. You and I were together the whole time, right? Uh, I think I'd know if we were together. Not what I meant, but okay. You're being weirder than usual. Are you okay, man? It's the same station. <sighs> Should've figured you assholes would still be here. Well, look what we got here. Ogata, most punchable face in the city. You guys need some new material. The hell are you trying to say to me? I think it's about time we settled our shit. <sighs> we already did. I beat your ass into the ground. I guess that didn't count either. What crawled up your ass anyway? Heard you were talking shit on the Kuri High gang. Saying all we got is strength in numbers. News to me. No more running. We settle this right here, right now. Hey, hold on. What the heck's going on? Cut that out. Relax. I'm not gonna do the same fight twice. I don't have time for that shit anyway. What do we got here? Don't tell me this little bitch is your girl. <laughs> Didn't know you were into elementary schoolers. <laughs> That's messed up, man. The hell did you just say? You want to say that again? Say it to my face. Come on! 
Listen, you uh, can't get on that. I can't, huh? So you can just decide that for me? It's not like... Like you can just tell me what to do. I'm so done with you. God damn it. It's just like before. Train, right? So Kisaragi always gets on that train. And the train always crashes. Once she's on, she's basically dead. How the hell can I make her understand? You're not listening to me, damn it! Cause you're not making any sense. What, you just wanted to have the last word? Wait, that's it. This is the same thing as before. You got all mad at me, so I went after you. So, when was this? Well, can't do much now that I'm back here, I guess. You're such a psycho. I don't know if you're just a delinquent or whatever, but I've never liked thugs like you. Oh, yeah? Y yeah, guess I should have figured. Goddamn way. They're, they're even showing up here. Mori Mora didn't say anything about this. I remember now. This is what happened to the other train. got a point. I should slow down and think a little. Still, though... <sighs> hey, are you even listening? I'm back. It's happening all over again. I guess when you put it like that... Maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. Still, though. Uh, hey, are you even listening? Uh, I'm back. It's happening all over again. 
Who even is that voice? How'd I end up in this mess? Where the hell was I? It was like... I don't know. I feel like I saw it on some UFO show. Like an alien lab or something. It looked just like that. I was... butt naked, too. That's what that guy was saying. All this stuff about how I've got to find a key. No idea what the hell he's talking about. But... I gotta find a way out of this crazy loop. And right now... The only clue I got is this key thing. So Kisaragi always gets on that train. And the train always crashes. Once she's on, she's basically dead. How the hell can I make her understand? We gotta do something! The kaiju are coming! What? Really? Where? I mean, like, not yet. They get here after we get on this train. How do you know that? Because I saw it. Uh... Shit, how do I explain? Hey, Kisaragi. You don't have some kind of key handy, right? What does that even mean? I have the key to my house. Is this it? Nah, probably not. I mean, hell, even I've got some house keys. You're acting kind of weird. Yeah, it's really getting to me. I'm already sick of all this shit. But what can I do? What's this key thing they keep talking about? How the hell do I even find it? What do I do? Just go through everyone's goddamn pockets? None of this shit makes sense. Hey, where are you going? Isn't that... I feel like I know that guy she's with. Who is he? Why are you being all sneaky? I, I don't know. No reason. Wait, that's Iori over there. <sighs> What are you hiding from, Iori? That's not it. What? Don't tell me you like Iori. Hey, it's not like that. <sighs> Isn't that... Karabe? Hey! I'm still talking to you here. <sighs> Stop dodging the question. I want a real answer. For real, it's not like that. Then what is it like? What do you care? You're not my girlfriend. Why are you even getting so worked up? <sighs> it's not a big deal, I was just curious. Sheesh. Fancy meeting you here. Usami-chan! Iori, your place isn't this way, right? Where are you going with Okino-kun? I've just got a thing over in Tsutsuji. There's the train. Let's go, Okino-kun. Seriously. You're being really weird. They got on the train. What do I do? Go after them? Seriously, you're being re Hey, that's the wrong train! That's weird. I know they got on. What's wrong? Are you looking for someone? Sure am, kid. You see a couple school kids uh, about my age? A couple school kids? <sighs> what the hell? Was that like magic? Nah. The hell am I thinking? 
Okay, look. I know this seems real sketchy. I mean, heck, I'm the guy who chased you onto a train here. But there's something I gotta know. Do you have some kind of key on you? I mean, not like a regular house key. It's supposed to be kind of special, except I don't really know how. <sighs> yeah, this still sounds pretty damn weird, huh? Hey! Hey, hold on! Why? Why are you looking for something like that? Good question. Man, I don't know how I'd even explain it. You're looking for the key? <sighs> You're the one who originally carried it, young man. The school nurse? Wait, I was just talking to Fuyusaka. <sighs> Wait a sec. Are you Fuyusaka, or...? Wait, I know you. The League of Darkness. I remember now. You're one of the bad guys. This'll only hurt for a moment. <clears throat> Playing this late? Should you be out here alone, young man? I'm not playing! I'm training! Say, you must be Nenji Ogata-kun, right? How about I walk you back to your house? Uh, you're fishy, lady. You talk like the League of Darkness people. They say all that same stuff when they kidnap kids. The League of Darkness? The bad guys from Common Hero, duh. Right, kids and their TV. But you know, I think you're the real bad guy here. Eight years from now, you're going to call a bunch of monsters and destroy the world. Am not! I'd never turn to the side of evil! You're still going to do it whether you're good or evil. Sometimes, things just happen. You can't trick me! I'm not Hold gonna it. get kidnapped! Little punk. Missed. Close. I guess I just did a big lap around the block. What do I do? She even had a gun. She tried to shoot me. She really is from the League of Darkness. I gotta tell the police. Don't move. <laughs> You're a bad boy. Am I gonna die? It'll only hurt for a moment. I've just implanted you with nanomachines. It'll add onto the program inside you. It's not a huge change, but it's something we'll need to fight back. And now, we can prepare our weapons. The Sentinels. Just get shot. Did you find the key? Okay. I still don't know what's going on here. But getting shot made me remember something. She shot me back when I was a kid, too. You were shot. I'm going to need you to explain the situation. I was on the train, and the nurse from my school shot me. There were even other passengers around, too. No, wait. That was definitely Fuyusaka. She was all grown up, but I know that was her. Wait a moment. Slow down. You're talking about trains. Where is this happening? It's the place you keep sending me back to. The train platform. And this happened when I chased Fuyusaka onto her train. <sighs> so you're looking for the key on a train platform? Well, yeah. Wait, you mean... 
You don't even know where you keep sending me back to? Okay, I see. That means the person with the key is somewhere around there. You just keep looking. When do I get the explanation? I guess when you put it like that, maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. Still, though. Uh, hey, are you even listening? Uh, I'm back. It's happening all over again. That was weird. Why'd I think Fuyusaka looked like that League of Darkness lady? I'm not seeing things, right? We... That League of Darkness lady. She said something weird when she had me at gunpoint. She said I was the one who had this key in the first place. But none of this is ringing a bell. Can't figure this out. So key. Hey, Kisara. You're acting kind of weird. Yeah, it's really getting to me. I'm already sick of all this shit. But what can I do? Hey, where are you going? Well, look what we got here. Ogata, most punchable face in the city. Great. This guy. What? You think you're better than me? Hey. You guys got this key thing? What key? What the hell are you talking about? I don't know, man. Just whatever keys you got. I, I had my motorcycle key. But my teacher took it away. Yeah, boo freaking who. I think it's about time we settled our shit. You gotta chill out, man. Oh, yeah. Do you think this is funny? Am I a joke to you? No time for this crap. How about we talk this out? How about screw you? No more running. We settle this right here, right now. Hey! Come on, you're fighting again? Stop that! Hey, stay out of this, idiot. What do we got here? Don't tell me this little bitch is your girl. <laughs> Didn't know you were into elementary schoolers. <laughs> That's messed up, man. You'd think that wouldn't get to me anymore. But hey, I'm still mad. <laughs> here I'm gonna go hey hold it I mean just hang on a sec I really need you to stay off that train okay seriously what's going on I don't even know how to describe it just it's it'll be really bad look they're coming this train's gonna get derailed it's gonna be a huge accident, okay? Uh, okay, whatever. My train's about to leave. I'm being serious here! You can talk shit on me if you want, but believe me, just this once. Please, don't get on that train. <sighs> so? What do I do instead? Let's just get out of the station. We gotta get out of here while there's still time. If we can just get outside this place, that's got to change something. Come on, this way! What's 
wrong? I'm sorry. My ankle hurts. Where? Let me see. Probably a sprain. Get down! up over shit we can't change. Maybe there's no way out of this, but we'll never know if we don't run. Anyway, come on. We gotta keep going. think a little. Still, though. Uh, hey, are you even listening? Uh, I'm back. It's happening all over again. That was weird. Why'd I think Fuyusaka looked like that League of Darkness lady? It doesn't matter if we run. We never make it out in time. We only got a couple minutes until they ruin this place. Even if I told someone about this, nobody would believe me. You're acting kind of weird. Yeah, it's really getting to me. I'm already sick of all this shit. But what can I do? Yo. Ogata-kun. What are you doing? Usami-chan. You trying to pick on Iori now? Please, Kisaragi. Just relax for a sec. What? I'm begging you here. <sighs> Fuyusaka. That wasn't some magic trick, right? Um... What do you mean? So, that League of Darkness version of you. I mean... Okay, what's your connection to that black cat suit lady? League of... Darkness? What are you talking about? Damn it, I sound like a total loon. I mean, the key. She told me something like, I used to carry this key, right? Ogata-kun, I'm really not sure I follow. Ah, damn it. I gotta figure out how to say this right. Okay, so you haven't said it yet, but you're going to tell me soon. You know what I'm saying, right? I just want to know what it all means. I really don't know what you're talking about. Man, this shit's so hard to explain. The train's leaving soon. Let's go, Okinokun. Hey, uh, you don't look 
so good. Seriously, you're being really weird. Shinonome-senpai. You're here too? Shinonome-senpai. Huh? Hey. You okay? I have to go. Senpai, you don't have some kind of key on you, right? Though I guess it's not really a normal key. Probably. How do I say this? A key? Yeah, a key. Shouldn't we call someone over? Someone like who? Like a station worker? Uh, waste of time. Why is that? It's just gonna throw us back to the beginning. Hey, what's going on with you? Senpai. Are you okay? I have to go. Something's up. Do I go after her? Hey, that's the wrong train! Hey! What happened? You don't know my senpai. Are you okay? Must have been her symptoms again. Looks like she passed out. This guy too. I know him. It's Sekigahara from back in the ruined city. Why is he with her? Why are they both knocked out? The hell happened here? Something in his hand. DD426. That's some kind of medicine? Label's not telling me much. That's poison. It was meant to poison the D forces. They ended up as collateral damage. What are you talking about, old man? It sounds like you know about Shinonome kun's condition. So you should already understand. The symptoms she endures come from that poison. Their nanomachines are infected. They're beyond saving. But even with all their sacrifices, they cannot stop the D-Force's attack. You keep talking about these D-guys. That's all the big mecha kaiju, right? A living apocalypse. Born in our future crossing time to destroy us. It all comes down to 15 teenagers. The commanders of the D-Forces. Ninji Ogata-kun. It is a curse. One we cannot escape. Where's all this weird shit coming from? Who even are you? It doesn't matter anymore. I'm just a man in the past now. But it was never the kaiju. The problem, the true blot on this world, was always the D-Force's creator. It's us. Mankind was the cancer all along. Knocked out too. That got anything to do with your key? I think so. 
think I get what's going on here. But those two don't match up with my information. It's definitely someone else. When you see this key, well, no matter what it looks like, you should know it's the key. What's going on in that train? Something's not right there. When I'm inside the train, things always seem messed up. You need to take a closer look. This isn't going to end until you find it. Search everywhere. Beat people up if you need to. Whatever it takes. Wait! I know that guy. He was with Fuyusaka. Put it like that. Maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. All right, I get it. Hmm? Just don't move from here. Not one step. Don't move. I saw that person trying to order me around in the capsule. I only caught a flash, but it's that guy hanging out with Fuyusaka. So the world's gonna end. And it's all because of these 15 people. Because they're sending out this command to the kaiju? Do I even believe this crazy shit? Why should I trust that shady egghead? That was weird. Those, that weird voice. It's gotta be him. That, I wanna ask you something. If you knew the world was gonna end in a couple minutes, how would you spend them? Uh... Where's all this coming from? I just want to know how you feel. Well... A few minutes, huh? That's not a lot of time. Well... Uh, I can't really get anywhere in a few minutes. So, I guess... I'd spend them with you. <laughs> I'll just be a second. I just need you to wait here for me. That okay? Uh, fine. Oh, Ogata-kun! What's wrong? Out of my way. You're the one I got beef with. Okino, you're the one. I saw you, you asshole. What are you talking about? Drop the act. How'd you put me in that capsule? Why do you keep putting me back here? I really have no idea what you're saying. Bullshit, you don't! We got two ways to do this, kid. Either you talk, or I make you talk. I... uh... You think you can run?! Okino, you asshole. You bastard. Get me out of this capsule thing. Capsule? Did he figure it out? What's our next move? Wait. You're the... <sighs> now I remember. Hijiyama. You came out of nowhere with that sucker punch. I gave you plenty warning. Don't act like I pulled some low down trick. It's not my fault if you can't take a punch. You... son of a... <sighs> well, he's awake. What do we do now? Don't worry about it. We're not done yet. Where am I?
am I? What's going on here? You don't have to know. You're going right back in. What are you doing to me? You're just full of surprises. How did you break out? This place... What is it, some kind of factory? What time is it? <sighs> hey! Keep quiet. Unless you want another beating. If you help us, this will be over soon. Okay, now. You said you'd help us, right? Then you gotta do something before the attack hits. Can't you save any of the others? An attack? Wait, you mean... Those things are the true foes of the Sentinels? Exactly. What I need to find is the reason for the attack. So now we're here. Trying to find the key that controls the D-forces. And these D-forces... That means the Kaiju, right? This key's gonna let you control them? One person's commanding these kaiju to come here, right? One out of these 15 people? So you knew. Yes. 15 children's lives were manipulated. So that they would destroy the world. They broadcast command signals from their body, even if they don't want to, or don't even know. Those signals create the kaiju, and then beckon them here. Like the old guy was saying. So, are there lots of keys? No, just one. Out of all 15, only one has the key that controls them. So you need a key to command them. Wait, didn't she say something about that? The first person who had this key... League of Darkness. That League of Darkness lady said something about this. She said I was the one who had the key first. But I don't know anything about that. I don't remember anything anyway. Of course you don't. The control key is a code for a program. You're one of those 15 people. Up until two months ago, the commands were coming from you. Seriously? It was me? It used to be. Now though? Well, from what I hear, that had already changed by the time we caught you. Now another person's got the key. And they're the ones sending out the signal to start an apocalypse. So all the kaiju attacks... That's my fault? Remember, they haven't gotten here yet. But... Whatever you saw in there is going to come true soon enough. Okay, so... this key's actually a program. How do you even look for something like that? Well, to you, it'll look like a standard metal key. At least, within that station. What do you mean? I need to see who got the control key after you. The idea was to just pull the data out of you. But whatever happened is really bound up in your personal memories. Which means you're the only one who can dig that information out. That's why you're in the chair, and I'm on the tech side. I'm making it so you can find that key for me. Hold on a sec. You're telling me that whole station's... You've been in this chair this whole time. That station... is an illusion created from your memories. You gotta be kidding. I see now. That's how you broke out of the simulation. Even I'm there at the station. You piggybacked on my access ID. I guess that'd get you clear of control. Well, I can fix that right now. Okay, now we're all on the same page. So, let's jump back in. Uh, hey, hold on! Don't squirm. 
Trust me, you don't want that tech coming off by force. You might never wake up. <sighs> Find the key. My apologies for hitting you. But you need to take this seriously. If you want to be free, help us. That's your only option. I guess when you put it like that, maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. What's wrong? <sighs> What's wrong? I didn't... I didn't cross a line, did I? Gotta be kidding me. So all of this? It's all some big dream in my head? This Kisaragi, and that Fuyusaka, and Wajima. None of them are real? You're not the real Kisaragi. You're just some ghost of her in my brain. What are you talking about? Is your head okay? Did you eat something bad? Don't even talk to me. So if he's right, I'm one of those people too. That so this key is a program that's calling the kaiju out. Except, I'm just gonna see it as a normal-ass key, I guess. Hey, could you not ignore me? Ogata-kun. Mm. I guess that means she came from my head too? I don't really know Fuyusaka that well. So maybe that's it? I just got her mixed up with the school nurse? Hey Fuyusaka, where'd Okino go? Okino? Who's that? <sighs> Fancy meeting you here. I get it. Usami-chan! He said he was gonna fix it. Iori, your place Guess isn't this, is what this way, meant. right? Where are you going? <laughs> I've just got a thing over in Tsutsu. Karabe. Looks like he got himself out. But where the hell does that leave me? If Okino's not here, I can't chase after him to get out of here. Hmm. Hey, it's you. If I remember right, you don't take the train to school, do you? Guess I don't, but who cares? I can still take the train if I want. It's not a crime. So, you got a key on you? What kind of key? The key to summon the kaiju. Summoning kaiju, huh? What? That weird? I don't really have time to indulge those childish fantasies. Now that's weird. Last I heard, you were way into that shit. <laughs> well, what a shame. Looks like my train's here. Which means this conversation is over. Hey, that's the wrong train! So you followed me. Why'd you run? Huh? You're on the wrong train, Nenji Ogata. Doesn't matter which one I take. Same damn thing happens anyway. I always get taken out by the kaiju. Yeah, that about sums it up. You're not Karabe. <sighs> well, that's just embarrassing. I really need to hide my tracks better. I've been getting sloppy. Never figured you'd come looking to take it back. Who the hell are you? Uh, he disappeared. <sighs> That's me 
Minami behind you. And look what she's got. I don't know how I know, but... That's the key. Gotta be. Do you know anything about what kind of code this is? Do you even know what you've been looking for? There's no point in digging this up. You don't even know what this key is. I know the key's a program that controls the kaiju. And now I know Natsuno Minami's got it. If you know that, then why are you on their side? You think you know what they're gonna do with it? They can't save anyone. Don't trust them. You know what they'll do to her. Do you have any idea what Natsuno Minami will go through? I finally found it. It's her. Minami's the one with the key. What, like I'm supposed to trust you instead? I don't even know who you are. I'm Juro Izumi. A version of Juro Kurabe from another world. What the hell? I've come to save you. That's why I'm here. To protect her control key. Fine. Trust me or don't. I don't care. Just forget about finding the key. I can't do that. That key's gonna destroy the world, right? If you let me handle this, you won't regret it. But if they found out that Natsuno Minami has the key, you think they'd be nice about getting it out of her? <sighs> Got a point. These sickos already kidnapped me and messed with my brain. Minami might end up the same way. They might break her. Leave her like Ryoko Shinonome. Or they might just kill her. She's a pawn in their game. Just another sacrifice. <sighs> Think this through. Slow down and think a little. What's wrong? The hell do I do now? I finally found this damn key. What's gonna happen to Minami if I snitch on her? Minami's got the key. But if I let Okino know, I'd be throwing her under the bus. <sighs> that Izumi guy. He said he'd handle it. Can I even trust him? Gotta be... So that guy Izumi... He's a Juro Karabe from another world? If that's really true... That League of Darkness lady's gotta be a Fuyusaka from another world. When I was a kid, she did something to my key. I remember now. 
She said something about the Sentinels. Probably talking about that robot I saw in the future ruins. So the one who has the key, they're the one calling these monsters out. Even if they don't want to. Never thought Minami would have it. I want to ask you something. If you knew the world was going to end in a couple minutes, how would you spend them? Uh, where's all this coming from? I just want to know how you feel. Well, a few minutes, huh? That's not a lot of time. Well, uh, I can't really get anywhere in a few minutes. So I guess... I spend them with you. <laughs> What's wrong? I didn't... I didn't cross a line, did I? Guess Okino's not here. Okay, the first train's gonna be Fuyusaka and... Karabe. Hey. Huh? Oh, Ogata-kun. <sighs> That's weird. Seems like plain old Karabe again. Actually, this is pretty good timing. Someone was just looking for you. They asked me to give you this. Here you go. Who's this from? Izumi, I think he said. Tsutsuji-bound semi-express, departing well, at 512, quickly. first car. Go. Who is this guy? What's his angle? Let's see, the 512. That's the third train. The one Kizaragi gets on. And the first car. That one stops over at the end of the platform. Shinonome gets on the second train. Hey, Shinonome Senpai. <laughs> Are you okay? I have to go. The train's already here, so... I'm gonna go. <sighs> You're from 1C. Hey. <clears throat> you even listening? If I get on the train now, is it even going to change anything? I'm back here. Oh, something popped up. Now you're messing with me too? You're from Minami's class. You another of Okino's goons? Why are you here? I was...
was told to come here so I could save Nenji Ogata. You're here to save me? But Nenji Ogata's right here. So, why are you appearing on this screen? That's like a version of me inside my own head. So, I just need to pull this thing off your head? Hey, hey, don't do that! They said if it gets forced off, I might never wake up again. Jeez. Call the police, I guess? My contact wants to keep this discreet. Okay, then call your contact. Get them to do something. Well, he's a cat, so... his options are limited. He's a what? He's a talking cat who's here to save the world. What the shit are you talking about? Look, do you see any kind of... I don't know, a power button? None here. Well, what do you see? A button that says, reinitialize. Okay, don't touch that. Probably dumps me back at the station. Something here about a restriction? Maybe that's it. You think you can turn that restriction off? I can try. How's it looking? Hold on. Still checking. <sighs> hey, you talked about saving the world. You mean from the kaiju, right? Right. So, all that stuff I saw on the train, it really could happen. If you could fight back, would you? Hell yeah, I would. Then, I'll cast a spell on you. What the? Some kind of robot? Really? Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Now try pressing that reinitialize thing. <sighs> Feels like I've woken up from a terrible dream. And it looks like he's left me behind again. When does he even sleep? Noodles. The more I find out, the more dangerous he seems. Forcing his way into someone's head and messing around? He's unhinged! So if I've judged the walking distance right, I should arrive there around noon. I need to save up. Even a small reserve would be enough. I see. Okino is right. I just need to slip in the old staff entrance. Seems like nobody will spot me. Now, where is Okino? go what's going on why do I feel like this I see you made a friend eh, just a stray cat that's all I just gave it a little food now it shows up here all the time so I ended up bringing food for it every day I suppose I can relate you used food to toy with both of us. What? You don't like me taking care of you? I didn't ask you to do that. I'd better get going. Going where? Hmm. Oh, right. Are you sticking around until Shintaro's done eating? Mind tossing the empty can for me? Shintaro? That's his name, yeah. I'm counting on you.
Oh. There's something under the can. Looks like a hundred fifty yen. Oh. Okino. Are you still trying to look after me? one of the teachers at the school. I should go somewhere else. Isn't she... My Yaki Soba Pun Angel? She doesn't recognize me. Then again, I was a mess when she saw me last. Wait. If she's a student here, then... That means it must be sold here at the school. This is where I can find that Yaki Silva pawn. Almost missed out. We only had two left. Just one left. Your finest yakisoba pond, please. Oh, no doubt about it. This is the same yakisoba pond from back then. Trash like some animal? I'd be better off dead. Still, I'll never find a paying job in this state. I shouldn't have let the heat get to me. Taking that bath in the river was my biggest mistake. That cold left me out of commission for a while. And now it's been three days since my food ran out. I couldn't even find Kiriko-san in the end. Is this how I die? Alone? Wasting away? Oh. Excuse me. Um... Are you okay? Uh, oh. Uh, never better. Was that your stomach? Uh... <laughs> I know. <clears throat> What's this? I bought too much of this at lunch. It's yakisoba pun. Yakisoba pun? I, I can have this? If you'd like. I... I suppose I'll take you up on that. Yaki Soba Pond. <laughs> it's so good. Impossibly good. It's delicious. How could anything so delicious exist in this world? <laughs> <sighs> I wanted to savor the taste, but 
And I practically inhaled that whole piece. Now that I think about it, I never even got to thank her. My yakisoba pun angel. This should be good. I can eat in peace here. Still, I can't believe I got the last one. I suppose it's good karma for my model behavior. I was wondering where you'd run off to. Did you go buy that yourself? Okino. Now, time to finally enjoy my... Uh... Uh... You changed clothes? Wow, I can feel the disappointment from here. Want me to get back into the skirt? I don't care. It's just that the skirt's kind of breezy. I don't have much on underneath it. Makes me feel pretty exposed, you know? I can't just walk around in the wind and traffic like that. Just think of what could happen. Stop that. You're clearly enjoying this, no matter what you say. And you don't have to be so... lewd about it. If we're seen outside, the staff might chase us off the property. Once the afternoon classes are over, we'll head back. You stick around here until then. Do you... want half of this yakisoba pond? What? Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm not even hungry. Isn't that your favorite food, anyway? You enjoy it. Well, if you're sure. You really are a nice guy, Hijiyama-kun. Okay, time to dig in. Fantastic. This is it. This is the taste that saved me. I have to thank the Yakisoba Pond Angel. If I ever see her again, I need to thank her personally. Hmm? No, wait. I did meet her. But when? Good grief. You're still going to keep trying, then? Of course. Is it possible he really doesn't know anything? There's still residual data in there from the switch. If I can figure out who's sending out the signal, then... ...maybe I can stop it, or even control it. Where are you going now? The convenience store near the station. You haven't eaten since noon, right? I'll go get us some snacks. Help change things up. Any requests? Yakisoba pun. So much for changing things up. Haven't you tried anything else from this time? Don't make fun of me. I, I like plenty of foods. I just haven't eaten any of them yet. That's all. Wow. Can't argue with that logic. Who's there? A female student? What is she doing out so late? More importantly, what's she doing here? Wait, have we met somewhere? She's the girl who saved me. She's the Yakisoba Pond Angel. Excuse me. Oh, uh, please wait. I'm afraid the second floor isn't quite. Uh... I'm sorry. <clears throat> Hmm. 
Yaki soap upon Angel. Why? I should head to school. My Yaki Silva Pond's waiting for me. No, wait. That's not the point. Can't lose focus. I need to find Okino. If I had to guess, Okino must be a cat person. Well, not that that's particularly important to know. Okino. She looked more ghost than girl. She's no ghost, but she is hauntingly beautiful. As long as I've gotten this close already, maybe. No, 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 no. no. This is not the time. Um. Uh. Is this cheating? No, of course not. Why would it be? Okino's a man anyway. If, hypothetically, I had fallen for him, it was when I believed him to be a girl. Oh, now I remember. He cozied up to that rascal Ogata too. He even confessed his love. <sighs> Sorry, Okino. But you straight first. It's only fair. Excuse me, miss? Uh... Oh. Hmm? I know that cat. It's Okino's little friend again. That kitty is so cute. Does it live at the school? Oh, you mean Lucky? Lucky? Oh, you know, because he's a lucky cat. Lucky, is it? A cat of many names, it sounds like. What's so lucky about him? You just hang around this cat. And you start finding money everywhere. <gasps> what? Seriously? I mean, it's... it's usually like a couple coins. Oh, so just lose change. Hmm. Well, worth a try. Let's see what's under the box, shall we? Oh, that's... A hundred yen coin. That's a lucky find. No. There wouldn't be any around here. Oh, that's... A hundred yen coin. That's a lucky find. Hey, did you see that guy? He was looking under the vending machines. What do you think he was doing? Maybe he dropped his change? Oh, what? I wouldn't go digging around for it. That looks so sketchy.
Hey, Karabe-kun. Are we on for today? Uh, I got somewhere to be. Well, all right. No, there wouldn't be any around here. I have 200 yen on me. Fresh apple juice. That's powerfully sweet. Yen coin. That's a lucky find. I have 250 yen on me. Your finest yakisoba pond, please! Sorry for making you wait, yakisoba pond. But it's okay now. Time to dig in. Mm. Mm. <laughs> delicious. Impossibly delicious. Of course it is. It's Yaki Soba Pond. I don't see Okino anywhere. Is he not at school? Oh. Isn't that one of the Sentinel Scout units? Why is this here? This is not good. And he's... You. You're the one from the shrine, where we cross time. <sighs> What's wrong? You can't move? Something's happened. Did Okino get him too? I should get him back to the hideout. Uh, don't tell me I'm going to have to carry him. What a hassle. <sighs> what am I, just another one of Okino's cronies? I don't have to run around cleaning up his messes. Stop! Plastic gizmo! What's Sentinel technology doing here? How did you get here? I'll take a look. What is this? What were you thinking, Okino? What's wrong, Takatoshi? What's wrong is this core system. Oh, figured it out, huh? Okino? Professor Shinonomi found it. Daimos, really? Everyone knows that's one of the old kaiju survival sims. Even I played that thing all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're putting the fate of humankind's last colony in a video game? I'm just reusing the infrastructure, environment management code. Relax, we're not gonna get kaiju popping up. Still... And hey, faster than building the code base from scratch, right? Come on. You love me, so you can trust me, right? The work's done. We've done all we can for the human race's future. As long as this colony's life support holds out. As long as I've got even a second more, I'd rather spend it with you. Tsukasa. You're right. I'd rather be holding you right now myself. I'll see if I can explain it to Professor Shinonome. Thanks. 
I love you, Takatoshi. What is this? That wasn't me, was it? But Okino and I were together. In love. It's impossible. Hey, what did you just show me? Put it up again. Here begins my final log. This isn't the same recording. Tsukasa's dead. <sighs> the medical bio kits are no good to me now. So I only got an hour or two left. <sighs> Why did it come to this? It was all logistical debate over Project Ark. An energy dispute. Then Tsukasa. He argued to cancel the plan. To divert the energy to life support. If that damn Ogata and his cronies hadn't come armed... No. Too late to point fingers now. Izumi-san shot Tsukasa. So I made him pay. Him and his allies. As for the survivors, there's Professor Shinonome and Ida. They made it out safe. And me. Though, I figure I don't have long left. The hangar's blown out. And the colony's in ruins. It won't even take 20 hours. All we've worked for will be gone. I came here so I could protect people. And now I'll die here. With my friend's blood on my hands. If... <laughs> Project Ark actually goes through. <laughs> if... I actually get to be reborn somehow. I hope I live to protect them. like Okino's with him, too. Okino! Oh, good. You're safe. Hijiyama-kun? What's wrong? Why are you so worked up? Uh, what? That image. It was definitely Okino. But what even was that? Uh, Something on my face, or...? You didn't go to school today? Oh, yeah. I skipped to do a little time travel. Huh? Wait, don't tell me. Were you out looking for me at school? No, uh... No, really? Well, I'm glad he's safe. Why is that a good thing? Why does seeing Okino make me feel better? So you're still dressing like that. <gasps> you! Whoa there. You move, I shoot. Bastard must have followed me. You led me right to Okino's doorstep. No. You're here to kill him? Hijiyama-kun, calm down. He's A. Sekigahara. He and I play for the same team. <clears throat> Isn't that right? 
You've done really well holding on like that. I think I know why you're here. You want what only I can give you. You can drop the gun. I won't run anymore. Okino. I need it. Please, help me. Sure. Since you finally asked nicely. You two... Don't tell me. You two are... Steady? <laughs> what if we are? What does that matter to you? <clears throat> Damn that Okino. How long is he going to toy with me? Then, I'm not thinking straight myself. Okino's a man. Why was I so scared that Sekigahara would steal him? You, that damn Okino. That was too far for a joke. <sighs> anyway, what was going on with those talking images? If I recall, they said something about being reborn? Now, where is Okino? Right on time. Okino. Here's the plan. I need to get some information out of the nurse's office. So I need you to distract the school nurse, Morimura. Just make sure she doesn't get to her office before I'm done. Morimura's wearing a big white coat. Can't miss her. All I need is about ten minutes. Hey! You're a lifesaver. Okino's trying to sneak into the nurse's office. So I have to keep Morimura occupied in the schoolyard. She should be wearing a white coat. Oh, that must be her. So can you take care of that? Yes, ma'am. Well, she, uh, she seems like quite a teacher. I can imagine the boys have a hard time focusing on class. Now that's done. Wait. Yes? Uh, well, uh, there was an accident behind the school. A student's been injured. Oh, no. Can you help me get them to the nurse's office? Uh, well, actually... They can't move, because... They broke their leg. Oh, that's awful. We'll have to call them an ambulance, quick. Wait, I mean, uh, their leg's mostly fine, actually. They scraped their arm. Well, their entire body. They're very... scraped. Hmm... Maybe you should come and see for yourself. You don't even go to this school, do you? I know that uniform. You're from Nigakuri High, aren't you? Are you trying to pull pranks on teachers? The jig is up. What year are you? Tell me your name. You're coming with me to the student guidance room. Who's your homeroom teacher? About time for a retreat. Oh, that's uh, 
A hundred yen coin. That's a lucky find. I have one hundred yen on me. Soda, sugary and refreshing. find you find I have 200 yen on me your finest yakisoba pond please sorry for making you wait yakisoba pond but it's okay now time to dig in mm. Mm. Delicious. Impossibly delicious. But... This place always helps me relax. Some kind of nostalgia, I suppose. The building still smells like it did back then. Back then, I was just focused on training to pilot the Sentinel. I never imagined I'd end up like this. What's wrong? You can take a closer look. What do you think? I remember my first time seeing it too. The thrill of it all left me speechless. So this is the Sentinel. That's right. Look at those arms. Those legs. It's like an iron giant. A 2,000 ton invincible iron giant at that. You see those batteries on the front? Like a battleships? I don't know much about the technical side, but it uses an electromagnetic field instead of gunpowder. One ton of shells in a single salvo. A ton? They're just like the main batteries on the Nagato. And those new flying bombs equipped on its back? They control their own path. Never miss a mark. How is that possible? It will revolutionize war as we know it. If all that's true, then... It sounds like a gift from the gods. Or something out of a science fiction novel. Professor Doji can tell you the specifics. Apparently, it's based on this technology out of Germany. And I suggest you leave the details to the engineers. All we need to do is strap in and protect our homeland. And if I'm not able to, that duty will fall to you. Aren't there any better candidates among the adults? Why did they turn to students like us? The Sentinel's no ordinary machine. It chooses its pilots. You and I were, apparently, the only viable choices. Hey, you two. Huh? 
Kiriko-san! Why are you here? This area should be highly restricted. Oh, you know... I'm just delivering documents on the Professor's behalf. It's fine, Keitaro. She's the Professor's daughter. I have permission. Come with me. We'd better start on your sync connection adjustments. Well, the professor wants to anyway. I'm just the messenger. <sighs> Thank you for passing that along, Kiriko-san. Let's go, Keitaro. Since I never went back... Kitaro should have been made the only Sentinel pilot. But nothing in the history books even mentions him. Maybe they couldn't get the Sentinel ready in time. <sighs> it can't be. It is. If it isn't Kitaro in the flesh. Who are you? Do I look that different? It's me, Hijiyama. I never imagined you'd wind up here too. Takatoshi-san? <sighs> it's the hair, isn't it? I suppose I can't blame you for not recognizing me. I've been living here for half a year now myself. It's yeah, time to grow. Take a closer look. I swear, it's me. It really is you, Takatoshi-san. So, when did you get here? Scratch that. How did you get here? What's happened at home since I've been gone? Slow down. I can only answer one at a time. What happened to the Sentinel? Well... That's actually how I came to this era. What, through the Sentinel? It has the capacity to time travel. <clears throat> what? So it's true. It really is a weapon from the future. Where is the Sentinel? Somewhere nearby? It is around here, but I can't move it. Shikishima and this era's government caught wind of it too. They've seized the Sentinel. Dear gods. Are you hungry at all? Come see where I'm staying. I'll treat you to some yaki soba pan. Oh no, I'm fine. These days, I'm in the care of Karabe's grandchild. I see. But I'm telling you, you've got to try this yaki soba pan. It's the most delicious food this era has to offer. Takatoshi-san, have you had the chance to try any... Hamburger? What is this... Hamburger? I have reason to believe it's the greatest culinary invention in history. You overestimate your burger, my friend. Okino said he didn't want anyone knowing he was here. Best not to go talking about Kiriko Doji either. So this is why you disappeared. You came here. What happened after I left? You escaped as an accomplice to Kiriko Doji. At least, that's what all the reports said. Nothing doing! Do you think I'm a spy as well? No chance of that. But, even if you were a spy, you wouldn't face any punishment for it. What do you mean by that? There's nobody left in our time to authorize it. So... We lost the war. Just like in the history books. It's nothing to do with the war. The monsters destroyed everything. What, what do you mean? Explain yourself. Hold it, Okino. Keitaro was talking about some horde of monsters. I want a real explanation. Hey! 
This place. I think it'd be better to show you, instead of trying to explain. So if we go back to the 1940s... So it's true. This shrine held a way to travel across time. You're coming, right? Of course. Then let's get going. Everywhere here, it's the same thing. Tamalsan's house should have been around here. Not that you can tell with it like this. It's just like Keitaro said. There's not a soul in the factory, or the bunker. Doesn't look like there's anyone around here, either. You'd think this place was hit by one of the air raids. But there isn't even a single body. No sign of any international aid or intervention. Because Japan wasn't the only one hit. If I had to guess, this is the state of the entire world. What? What are those? They... are the ones who destroyed the world. That's them, then? The ones you've been talking about? Yeah, they're all Daimos. Destroyers of worlds. Some of them are the size of the Sentinels. And those aren't even the biggest. What you're seeing is just a fraction of their forces. A unit of hundreds has already passed through here. And now their mission's complete. So here they stand. Did these monsters... eat everyone? They don't eat. The people have all been captured. Thanks to a buried UFO. Well, a saucer. A saucer? That's what the Daimos are after. Their goal is to break through to that giant underground saucer. Specifically, to get in contact with its tech. That triggers the saucer's shifter, which teleports civilians. As to where they go, or why the Daimos do it, we don't know. So my mother... and Tamausan... These things took them away? Wait... If the world was destroyed in the 1940s, then the land in 1985 should be... It's hitting you too, huh? Does that mean... These are... Parallel worlds? I'm impressed you even know the concept. He used to borrow Keitaro's science fiction novels. At the very least, there's one thing we know for sure. This reality and the other aren't connected by causality. Nothing makes sense anymore. If this is a nightmare, I want to wake up. Just looking at this, it doesn't feel real. <sighs> yeah, maybe it doesn't. supposed to do now if I'd been there before my homeland lost everything if I'd fought in the Sentinel maybe we'd still have some hope left according to Okino that chance is long gone but he might still know something I feel so powerless in the end all I can do is rely on him I He 
He's telling me about all these things. But even I know this is all over my head. How do I make a difference? Is it even possible? <laughs> Hold it right there. <laughs> you certainly don't take pride in your appearance. That's all I have to wear. Do we really have students like you at our school? I've <sighs> never seen you around. What school do you attend? Can't mind his own business. I've never seen you around. What school do you attend? Can't mind it. A hundred yen coin. That's a lucky find. Oh! Wait, uh, this isn't what it looks like. Please wait. Uh, really, it's all a misunderstanding. No, I guess it wasn't a misunderstanding at all. I have 100 yen on me. Soda, sugary and refreshing. Oh, that's really what exactly are you doing? the show tonight. Hold it right oh, there. so that's it. That I was wondering if you been missing practice. No. What's the show? It's, uh, Midnight Meow Meow. I'm sorry. Uh, I remembered something I'm I have to do. I'm just a big fan, you know? Back to front? Oh, right. Mm. That show with the pop stars. He's gone. What? Something wrong with that? A hundred yen I mean, coin. Fine, but... That's a lucky find. Finest yuck. So I'll see you at the usual place later. Yeah, I get it. Oh. I'll see you later. Who was that just now? Nobody, okay? It's fine. Oh. Oh, right. I should probably tell you. I'll be late getting home again tonight. You've been gone every night for a while now. Where have you been going? Mm. Tokisaka Shrine? You don't need to know. Hey. Go ahead and get yourself dinner. Don't wait up for me, okay? I shouldn't right now. After sundown, I'll wait for him at Tokisaka Shrine. 
No point just sitting around waiting for him. We'll have to kill time for a while. <sighs> that damn Okino. Is that what this money was for? Just a bribe to appease me? <sighs> no, I'm getting too worked up about this. Damn his allowance. I can spend this all right now. Sokino planning with that girl. <sighs> Something's going on with him. I can tell. It feels like he's hiding something. Is it? I need to hurry over to Tokisaka Shrine. I can't believe I overslept. It's so late. The two of them must be long gone by now. Probably. Well, no choice. I'll wait here and confront them when they return. Ogata. Hey, Hijiyama. You remember all that shit you put me through? Cause I sure as hell do. Now that I think about it, I don't know how you escaped, but... I see how it is. You came looking for another black eye. Try it. See what happens. Ogata-kun. Aren't we here to look for Kisaragi-san? Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Don't have time for this. Sorry to disappoint. We'll dance some other time. And that's your decision to make, huh? Selfish bastard. The hell are you doing here anyways? I'm looking for Okino. What happened to him? This is just what I heard from Sawatari-san. But, according to her, Kisaragi-san's been going out to meet some guy lately. She what? Just the two of them? Must be that girl from this afternoon. So that's who Kisaragi ran off with. Got a feeling I know where they went, too. What? How? Uh, she mentioned something about it. By the way, do you know how to work this time travel business? Uh... Oh... You don't know either? <clears throat> Did you have to take the same hiding spot? It's too hot over here now. Move over there. Shut it. If it's so damn stuffy, then you take a hike. God damn it. Sick of all these mosquitoes. Maybe they didn't even go today. Well, Karabe already went home. But I ain't leaving until I know what's going on here. Same here. 
The way things are, I feel like I don't know anything anymore. So, this girl, Kisaragi, what kind of relationship do you two have? Uh, she's, you know, a friend. A friend, huh? Okino hasn't been wearing the dress lately. Did he drop it for the sake of getting close to her? Maybe you weren't the person I thought you were, Tsukasa Okino. Shh. They're coming. Seriously, I'm not lying. I know I saw that image pop up. I know. The access logs confirm you got in. The question is, why didn't we get a response? Okino! Hey, idiot, don't just jump out! Ogata? What the heck are you doing here? Ah, uh, shut up. Huh? Don't tell me. Are you a little... jealous? That's totally it, right? Please. Who get jealous over you? Is that what this is about? You got jealous? Don't be ridiculous! I was just... I was just... worried about you, that's all. Hmm. I you want, want to know how to place, save everyone, right? Well, if there's well, the a way, then tell me. Anyway. I mean, Please. heck, if... I understand. Something had happened to you. I'm doing my Moron. best to find the right answer here. I don't know if it'll be enough to save everyone, but... It could make a difference, at least. I'll tell you all I know. It's getting late. You should all go home. Huh? Come on, Oak, you know, you kidding me? Oh, come on. I'll explain everything on the way back. So walk me home, please? Damn it. You got off easy this time, Okino. Now, we'd better get going. To where? The Tower of Knowledge. That's where it all starts. you about this before we're inside the buried UFO so this was built by humans from the future or extraterrestrials potentially so this UFO it's somewhere deep underground let's see First, you'd better take a look at this. I know that shoreline. That's Ashitaba City in the middle. And 300 meters below the surface, we have... this. The saucer? Around 30 kilometers in diameter. That's gigantic. What is this? Androids. They were protecting this place. Androids? Mechanized dolls, I guess. They're all broken anyway. <sighs> so this is what the Daimos have been chasing? Exactly. The UFO's also in Sector 5, which means... It's also buried there in 1945. The people there disappeared when Daimos came into contact with it. Same as in my time. But there's only one left still fully functional. And that's the one in 1985. What's wrong? 1985. Even assuming it's a parallel world, something isn't right. We know there's a pattern to the attacks. Forty-year gaps, going chronologically backwards. Then why has nothing happened in 1985? 
Why skip that year and go straight to my time? That's actually pretty sharp, especially for you. Hey, now. It's because 1985 is kind of an outlier. Someone in that time has the decode control key. In other words, that'd be the one sending commands to the Daimos. That's why they never mounted a full attack. They just went straight to Sector 5. Sector 4 will be the final target on their list. Which means 1985 will be our last line of defense. People from the future were preparing for the final battle. Those compatible with the inner Lossiter were being gathered in Sector 4. So in the end, we can't stop the commands? Well, you already know the situation. We have no idea who's actually summoning them. Even then, killing the source would be meaningless. Someone else would just start broadcasting the signal. Anyone implanted with the inner Lossiter is a candidate. Any one of them can be the Daimos's Wayfinder. So even I might be... Yeah. Even you could be the one luring them to us. One guy had his own plan. Murder everyone who had an inner Lossiter. No more signal. He thought that might save the world. If it meant I could save my homeland, I would gladly give my life. So why do we have it in the first place? Who modified us with that inner Lossiter? Is... is that what they wanted? To destroy the world? Like I said, there's still a lot we don't know. Besides which, it's this UFO that's abducting people. <sighs> we don't know much about the inner Lossiter, but... It's general use information technology from 2188. It's got that decode sending out commands, but that's comparatively a very minor part of its function. Wait, minor? That's the part I don't get. Something else is eating up over 80% of the inner Lossiter's processes. Some totally unrelated function. Nothing to do with the decode. I tried to find out what function the system's prioritizing, but... I just... I don't know. None of this makes sense. The data throughput of the decode isn't that much. It basically just needs to maintain a link to the person commanding the Daimos. And access three locations at regular intervals. One of the access points is the mainframe of the UFO. Universal Control. Might have to do with the reason people disappear. I'd need more data to know for sure. The second point of access is Sector 1. The automated factories in the year 2105. The factories weren't destroyed when they attacked. They're using them to manufacture more Daimos. That's where the Sentinels were created too. And the final access point, by my guess, would be the thing Tomi Kisaragi saw. Some kind of satellite in orbit. And from its data banks, they're pulling blueprint data for the Daimos themselves. Even knowing all that, though, are we any closer to saving the world? It's a long shot, but... If I can figure out this UFO, and the orbital contact point, it's possible we can bring back the people who disappeared. <sighs> but yeah, it feels like I'm still overlooking something. Something a bit more fundamental. Everyone else is 
doing their best so I can keep going. You need to know when to use your support units. The Guardian types are especially important. They spike the D-Force's threat identification signals. It makes them think it's a high-priority target. They can draw attention away from us as a decoy unit. That can distract the enemy away from us and the terminals. The EMP equipment on the first gens can get us some breathing room too. Though it tends to draw their attention instead of diverting it. It can be a risky move. A true soldier faces his foes head on with pride. I couldn't ask a better chance at glory. These things just don't stop. How long we gotta keep this up? If we could activate the Aegis faster, maybe we could mitigate some of our exhaustion as well. Actually, what do we know about this self-defense mechanism? Universal Control oversees the world through the terminals. But the defense functions refuse to respond when the terminals are under Kaiju attack. The mainframe would go down without even noticing it was compromised. So when it comes to the Kaiju, the system's paralyzed? That's one way to put it. And Operation Aegis is about covering for that weakness. The Deimos attacks open up vulnerabilities so they can attack the terminals. We exploit those same vulnerabilities with some low-grade hacking to provoke the terminal's security. And trigger the defenses ourselves. The Aegis system activates, and the terminal locks out the Kaiju intrusion. If the threat of the Deimos is too subtle for detection, then we simply present a more obvious one. So, it's a ruse. Like sounding a fire alarm with no fire to get people bounding out of their bunks. Familiar shenanigans. Isn't that why they used to call you a no-account rascal? At any rate, that's why we can't activate it until the D-forces are close enough to the terminals. Hey, Giamakun, we have a problem. What's wrong, Okino? I just finished an analysis of the D-code's most recent changes. It looks like they've really souped up their missile weaponry. More improvements. I suppose that's proof the Sentinels have them rattled, at least. That's not all. We've got ground-piercing missiles on the field now. Those units are probably gunning for the terminals. You'll need Sentinels who can work on anti-air defense. If you can't shoot them down, this'll get ugly. If it comes down to it, I can be the decoy. Flying bombs aren't enough to bring me down. I never expected the Deimos would have that many missile launchers set. If other waves are going to be this missile heavy, we'll need to improve our anti-air defensive flares. The fourth generation's flare torpedoes can take out missiles as well. Understood, Juro. I'll keep an eye on their missiles. Hey, uh, how exactly do you know all this stuff? You sure you're not Juro Izumi in there? I'm sure. But I know him, and I know what we're up against. Something coming from up top. Daimo's signature is identified. Stay calm and let the Sentinel analyze it. I know that one. It's another of those huge carriers. No, it's similar, but we haven't seen this one. Probably a new model of the Terra Carrier. Looks like they've got squadrons of flying weapons. Natsuno-san, get ready for anti-air combat. Uh, right! Aegis activated. No sign of any other Daimo signatures. Guess we've got a moment to catch our breath. What's up? There's rubble everywhere down on the ground. I just tripped. Jeez, you're shaking like a leaf. Let me see it. Ah, uh, looks like a scrape. I got some bandages on me. Give me your hand. Man, yours are so soft. Oh, Takamiya-san. Careful next time, okay? Whoa, what the? Why is my heart racing right now? Wait, does that mean... But I didn't think I was... I mean, what if... Whoa, 
what's got you all blushy? I... Uh, it's not like that. I'm not cheating. Akun's the only one I need. Uh... Where the heck did that come from?
those government spooks are keeping an eye on me. At this rate, they could just take me away and nobody would ever know. So she was watching me this whole time? On behalf of that shady outfit? Is that why she approached me at all? Yuki-chan. No, wait. I'm the one who approached her. And she has to keep an eye on me? Well, hey, maybe this isn't so bad after all. So she's been monitoring me this whole time? She's actually some Secret Service government spy? That's crazy. Also, not gonna lie, weirdly hot. Shukun, please help me. Hey! He knows I'm here now. He's going to try to have me eliminated. What? Wait, wait, what do you mean, eliminated? There's so much I still don't get here. I need a real explanation. I know. But I had to hack my way in to reach you. My connection won't last long. When you say he, you mean Tetsuya Ida? Yes. Why is he after you? Because I'm helping you. I was right. He's trying to reset Project Ark. He wants to reset it? What would that do? The world would be destroyed by Kaiju. Everything will be gone. They want to start over. They want to restart this world from the beginning. They've done it before. And a reset means you would be erased, too. You're talking about Kaiju now? You've already seen them. <sighs> you mean those things in my dreams? The Sentinels were built to fight those Kaiju. To defend the world you call home. So it's just space beyond the enclosure walls. That means we're in some huge spaceship, right? Why does all of this exist? Why cover up the truth? There is a supercomputer hidden below your town. We call it Universal Control. It has led you to believe you live in Japan, in a certain historical era. Why? Possibly to make your lives easier? Possibly to make you easier to manage. Even I couldn't tell you the real reason. So why are you trying to help us? You still don't know who I am. You and I have met many times in your dreams. Oh, that song from my dream. You don't mean... You're... You finally realized. This is how I got past universal control. I sang on an inconspicuous broadcast with all my heart. Just like I used to. Kisaragi. Yes, it's me. But a different Tomi Kisaragi from the one in your world. I'm not human anymore. Just data on a computer. But that's exactly how I can still help you. She's been reaching out to me. Using my TV set to break through the walls that separate us. She's the Tomi Kisaragi I saw in my dreams. The Tomi Kisaragi who has no body left. Just a mind inside a machine. Oh no. He's at Sector 3's terminal. Help me, Shukun. If we don't stop him, he'll erase me. What should I do? Inside the outer walls. I hid your sentinel in. Hey! No, come on! Don't leave me hanging like this! She's gone. 
What happens if I go there? Can I really make a difference? I can already tell this is gonna be a huge mess. Nope. Nope. A girl has asked for my help. I can't just run away from this. I'll go. And I'll figure out the rest when I get there. Any sudden moves and I shoot. Shinonome Senpai? The door was locked! How did you get in? I broke the lock. With that gun? There was an agent, too. I put him to sleep. Oh, right. You were at the park with him. Are you with the Shady Spy Bureau, too? Yes. So? What do you want with me? I need your Sentinel. My Sentinel? Call it here. That's a thing I can do? I have no idea how. Senpai, I'm sorry, but I've got something I need to do. You want me to shoot you? I have to go stop Ida. Uh. Huh? Sounds like we're on the same side. Past the tunnel? Yeah. That's where the Sentinel's hidden. Apparently. That's some sentinel. It must weigh hundreds of tons. How does it fly in the air? But what I really don't understand is how you controlled it without any problems. Piloting a sentinel damages you, like what happened to me. So most people can't operate them. What? You mean piloting a sentinel did all that stuff to you? You know, it's not too late to turn back. It is too late. Easy, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna give up now. A girl's in trouble. You know where you're going, don't you, Senpai? There are two terminals that have been analyzed so far. Sector 1 and Sector 3. But we can only get into one of them. That'd be the terminal in Sector 3. I'm not really sure I'm following here. Mr. Ida was supposed to take me with him. But he took Takamiya-san instead. Yuki-chan? What's he planning with Yuki-chan? He needed biometric ID from one of us. It's the only way he can access the terminal. But now he's put the gate into lockdown. That means a sentinel's the only way to shift in. It's just up ahead. of the spaceship, I guess. It's a spaceship? What are you talking about? Oh, whoa, uh... Okay, so you never found out that part. It's a long story. This doesn't make sense. How could there be a facility like this in a tunnel? I don't know how, but there is. Let's look for the Sentinel. It's really here. The one I saw at the park. Miyuki and Abba hid it here. So, now what? Well, activate it. Yeah, but how? How did you do it before? I don't know, it just kinda happened. <sighs> what about your activation switch? You should have one somewhere on your body. A switch? Where nanomachines were shot into you. That's where code was injected into your system. So that should be where your switch is. <sighs> oh yeah, I got shot. I think she got me... 
right around here? Swipe across it. See if that starts things up. Here goes nothing. So I just swipe it... like this? from number 14. There should be a maintenance hatch somewhere. From there, I could set the shift destination. Okay, let me look. I found it! I think. Where is it? In the back. How's it looking down there? Set the shift destination. Now you just need to confirm it. Okay, here we go. This thing better not let us down. Found a way through on Shu Amiguchi's Sentinel? I suppose this is because I chose Takamiya-kun over you. Those emotional impulses of yours... ...really do try my patience. That's not why, Mr. Ida. <gasps> it doesn't matter. I don't care what group Yuki-chan's wrapped up in. I'm going to save her. Yuki Inaba needs my help. I have to stop Ida somehow. Or else, he's going to erase her. It's back in my dream. I get it. So it is you after all. You're Tetsuya Ida, huh? I know about you. I've seen a lot of your past. Well, that's inconvenient. She's still transplanting memories, then. Well, I know you, too. Perhaps better than anyone else could. After all, I've known you all your life. Ever since I dropped you off as a newborn. Dropped me off? I placed you into the Amiguchi family as a child. Then, you're saying... You are genetically identical to me. You are Tetsuya Ida. <sighs> hey, wait a sec. I'm almost finished here. Just stay quiet for a moment more. It doesn't matter. Yuki-chan's got nothing to do with this. Let her go! I'm afraid she's a vital part of the process. I need her biometrics to access the computer. You should know this is partly your fault. Up until now, I had simply been borrowing your ID. But then you had to go and access your Sentinel. 
which means authorization has been restored to you. Oh, Miyuki Anaba said something about this. She said she knew me through my ID. Probably because he's the one she was trying to track. Yuki-chan, don't worry. We're gonna get you out of this. Amiguchi. You have feelings for Yuki Takamiya, I take it? Yeah. I love her. You know, under any other circumstances, it'd be fascinating. Genetically identical, but our experiences made us very different people indeed. A shame. There is nothing you can do to change this. Miyuki... Inaba. Ida-kun. So here you are at last. Your singing gave you away. I recognized it instantly. I'm still your biggest fan, believe it or not. Ida-kun, please. Think this over. I have to start things over for the two of us. This is a mistake. I'm afraid you're the one who's mistaken. It's too late. This place will be gone soon enough anyway. Or do you have some other option to share? <sighs> Even if I did, you wouldn't listen to me. Not the way you are now. Stop! I won't let you erase her! Erase her? Please. I love Tomi Kisaragi. There's no need for anything as drastic as that. But I do need to silence her as a precautionary measure. You can cut off communications, but I'm not going to give up. I don't need to cut off communications. It doesn't matter where you are. After all, you're a Sentinel AI now. She's in a Sentinel? And I happen to have command authorization over the Sentinels. All of them up to number 19. That's impossible. Wait, Edekun. I'm in orbit right now. I'm watching this all from the command ship's computer. And I can see everything. I know what'll happen to that whole area. The reset will change everything. It'll all be broken down and rebuilt, but... Indeed. A new beginning for you and me. No, you don't understand. Attention! Emergency protocol. Force shut down Sentinel number 16. Don't! Inaba! Bastard! She'll be asleep until all of this is over. That's the last variable taken care of. I think our work here is done. We're returning to Sector 4. And you're coming with us, Shu Amiguchi. As will you, Shinonome-kun. Come on. You know you need me. Uh, uh. Hey, really? That's my girl. We're leaving. Collect the equipment. I know what you've really been trying to do. Back then, all those nights in the lab, you weren't trying to bring her back. You wanted to remake Kisaragi the way you wanted her to be. Ida, you think we're the same person? You're nothing like me! I'd never use a girl as some tool! <sighs> Little shit! Stop right there! Don't move. Damn it. Hamiguchi kun, hurry. Right. You hurt Yuki chan? Hamiguchi. Uh... Shinonome! Uh... You can be such an inconvenience. Speaking of. Uh... Hamiguchi! Takamiya-kun, 
I suggest you come quietly, or Amiguchi will suffer the consequences. You son of a bitch! Yuki-chan, don't risk it! <sighs> If we could hurry this up... Audit, sir. What? They vanished. Did they shift? Yuki. So this goes there. That's all set. Then let's do... This. <sighs> no dice. You need to take this seriously. Hey, you wanna do this yourself? Be my guest. Keep it cool. He's doing fine. Yuki-chan. I promised I'd save her. I'm going after her. No matter what it takes. It doesn't seem as if the director's coming back. Which means it may be up to us to find our way back home. Probably best to work together for now. So you guys really have no idea how to work all this stuff? Our intel suggested it's just not possible for us. The only ones with clearance and ability are the special miners. But we'll certainly make an effort. Can't your robot do something to solve this? It's capable of transporting us across time, correct? Hell if I know, man. My senpai was the one who set up the time travel. Sure, I can fly the thing, but I'd have no idea how to get us home. How much does your organization know? Do they have any real info on how this place works? Well, it's a UFO made by scientists of the future. Since before our time, it's been buried here, deep underground. Okay, so you're basically clueless. Sound about right? Yeah. Come on, out of the way. This is nothing like my microcomputer at home. Damn it. This doesn't look good. I can't help Miyuki and Abba. I can't even go after Yuki-chan. What am I supposed to do here? Huh? Where'd the console go? Did it work? No. It just started moving by itself. Minami? Amiguchi-kun? The data unit! It's men in black! Mighty Kaiju Daimos. They're showing it at the theater right now. Huh. He's talking to himself again. Would you like to get crepes on our way home? I'd love to, but... I've kinda got somewhere to be. Mm, okay... Do you need something? Uh... Not really, sorry. Usami-chan... You've been acting strange lately. Are you okay? You seem kind of... stressed out. But you're just fine, right? Hey! I'm worried about you. Yuri-chan! Shall we go home together? Sorry, I have plans. You too? Sorry, Miwa-chan. It's okay. I'll go home by myself. Well, it's about that time. Yeah. I should head out, too. See you, Miwa-chan! Bye! Hmm. 
something up? You're staring. Mm, it's nothing. Miwako doesn't remember a thing. But maybe that's for the best. <sighs> Miwako! I'm heading out. <laughs> See you! The papers. Miss Morimura forgot them again. Back at it again with the skirt and wig, huh? What a weirdo. I just didn't get a chance to change. As I said, this is a necessary disguise. Bold words for someone who can't be bothered to make it here on time. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Anyway. You're going to do this for me, right? <sighs> Let's go. Get in position. That's what I should be asking you. Well, whatever. Who's that little cutie? <laughs> Hear that? You're a cutie, apparently. I'm not complaining. Hey, what are you doing? Stay back! They might be with the black suit guys. BJ says he knows them. Natsuno? Usami! You're here too? Why? This little guy led me here. Sekigahara's robot? I see. The two of them will speed up the process. Hello, Okino. I am like this now, but... You're Miura. Sekigahara told me. What is your goal? To save the girl trapped in orbit. Then we are on the same path. I mean, Gucci couldn't surprise me enough as it is. But seriously, you too, Usami? I can't believe you're all time traveling. This is actually where I'm from. Whoa, you came from the future? Does anyone else know about this stuff? Let's see. Yuki chan from Class 1A? Miyara-kun, too. What? That guy? So you're here to help number 16, too? My own sentinel is there. Sentinel number 17. So that's how it is. Both 16 and 17 were put into orbit. They went to an unknown man-made artifact in space. We've briefly gotten a hold of it from here. But we don't quite understand what it is. Number 16 would know the answer. Last time we got through to her when I touched something over there. But now... It won't respond. Not even with Kisaragi's biometric ID. She's completely inaccessible now. You, Amiguchi, may know the reason. You wanna know why? Ida did it himself. He shut down her sentinel. Ida, huh? Yeah. Something about authorization? He must have used his security authorization to issue the command. So that's what happened. You created these sentinels. 
Perhaps you can clear the authorization. Worth a try. Help me out. So, why are you here? I can't turn down a cry for help. Especially not from the one and only Miyuki Inaba. Miyuki Inaba? You mean that idol? Well, yeah. She talked to me through a TV program. You guys call her number 16, but... She's actually another you. I knew it. That song. It sounded a little different in the style of the 80s. But it's just like when I sang back in middle school. And... Inaba. That's my username. I became an idol? Uh, seriously? The preparations are complete. Kisaragi, as you scan your ID to grant access, the authorization will be reset and the Sentinel will reboot. Go ahead and unlock it. Here it goes. No good? <sighs> the Sentinel started up normally. I... I see. Ida couldn't shut me off. We all came to save you. Sorry it's a little late. Thank you. Access is clear. Don't worry. Universal control doesn't suspect a thing. To it, this appears to be a simple video broadcast. So you're... Miyuki Inaba? Also known as Tomi Kisaragi. Just like you. Please tell me, what is all this? What's going on? I would like information as well. Trust me. Well, you're me, right? I won't get anywhere if I can't even trust myself. I was shifted to the orbiting command ship. Command ship? For the second phase of the Interstellar Development Project. It's an artificial satellite that presides over terraforming. Terraforming? The very ground you stand on is proof. The second phase was a resounding success. No way! So the D-forces were used to develop land? Originally, yes. They were designed as heavy machinery for that purpose. You mean, it's really true? We're not on planet Earth. Huh? I've seen it with my own eyes. The whole city's less than 30 kilometers long. I thought it was on a spaceship, though. Unbelievable. What about the other countries I'd been investigating? Universal control alters the information you receive. It does whatever's necessary to make things appear consistent. Shukun is telling the truth. From here? I can see the entirety of the residential ward system. All of the terminal controls, too. You're able to control the satellite from your Sentinel? It does have some limitations, of course. But it is possible. Because... I'm Tomi Kisaragi. Huh? She's the one who designed the second phase of interstellar development. She was a terraforming researcher. Watch this log of hers. February 8th, 2188. Continuing my report from yesterday. I ran the simulation. This was our 25th terraforming attempt. We believe the planet is a Type 57B. In order to reach a habitable state for humanity, 
The process took 1,800 years. A bit longer than hoped. No further issues up to this point. Oh, and I almost forgot. At Professor Morimura's suggestion, I updated the system on the command ship. It's set to monitor the final phase. Surface facilities. Before any harm may come to these facilities, it will determine whether the final phase needs to be redone. As the professor always says, it can't hurt to be safe. Work has been coming along well, but I honestly can't wait to return to the surface. Uh, what was that? A log from Tony Kisaragi in the year 2188. She said some curious things. Like redoing the final phase. You heard correctly. There's no turning back. Well, what now? The command ship will fall below the horizon soon. We'll be disconnected for quite a while. Are there any measures we can take? Yes. But I believe there's only one way through this. And what's that? Universal control. It needs to be altered. And the only ones who can do that... ...are all of you. Trust in me. And get into the Sentinels. Easy. Take your time. Do you know where you are? Do you know what year it is? Surveillance footage? That's right. I saw something important. I can't remember. Maybe I should go look again. It was in Shikishima's underground facility in 2105. I just need to get to the gate. They said the gate's been sealed, but what if it's a lie? A way to try and keep me here. <sighs> I need to go back. You can't time travel right now. But I need to fix the Sentinels before the invasion begins. You can't stop me. I need to go after him. I'm not trying to stop you. We just can't use the gate right now. Take it easy, all right? Are you all right? Who are you? Hmm. Miss Morimura, are you still overworking her? I've had no choice. And you are? Rinya Goto, a second year, like you. I've been assigned to offer you support. <sighs> Where are you going? Surveillance footage? Oh, I saw something important. Wouldn't work. What are you doing? Morimura. I locked the gate. You won't be able to use it. I knew it. It was you. You disabled the gates, not 426. Stop being ridiculous. You need to take your pills. I won't let those damn mind-controlling pills screw with my head anymore! Who told you that? I saw it for myself. 
You're trying to mess with both me and Iori Fuyusaka's heads. She's getting worse. The code that infected the Sentinels in 2064. It separates the nanomachines from the rest of your brain. Your memories will keep disappearing. Those pills you've been taking, they inhibit that separation. They try to preserve the link. But its effectiveness has been gradually decreasing. No, I won't believe anything you say! Where's Renya Goto? Are you screwing him up, too? It was you, you know. <gasps> you were the cause of the infection. You inserted the code that 426 created. No. Just more lies. It's true. Goto... You were conspiring with Morimura this whole time? I've told you the truth a number of times. But you weren't able to accept it. You couldn't hold on to the memory. That's a lie. You messed me up with those pills. You made me confused. It's all there. You just have to remember. The code that infected the Sentinels. DD-426. You were the one that gave it to Sekigahara. You're lying. Mr. Ida. For you to ask for me personally? I can't tell you how happy it made me. I've been waiting. I need you to look at this. An inner Lasseter update? Code DD426. The nanomachines within you. There is a flaw in the program. It is inhibiting you from unlocking the full extent of their power. But there exists a code to fix it. A flaw? If we implement this, the Sentinel's capabilities will increase greatly. Mori Morrison, however, does not agree. Why? She believes the Sentinels are more than capable as they are. Ugh. Why is she like that? She's always going against you, Mr. Ida. If only everyone was as understanding as you. I want us to give this code a try. It'll be our little secret, of course. And then, Morimura-san will see who was right. All you have to do is put this code into the Sentinel. Okay, I'll do it. An improvement to the Sentinel, huh? Ryoko-san, what was Ida talking to you about? Nothing that concerns you. Guess I'm still just some kid that lives nearby, huh? Akon. <sighs> A fourth wave is approaching. We need to get ready. Put DD-426 into number 14. Or... I'll put it into number 15. Akun Sentinel. Mr. Ida's right. And now, Akun will know it too. Do you remember? After you shifted, you went missing. It took a long time to get you back. When we finally did, your condition was already terminal. We've been able to keep it at bay with the medication, but the destruction of your memories has already begun. For you, we tried to reinforce your memories with nanomachines, but it hasn't gone well. 
We thought if we let you roam free, that your memories would stabilize. However, your memories kept failing. It only made you become further detached from reality. Even still, it is imperative that you remember. Only you can clear the infection within the Sentinels. Because only you know the password. We don't have much time. Please, you must remember. Stop! It's all my fault. It can't be. It's just... lies. You're awake. Who are you? Try and remember. Akon? That's right. I... I can't remember my name. Ryoko Shinonome. Is that my name? It doesn't sound familiar. Oh, oh right. I need to find... What was I looking for again? I can't remember. You don't have to anymore. You don't have to look for anything, Ryoko-san. More importantly, how are you feeling? I feel... good. Refreshed. Peaceful, even. <sighs> Maybe it's just not possible. The nanomachines linked to her memory have all separated. She barely has any memories left. <sighs> the memories you implanted in her. What are they? We did the same for all of you. When you were connected to the learning devices, you gained the knowledge needed to control the Sentinels and the Gates. Those memories were backed up in case there was an accident. So she has her memories of what happened before the incident? No, not all of them. We only backed up those which pertain to learning. So all she knows is how to control the Sentinel. Ryoko-san. The password to remove the infection. Gone, along with the rest of her memories. We can no longer rely on the Sentinels. So that's it? You're giving up? There is still one way to use the Sentinels. No. A further exposure to the infection. And there's no guarantee you'll survive. He's not talking about himself. After everything you've taken from her, it still isn't enough. I won't let you put her in the Sentinel. No. No, Akun. Sentinel number 14. It was made just for me, by Mr. Ida. It's my Sentinel. Ryoko-san. I won't let anyone else fight for me. she have gone? Mm. Forget her. I need to find Nachan. I should check with Sekigahara if there's been any progress. A s Erika Aiba is a robot? Or, more accurately, a criminal by the name of Juro Izumi who has no physical body of his own. He wanted to do something to me. Something that involved shooting me up with nanomachines. The Kisaragi involved in the bathroom incident. It was really just a robot built to look like her. 
Then that robot got damaged and was disposed of in the old school building. And now the robot's brain is in Aiba's body. How many days has it been since Nachan went missing? I was told she'd be able to find food, but I'm worried about her. I should hurry and get to the old building. Sekigahara is there. But Anyone there? Are you in here? Where is he? He said he was gonna be hiding around here. Maybe he's still looking for her. Or maybe he got caught. We are here. Sekigahara, what happened? The nanomachine separation inside the brain is progressing. What does that mean? He is in the same condition as Ryoko Shinonome. <gasps> um... Hey. I still have my memory. I just ran out of my pills. Don't mind me. You were searching for Natsuno Minami. We've determined her location. She's in Sector 3. What? Miura? It is only speculation. But there is a high probability that she is there. Okay, great! Let's go get her! Oh, wait. Sekigahara. Go without me. I just needed to tell you. Besides, the black suits are only after me now. It'd be bad if they think you're my accomplice. Better to avoid being seen together at all. Come over here. What is it? What is this thing? Take it with you. I don't know how to use it. You'll need it to save Minami. <sighs> I need to ask you a favor in return. Miura is carrying a message for me. If I were to ever lose my memory, I need you to show me that message. Will you be okay by yourself? Myself is just about all I can handle. I'm sure Shinonome's medicine is in the nurse's office. Miura seems to be in a hurry. Please, go with him. So? Where is Nachon? Southeast, 3.2 kilometers. There is an unusual concentration of androids. Great. More of those creepy ass robots. They must have found something. Something? You mean Nachon? This unit possesses no attack capabilities. It is up to you. I know. I won't fail. I'm ready. Lead the way. Come in here. But if I take even one step outside, they'll attack. Ever since I got here, they just keep on coming. I ate my last can of food yesterday. And now the soda I was taking sips from is empty, too. Oh, 
What should I do? Am I going to die here without anyone knowing? Use a freaking gun. You did well. No way. Yuki chan? No chan! I'm so glad you're okay. Yuki chan! I finally found you. You're safe now, alright? I know. But why are you here, Yuki chan? I'd come find you anywhere, not chan. Even if I have to cross time and space to do it. Oh, Yuki-chan! The Kimbolar's magnetic shield is still active. BJ! It is why the androids could not approach. You came back for me! Of course. Smell talk must come later. There are four androids approaching. Let's go. No matter what comes our way, I will protect you with everything I have. <laughs> this should be a good spot, right? The river's nice and wide. Plus, no one else is around. It shouldn't be a problem if the Sentinel pops up here. Are you going to summon it right now? Perhaps we should wait until nightfall. Well, we're going to send it right back, aren't we? If it's only for a second, then we should be fine. I want to change the registered pilot of Sentinel number 17. To you, Matsuno. Wait, right here? Why? I was previously using Miura's ID. However, the ownership of the ID returned to him. It's because I operated Sentinel number 19. I can no longer pilot a Sentinel. In order to shift to the Sentinel, it must receive a new pilot. But this change comes with a price. It will reset the Sentinel's stored memory. Wait, that's not good. Then, what do we do? We'll transfer all data logs to me. If it's done at the same time we change the registered pilot, I should be able to secure the log data. Good thinking, BJ. Pronounce your own. From now on, Sentinel number 17 will be. Right, right, no problem. I'll be the one who pilots the robot. And I'll fight together with my pal, BJ. As long as Nachan isn't in any danger. Sentinel number 17 will protect Nachan. If anything, I should be the one fighting. There is another Sentinel for you. What did you say? You must work together. And survive. You know it. Both processes must be performed concurrently. Now to know. It's time to activate. Okay. do that huh? it it disappeared does that mean it worked BJ BJ you okay buddy say something 
He's no longer with us. What? BJ was the only one who could retrieve the log data. But the storage capacity on a scout unit like that is limited. He couldn't store both the log data and his own AI data. So in order to make room for the logs, he deleted himself. No. No, you're wrong. He's just fooling around. Come on. Wake up, BJ. BJ. Idea. You can choose, Miwako. Is something wrong with Sami-chan? First you helped me look for that record. Now this. I feel like you've been extra nice to me lately. Oh, come on. Don't overthink it. I, I just figured, you know, you know all the best places to go. Hmm. Are you sure? Huh? Are you sure it's okay for me to decide? Uh, of course. In that case... You cool with that, Iori? Yes. Is that okay? Sure. What do you feel like today, Miwa-chan? You're about to find out. Kaya? I thought those places didn't open till late. They don't, but you can still order yakitori for takeout. I've been wanting to try it forever. It's so good. Whoa, you're right. It's hot off the grill and charred just right. What is this, a festival? Feels weird to walk around with this. <laughs> You're right. People are giving us looks. They say high school girls can get away with anything. But this is embarrassing. Just try a bite, Sami chan Mmm. <sighs> Whoa, that is good! Mmm. I love the sauce. Then, now that that's taken care of, do you have something to tell us, Iori-chan? Huh? Don't think we can't tell. What are you guys talking about? Come on, spill the beans. I thought we were friends, Iori-chan. Are you not going to tell us what happened with your crush? We have a right to know! Did you at least get his name? Don't tell me. You just ran up to him and confessed. Uh... His name is... A. Sekigahara. Sekigahara? Of all people. You know him, Usami-chan? Well, uh... Let's just say you should stay away from that guy. Why? He's not a normal high school kid. He's involved in some shady business. I... I know our ways of life are worlds apart. Uh, it may be dangerous. It may be stupid. But I can't stop how I feel. Yuri. Fuyusaka. Huh? Sekigahara-kun! Come with me. What? But... You. What do you want with Yori? Tell me, Kisaragi. There's no time to explain. Just come. Please, Fuyusaka. <sighs> Iori-chan. Follow your heart. If you need to go, then go! R right. The 
you still have those dreams? Huh? The premonitions you told me about. Yes. They're not actually premonitions. They're the memories of Chihiro Morimura. Our teacher? You received them in a memory transplant. <sighs> no way. Future technology does have that capability. You mean, Miss Morimura is from the future? Correct. Just as you saw in your dreams. If that's true, are Amiguchi-kun and Karabe-kun the same? Karabe? You're acquainted with Tamao-san? Tamao? No, I meant Juro Karabe from my class. Juro? So that's it. Why did I have a memory transplant? If I had to guess, no. It's better you hear it from her directly. From Miss Morimura? We'll be seeing her soon. She's at the park? Hey, wait! Looks like we got here first. Let's wait here. Hmm. What is it? Um... Hey, Sekigahara-kun. Would you mind if I called you... A-kun? If that's what you want. Just like you. Right here in Ashitaba City. Well, 80 years into the future, that is. You saw it, right? The wreckage. It'll happen here any day now. Just as you saw in your dreams. This town will come under attack by the Daimos. If those dreams were Miss Morimura's memories, that's why you both came here, right? To fight the Kaiju. Not Morimura. Not anymore. At this point, it's up to us. Us? The compatible ones. Those capable of altering this world. You're one of them. But... This world is beyond saving. Huh? Would you like to come with me? We can go back 16 years and try again. <gasps> the city may go down, but it won't take us with it. 16 more years should be enough time to prepare. We'll win next time. Would you like to come with me? We can go back 16 years and try again. <gasps> the city may go down, but it won't take us with it. Sixteen more years should be enough time to prepare. We'll win next time. What about Miwa-chan? She's still here. And so are my parents. What would happen to them? They'll be attacked by the Daimos, and that'll be it. But your parents aren't real. <gasps> Chihiro Morimura came here from Sector 1. You're no different. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> They're my family. If you decide to stay here, you'll perish along with them. <sighs> I don't have a choice, do I? In that case, I'll do it. Just like in my dreams. I'll fight and protect everyone. And how do you plan on doing that? Um. Juro has no memory of what happened. But I expect you'll have his help. You mean Kurabe-kun? What about you? Won't you be fighting too? Ryoko-san and I... 
We don't have much time left. I can't afford to stay around. Oh. That's the kind of guy I am. I don't deserve your love. Do you get it now? Aikun. <sighs> um. Well. You know what? I'll go check if Miss Morimura is here yet. <sighs> For Yusaka san. She looks just like in my dreams. Explain. Why did you bring her here? To expose your secrets. She has a right to know. Miss Morimura. Hmm. Go on. Tell her. <sighs> Miss Morimura. Go on. <sighs> Is it true? Are my dreams really your memories? <sighs> Why would you do such a thing? If you're not gonna talk, I'll do it. You wanted to write your memories and personality onto Fuyusaka, right? So you could someday take over. What? She was trying to assume your identity. Fine. I'll explain. That was my intention. But things have changed. Oh? Operation Aegis is all we have left. So then... What's going to happen to me? Well, I hadn't gotten to the final step. You'll continue on as Iori Fuyusaka. You do carry my memories within you. But even that process was left incomplete. Juro made sure of it. Thanks to him, my memories are nothing but dreams to you. You mean... the Kurabe-kun I saw in my dreams? 426. Did you perform a memory transplant on him, too? No. I have nothing to do with his current state. If it were up to me, I would have changed him back into the old Izumi-kun. Oh, your memories just hit me. I understand how you feel. <sighs> Is that why you transplanted the memories of Tamao Kurabe? It can't be. Tell me your real objective. She's not lying about her feelings. I can tell. Yes, I transplanted memories into Tamao Kurabe and Shu Amiguchi. I had to deliver on a promise I made. But there has to be a reason they were compatible. That's what I need to know. That's why I called you here. <sighs> Tell me. The truth is, I am no longer human. <sighs> when the reset occurred, the world that I was in was taken over. At that time, the real me died. Then what are you now? An illusion produced by universal control. That's all that's left of me. You're an illusion? I, I don't understand. How did that happen? Isn't Sector Zero supposed to prevent that? Going there allows you to escape to the next world. The concept of living through a reset is something of a misunderstanding. In short, it's not possible. Sector Zero is unique. Going there is not akin to a typical sector shift. Instead, it scanned me in as data. And with that data, Universal Control did its work. It created a perfect replica of me in the next world. So that's what a loop really is. There are 15 humans capable of carrying out the plan. What plan? The plan made in the year 2188 to continue the species. But I'm no longer a part. I'm nothing but a doll held captive in the five sectors. I'm incapable of fulfilling my mission. 
So you turn to the version of you who was born into this world, Iori Fuyusaka. In time, she and you would be one and the same. That's how you plan to reclaim your humanity. Sekigahara-kun, I gather you intended to make use of Sector Zero as well. You would be correct. And you planned to put a stop to Operation Aegis, didn't you? Yes. By killing you. Huh? Are you going to shoot me right here and now? You can't do that! <laughs> if Operation Aegis were put into motion, this world would be cut off from universal control. What would become of you then? Data stored in Sector Zero can function independently of UC. In other words, you'll continue to live, human or not. So that's the way it is. Ryoko-san and I, we never had a way out in the first place. program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large unidentified object has crash landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumicho, destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. all of a sudden and then you pull me away to a place like this stay still huh what um uh, um i'm not ready for this found it Odd place to be shot. Whoa. What is that? An activation switch. It's used to call your sentinel. Don't move. That should do it. If what 426 said is true, that's all I need to do. I registered my sentinel. Sentinel number 15. It's a robot used to fight the Daimos. It was mine, but it's in better hands with you. It really was worthless in the end. Don't say that. Fuyusaka, I... Huh? Never mind. It's nothing. Just forget what Morimura said, all right? Believe in yourself. Girl. But now, I'm a schoolgirl with a giant robot! Put it 
like that, maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. Still, though... I just... I want to make sure you're gonna be safe, Kisaragi. Jeez, why do you sound so serious all of a sudden? If you're going back, then I'm coming with you. <sighs> I got something I gotta do. Just wait right here a sec. Oh, sure. That big robot. Well, the Sentinel. If I could just pilot that thing. If this crazy loop does eventually become reality, maybe I could at least beat down a couple kaiju. Oh, Ogata-kun! What's wrong? Okino's here. Looks like it worked. Get out of my way. Just you and me, Tsukasa Okino. Can't run this time. Uh. Last time, I got out of this place by chasing him. Yama? Hey, what's wrong? <clears throat> Can't move, huh? Over here, hurry! She's more badass than I am. That's why I gotta break him. I... I... They're here again.
set off here. But the SIU building is still a little further ahead. That's okay. This thing will stick out if we bring it too close. Yeah, you're right. In that case, I'll lead you the rest of the way. Let's go. I gathered some information from Natsuno's unit, and I came across some interesting details. Apparently, I had accepted a particular job to assassinate Chihiro Morimura. Iori Fuyusaka. Despite having lost my memories, she continues to help me with an open heart. I just... I'm not sure how to reciprocate. Yuki Takamiya. In order to protect Natsuno Minami, she had no choice but to cooperate with the SIU. She says she knows who issues orders to the black suits. Apparently, it's Ida. Let's head to the top of this overpass. We can get a good view of the SIU building from up there. Wanna go check it out? Yeah. Which one's the SIU building? See that over there? It's the building next to the police station. Which floor? Top. Got it. I'll take it from here. You're staying behind. Like hell I am. All you're gonna do is slow me down. Unless you want to take a straight bullet to the head. But I don't think you do. H hang on a second. Someone's sending out orders to me in the black suits. I'm not sure who, though. But the orders are coming from the SIU building. I thought you said it was Ida. He's... dead. I'm pretty sure Shinonome shot him. Uh, I suppose I'll find out when I get there. Come in. You've been using the drone to monitor us, haven't you? I'm nothing if not thorough. It might interest you to know that I have a guest with me. <sighs> Miss Iori Fuyusaka. Now then, why don't you come by so we can talk? And hurry, I'd like to give you a proper welcome. survived being shot. You were an android this whole time. That's not true. I did die. I simply copied my memories onto this android, just in case something were to happen to me. You plan to perform another loop as an android? Don't be a fool. I've already saved my data to the evacuation area. So you're having the android do the dirty work? When it comes to making sure I end up in the next world, there's no one I trust to get the job done more than me. Release Fuyusaka. She has nothing to do with this. No. If anything, her existence poses a threat. And as it turns out, 
You have no intention of keeping our promise. You know I lost my memories. How do you expect me to keep a promise I don't remember? Perhaps this will ring a bell. So, how did it all go? Taking care of anyone standing in your way, I hope. Well, you can relax. Ryoko and I did what we needed on our end. We've already backed up your data. Next time when the world resets, you'll still have your memories intact. There's only one thing left for you to do. Obey Tetsuya Ida's orders. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Sounds like a real moron. He clearly has no clue what's going on. I see I'm left with no other choice. I'd long anticipated your betrayal. Besides, it's already too late. No matter what you do, this is the end for you. Once we arrive in the next world, I promise to take very good care of you all. Now you can die in this world with nothing to fear. No! Out of my way! Uh. Relax. You get to die first, Sekigahara. So you don't have to watch. Morimura. She abandoned the idea of starting over again. And she became obsessed with Operation Aegis. Don't you want to know why? What a pathetic attempt to cling on to your miserable life. What could you possibly know about Moimura's motives? You don't even remember who you are. Oh, I remember clearly. I received Miura back in Sector 3. You're the one who gave him to me. And I remember recording the footage you just played, too. I made sure to back up all my memories. Now I remember everything. Are you okay? No. This is bad. There's nowhere to run. The black suits are monitoring major streets. We're completely surrounded. <clears throat> you look like you're getting worse. Have you taken your pills? I'm all out. They weren't even helping anyway. <sighs> There's nothing I can do. I don't know how much longer I can deal with this. We can utilize Operation Aegis to protect this world. If we do, we'll be able to survive even if we fail. Though we won't have much of a world left. After I lose my memories, I imagine I'll come to you for help. When that time comes, give this to me. What are these numbers? They're for the message service. I use the one from this era. Understood. Operation Aegis. If we use the Aegis system, all the terminals will be sealed. Then the city will be cut off from universal control. There won't be any hope of restoring order at that point. That's why everyone disappears. We need to keep at least some of the terminals open. We can't. The enemy will target any open terminals. Then what? We give up on this world and try again next time? I'm afraid that isn't an option either. There won't be a next time. I had a look at the logs from 2188. I've discovered a way to link to the satellite. A satellite? It's not from this world. There's a satellite orbiting the real world. From it, I learned more about the mechanics of this world. 
And it turns out we don't get as many tries as we want. The stability of this area is at its breaking point. We can't fail again. If we do, the entire facility will be reset. And Sector Zero will be lost. Everything will crumble apart. That includes Sector Zero. What's Sector Zero? I know I've heard of it before. Seems like your symptoms are becoming more severe. All right, listen well. As you know, there are five different sectors. However, there exists one more unique sector. It doesn't take up any space, and there's no interior to see. That's Sector Zero. It's an evacuation site that's unaffected by loops. Normally, you can send your data there using the shifter. That's what allows you to continue if the world resets. That's right. Ida did say that was the way to escape to the next world. Yes, but this time... Sector Zero will cease to exist as well. We won't be able to loop again. This is our last chance. So without Sector Zero, the world won't be recreated? If the Aegis system is activated, yes. We'll still be here. Though we'll be left behind in a world of chaos. <sighs> if what you're saying is true, why keep it all a secret? Because... If what you're saying is true, why keep it all a secret? Because... Sekigahara-kun. Tell me... Why did you erase the logs? Because I had to. I couldn't let anyone find out about them. There's quite a lot that transpires in 2188. The Earth is a very different place. Do you want to know what happens? Humanity was wiped out by the nanomachine infection. And... It was all my fault. Sekigahara-kun! You're in bad shape. 
At this rate, you'll... Huh? Are you lost, little girl? What are you doing alone in a place like this? I guess it makes sense that you don't remember me. I was just a baby when we last saw each other, after all. There's only need for one, Chihiro Morimura. Y you're And that's me. Morimura said quite a bit before she died. If you're going to lie, at least put some effort into it. No matter. I'll simply ask Miss Fuyusaka here what she knows. After I finished you off, of course. I expected so much more from you, Sekigahara. In the end, you turned out to be nothing but a coward. Sector Zero. <laughs> That's where you backed up your data, right? A good precaution, but that isn't gonna save you. <sighs> Morimura gained access to the satellite of the real world. That's where she learned about the next reset. And that it's going to be different from any other. Satellite of the real world. It's not just this world at stake anymore. If we fail to defeat the Kaiju again, the real world will be impacted as well. That includes the facility that sends us back there. When the facility itself is recreated, there won't be a Sector Zero anymore. Whether we go with Operation Aegis or not, there won't be a next time. And no one will be able to loop again. Satellite. Tony, is this what you meant? It can't be. But... Satellite. Tony. Seki. Go Are you all right? <laughs> Ow. Guess you're okay. Fuyusaka. Eikun. Is it over? My past is. But as for our future, for our survival, this is only the beginning. Do you think, um, maybe this is the beginning of something else, too? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Senpai told me earlier, there's a second Juro Izumi from another world. He transferred his consciousness into an android. So that must have been what I saw. But still, why did it look just like my grandma when she was younger? <laughs> no. 
I remember now. You live inside me. That day at the shrine, you jumped out of that robot and possessed me. What do you think I am, a ghost? I had nowhere else to go. If it were up to me, I would have picked a more welcoming host. Tell me the truth. <laughs> you know... You know, we can't have you caught. Your memory needs... Let me try one more time. Morimura. <gasps> Chihiro Morimura. That's right. She's the one I saw in my dream. Excuse me. Uh, Karabikun. Is something wrong? You look pale. Tell me the truth. I'm actually Jiro Izumi, aren't I? The way I am now is... something you created. What's this all of a sudden? I get it now. The woman who keeps showing up in my dreams. The one I saw on Sumire Bridge. It's not Fuyusaka-san. It's you. Chihiro Morimura. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Have you been aware this whole time that Shibakun was inside of me? Or rather, Juro Izumi was. <gasps> you talk too much. You think you can just walk in here and screw everything up? I'm not afraid to shut your mouth. Kurabikun? If the woman from my dream is actually our teacher, then Tsukasa Okino must be real, too. <sighs> Where have I seen him before? <sighs> Kurabe-kun. That's right. There was a guy standing by the vending machines earlier. He looked just like Tsukasa Okino. Do you have a minute? Huh? Uh, hey, wait! Uh, Okino-kun! Uh... I knew it. You look just like him. Do you need me for something? I knew it. You look just... Do you need... Uh... You're Tsukasa Okino, right? You must be mistaken. You even sound like him. You were in that UFO with Juro Izumi, right? You're not making any sense. Sorry, but I don't have time for this. If you'll excuse me. Wait! The UFO wasn't the only time. I know I've met you somewhere else. That's right. I remember now. Prisoner E-426, face forward. The drug has been administered. The perp cannot fight back. Do not be alarmed. It is safe to enter. Prisoner E-426, look up while we're speaking to you. Or would you rather bear the brunt of the electric chair? So this man's the culprit? He's a murderer. He bombed Shikishima, killing countless people. We managed to catch him, but his identity is still unknown. Furthermore, his testimony makes no sense. That's why I've requested your assistance. The name's Onishi, 
I'm in charge of this investigation. I appreciate your help. Mr. Tsukasa Okino. <sighs> Tsukasa-kun. Take a good look at him. Do you know this man? No. I'm afraid I've never seen him before. All right, then. Your biometrics lead me to believe you're being honest with us. Why did you bring me here? Well, we used a truth serum on the guy. He started saying your name over and over. He also mentioned a student by the name of Chihiro Morimura. This is her photo. Do you recognize her? No. We'll be requesting her cooperation soon enough. But it'll have to wait until next week. She's currently out of the country. In any case, thank you for joining us today. I may ask for your presence again if any new info turns up. Of course. You are free to go. Follow the signs back to the waiting room. <sighs> Do not be alarmed. The perp cannot fight back. <sighs> Mr. Juro Izumi. Take a good look at him. Do you know this man? How would I? All I know is... he's a terrorist bomber. Well, we took a look at your DNA. The two of you are a perfect match. It was quite a surprise. What? There's a distinct possibility that one of you is a clone. That's ridiculous. What does he have to say about it? According to his testimony, he is, in fact, you from the future. As for his motive, he claims he had to commit this crime to prevent the emergence of Kaiju. Kaiju? Huh? Excuse me for a moment. What is it? We're in the middle of an investigation. <sighs> what? An evacuation order? It's on the news? Looks like he's awake. Perfect. I'm almost done. What's going on? Hey, what is this? Calm down, please. High blood pressure generates noise in the scan. Tsukasa Okino? I remember now. I was attacked out of nowhere. Sorry about that. It was the only way. This isn't the most welcoming place, is it? I can't imagine you would have come willingly. Yes, good. Keep your mind calm. You're Tsukasa Okino, aren't you? I saw you in my dream and... you got left behind. I knew there was something odd about you. But that dream of yours is even more surprising than I expected. Juro Izumi, shifting in cycles. There's only one person those memories could have come from. I'm glad I looked into this. To think he'd seek refuge within Juro himself. Do you know him? We call him 426. As of now, he exists as sheer consciousness. That is to say, he lives in your injected nanomachines. At some point, he got in and took over the system area. Go ahead and ask him yourself. Ugh. Shippakun. So this is the guy. He's not quite what I imagined. Don't be deceived. He can alter his appearance however he pleases. You guys can see him? 
He's under my control now. He can't hurt you anymore. Jeez, Juro. Why you gotta be so obtuse? Tell us the purpose of your disguise. He's trying to take over my mind. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not the one who wanted that. Chihiro Morimura is. Our teacher? She wanted to transplant my memory backups into you. Whatever she could do to match your personality with mine. But Tamao Kurabe didn't like the idea. She created a new personality. The one you have now. But you were using videotapes to alter my memories. Yeah, well, the backups weren't meshing with your simulated personality. You almost had a breakdown, man. So I decided to turn him into something a little more concrete. Something your current self would understand. You should thank me for saving your ass. Somehow I find that hard to believe. Why did you try to help me? Well, if Morimura's plan did work out, there'd just be another copy of me running around. Besides, I don't want to be left watching over your unstable mess. I won't tolerate being used any longer. I'm sick of it. 426. For better or worse, she's given up on the Sentinel Project. Her interest in Juro Karabe has waned. But the Sentinel Project is the only option we have. Wrong. Sentinels can't save us alone. Then what can? You're talking as if you know the answer. I do. I've found an effective means for our survival. Would you like to hear it? What we call the UFO? I know who programmed it. It was a certain someone named Tsukasa Okino, back in 2188. 2188? It's hard to believe from looking at you now. But he was quite the sloppy programmer. When he designed the environment management system, he borrowed a portion of it from something else. That particular portion contains the D code. It's what's summoning the kaiju. That part of the code was never supposed to be accessed. Well, well, it was. Where was this code reused from? It was a little outdated, even for its time. But it's a little sim game based on mighty kaiju daimos. A daimos game? You're telling me a video game has control over the automated factories? That's how the kaiju are being produced? Where do you think the name Dinos came from? It's not a coincidence, you know. Up until now, we've been forced to play a game we can't win. But just imagine. What if we gained access to the greater system? We've had limited control over it so far. If we fix that, we'll be able to fight on an equal playing field. Think about it. Each time we destroy an enemy, we'll get some kind of meta prize. Like scoring points. With those, we can use the automated factories to strengthen our sentinels. Points, huh? Let's just call them meta chips for now. I still can't trust you. Fine, leave what you want. I don't need your help anymore. Sorry for wasting your time. Do you have any proof of your claims? Uh... There was a log on it, but it's gone. <sighs> You're putting the fate of humankind's last colony... in a video game? That's it, Hijiyama! Huh? You saw the log, didn't you? Hijiyama-kun... What was that log all about? You want to find out? Go help that idol who's stuck in orbit. Uh. Well, it's about that time. I need to get going. What? Don't worry. He can't do a thing. Maybe. But a guy like him probably planned ahead. Oh, give the boy a prize! You can be surprisingly sharp at times. Hijama. 
Tokino! Sorry. You're... Juro! Thank goodness. I made it in time. Yeah, thanks to me talking their ears off. Did you walk through Tar to get here? I'm doing exactly as you told me. Foul-mouthed cat. Did you say... cat? Don't worry about erasing his memory. What? But then... What are you talking about? Let's go. Relax. I won't erase your memories either. So it's her. She's the one who's been cooperating with him. Open the airlock. Hijiyama, respond please. I need you to open it. Can you hear me? Loud and clear, Yakushiji. Hijiyama, open the B2 airlock. I'm afraid I can't do that. <sighs> You're well aware of the reason. We're not infected. The vitals detected by your suit tell me otherwise. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Yakushiji. Fine, I may be infected. But my daughter isn't. Please check her. It's true. She's not showing any signs of infection just yet. So you'll let her in, right? Please! Unfortunately, she is likely still in the incubation period. Just save my daughter! I'm begging you! <sighs> it's not a risk we can afford to take. You and I, we're comrades, aren't we? We've been hell and back together. If it's the last thing I ask of you... Please, Hijiyama. I'm sorry, Yakushiji. You must understand. <sighs> Hijiyama, halfway through the airlock control. Major Izumi. <clears throat> Izumi-san. I had a feeling you would say that. So I've sealed the airlock on my end. I can't allow you to infect this colony. Don't jump to conclusions. I'm the one getting out. I'll grab a shuttle and retrieve his daughter. We'll give it 24 hours. If she does turn out to be infected, then we'll never return. Simple as that. <sighs> I can't accept this. It's an order, Hijiyama. Sorry, Yakushiji. You're going to have to leave your daughter with me. In the meantime, you'll need to return to the pod you came here in. Are you alright with that? I entrust you with her life. My daughter. <sighs> My Megumi. I'll protect her at all costs. I promise. No matter what happens, I intend to fulfill that promise. Just as you said. A kaiju attacked, like in that movie. So we'll do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. Our fate was sealed a long time ago. may be gone, but I do remember what it was about. And as long as you have my memories, I don't need to explain a thing, do I? Are you really okay with this? Of course not. I want in on the action too. 
And yet, you're entrusting it all to me. Even though they kind of turned you into a sissy, in the end, you're still Juro, just like me. I've accepted it. We've all got to play with the hands we're dealt. Fuyusaka's not going to be able to handle him alone. Go for it, Juro. What's going to happen to you? Piloting a Sentinel takes a hell of a lot of brain power. If your nano machines are focused on that, there won't be much processing power left. In other words, I won't be able to talk to you anymore. But you've got my memories, right? You know what needs to be done. The rest is up to you. You're right. I'll do it. I guess I'll be going then. Right. Put your game face on, Juro. We've taken turns for the last time. Try not to get a game over. Sentinel number 13. Activate. I'm back. Juro. What should I make for dinner? I think we have some fish. I think Juro would like some fish. I'll grill some mackerel. Oh, and simmer some taro. And done. Something smells good. Awake. Just in time for dinner. Am I... Juro Izumi? What? Oh. Are you saying... Do you remember me? You knew about this? That these dreams are really his memories? Please, you have to tell me. You know something, don't you? Please, tell me. Oh. His memories haven't returned yet. Is what Fluffy's been doing really working? I hope so. You're... You're Juro Kurabe. Why are you saying that? It's all I can say. I made a promise to Tamao-san. My grandma? Please, don't ask me anything else. I won't be able to continue staying here if you do. <sighs> I don't understand. Juro. Megumi-san, so this is where you went. <sighs> you were with Juro earlier. Hmm. I suppose this is technically the first time we've met. I'm Tamal Karabe. You are crying. Poor thing. Well, what do you want? I know you have feelings for Juro. What does that have to do with anything? You desire to be by his side, do you not? Oh, 
Well, of course I do. Then you will do just that. I'll make the arrangements. What? However, I have two conditions. First, you will treat him as Chiro Karabe. Huh? You must not tell him anything about the future. Or about himself. But why? It's the only way to keep him safe. I don't understand. Can you do it? Can you treat him only as Juro Karabe? Well, I... My other condition. If he starts to remember he is Juro Izumi, you must tell me immediately. But he is. Why would that be bad? It would be dangerous if he became Juro Izumi. Very dangerous. The reasons are unimportant. If you agree to these two conditions, you can live with him. <sighs> what will you do? But he's not Juro Karabe. He's not. I see. That is unfortunate. But wait! I accept. How wonderful. Here. These documents make it legal for you to live with him. A rental agreement? I'll tell Morimura-san of our arrangement myself. Please, go to Juro now. Oh. Thank you. Fluffy, can nobody else see you? You've been living at the Karabe house. Oh, yes. Has there been any change? Has he said anything strange? Any confusion about being Juro Izumi? What makes you ask that? It sounds like you know something. Don't tell me. You know something? Excuse me. Oh. Karabe-kun. Is something wrong? You look pale. Tell me the truth. I'm actually Juro Izumi, aren't I? The way I am now is... something you created. What's this all of a sudden? I get it now. The woman who keeps showing up in my dreams. The one I saw on Sumire Bridge. It's not for yusaka san It's you. Chihiro Morimura. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Have you been aware this whole time? <gasps> Kurabe-kun? Juro! What was that about? Hmm. I don't know. Hey. Fluffy, you're talking to me here? Won't other people see? This is an emergency. Juro's been taken. What? That idiot. He got too close to some dangerous people. Dangerous? Those who use magic for their own means. You went there before. The abandoned factory in Higoromocho. 
they're going to alter his memories. You need to go there again. You need to rescue Juro. Damn it! He's getting too far. He's gone? I knew he wasn't real. No, it doesn't matter. Right now, Juro needs me. I'm on my way, Juro. Wait! Are you with him? You know Fluffy? Fluffy? Don't worry. He can make you better. <sighs> You're starting to recognize what's in your dreams, aren't you? Do you remember me? It's not exactly like that. I finally understand. These... The things I remember... They aren't from the Juro you know. No, that can't be. Why would you say that? The things I saw in my dreams. They're memories. And the only memory I have of you... ...is when I shot and killed you. <gasps> I was worried. I was so afraid that... ...that I'd hurt you again. Because I... Who are you? Is there really nothing left? There's no trace of him inside you? <laughs> no. I betrayed everyone. I betrayed Tony. It was all a lie. I... I'm such an idiot! Yakushiji. That cat... What was the point? Wait! Juro... ...he really is gone forever. Are you alright? You by yourself? I am. Are you by yourself too? There's someone coming. Can you stay and talk till then? Making a child wait all by herself. Of course. I'll stay here until they come get you. Where's your friends? Well, I have some at school. No, silly. I'm not talking about them. I mean, your friend that told you to update the decode. Huh? Hmm? What's wrong? You look like a scared kitten. Hold it right there. Who are you? Who ordered you to update the decode? Decode? Do you mean the Dimos code? Yep. I know it wasn't you. Tell me who it was. It was a cat. Huh? A fluffy black cat with a white-tipped tail. So you caught her? Renya Goto. You're late, Goto-kun. Did you know? Do you understand what you did to me? I sealed your powers as a witch. To fight the kaiju. That's what I was told. Witches and cats. Interesting story. I thought you'd be able to see through the ruse a bit more. Wanna know what you shot him with? It was nanomachines. They added code to the ones already in their bodies. The code expands the kaiju's capabilities. How strong it will allow them to become. We have no way of knowing. That can't be. The one behind all this. The one who manipulated you. It seems they are trying to take control of the decode. 
If they succeed, they will also have control of the Sentinel dock in the factory. In other words, we lose all our means of defense. Are you aware of who that cat is? No. That seems bad. He must have known this would happen. He had a plan. That's why he used the girl, so we couldn't trace it back to him. But that very cleverness is what proves it was him. So, who is he? No one you'd have heard of. He's a criminal from the future. A criminal? From the very beginning, it was all lies. I won't forgive him. Not ever. There you are. About time you got back. You lied to me. About everything. You seem mad. But I haven't lied to you. You're not a cat at all. I've been saying that from the beginning. You're a criminal from the future. I know you are. All that about ancient civilizations and curses. You've been playing me for a fool the whole time! I haven't been lying. There is an ancient civilization. This may look like the 20th century, but it's not. Humanity actually died out in the 22nd century. It's been millions of years since then. So, in reality, the 22nd century is an ancient civilization. So you're saying this isn't the real world? No, more lies! I won't be deceived again. I'm done being used! You convinced me to shoot my friends with this thing. And now you're in control of the Kaiju and the Sentinels. Was that your goal all along? To end humanity? I've already told you. This is a game. I'm only making preparations. A game where our lives are on the line? Not if things go the way I want them to. I can get you all out of here alive. <laughs> you shot me. Seriously? You've really turned into a dangerous girl. Although I guess that is my doing. Whose memories are in Juro? Ah, oh, right. That. Those are my memories, actually. <sighs> it's not my fault, though. You really think I'd believe your lies again? Oh, I don't imagine you would. You were using Juro, too, weren't you? It was not my intention. But in the end, that is what happened. You need to give up on trying to bring him back. By the way, I forgot to mention. You're the final witch. But you don't have to meet the same fate as the rest of them. Wait, what? Where is he? everyone into battle but 
not the only one who really deserves to die. Is me. Tomi. Forgive me. <laughs> to actually shoot yourself like that. It must have really been driving you mad. But don't worry. If you don't fight, there's no way you'll survive. You did what had to be done. I want to apologize about his memories. There were things that happened I didn't expect. But none of that matters to you. There's no excuse. I boasted about how I could bring him back. It may seem like I tricked you, but I really did all that I could. I had no ill intent. Well, maybe a little. I just wanted him to become the Juro of my world. I wanted to control his feelings of love. Almost like a parent to their child. I wanted my desires to become his own. I guess I hesitated once I saw the depth of your feelings. There was still some human left in me, after all. You might not believe me, but I really have become fond of you. Megumi Yakushiji. The days we spent together were surprisingly fun. It gave me an odd feeling. As if I were on holiday with a cheeky daughter. You left me some nice memories. And now it's up to all of you. I've made all the preparations I could. Since I was unable to hold up my end of our contract, this is goodbye. If our plan succeeds, I want you to live out the rest of your life with Juro. Take care, and good luck. Yakushiji. Juro. What happened? Uh. Did you shoot yourself in the stomach with that gun? Please, wait. Just hear me out. Ever since I last saw you, I've been thinking about the dreams I had. None of that matters now. I dream of myself inside the Sentinel. I've seen it over and over. I fight in the Sentinel. Taking down Kaiju after Kaiju. Struggling in pain. Fighting like some kind of possessed demon. Right arm destroyed. Damage immense. Pilot must cease control. I still have my left arm. Abnormality detected in life support. Emergency release of Sentinel pilot. Initiating. No! Cancel release! I'll continue to pilot. Override command. I won't let them destroy Megumi City. This place is home to all our memories. Life support limit reached. Emergency release procedure. Initiating. No! Cancel the release! I'm not done yet. The more I thought about it, the clearer it became. The only one who has experience piloting Sentinels is the Juro Izumi you know. These are his memories. In battle, he was always calling out someone's name. I didn't realize it at first, but... I know it now. It was your name. He was fighting for you. Juro... I'm not... <sighs> I'm not Juro Izumi anymore. But my feelings are the same. <sighs> Maybe it's because of his memories. But even so, none of that matters to me now. Because I... well... 
I love you. My feelings for you are just as strong and true as Izumi's. Do you not feel the same way? Thank you, but... Fluffy really was trying. Just like he said. He was trying to get his memories back. What do I... It's true that uh, I'm not... I may not be as strong as him. But I don't care. I will protect you. With everything that I have. No. <laughs> I'll never let you fight on your own again. I'll fight to protect you too, Juro. I wouldn't have it any other way. Does that mean... Yakushiji? Everything looks like it's made of gold. I remember the day the Karabe family took me in. I held Chihiro's hand, and there was a sunset just like this. Chihiro. I don't care who Chihiro says she is. She's still family. Takatoshi-san. You actually showed up? That sentinel belongs to us, doesn't it? Why wouldn't I show up? <sighs> so that's where it is, huh? Yeah. The sentinel's inside that building. Strange, isn't it? Pretty soon... All this will turn into a battleground. We'll be fighting in a place that's supposedly in the future. This is what we've been training for. Odd circumstances aside, it's an honor to fight using such incredible weapons. Takatoshi-san, if anything happens to me, could you look after Chihiro? Don't be stupid! Whenever you're in trouble, I'll always be there. And if it ever looks grim, I'll be the first to take a bullet for you. And don't get discouraged. No one's going to die. All right. I want you to show a little more spirit, Keitaro. Let's go. We're taking back our Sentinel. That's what I want to hear. Ah, there it is. Just how I remember it. 
Freeze! Another one? He's still alive. I'm using low power shots, but still. Feels like we've given these guys quite the punishment. I want to thank you, Takatoshi-san. I couldn't have recovered the Sentinel without your help. It's still a little too early to be thanking me. Right. Natsuno-san's already out there fighting. I'd better join her. Save some action for me, all right? I'll catch up to you soon. BJ. A different me from a different time. According to him, I should be able to activate the Sentinel now. Shikishima. Miss Murimura's death has left the Shikishima execs in disarray. Now they won't let me spearhead the Sentinel Project, as if I'm just a child. I doubt my opinion will weigh much in their discussions going forward. Miss Morimura, why did you have to die? Park, please. That was pretty quick, Gotokun. I checked the corpse at the police station. It was yours, Miss Morimura. There's no doubt about it. Is that so? You don't seem too shocked about your death. Well, it didn't exactly stop me. Here I am, safe and sound. I suppose that's true. This refers to the... So, what did the police say? The cause of death was a gunshot to the abdominal area. No bullet was found in the body. Though it's easy to imagine why. The murder weapon was likely from beyond this time, beyond material bullets. Estimated time of death is approximately 1900 hours. You were witnessed running off somewhere with a short-haired student. According to a pedestrian's eyewitness account, anyway. They found a witness. This era's police really did their due diligence. There should have been that drone tracking her movement. So, anything helpful in its footage? The timing couldn't have been worse. It looks like it was monitoring the government's movement at the time. So she wasn't even under surveillance. I see. Any thoughts as to our primary suspect? Who do you think did it? Well... An acquaintance of Miss Morimura, described as a short-haired male in a student uniform. Most likely A. Sekigahara. The witness statement matches the description of A. Sekigahara. It did seem like something was wrong with A. Sekigahara's memories. I wouldn't be surprised if he was our murderer. Though it raises the question of why he'd bother to lure her out. Surely a murderer's optimal scenario is to avoid being spotted at all. 
Well, maybe it wasn't premeditated. He could have killed her by accident. Well, he certainly is the type to brood over things. I can say he's not enough of an idiot to shoot someone on impulse. Who else could it be? That man with that... call sign? Some numerical name. Logically speaking, he would naturally be another potential suspect. He did attempt to eradicate all the compatibles. He's a dangerous individual, and he's still at large. All that's left of 426 is his consciousness. I don't think I could reliably predict his behavior. He's desperate enough to do anything. 426 certainly isn't above killing. If Ida-san were here, I'm sure he'd declare 426 our primary suspect. We know he killed at least four people. That's why I shot him dead in the end. If he resurrected himself as an android, maybe... That would give him a chance at revenge. As a motive, it sounds pretty clear-cut. So you believe 426 is the most likely suspect? Barring A. Sekigahara. Who else could it be? Aside from Miss Morimura and Ida-san, four others came here for refuge 16 years ago. By the time I'd started assisting Miss Morimura's efforts, they'd already lost their physical bodies. Fortunately, we were able to use the data stored in Sector Zero. This allowed us to meld their replicated consciousness with AI. As for how they lost their bodies in the first place, reportedly 426 is doing. He destroyed them all in one fell swoop. According to Ida-san's account, anyway. But if number 16 is to be believed, that's not what really happened. And Miss Morimura should be aware of that. I spoke with the pilot of Sentinel number 16. Back then, she gave Miss Morimura something nobody else would. The truth. Wait, what do you mean? Could you go over that again? Uh... Our defensive maneuvers failed. So we decided to stick to the plan. We all headed to the gate to escape. But there was an explosion while we were shifting. <sighs> From what I can tell, the Type 98 we were shifting in got attacked. But that's the last thing I remember. After that, nothing. But that means... Is that how your data was damaged? It wasn't some plot by 426 after all? Just... an explosion? We never did manage to completely reconstruct your data. I thought it was just that you didn't get converted in time, but... You were... You were all dead before the shift even happened. Itakun, you said he killed the four of them. I know you did. You said he sabotaged them, killed them. Given the chance, he certainly would have. You lied to me? He already tried to kill us all in the past. You know he'd have tried again if we left him alive. Killing him was the right call. No. That means... I... So you believe 426 is the most likely suspect? Barring A. Sekigahara, who else could it be? He did attempt to eradicate all... Miss Morimura, I have one more question. What is it? Regarding 426, would you say you had any particular feelings toward him? Feelings? Well, he was certainly a good friend. I felt like he really understood me. Well, used to, anyway. Where's this coming from? That doesn't make sense. 
According to number 18, or should I say, Tamao-san, I'd like to revisit something you just mentioned. About 426 killing at least four individuals. Do you really not remember? Remember what? You've read my files, I presume? I gathered quite a lot of material in the past. Most of it is rather outdated, including Ida-san's statement concerning those victims. In other words, your answer is objectively incorrect. Really? Well, can you blame me? Look at this body I'm stuck with. I'm bound to have some memories confused. If you have some comment on this form, then by all means. No. That's not what I meant. I had a hunch about Miss Morimura's feelings, and my discussion with Tamao-san only confirmed my suspicions. Kun. I'm sorry for this. I know it's sudden. I need to talk to you. Did something happen? It's about Mori Morrison. She's been transplanting 426's memories onto Juro Kun. I only just found out. 426? As in the escaped android? No, not that one. She's using the memory data of the man himself. It was saved during the shift. In other words, she's trying to use Juro to create another 426? I did my best to talk her down. She's letting me handle Juro-kun's treatment now. Still, I don't think she's given up on this. Why is she trying to bring back 426? Well, I've been giving her some advice about it. And I understand where she's coming from, but... Uh, Mori Morrison is in love with him. With 426? Maybe she always has been. That's why she wants him back as a human. But she has to know the risks. He's a dangerous man. True, but... That's not exactly what she's remembering. Besides... She's the one who killed him. That guilt is still eating at her. <sighs> Watch over Mori Morrison. And try to keep her away from Juro-kun if you can. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. I can barely take the idea of one 426, let alone two. So I was right. Miss Morimura did have feelings for someone. When Juro Izumi lost his memories, you aimed to use him to revive 426. Make one a vessel for the other. <laughs> one reason seems most likely. You harbored romantic feelings for him. Me? <laughs> With him? You're joking. That Chihiro Morimura was mind-hacked, remember? You said so yourself? My goodness, romantic feelings? For him? <laughs> no, God no. Not my cup of tea. If you recall, I suggested that Miss Morimura was mind-hacked. That idea was based on a certain piece of evidence I found. One particular log. What log? If you really are Miss Morimura, then you should already know. Two years before you were born, Ida-san extracted some information from 426 that in turn led to the discovery of the data log in question. 
So why again does this matter? You're about to find out. As for the log itself, it contains footage from the year 2188. It was found buried in the mainframe data during the analysis of 426. <sighs> you seem very disturbed by me seeing that file. So much so, in fact, that you ended up deleting all of your logs. Would you mind telling me why you did that? I don't know. I don't remember. Well, at the very least, its contents suggested a connection to 426. Or even that he had been manipulating Miss Morimura. The log contained a very interesting report. Apparently, Juro Izumi downloaded memories onto Chihiro Morimura's clone. 426 was the one who overwrote my memories? So what does that mean? What are you trying to say? Your Morimura and I are both 426? inconveniently revealed one of your secrets. One you were desperate to keep me away from. So you deleted it. That's my theory, anyway. This re Remember where this all began? It was the compatibility experiment. The one that produced you. Based off Miss Morimura's footage and your own admissions, I've completely misjudged the situation. All this time, I believed you were her. But even from the very beginning, you've been your own person. So, what are you saying? I'm not Chihiro Morimura? If I'm not a duplicate of Chihiro Morimura, then who exactly do you think I am? Chihiro You're Chihiro Morimura. Well, there you have it. No, not Miss Morimura, the teacher. Professor Chihiro Morimura. The one from the year 2188. And the central figure of Shikishima's interstellar development project. I'm 
Hiro-san. Chihiro-san. Look at that sunset. Just like it was back then. It's beautiful. I'm guessing you were monitoring me with a drone? I have one locked on to you, yes. Their target's changed. They're coming back this way. It's dangerous here. We need to get you to safety. Aw, don't tell me you're worried about me. How about you mind your own business? You already know how I feel. This is what I wanted. Still... More importantly, can you really afford to waste your time here? Or have you already given up? The invasion is still in its preliminary phase. I've got time. First, I need to get you somewhere safe. There are no safe places left. <sighs> At least, none left for us. We're not safe anywhere. But you know that well enough. You're just losing precious time. Go focus on the job you're supposed to be doing. <sighs> Understood. I'll go. You'll find it safer towards the river. If, hypothetically, you wanted to know. Wait. As long as we're both here, there's something I want to clear up. So, tell me. You were in love with Miss Morimura, weren't you? Oh. You said she was mind-hacked. But it was more about you being jealous, wasn't it? That's hardly... This may be our last chance to talk. Answer me. Uh. You... are correct. Is that what you wanted to hear? That I was driven by some cheap, naive impulse? That I... that I can't think about anything else? And that's why you brought back my memory, too. Isn't it? <sighs> you never cared how you managed to do it. You just wanted her back. So much. I'm glad. You really were a slave to your desires. That's the Renya Goto I remember. It means... I don't have to like you after all. Thank you. I think that's all I wanted to hear. Professor, I... You should go. After all, we still have our bet. Although it looks like I'm about to win it. You should go. Uh, 
I'll get back to the battle once Miwako's safe. Is... someone else here? Uh, of course not. Uh, never mind. The evacuation route's that way. Can I bring her, too? Hey! That's fine, just hurry up. First time here, but this suddenly makes me feel so nostalgic. Sunsets will do that, I find, regardless of time period. Yes, but this must be. Well, I suppose it must be one of those places. So, where am I going? I've rented an apartment under a false name. Can't be any worse than our last accommodations. As long as it's not rubble, I'll take it. My apologies. If it's any comfort, I'm certain nobody will find you there. Not Shikishima, and certainly not Miss Morimura. I suppose we have Ida-san to thank for all this. The funds and paperwork he prepared were invaluable. Tetsuya Ida. And he's still missing, is he? Yes. Let's go. Chihiro-san. <sighs> you think I'm the professor? That is what I said. You were Professor Chihiro Morimura, a major figure in Shikishima in the year 2188. Namely, the leader of its space initiative. What are you even talking about? Just some hypotheticals. A possible interpretation of the evidence I found. Okay, say I am the professor. Remember, Miss Morimura is the one who created me. You think that was her plan? She wanted a host for the professor and not herself? How would that make sense? Miss Morimura ran an experiment to grant her clone compatibility. She believed that you were synchronized to her. <sighs> she believed it was her own data she transmitted. But it was the other Chihiro Morimura in Sector Zero. And of course, you entered the world as a newborn, incapable of verbal communication. So Miss Morimura never realized her mistake. This is all speculation. Certainly, yes. But if I'm right, and you are the professor, I imagine you were in quite a panic yourself. All things considered, it was a staggering deviation from the original plan. What original plan? Among the logs from 2188, one of Tetsuya Ida's noted that he'd found an anomaly. Chihiro Morimura was set to undergo a memory transplant in the final phase. And the final phase, well, that would be us. I don't know where you think you're going with this. A bit of patience, please. There's a little more context I need to provide. The log from the future I saw first. That would be the comms log I found with my own ID. The first log I checked held some surprises. The author seemed to be an elderly Renya Goto. And the date of recording appeared to be 2188. I assumed it was some future version of myself. One that had time traveled into the far future. But now, I don't think that's the case. I believe it's the other way around. In other words, I myself am a clone of him. <sighs> I 
Every individual I saw in that log footage, they all created clones of themselves. Clones, huh? I did find a log that proves this point. What did you see? A comms log between you and Professor Takamiya. Her field is genetic engineering, I note. survivors of that colony, each with a clone established to be compatible, though they grew up in different eras, different worlds. And you, you aimed to replace your clone's memories with your own. That was your real plan. <sighs> right now, I imagine your biggest question is precisely how much of that log I've seen Am I close? <laughs> you do have a genius mind, but also the form of a child. I imagine it's harder than usual to hide your agitation. It's absolutely not... <sighs> now you're just trying to trick me? I'd say based on that log. Professors Takamiya and Morimura seem to know each other quite well. Maybe you'd know something about that. Of course not. Then perhaps instead, Sukasa Okino? <sighs> Being compatible, that makes one part of his identity clear. He's one of the 15 from the year 2188. So, any theories? Who was he in the year 2188? Care to guess? Stop it. No? Then allow me to clarify. That boy, Sukasa Okino, is Professor Chihiro Morimura's son. But not her child by personal conventional birth. The professor donated her egg cells as a young woman, in accordance with the policies on population control. No comment at this time? Their blood relation wasn't exactly obvious, until DNA testing on the clone revealed it. 
the professor was faced with the truth. He was her son, which naturally sparked an inconvenient surge of maternal instinct. <clears throat> However, Okino himself didn't think highly of the professor. He had his disagreements with the project staff, too. When it seemed like her end was near, the professor recorded him one final message. One last chance for him to know the truth. Stop! You saw that? But how? You'd need a biometric ID match to access that log. So you should only have been able to access your own. My logs and Okino's should have been locked off. Thank you, Professor Morimura. Uh, uh. Indeed, the files I could access were somewhat limited. Mostly company logs. Meeting reports, call transcripts, bureaucratic chaff. Barely anything in the way of your personal records. <sighs> then, how do you know what was in my logs? It's simple, really. That should do it for preparations. Now, let's see if the biometric authentication works. Did it go through? Looks like that got me past the initial barrier, at least. Now, with Miss Murimura's ID, I should be able to get into her logs. Maybe, if I check Miss Murimura's logs, I might find a clue why your biometric ID matches hers. she proved very helpful. She is Chihiro Morimura, a compatible version. If you really are Miss Morimura, then you should already know who Iori Fuyasaka is, because that would mean you hid her here in Sector 4. The plan was for the two newborns to grow up with their own separate lives. Ida-san's idea, presumably. Chihiro Morimura was planned to be placed in 2104, and Tetsuya Ida in 2024, yet neither could be found. I knew Renya Goto of Shikishima pretty well. You and he are very different. Except that you both make my life a lot harder. So, suppose I am the professor. Then what? I want to know the truth. I want to know the reasons behind all of this. But that seems unlikely. I imagine you're not inclined to tell me anything. And why is that? It'd be inconvenient for you if we had all the facts. Considering you're trying to eliminate us. <sighs> From the very beginning, you never intended for this world to survive.
That's gotta be Iori. Hey, Iori, what's going on? Iori-chan? They all appeared on this side out of nowhere. Just keep running. That's easy to say. But where are we even supposed to run? Sorry, I couldn't get you somewhere safer, but I'll handle this. Usami-chan? to do this. I'm gonna try something. Huh? Honestly. Goto-kun! I know you can see me! You've got a drone up, right? I need you here right now! Goto? You don't mean... Goto-kun! Renya Goto? Yup. So you know him too? There you are. Goto Senpai! Where did you come from? Chihiro san, why did you call for me? My senior ID can get me access to the higher level commands. But I still need the biometric authentication to get it started. So I'll need your help. Though, it's not a favor for me. I'm the one who's going to be helping all of you, in the end. Don't move. Are you... trying to shift from here? I need you to step away. the underground UFO. The Sector 4 mainframe. What are you trying to achieve? Maximum hypocrisy. Once I'm done here, your fight might get just a little easier. Get on the shifter already. a connection to the system. My senior credentials should take care of the rest. Thank you. I didn't think you'd come back for me. I'm shifting you back. Now, let's get started, shall we? All units fighting the kaiju. Can you hear me? the populace all at once. Readouts say 1.2 million people in Sector 4. They'll all be force shifted to the year 2025. As in Sector 3. To the year 2025? You're shifting over a million people? So you don't have to worry about any civilian casualties. That's all. Um, wait a minute, Chihiro! Initializing shift.
That should be everyone. Unbelievable. Absolutely ridiculous. Why am I doing this? I just have one favor to ask of you. A favor? Well, it's kind of complicated, but... I'm actually asking on behalf of someone else. A young man by the name of Okino. Tsukasa Okino? Again. Well, I think I finally found what we needed. The answer to our problem. What is it? I'd prefer to handle the introductions first, but... So, what can I do right now? I have to save everyone. And that means I need to stay at Okino's side. Well, I guess we're a bit early. The command ship's still behind the horizon. That means still about half an hour until they're in comms range. Now it's a waiting game. Go ahead and explain. Guess I owe you that much. You remember our talk about the decode? Something inside that inner Lossiter? It's the thing calling the Dimos, right? You got it. More specifically, the important part is its connections to three discrete points. One of those points is the command ship in orbit, which I'll show you here. From that ship, it extracts the data of the Dimos themselves. That data is used to manufacture them in the automated factories in Sector 1. Then the factory fresh Dimos are deployed to attack Universal Control. And that's how the decode works. So why do the attacks make people disappear? I might actually have the answer to that one. But, well, it'd be better if you heard it from her, the command ship. Huh? Hey, the stall is moving! Stop! Uh, it stopped? Is this doll some kind of enemy? Must have come from above ground. I'm definitely triggering the voice recognition, but... Looks like my operation authority has been revoked. My commands aren't enough to shut them down. They'll be back in action soon. Hey! Over here, too! Stop! This doesn't look good. You're telling me. We need to go. Something's off. What's wrong? That console. Looks like I can only use the controls from there. You stay here. I'll go set the timer. Hey! Stop! Okido! Damn it! Why me? Why only me? I have to get back now, or Okino might not. Someone, anyone. I need to find someone who knows how to time travel. I know what I saw. Just as I was shifting, I saw Okino. And the androids were after him. I need to get back and rescue him. Sekigahara would know. 
Keitaro's sentinel could also travel in time. Wait, that nurse would know as well. Okino was looking into that teacher. Maybe she knows something about time travel. If what Keitaro said is true, the Sentinel's capable of time travel. So if I can take it back from the government and Shikishima, maybe I can use it to save Okino. Crawling to him for help leaves a bad taste in my mouth, but... Desperate times call for desperate measures. I can't seem to find that teacher. Excuse me, miss. There's something I need to ask you. Uh... Sure. What's up? Um... You've been in the area for a while, right? Seen any suspicious characters? Sharp eyes, acting fishy? Yeah, right in front of... Uh... Uh... Never mind. I'm looking for a boy named Miura. He'd be wearing a school hat. Has he been around here? A school hat? Oh, you mean that middle schooler kid? You've seen him? Uh, sorry. I don't really know anything. But you might want to talk to one of our track members. Where would I find them? Around now, she'd probably be at the rest area. Understood. Thank you. I'm looking for a teacher named Morimura. Do you have any idea where she might be? Uh, you need to find Miss Morimura? I think she already went home for the day. Really? Of all time, she had to be gone during an emergency. I'll have to look somewhere else. I've actually got some stuff to do, so... My apologies. I appreciate the help. Do you have a moment? Uh, for what? I'm looking for a shady guy who looks like he might start a fight. Have you seen anyone like that around school? Uh, yeah. Really? I'm talking to him. Anyone else? Well, there's also Ogata-kun. <sighs> I'm looking for Miura. A boy with an old school hat. Any idea where I might find him? A school hat? You mean Natsuno's boyfriend? Natsuno? One of my friends in track has a boyfriend. And he always wears this super vintage-looking school hat. That's him. Do you know where he is? Hmm... He wasn't near the athletics building. I do remember something. Oh, I've seen him around the old school building. The old school building? So, the wooden schoolhouse? Thank you. Much appreciated. Is that all you need? Yes. Thank you. Okay now. What's wrong? Uh, um, this is for you. What's this? I really like you. What are you doing? Don't be crazy. I, I... Gotcha. Deja vu, huh? Isn't this where I confessed to Ninji Ogata, too? That seemed like it really got to you. 
I thought you might be feeling left out, so... You idiot! You thought it'd make me happy for a man to confess to me? Guess not, huh? here. with Sekigahara. Why do you have this? Who are you? Takatoshi-san. Let me take you. Let me take you to Okino's location. <sighs> he has been wounded by androids. His condition is critical. What? Who exactly are you? How do you know about Okino? Television broadcasts and command ship transmissions. Miyuki Inaba used them to inform me. Meltsuno, he will need it. Oh, sure. Here. What is this? A phaser. You will need a weapon to neutralize the androids. Some kind of future gun? I extracted it from the Shikishima Laboratory. It was designed based on data from the mainframe. Natsuno, please stay here. What? It will be dangerous. Okay, I'll have much time. <sighs> then let's move. Force is approaching Sector 4. So I'd like to share the Sentinel with you. I hid it in the ocean in Sector 5. It's the one I piloted. Sentinel number 12. If anything happens to me, you'll need access to it. So I made one last adjustment to your body on my own. The Sentinel activation switch is on your left forearm. said you were isolated. If you really are alive, 
If you're out there somewhere, then you're going to need a home to return to. It'd be a shame if it was gone. So, I'll fight to my last breath to save it. That's all the reason I need. Now, let's go! Sentinel number 12! Finally. I was wondering when you'd show up. What was that? I thought I heard Okino's voice. You did. It's me. Oh, you know. You can't see them, but I do still have legs. No ghosts here. So the scout was right. I'm still alive. Because we shared the Sentinel. You're the only one who I can communicate with. What can I do? How do I save you? I can't go back to that world anymore. I was cut off from it. To keep me alive. This was the answer, Hijiyama-kun. Remember what we talked about? The mystery process eating up 80% of the inner Lossiter's memory? Our hearing, vision, scent, touch, and taste. It was supplying sensory data, everything we ever perceived. It made everything in that world seem real. That was practically its highest priority function. Seem... real? You don't mean it was all fake? My home? The factory? The five sectors are not reality. Besides the 15 of us, every human we've ever known, they were created by universal control. That world is a simulated space, a massive, perfect illusion for us. None of it was real. These cockpits we're in right now? That is reality. My designs for the Sentinels never had cockpits at all. What kind of suicidal moron would get in a 35-meter weaponized metal suit? A single punch's recoil impact would hit the pilot like a train crash. But then the finished Sentinels had ways to get inside. I wasn't too familiar with the systems we'd pulled from the mainframe data. I figured it was just a spec I hadn't noticed at the time. But it wasn't even a cockpit at all. They're growth pods, meant to keep our bodies healthy. We were born inside these pods. We have never known life outside of them. Uh, if all that's true, how do we get out? I don't know if we can get out. But at least one thing's clear. If the Deimos invasion destroys the world we knew, then we will all die inside these pods. <laughs> Fat chance of that. You're shameless, shrewd, and infuriating. People like you don't die so easily. No matter what else may change, my duty is the same. I live in service of my country. And the people I love. Hijiyama-kun. I will not let you die. Hijiyama-kun. No matter how this ends, I will always be with you. Let's go. Originally my idea. 
The good Professor Morimura was only following my orders. So all of this was by design? Your design? Leaking the prototype nanomachinery to the black market? The catastrophic consequences? You're the one who exploited her. If you blame anyone, blame yourself. We were so close to losing Project Ark entirely. Now we must prioritize the project above all else. I'll finally have my second chance at life. You were planning on downloading yourself into a clone. A brave new Earth is waiting for me. I won't let you do this. What is Professor Morimura doing now? She's dead. By that hitman's hands, I presume. That's humanity. Self-destructive to the very end. Only a few survivors left now. I give them three days at most. My deepest condolences for your imminent death. Shut up, Construct. Your project is over. Unfortunately for you, the Ark has already set off. It's still within comms range. You don't have clearance. I refuse to let an AI control the future of humanity. Out of the survivors, the ones who would have clearance. So, suppose I am the professor. Then what? I want to know the truth. I want to know the reasons behind all of this. But that seems unlikely. I imagine you're not inclined to tell me anything. And why's that? It'd be inconvenient for you if we had all the facts. Considering you're trying to eliminate us. <sighs> From the very beginning, you never intended for this world to survive. You think I'm trying to destroy the world? I do. So you think I'm enabling the Kaiju now? Even though I've got more reason to hate them than any of you? That is true, at least. You're clearly not on the Kaiju's side. After all, they are a threat to your primary objective. Which would be to carry out the plan you formed in 2188. However, that plan may now be untenable. The situation has deviated too drastically. If Operation Aegis succeeds, a world reset will no longer be possible. This operation goes against Professor Morimura's agenda. She will stop at nothing to prevent it. <sighs> Recall when I brought you to the underground UFO. I believe you said something like, it was out of your hands. This is the mainframe of the UFO? Yes. Honestly, Okino-kun. You can't take anything else in life seriously. So why do you put so much time into all this? <sighs> Okino. Just talking to myself. More importantly, look at this mess. Something unpleasant must have happened here. Most likely. Shikishima android. Probably left here by Ida-san. They've all been shot. External damage suggests the weapon was a phaser. They're all out of commission. Too damaged to function. I see. Let's get started then. Is it really possible? I have a fairly comprehensive grasp of this system. This 
Abnormality all comes down to the decode, right? I should be able to get rid of it. Why would Miss Morimura push for Operation Aegis if this was an option all along? Well, you said it yourself. She's either being controlled by someone, or she could be trying to save herself. That's not right. Hold on. That file system hadn't even been analyzed yet. How did you gain access? I have a senior admin ID. Access privileges for the entire system. You somehow got access to an account that high level? Yes. I have my ways. This is no good. Sector 3's mainframe has been damaged in an attack. It's barely operational. I won't be able to process much here. Well, not much choice. I'll have to send direct instructions to the command ship. Command ship? The mothership in orbit. It can send commands directly to the UFO. Is it? An arc? Some grand design from the people of the future? Either that or a base of operations for an alien invasion. The comms channel to the command ship is cut off. Must be hiding somewhere beyond the horizon. Looks like about 35 minutes until the comms reconnect. But we don't have that long. Time to find another link. Will this fix cut off the Kaiju's attacks? It should be able to solve the problem at its core. However, we can't stop any commands that were already processed. That's out of my hands. Which means... We'll still have to deal with the Kaiju already generated. We don't know how many the factories have produced. If we could just verify their numbers... Hmm... We're going to need the Sentinels after all. That may be best. Operation Aegis is too much of a risk. In other words, the decode's activation is a blow you cannot recover from. No matter how you try to fix it, your plan is irreversibly impacted. The most direct fix would be eliminating the decode. Then, you would just restart the loop anew. That would revert the situation back to the original plan. Which is, in essence, your goal. You're overthinking this. In order to trigger a loop, you need them to destroy all the Sector's mainframes. And therein lies your goal. You want this world destroyed so the timeline can be reset. <sighs> but you have one major obstacle. And that's Operation Aegis. Aegis isn't just an ordinary defense system. It causes a terminal to seal itself off in self-defense, preventing anyone from using it to control the world. Once all the terminals are sealed off, we'll be severed from the mainframe, effectively preventing any further loop or extinction. <sighs> but if that happens, your plan is null and void. We'd be stuck in a loop where your goal was impossible. Fine then. Let's say all your wild speculation is correct. What do you plan to do about it? Let's backtrack a little bit. We discussed the suspect of Miss Morimura's murder. And you asked me who I think did it. If you actually are Professor Chihiro Morimura, then I believe you personally murdered Miss Morimura. Did I now? She was a staunch advocate of Operation Aegis. A thorn in your side, someone in the way of your reset. An interesting theory, if also an incorrect one. Believe me, I understand why you'd view me with hostility. Certainly Renya Goto was responsible for chasing you out of Newman. 
even if it was on Shikishima's behalf. A buyer simply eliminating liabilities. After that, you took the lead on Project Ark. Under Kengo Ogata's oversight. <sighs> Kengo Ogata, of course, being Ninji Ogata's father. And Shikishima's chairman, who recognized your talent. He passed away in 2187. His age caught up with him. But the other Kengo Ogata is perhaps more relevant. The one you created after his death using his memories. An AI construct. You were letting it control you. I was just getting advice. Dug that out of a log too? Yes. Renya Goto found that AI. The log was recorded in the colony after your death. Once your clone reaches 18 years of age, you set it so that she'd download your memories. <sighs> it's clear this project was not a selfish endeavor. I'm sure you felt a sense of duty to save humanity. But you were also trying to bring Kengo Ogata back to life. So Professor Morimura takes over Chihiro Morimura's clone. And presumably, Kengo Ogata would take over Nenji Ogata's clone. <sighs> That's why you're so intent on sticking to the plan. Certainly, from your perspective, Miss Morimura was expendable. She had to die. Her very survival endangered your ultimate goal. Well, that is a shame. This isn't ideal, but you know too much. Goodbye. Initiating meta-skill analysis. This shouldn't take too long. Whoa. I'll send you the data once it's ready. Uh, that would be great. But I must say, this is a surprise. Okino-kun really managed to push this through? Integrating this half-coded thing into the control system? Thank you. <gasps> no, well... Okino wanted to tell you that. Thank you. Okino-kun said that? He said the analysis wasn't complete yet. So he appreciates your help with all this. I see. To look at you, anyone might think you were just a child. But you must be a truly exceptional individual. The message was Okino's, but I'd like you to know I'm grateful as well. Now if you'll excuse me, I must return to the battle. <laughs> that boy. So he appreciates me, does he? That is a shame. This isn't ideal, but you know too much. Goodbye. <laughs> you cannot shoot me with that gun. So anyone who knows the truth of Aegis is a liability to you. And liabilities must be dealt with. Does that sum it up? If you recall, I specifically acquired this gun for your purposes. You had concerns about self-defense. I can guess what happens next. Now you're going to use it to shoot me. Perhaps I wasn't clear. For safety reasons, neither one of us can be shot with this gun. I configured it very specifically. As I suspected, this gun records the time of its last discharge. And that time looks to be a near match for Miss Morimura's estimated time of death. Which suggests... You use this gun to murder her. Now, on the day of the crime, you yourself were using the drone to keep tabs on Miss Morimura, weren't you? 
based off of your expenses for that day. I presume you took a taxi to the crime scene. How much do you have in that pocketbook? Were you just playing dumb this whole time? When did you realize? What gave away that I was the professor and not her? There was a specific moment. It was back when Miura found you here. You described Miura as an excellent design engineer. But the Miura of 2188 was the design engineer, not him. Did you dig that out of Renya Goto's log too? No. That I learned through Miura, the AI of Sentinel number 17. He also told me about the existence of the logs. So, what happens to me now? If you're not killing me, I assume you're at least locking me up? Considering what you did to Miss Morimura, I'm admittedly conflicted. But giving into my emotional reaction wouldn't solve anything. Vengeance isn't going to bring her back. So, with that in mind, I would rather choose the path that gets me closer to the truth. That is what I want now. To see what lies at the end of all this. To see what she never could. You told an obvious lie. You made it clear Juro Izumi was not your... cup of tea. Yet you and Izumi shared an intimate relationship in the year 2188. That was clear enough from all the evidence I found. Even the placement seemed intentional. You and Izumi, together in Sector 1. You died before you could set up the memory transplant. At that point, I can only assume, Izumi sympathized with you and helped carry out your vision. I can certainly understand Kengo Ogata's motive. He just wants to live again. But you... Why are you so intent on transplanting your memory? Because... There has to be a leader. Without someone to guide them, teams dissolve into fear, spite, resentment. It'd be the colony all over again. Hmm... I see. As I suspected. Your devotion to this goal is inspiring, in some ways. <sighs> Are you a gambling woman? I'd like to propose a bet. We'll leave the terminals alone for you. We won't let Aegis seal everything off. Your loop would still be viable. And in exchange? As it currently stands, It'd be impossible to revert to your original plan without some compromise. But consider this. Even this final phase won't truly be the end. We'll have plenty of struggles beyond it. Plenty more pain ahead of us. If we can prove to you that we will overcome that, if we prove to you that we can face the unknown, then are we not worthy to take up your cause, inheriting your goal? and seeing it through. You... make an interesting point. We can solve this problem ourselves. So my proposal is this. Let us fight our war. No sabotage. If we fail, then I could hardly object to a reset anyway. That's your bet? You don't stand a chance. Well... I suppose we'll see about that. Activated. Is anyone too compromised to keep fighting? We've barely had a moment to breathe. The girls may be pushing their limits. I'm still okay. I can keep fighting. There are three terminals remaining. We can protect two of them with Aegis. But we're on our own with the last terminal. How much longer do we need to hold out? Establish a connection with Miyuki Inaba. That's still ten hours off. Ten hours we don't have. But her plan is our last hope. Then we fight to the last, until we have nothing left. The Kaiju are heading for the next terminal.
Brace yourself, Keitaro. We are soldiers, and this is the moment we train for. Hours, days, it doesn't matter. We'll hold the line. Let's go. Shihiro-san. <laughs> You're listening, aren't you? If you're out there, please respond. <laughs> Chihiro-san. What is it now? You... You know a way to link up with the command ship. One that doesn't rely on its position, don't you? You're thinking of when I revised the decode. Right now, we need that shortcut. And this is where you reveal some new leverage over me. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what log you found this time. No. This time, I'm asking a favor. You have to be joking. You do realize the position I'm already in? I do. Even still, all I can do is beg. I just want us to have a chance. Idiotic. I lied to you, you know. Do you know which lie I'm talking about? Not this time. When I said I wasn't going to like you. Oh. You're an infuriating man, Renya Goto. Chihiro-san. Ready? Everyone, listen to me. We can communicate with the command ship out of range. I'm realigning the three surveillance satellites to their relay positions. We should be connected soon. However, the satellites have to move outside their preset tracks. They'll enter the gravity well and plummet to Earth. Your connection will only last until they hit the surface. You'll barely have any time to do this. Am I clear? Thank you. Honestly. Humans can be so irrational. Though, I guess... I might be the most irrational one here. If you actually manage to pull this off, then I expect you all to take responsibility. Chihiro. Good luck, big brother. Almost connected. This is your only chance. Initiating communication. Of course. 
Guess I'd better stay alive then. Wouldn't want to miss it. The D forces already have us surrounded. We're pulling out all the stops here, but still. You think we can last until tomorrow afternoon? I know we can. I won't give up. I'll find a way. You're right. No point waiting around and moping about it. If you want to win, you'll have to fight for it. And I'm not about to let you take the lead. I won't lose either. I'm not scared of them. Yeah? Atta girl. You just worked. The terminal's closed off. What's wrong, Ryoko? Are you alright? You're not hurt somewhere, are you? No. Just tired, that's all. Hey, hey, don't try to cozy up to Ryoko-san. She's not your girlfriend anymore. Wait, Gojo-senpai and Shinonome-senpai dated? I fail to see how that's relevant, Sekigahara. Uh, yes. For about half a year during middle school. We split before we graduated. But why? I don't remember. It was her idea, and so was the breakup. Though I couldn't tell you the reason. My guess is you were the reason. The point is, stop bothering Ryoko-san. Eikun! Wonder if Miss Morimura is watching from somewhere. Unfortunately, she's no longer with us. What? to be alive ourselves. I see. You're right. Anything could happen. Eikun, when this fight's over, let's go somewhere, okay? Just the two of us? We can go on your motorcycle, take a beach trip, or... or anything you want. Even if we get reborn as totally different people, I'd still find you again, Eikun. So... Then it's settled. I'll take you. That's a promise, okay? We need to be careful while we fight. We're doing a lot more collateral damage than I thought. But I guess it goes to show. If we think tactically with Guardians and EMPs, we'll gain more ground than just by attacking. True enough. Against Apsos units, I'd recommend at least two EMP-capable Sentinels in the strike team. We'll need flares equipped, too. They're important for stopping missile assaults, Izumi-kun. Good point, Shinonome-senpai. We need all the offense we can muster, so we can't waste it shooting down missiles. Okay. We can't afford to lose this. Hey, Jiyama-kun. I'm sorry I called you simple. You really are reliable. Always have been. Okino? Where's this coming from? I keep calculating and recalculating, and I always get the same result. I wish it was different, but... You deserve to know. I measured the rate of incoming kaiju, and... We can't win. There's zero chance of surviving until tomorrow. A physical impossibility. <gasps> We failed. It doesn't matter if we fight back. Our window is gone. It's over. If you don't want to tell the others, then... I understand. You understand nothing! Is that who you think I am? That I'll just give up simply because I'm told to? I'm not just fighting for my own survival. You know it's more than that! Hijiyama-kun. What an onslaught. It's unbelievable that we've lasted even this long. Duh, yes. Is Megumi Yakushiji-san all right? Well, I am, but... Why specifically me? I have to look out for you. And I'd never forgive myself if I couldn't repay your kindness. You're the Yaki Silvapon Angel. Uh, oh, I knew I recognized you! 
You're the Yakisoba Pound guy. Always wandering around school with one of them in your hand. Takatoshi-san, is this really how they know you here? I, uh, well, you <laughs> see, to protect the homeland. The hell with it. Yakisoba Pond is the food of the gods, and I'll never pretend otherwise.
Even if we got another chance somehow, our chances of winning wouldn't be any better. Even the one they called 426 couldn't have predicted this. He wasn't exactly a nice cat, but I trust him. You're right. No turning back now. All we can do is see it through. This is getting rough. Feels like it could all end at any second. So, Kisaragi, there's something I gotta tell you. Uh... I, uh... Well, I... Like you, I... Now hold on! Uh, what? Seriously? Here? Now? You are such an ass! You have no idea how to do this! But... Hey, what are you talking about? I mean, we're still in open comms. Everybody can hear you. Kinda awkward. What, that's bad? But... This is how they always do this stuff in the movies. Uh... Ogata-kun? I thought you sounded kinda cool. Sorry, Karabe, but that shit just makes me feel even worse. How many terminals we got left? Looks like four. <sighs> Nothing for it. Outnumbered as we are, we have to cover them all. It's the only chance we have. At least until Miyuki Inaba reconnects with us. Let's do our country proud, Amiguchi! Show these fiends the courage of Japan! I'll hold them back, no matter what. You're an inspiration to us all, Yakisoba Pan Angel. Hijiyama-san, could you stop calling me that? Daimo signature's incoming. They're here. Looks like duty calls, huh? Exactly. That's the true pride of the men of Japan. The will to stare death in the face and laugh. Excuse me, but the ladies are kicking butt out here too. Hey, works for me. Kill my kaiju too. Knock yourself out. They're within range now. Aegis activated. Is anyone too compromised to keep fighting? We barely had a moment to breathe. And the girls may be pushing their limits. I'm still okay. I can keep fighting. There are three terminals remaining. We can protect two of them with Aegis. But we're on our own with the last terminal. How much longer do we need to hold out? We need to re-establish a connection with Miyuki Inaba. That's still ten hours off. Ten hours we don't have. But her plan is our last hope. Then we fight to the last. Until we have nothing left. The Kaiju are heading for the next terminal. Brace yourself, Keitaro. We are soldiers. And this is the moment we train for. Hours. Days. It doesn't matter. We'll hold the line. Another high quad. And a new model at that. If I could just hit it from a blind spot while it's charging its plasma cannon. I need to pilot perfectly to get in close, even if it means I might not come back. Don't talk like that, Megumi. This isn't like you. But I'm the one who got everyone into this mess. I figured you were just some prissy little nerd whining about your problems. But you're a real badass. More than these guys, anyway. You're okay in my book. Come on, follow my lead. Uh, stick to the plan. Stay in formation. Everyone listen to me. We can communicate with the command ship out of range. I'm realigning the three surveillance satellites to their relay positions. We should be connected soon. However, the satellites have to move outside their preset tracks. They'll enter the gravity well and plummet to Earth. Your connection will only last until they hit the surface. You'll barely have any time to do this. Am I clear? If you actually manage to pull this off, then I expect you all to take responsibility. Shihiro. Good luck, big brother. Almost connected.
connected. This is your only chance. Initiating communication. I'm connected. I never imagined this kind of workaround. This is where we're at. We've got two terminals left. What do we do? The processing is almost done. I'm getting back to working on the mainframe. Even if you cover the next one, there'll still be one terminal left. Activate Aegis for that one, and protect the terminal. Something's off. Ground vibrations detected. I'll send the drones to check it out. Warning. Dymo signatures approaching. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. What is that? I can't even see the top of it. It's gigantic. Guess this is another of their upgrades. Is it related to those four-legged ones? But it's massive. 300 meters in height. It's the largest Dimos we've seen. We've gotten too strong. They're trying to restore the balance. Juro's right. This is the system's countermeasure against you, to level the playing field. Wasn't the system supposed to give us an advantage? It's set to a level that makes sure they can compete with us, at least. It could go either way. What actually happens is all up to you. Guess they're throwing all they can at us. All we have to do is take them down, right? I'm on it. Hijiyama-kun, just remember, the mission is to protect the terminal. Aegis will activate for this terminal soon. Just one left. Inaba-san, what's happening? Is everything still running? The processing is complete. It looks like it worked. The mainframe is responding. Really? You mean we actually won? I'm sorry, but it's not over yet. We're up against the wall here. Would really love a clue about what's gonna happen. How much do you know about Universal Control? Well, it manages the world, right? Keeps things running smooth, keeps us thinking we're from our own eras. So, why would it let some crazy disaster like this go unchecked? What? You're... You're saying it's not working? Universal Control is still operating. If it wasn't, we wouldn't be getting headlines of this happening around the world. So, the system doesn't think this is unusual? That's right. Because it's checking it against the decode inside you. It convinces the system that's a normal process. That's when the Dymos appear. Universal Control has no idea it's under attack. The mainframe gets taken over before it can even register anything. It forces a manual system reset. If it was aware of any of this, it'd never let this situation even happen. It still hasn't picked up on the problem? This whole giant robot apocalypse thing is kinda hard to miss. The Aegis severs the link. It can't detect any of this. Cutting off its connection to its nerves. Like a doctor's anesthetic before the knife. It's numb to the intrusion. And that's why we have to wake it up and show it the threat. We have to make the system understand. This is not normal. It's a state of emergency. So how do we do that? I can broadcast the terminal link signal from the command ship I'm on. By routing the signal through here, I can reconnect the link severed by the Aegis. That should make Universal Control finally realize what's going on. So this was your big fallback plan? Yes. It's the only option we have left. And that'll fix all of this? We won't have to fight anymore? Not yet. You've still got 5 minutes and 44 seconds until the mainframe is ready. If the final terminal is taken over before then, when the world gets reset, 
You'll all vanish along with it. This is the moment of truth. The final battle. Please, protect us all. The last adjustments are going smoothly. Just hold out a little longer. Processing is halfway done. You've all come so far. I know you can do this. Life support final processing at 75%. Final stretch. Please don't give up. Protect us. Emergency escape preparations complete. Universal control. 